Welcome to probably the longest old school RuneScape video that you've ever seen. The good news for you is that it is a banger. For all the new viewers that have hopefully clicked excitedly on this video thinking, who is this madman? This is Canifish Chunk, my extreme one chunk Iron Man. As the name suggests, he started in Canifis and he's made some pretty interesting skilling progress on his journey from Canifis to Varrock and now to the Revenant Caves. However, most importantly, his combat levels suck. He has 40 range, 55 magic, and 40 defense. So for all intents and purposes, it's about the lowest level Iron Man that you can send into the Revenant Caves and expect to kill any Revenants. This account has one goal in this video. Get the Revenants green logged. That's all the emblems and all the weapons. Over the 163 days of gameplay that you're about to see, Cannabis Chunk experienced many highs and lows, receiving over 20 unique drops, dying over 100 times, embarrassing countless PKers, and crucially, never ever ever getting smited for any of my hard-earned wilderness weapons. That totally never happened. Anyway, enough of me blabbering, I'll let you get on with enjoying this 12 hour series with all the sponsored segments, outros and some of the fluff removed. All we can do is hit pick chunk and hope for the best, so good luck to me. Oh god, there's caves there, what are they? Is that, is that arty? Holy fuck! That was diabolical! 89 agility in the Revenant. Right, so we've got... Right, so that's the Revenant cave. Ah, oh, fucking hell. That's... Oh, that's diabolical. There's 34 tasks there. Are you fucking kidding? So, right, so... Collection log-wise, but right, so we have to get all the Revenant weapons. All the Revenant emblems. Okay, not too bad. Dragon Mad, Rune Kite, Black Dragon. Oh, Black Dragon. Yes, Revenant's got Black Dragon Hide, don't they? But I'm already 87 crafting, so I don't need to actually get any crafting for that. That's cool. Lot of cut <laughs> lot of quite brutal skilling grinds in here, so yeah. So I mean 40 strand, if that's fine. I mean I've already got that. Uh 70 range. I mean I'm probably I'm so uh 70 range, that's probably not too bad. 60 magic again, not too bad. 87 fletching and 75 fire making. I don't think I've unlocked a better method for that than the oak logs that I was using that I was using already to get to 72. Uh, and 87 is what? Four, a bit over four times the XP of level 72. So that's savage. Uh, 75 fire making, not too bad. 60 defense for dragon armor. What drops that? Oh yeah, they drop. Oh, well, that'll at least be some uh, solid defense upgrades for if we, well, ever finish this chunk and uh, ever get to Barrows. Um, but that one, that's really scaring me. 89 agility. It's just it's one of those shortcuts in the Revenant Caves, isn't it? Mm, is there another one? I feel like there's a lower level one as well. Um, 89 agility and I'm 99% sure I've not unlocked anything better than the cannabis course. <laughs> so what? 89 agility, how much XP is that? Nearly, nearly 5 mil, so like 4.8 mil. So we're talking probably 300 hours of cannabis agility on top of having to get every single revenant item oh my goodness that that is a brutal chunk <laughs> oh my giddy aunt um the issue with the wilderness cave is it costs a hundred thousand gold to even get in and I've only about, just about got 100,000 gold. So, yeah, if I want to go in, I'm going to have to spend basically all my money and then just pray that I don't get PK'd. Uh, because if I do and lose my 100k, it's going to take me 
a lot of time to get 100k back not being in the Revenant games. The good news is kind of once I get in there and get some drops, if I can get an emblem or just some dragon items or whatever, um, then it'll be all right, really. Um, once I kind of get a stockpile of cash built up, it'll be fine. But getting that stockpile of cash built up is going to be kind of brutal. So, oh God, this is oh, so much to think about. Okay, fuck it. I think I think the best thing to do is just go in with what we've got, kill some uh, imps or goblins or whatever, and uh, <laughs> hope for the best. <laughs> I've got a full amount of food, so I think any really low-level PKs that get on me, I should be all right. I've got Protect Magic. I should probably get the others as well. But uh, for now, I feel like probably just getting in there and killing some stuff is the way. I've not got a bracelet of Ethereum yet, so should I just stick to the imps? Will they be easy to kill? Probably. Yeah, this seems pretty pretty simple, doesn't it? There we go, though. Everyone's going to know what we got. Oh, go on then. Two rune plate bodies. That's very fucking nice. Right, I'm going to grab those, bank those, and then that's my sort of return fund of the 100k that I need. Cool. Right, let's grab those. Nice. So, let's have a bit of a debrief. We rolled the Revenant chunk. This is by far the biggest chunk that I've rolled to date. It's going to take by far the longest of any chunk so far. Um, we're talking easily a thousand plus hours, um, but it will also give us the best rewards of any chunk so far too. Namely, three amazing weapons, a ton of GP, and some other upgrades like dragon equipment and black dragon hide, that kind of thing. On screen now is the full list of items and levels that we need to complete this chunk. As you can see, it is a, a massive list, and in episode two, I described a death chunk for me as being a thousand plus hours, as that constitutes more than six months if you were working RuneScape as a full-time job. Um, so we're now technically working on a death chunk. However, it's at least a diverse grind with a lot to do and not just smithing 500,000 bronze bars or something stupid like that. So in that regard, I'm lucky. Having said that, I don't want to underplay, uh, to me or to you, how long this chunk is going to take. Um, this chunk essentially means doing more than double the hours that 99 Agility would take using normal methods just to get the 89 Agility goal um, using the Canifis course. So it would be like getting 26 million Agility XP on any other account, probably more like 30 million XP. Um, then we have the 87 Fletching Goal, which using just the oak trees that I've been having so far is another 300 hour grind um, on its own. Uh, then I also have to green log the Revenants in totally sub-optimal gear. Um, this will be brutal, however, it's going to be fun and I'm going to enjoy putting the hours in and I am going to get it done. So over the weekend, I have been doing a lot of agility. Uh, we're talking nearly up to level 73, which is quite a lot from level 71. So the XP per hour on the agility is about 17k. So, well, slightly less if I'm not paying attention. So 15 to 17k. So we did, you know, eight or so hours of that over the weekend. Um, I need to get 75 for the Revenant shortcut. I really think getting that early will help um, because I can escape a lot easier from some of the uh, stuff. I think this one is the level, no, not that one. This one's level 75 and that one's level 75. So two of the most important ones, oh, and that one. So yeah, I'm intending on doing the Hellhounds, I think. So yeah, having that shortcut there will be useful because I really think most of the kind of shite level pures that will be able to attack me won't have 75 agility what i should do in in if i was being maximum efficient would be to get straight up to 89 agility however that would make for a really boring video because it would take about mm, two two or three months 
uh, alone. So yeah, I won't be doing that, but I'll be, at least get 75 before properly starting Revenants. So yeah, that's where we're at. I also got a lamp. So we're going to spend that on Hunter, get the 120 Hunter XP, level 13. I think by the end of this chunk, I'll actually have the level to do Swamp Lizards and catch some of the lower level Implings. So I think if I can get, what do I need to hunt? Uh, it's either it's either young Implings or baby Implings. I won't be able to do this because I can't get a net. So it'll be 27 and 32. Um, but when I can... Uh, I'll be able to get a bowstring and when I get a bowstring because I need to get 87 fletching in this trunk to uh, make a magic shield I'll be able to get a magic logs drop from revenants and then if I can get a bowstring I'll be able to just make myself a magic short bow which will be such a huge upgrade from the maple short bow that I'm going to be using up until then so that will be very cool I mean, hopefully I'll get a Revenant weapon like straight away and a magic short bow will be irrelevant. But if I don't, that's a nice little backup that I can get. Oh, that is a nice drop. 36 lore runes. That's huge. Because um, I hardly have <laughs> any. <laughs> so getting some is very, very nice. Uh, I'm tempted to bank those, but we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, I got attacked by some guy with a rune crossbow, so fuck it, we uh, we bank. Um, so useful having this Farrakh's Enclave bank. Um, is it in the chunk or is it next to the chunk? Uh, oh yeah, next to the chunk. Yeah, this is this is ideal. So yeah, we 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 actually from killing the imps, we're getting manta rays and anglerfish and whatnot really quite quickly which is very useful for us because they are far better than the trout that I've been uh, struggling with thus far. Um, so if we actually get PKs on us, the Manta Rays in particular will be very useful. Um, but yeah, good time in this chunk. Uh, I think I might move to the Goblins. I feel like I might have slightly more um, more luck there. I don't think, I'm, I'm not really doing it at the moment to try and actually get a Revenant weapon. That will come once I get 75. But what I do want is a little bit more coins and a little bit more good food. And then I'll be in a much kind of better spot to go to the proper, the proper Revenant, skull up, actually try and get a weapon. And there are our first magic logs. So there is confirmation that we need to get 87 fletching in this chunk. Um, so I'm actually going to put that off for a bit because why bother going to the oak trees and getting 87 fletching when from doing the revenants, and I've checked the drop table on this, uh, I should get a decent amount of both you and magic logs. So depending on how dry we go at the revenants, we're going to actually tick off a very decent percentage of the, um, of the fletching XP that we need to bank from just logs we're going to get as drops anyway so probably the last thing i'm going to do in this chunk is the fletching uh and you know we'll basically do everything else before that so yeah that's what that, that's my rationale on that okay so the emblem trade is here so i may as well skull on him if he's just stood there for the 40 percent better rate of the rev weapons i mean likelihood of me getting it from an imp is i think about one in sixty thousand, even when sculled so pretty low <laughs> and that's just to roll the table that's for an avarice or in fact is it hang on let me do a little bit of a uh, light googling here right now uh so we're talking this is live googling you're hearing right now how lucky are you guys so yeah so if we're sculled oh no that's not even bad if sculled we're talking a one in sixteen thousand rate at any of the uh of the uniques so that's an avarice or a crossbow or a uh, scepter or a chain mace that's not even that bad to be to be honest um but the individual rate of the weapons is about one in eighty thousand, even when sculled and not sculled as a one in 146,000. so it does boost us quite a lot having the uh having the skull but the rate at these imps is still incredibly low so i mean compare the one in sixteen thousand to about the one in three thousand we're going to be getting from the hellhound um yeah so 
unlikely to get a get in a weapon here, but we might as well grab the skull if the emblem trader's walking past anyway. Why do they always shout out the U seeds? I mean, I imagine they're incredibly rare, but I mean, they cost like they're 50,000 50, GP. <laughs> still, it's so weird that they still shout them out in the caves. Oh, that is actually. Oh, fuck off. Alright. See, I hate these pricks. I was about to give give a give a big shout out to uh what's it? Um Alright, weirdo. What's your fucking problem? See, this is why we can't have nice things and have fun in the world. Is this guy really trying to kill me for my for what? my u seeds that i just got that were like 50k get a fucking grip anyway point of it being super restore blighted super restore actually really cool like i i i cannot get potions of any kind because i'm one herb lord and haven't done druidic ritual but i can get these blighted potions and in theory over presumably thousands and thousands of revenants i'm gonna kill i'll probably get quite a lot and so i might try not to use them because if I roll like any other sort of things that I need protection prayers for, um, any of the other sort of wilderness bosses that there are, um, it would be really quite useful to have what is effectively prayer potions and super restores. So yeah, that's going to be handy over time. Go on lads, get stuck in. Uh, my, my money is on uh, Virgin Hunter. And he's clapped him. Uh, yeah, Virgin Hunter had it. Easy. Good fight. What a dub. That is 55 hit points on the extreme one chunk. Have we gone up combat level? No, still level 60. And we want that to stay as low as possible for as long as possible. So we're going to be doing absolutely no defense levels or anything along those lines. U-logs. That's what I'm talking about. 28 U-logs. I mean, uh, what, how much XP do you reckon they give for a longbow? 75, maybe? Something like that? So, yeah, that's like... A couple thousand fletching XP right there that I didn't have to chop any logs for, so they're gonna add up big time over this grind. Holy fuck, this is the first time that I've done agility on the PC since starting this chunk, so I've done it all on mobile. We're nearly at 73, we're gonna get 89 for the chunk goal. 16,089 laps left. That means we're going to basically just shy of 20,000 laps in this chunk. That is nuts. It's a real test of how good this mic is right now because there is a lot of noise <laughs> outside at the moment. So if you can't hear anything right now in the background, then the mic... What? Can you do Yeah, of course. That was Phoebe. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that got picked up. <laughs> but yeah, 16,000 laps to go. Oh. Ah, uh, she's making bread, like fake bread, out of Lego. Um, yeah, 16,088 laps to go. 54 laps at a time. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a fun one. So I got 73 agility last night, 26k until the level 74. 4,234 laps so far with 15.7 thousand to go. Uh, we're going to go straight to 75 and then from 75 we're going to see what our sort of PK ability at uh, Revenance is like. If I can escape pretty much every PK with the 75 shortcut, We'll probably just stick to Revenants for a bit and drip feed in agility on the mobile over time. But if I, if a lot of the PKs do have 75 or the 75 shortcut is too far away, then we might be forced just to go straight to level 89, which 
uh, per the tracker up here is going to take about 244 hours <laughs> so uh, yeah not too bad I guess I mean about 10 days of playtime from now and we're at 22 so about half the playtime of the entire account again but w we would be done with it then so I mean we have to get it sooner or later so I mean I should just do it first but I don't like the idea of a video for you guys just being me running Canafis laps. But uh, yeah, fun stuff. Oh, I've got Stella with me because she's off uh, off nursery today. So she's not feeling very well. But uh, if you hear some cooing in the background, that's her. Or coughing, that's also her. Uh, but we just got level 74 agility, which I missed because I'm being so efficient at running around. I'm like spam clicking every obstacle before. And I got it mid-run, so... Uh, yeah, 74 agility, one level to go until we can go to revs and test it out a bit more properly. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on the train a lot, <laughs> going to client meetings and such, but there is level 75 agility, which is pretty big for exactly this reason, the medium revenant cave shortcuts, of which I think there are two of them. So, big level for the account, basically means we can go back to Revenants now whenever we like and test out our agility escape. Um, but that is also, coincidentally, exactly one quarter of the way to level 89 agility. So, we are one quarter of the way done in this chunk, 4,818 laps completed, well, that's since level 40. Um, and 15,000 to go. So, uh, yeah, we, we, we're getting through it. Uh, but it's going to be slow, um, but we can now go and do agility whenever we like. So uh, go and do revenants now whenever we like, which is good news. So uh, yeah, I also learned out from a, from a learned from a comment on the video. Big shout out to whoever it was that left a comment that if for every four out of five levels, bronze arrows are exactly the same as iron arrows in terms of the max hit. So I think at level. four, 50 I get an extra max hit with iron arrows so that means at level 51 I get an extra hit I'd get the same extra max hit with bronze arrows so we're going to be going back to bronze arrows because they're about three four times cheaper um yeah thought that was worth updating you on as well nice we just did um I just did a what's it the camo the, the kind of soldier event and got my first lamp from a random event that isn't a genie or a dunce. So we're officially, finally getting more lamps than regular. So I am heading out into the Revenant Caves with Adamant Arrows and a Maple Shortbow because I'm going to try and kill a higher level uh, Revenant than I've been doing previously. So the reason for this is... I'm going to go and try and kill the Revenant Hellhound. So the drop rate for a weapon is actually f is only five times better than an imp. So in that regard, it'd be kind of better to stick to the imps. In you know, Can I kill them five times quicker than I can kill the Hellhounds? Probably. Um, but the Hellhounds drop, like, you know, normal loot, like, uh, what would it be? Right, is this the right shortcut? No, that's the... Oh, I need this one. Um, the, the, they drop like normal loot like rune plate bodies, dragon plate legs, etc. 15 times more likely than the imps themselves. So in that regard, they're far, far better. So in this at this time where I need kind of cash as one of my main things, I feel like trying to save spots from hellhounds will be better. But if it doesn't work... Uh, particularly well or there's a lot of PKs that I can't escape from etc then I think it might be best to just go back to go back to the imps until I get a first weapon and then from there coming somewhere like quads here would be just far better but this is what we did all that agility grinding for so that we can hop over there good times and then uh, we'll head over here and I'll show you the safe spot for hellhounds so it took a long time to find a free world, but here we are. So the seven, Revan Hellhound safe spot is as follows. Uh, well, it'd be nice if I actually had my attack options on. Attack the Hellhound, run back around this corner here. 
it'll then come over to this wall. Then I jog around this corner over here. And then over to this square here. And now he cannot attack me. So what I need to do is see how many actual kills I can get. Because <laughs> it probably won't be very... Like, if can I actually get a kill before he despawns? Unsure. I'm on an Australian world, so my one tick flicking is not going well. But it looks like my hits aren't too bad with these Addy Arrows. Um, the max hit isn't too bad. Oh my god, that is awful. I actually can't one tick flick like this. Okay. <laughs> That's terrible news. Um, okay, but yeah, this is what we're going to try and do for a bit. See if we can get lucky on some dragon, le dragon plate legs, something like that, because that would be really handy. Okay, so the first kill took um, a, quite a long time, <laughs> about four minutes. Um, but we did get some adamant bars for it, so I guess that's all right. And we got a couple of anglerfish, so how many arrows did we use? 25 arrows. So my thought is this probably isn't worth it just yet. Um, but I think it will come into its own once I get slightly higher range level and the kills are slightly faster. Because um, I can see once I get to 50 range, my average kill time without uh, Eagle Eye will go down from 199 seconds to 170. You know, which is nearly 30 seconds, which is quite a lot for, you know, something that I'm going to have to do thousands upon thousands of times. Um, but I think I'm probably going to end up just going back to the uh, imps to train my range up till it's at least a decent amount higher. And the second kill coming in, yeah, this is definitely too slow at the moment, but it will get better. Uh, we've got some coal though, so yeah, you can see how like you actually get an item or whatever, basically most kills. Um, but I think for now sticking to the uh, imps is going to be better. I mean, it's 15 times faster drop rate, but they take, you know, 10 or 15 seconds to kill at the most. So, yeah, I think this is probably just going to be the way. I'll ditch the Addy Arrows and go back to bronze, though. Um, and I'll go back to the ones near the entrance as well. But I think probably just using the imps. And I, I just need to think of it as training my range. Uh, maybe I'll do up to 60 or something like that and then try the Hellhounds again. But I think this has just got to be the way for now. So it's 11.30am right now. And what I'm going to do is a little test run to see how many imps i can kill in either 15 20 or 30 minutes so i'm just going to kind of start doing it i've noted down how many i've got in the loot tracker and we're just going to kind of get going see how many we can kill and then i should be able to get a calculation for how many i need to kill on average to get myself a roll on the unique table <laughs> it's probably going to be a depressingly long time but luckily killing imps is actually relatively kind of stress-free. I mean, I just click them and wait with bronze arrows. Uh, if I'm using bronze arrows, I'm not even going to bother to pick them up either because they're one GP um, and like every single kill you get between like, you know, 50 and however much GP. And all it takes is like one decent emblem to come in and, you know, I'm, I'm laughing. I'll, I'll have like infinite arrows. So I think, yeah, I'm not even going to bother picking up the arrows. I'm just going to pick up sort of the food, bit of the coins when I can be bothered. Uh, and then obviously all the proper drops as well. But I think this is probably going to be the way for now, realistically, because I also would quite like to get quite a lot of this food because there's quite a lot of um, interesting wilderness chunks very nearby. So there's things like... Uh, there's things like Venon artists that are like right in like a rollable chunk for me, basically. So if I get um, loads and loads and loads of this uh, this blighted food, that'll be really, really helpful for me. I won't have to go and like buy sharks from the can of fish shop or anything like that. Um, so that would be really useful. Um, so I think kind of filling up on the food, which you get at disproportionate rate from the imps compared to everything else, is probably a smart idea. Um, I think once I get a higher level, I'll try going back to the Hellhounds, but I still don't think it'll be much better than this um, in terms of uniques per hour. Uh, and then, but once I get a weapon, like if I get Crossbow, 
I'll I'll go and start killing quads or something like that because the 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 rate will just be so much better. Basically, this is all just going to snowball. This is the worst part of this chunk by far. Is this very very early um, revenant killing because you just got garbage weapons. The rates on the stuff that you can actually kill garbage as well, and you know it's just painful. Whereas once we start getting some slightly higher levels it will slightly snowball again and then once we get uh what's it called once we get once we get a revs weapon it will really really snowball oh that's a nice little item to get the old bracelet of ethereum that is going to be extremely handy for reducing the damage that i get uh so i think if i use that on there there we go and i need to toggle it so it's automatic perfect right that's a new uh, a new collection log slightly wary of this guy that's just going to attack me with his web weaver bow but we got a lot of food and he's teleported away so we're all good so bracelet of ethereum that is going to be handy for killing some slightly harder revenants might try out the goblins the only issue with the goblins is the respawn timer but if i can find a couple of worlds and just hop between them then potentially that could be better we're 18 no we're 17 minutes into our uh challenge of you know see how many of these i can kill per hour at the moment so once we get to 20 i'll have some maths for you and we all love maths in this game so in 20 minutes we've killed 63 imps starting at 48 mage going up to 49 so that'll only get slightly faster and um, probably not a lot faster because a lot of the time is waiting around for spawns so we're talking one in probably 200 is going to be what we're sort of going to max out at and what we're roughly at at the minute. So let's use that for our maths. So with that maths, Sculled, we need to do 80 hours of Revenant Imps, that's 8 to 0, to roll on the unique table once. So that's a 40% chance of an Amulet of Avarice and 60% chance at one of the three weapons. All three of the weapons will be a massive upgrade, so it doesn't particularly matter which one we get when we get one. The Amulet of Avarice will be slightly annoying, although not necessarily the end of the world, because it does basically act like a salve amulet and notes the drops. So for me, that would actually be quite useful because I'm using a weapon here in the Maple Short by that I can just go and get back. So the Amulet of Avarice would be my plus one, would increase DPS by about 20% and be useful with the uh, with the drops. So yeah, it wouldn't necessarily be the end of the world, but I think I would prefer a weapon. So we're talking 80 hours of Revenant Imps to roll a weapon in that regard. So I think what I'm going to do is bank some of this stuff and then go try out the goblins and see what I can do with a sort of hop method. They are a 1 in 10,000 for a unique and the drop rate on, you know, coal and addy bars and room plate legs and stuff is about double the imps. So if I can kill around kind of 40-ish goblins in the same amount of time, 20 minutes, then I think it'll be better than this. But we'll see. And, it will, and, and that will also get slightly better with time as well. Um, because they've got more hit points my max hit matters more but do you know what i was expecting imps to be far worse 80 hours for a roll on the table i don't think it's too bad i mean obviously i could go really dry on it but for for a drop rate 80 out i mean 80 hours for a drop rate is obviously insane but this is very relaxed i'm very close to the entrance so i can escape from pretty much all the pcas i haven't i haven't died in the rev cave once um and haven't really even looked like i'm gonna die in the rev cave once so yeah it's quite a nice nice little nice little spot to be in i could easily do this on mobile as well so the gains in that regard can be quite high <laughs> slightly feels like a waste of time going and getting the 75 agility um but that will be useful later on um for escaping pks because my combat level is probably not going to go up too much because i'm going to be sticking to 40 defense at least for now um, and I'm currently melee based with the 57 attack, 40 attack, uh, 57 strength, 40 attack. So I don't know what my range level can get to before it, I start becoming range based. But it's probably the mid 60s at least, uh, maybe higher. 
So I should be 60 combat for a while. So that's so I'll be low combat when I get over to the uh, doing the Hellhounds again, which then means that the, you know the lower the combat, generally the lower the agility level. So the 75 agility shouldn't be a waste of time, and I should be able to get the benefit of it escaping from PKers. But for now, we're uh, we're sticking to the imps. Oh, some nice onyx bolt tips, very cool. Um, we'll be sticking to the imps and seeing how we get on. Hopefully, I can spoon a weapon. If I can spoon a weapon, this chunk will just speed up a lot. Whereas if I somehow manage to go like three times drop rate dry on a weapon, then you know we're talking having to kill basically a hundred thousand revenants or something ridiculous like that. So hopefully. <laughs> That doesn't happen. Okay, so we're going to give the goblins a go. They've got a really long respawn timer, so we're going to be hopping between a couple of worlds. But we're starting at none on my drop log at the moment. So, yeah, we'll see how many of these we can get in a period of time and work that out per hour. So, let's get going. Oh, we just got a second bracelet of Ethereum. That is very nice. Very nice indeed. Means, well, if I can bank them that I'll be able to uh, keep hold of what I get. How much ether have I got in this already? 302. So yeah, I should probably empty those out as much as I can remember to, just in case I do get PK'd. So I've just done 10 minutes of the Revenant Goblins. Uh, go goblins? <laughs> goblins. Uh, but we're talking about, well, it was 22 kills that we got. So we're talking about 44 per 20 minutes, which would be the same as the other... Piss off. Where's this chump just appeared from? This isn't what we agreed. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, we're talking about 44 per 20 minutes, which equates to about 130 per hour. Uh, so from a weapons perspective, if we add an additional, you know, 60% to that, it's about the same. Um, but from a, you know, uh, useful uh useful money drops etc uh the goblins are probably about 20 30 percent better so i think these can also have the potential to go a lot higher as well because these are 14 hit points and i hit a max hit of six at the moment they heal quite a lot so i spend quite a lot of time extra time like that like that doesn't happen so much with the with the imps which means that there's a higher ceiling to this as well, where I'm sure I can kill even more per hour. I can probably get close to that 200 kills per hour here as well, once my range level goes up a little bit. So, yeah, I'm thinking that might be the way around to do it. Um, so I think if I stick to this, doing the world hopping, I think this will just get better and better and better. We're probably talking about 80-ish hours for, um, for a unique here as well at this range level 49 i do think that that's going to go down and we're probably going to get to 70 possibly 60 once we start getting into like 60 plus range um so i think the goblins are going to be the way i think the world hopping is just is just too powerful because i do spend quite a lot of time at the imps waiting as well but just not quite enough time to make it worth doing the world hopping because they've got about a 15 second respawn timer whereas these guys are about 45 so yeah i think once i get a higher range level i'll do far far better here than i will at the imps i was going to try the hobgoblins but they're 72 hit points and the rate is only about twice as good as doing these goblins so i think that's probably just a bit of a moot point at least until i've got a rev weapon or significantly higher range plus an avarice something like that um but i think these goblins are probably going to be the way and we're going to be sat here for it i guess these will be less doable on mobile so i'll probably still do imps on mobile but i think goblins are probably going to be the way when i'm on pc but 60, 70, 80 hours, really not too bad for a rev weapon, to be honest. I would just like to point out that I've only just thought, why am I not bringing a looting bag to do this? <laughs> then I could bring basically a nearly full invent of food. Am I broken? I, I actually think I'm broken. How have I not thought this whole time to use a looting bag 
the only reason to use a looting bag is for doing exactly this kind of thing. It is the only reason that it exists. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is wrap up this trip, uh, this trip relatively soon and go and get a looting bag and keep it on me. Because it's, it's, uh, even if I lose it, it's a 1 in 10 from these Revenant Goblins. So I can get one back, like, instantly. Oh, my God. God, everyone's going to be so angry with me in the comments again. I felt after the last one, I was like, right, that's it. No more mistakes. I can't, I can't handle the abuse any longer. But yet, here we are, struggling. Oh, go on then. Double dragon plate skirt. Oh, things you love to see from a goblin. Oh, that is... Alks galore. Right, I can't wear those at the moment, but they are technically a best in slot for the chunk. That is very, very, very nice indeed. Right, I've got Stella with me, so if anyone shouts, that's who it is. Uh, but I'm going to do a new test, I think, because I can now hit sevens with bronze arrows, which means I think I'm going to be significantly more damaging against these. I'm more accurate, I can hit higher etc etc so i'm going to redo my timings and see how many kills i can get in a given period of time um and i'll get back to you shortly with the results oh fuck off with the u seeds they're like the same rarity as the one mil emblem and that's the second time i've had them piss off so in 15 minutes we're talking 36 kills um 36 goblin kills so we're talking what 144 per hour now which is not too bad is it uh that's uh 60 68 68 hour unique item in terms of uh either of avarice or one of the weapons suddenly that's not too bad i feel like when my uh when my what's it called um, max hit goes up to 8, it'll probably go even higher than that, to be honest, so yeah. Oh, look at that! 8 million GP! Oh my fucking god! Ah, oh, look at the state of that! Go on then! Go on then, you big beauty! 8 mil from a fucking goblin! <laughs> oh my god! Eight mil. Well, that's me covered then. Oh my god, that is a game changer. Eight mil. Oh, I'll tell you what, that pink text and the collection log pop up was unbelievable. Look at the state of that thing. Oh, right, that is going in there as the icon for that tab for now. Ver well, another side thing of this. The food is so good. I know I can only really use it in the wilderness, but I'm getting so much of it from killing these goblins. So this is fucking nice. Oh my goodness. That is so good. Eight mil. <laughs> Things you love to see. The Revenant Caves. Every Iron Man's worst nightmare. Insanely low drop rates, lots of collection log slots, and PKers waiting around every corner to ruin your day. Today, I'm going to be venturing into the caves, but with one big difference. I'm an extreme one chunk Iron Man. For this reason, my access to weapons, armor, potions, and food are all hugely limited, but I'm confident that we. <coughs> No one brings a bag of shit to a pub. Your dad does. Does he? Yeah. You. <laughs> Brilliant. Welcome back to Cannabis Chunk. <laughs> yeah, my bad for not knowing that you could go in through the north of uh, Alcarid. I genuinely thought that you had to pay the 10 GP to go through the gate, but we can't change that now. Um, if you're ever, and I feel like I say this every video, but it's only because the videos keep getting better and better and better. If you're ever going to like and comment and subscribe, 
this is the video to do it because this video is not only a goliath as you can see by the time of it but also the best video that i've made in terms of what is achieved and just sort of huge moments for the account so uh yeah i hope you enjoy and uh i'll let you get into the clips so in the last video we obviously rolled the revenant caves leaving us with a thousand plus hour grind and a whole long list of uh of collection log slots and levels to get. So main ones on this list are Crossbow, Theremin Scepter, the Vigorous Chain Mace, 89 Agility and 87 Fletching. The rest of these should kind of come with getting those. Um, but yeah, this is where we're left off and this is the list that we're ticking off against. Also, pay close attention throughout this video because I'm going to be giving away 1 billion GP to someone who can source me a silver bar within my chunks. There is level 60 range on the account. I'm unsure, but I think this might be the first clip that I'm opening up the uh, episode with. There is quite a lot of stuff in the bank that I need to show you that I've got from drops uh, from Revenants in the last however long. Uh, basically the weekend's worth on mobile because I've not been recording on mobile but we've gone crazy we've gone absolutely crazy at the Revenants we've killed th I was going to say absolutely thousands of them but definitely not thousands of them probably uh, 2,000 of them ish but we have got some cool stuff in the bank to show you so I'll get back to you with that soon <laughs> lol <laughs> I literally logged in that's my second kill what <laughs> that's very funny okay uh so let's go and bank that it's only the 500k one but it will do we'll take those i think that's a one in sixteen thousand uh drop from the goblins so it would be nice to have something better but i can put it in to match i'll put the bank pin in i can put it in to match the one mil emblem that i already got so I got that off screen while I was on mobile. That's the one million, uh, one million coin one. Um, and obviously got that one last episode, the eight mil one. But I also quite crucially got the dragon med helm. So the reason why that's quite bizarre that I got that is I'm doing these revenants sculled pretty much all the time. So we're on 2200 kills pretty much all sculpt oh we got the ancient crystal as well did you guys see that already oh there it is <laughs> yeah we got the ancient crystal as well so i've been doing pretty much all of these revenants sculled however you can't get the dragon med helm unless you're unsculled you literally cannot get it unless you're unsculled and if you're unsculled it's a one in 2.5k and my skull went off mid goblin kill i got the kill like one of the first times i've ever even noticed that i got a kill unsculled and got the dragon med helm first kill it was nuts i was losing it on the sofa um but that's really important because that's actually one of our best in slot items for the chunk that is our new best in slot helm um so it's really nice to have that good defense obviously i'm not going to get 60 defense until probably like the last thing in the chunk so i want to keep my combat level as low as possible it's been pretty amazing having a low combat level here i think i've died once and that was on and i've done most of the kills so far because it's been the weekend on mobile where you know running away from pks is an utterly miserable experience but it's actually really easy not to get killed here so not only am i really close to the entrance which is a blessing but this agility shortcut here is 65 and i sort of assumed i'd need 75 to get away from pks over here most of the shit tier level 70 PKs that attack me here don't even have 65 agility. So I just hop over there and I'm away. And I bring I bring this food. I can get all the loot in the looting bags. I've still got like, you know, 40 slots for, for looting. And I'm just chillaxing. It's fucking great. Like I've, I'm barely dying. Even on mobile, it's really easy. So yeah, we'll stick, we'll stick with this for a while. I'm going to do the goblins until we get a rev weapon. And then I'm thinking if I just move to the orcs there, once I get a crossbow or a figurous chain mace, then I can do exactly the same thing and just escape to the, to the north, to the 75s or to the south for the 65. So yeah, 
getting that really high agility level in like the second episode or whatever is really really reaping dividends right now because even if they teleblock me which they often do i just hop across the pillar and they can't get me it's great like if i got teleblocked on this account and i had to run out this way it'd just be a death sentence but i'm laughing because the high agility is so good because oh you should see their little faces i can almost see it through the screen when i just walk away and they cannot do anything it is great speaking of which here we go let's see if this guy's got 65 has he 2 seconds after recording. I love it. So funny that they literally, and it takes them so long to run around, I just hot worlds and can't get killed. Amazing. How good is that? Teleblock, five minute teleblock, death sentence. No, not for me. Oh, with 60 agility, we are now able to hit nines with, uh, with steel arrows, which is class because we're only hitting eights before. Um, that's very nice. That means we're going to kill the... Uh, 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 God, can't talk. Each extra max hit here is actually massive as well because they regen health only below 50%. Um, each extra max hit that you can hit is just actually worth way more than it looks like it is. So the kills per hour increases by a lot more than the DPS per second increases, if that makes sense. I'm sure that someone far cleverer than I could actually put some maths together to show how the kills per hour increases kind of exponentially with the DPS per hour. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see if someone will put that together for me in the comments. That would be nice. No. Oh. Oh, I'm watching a Limpwort stream, if you can hear that. Ancient Crystal number two. That is uh, really useless for us, but two out of four now. So if, I mean, we're almost certainly going to get all four of them before we finish this chunk. So if that works out, that would be very bloody nice. Um, because if we ever get construction, it'd be really cool to have a wilderness obelisk in our house. But... Uh, that is Ancient Crystal number two and some other drops beside. I also didn't realise it, but I got the Rune Kite Shield as well, which is a best in slot item in the chunk and I can actually equip it. So pretty cool to have a decent shield now. I think, what did we have before that? We must have had just the Mithril Square. So Rune Kite is pretty cool. We're getting cleared right now by some dick. This guy actually looks kind of stacked though. Uh Right up the mage. Hope he doesn't have 65. I think we're all right. <laughs> I told you. The 65 agility is fucking goated. And if he comes in any further, I can just, like, I would just keep going around to the 75 over here. Oh, I love that. It's so nice, honestly. Honestly. Easy game. This is, this is just a bizarre one. I guess I'll, uh, I, I guess I'll actually bother to go and get my, uh, go and get my anglerfish before escaping from this guy. Oh my god, get in the bin. Ah, oh, this is one of the single worst PK attempts I've ever seen. Let's look up this guy, see if he's got the 65 agility. No, he's got about 11 agility, so we're all good on that. And I'll see you later, pal. What a waste of my and everyone else's time. So I've equipped Mithril Arrows and I'm now going to be 61 range. And I believe at 61 range, I'll be able to hit 10s with Mithril Arrows. So how exciting is that going to be? 61 range. So time to see if those level 10s are a myth or not. Um, for some reason, the calculator I was using was also giving me that I'd hit 10s at level 60, and I wasn't. So, uh, who knows what the accuracy of that is, but that magical 40 XP drop will be a thing of beauty if it occurs. So, yeah, no, my max hit is still 9. So, the DPS calculator is all right. I reckon it's probably picking me up on accurate. It's probably one. So, big news, everyone. I believe, now that we're in the Revenant chunk, there is a very decent chance that I can actually do splashing now. So uh, if I grab, uh, what's it, that, 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 uh, and 
around that. And my staff, I believe. Oh, I need, and then what I actually need is the van braces. With this stuff equipped, I believe I should be minus 65. I am. So I believe with that, I can now do some splashing. So shall we give it a go? Probably. So here we go. Let's see what kind of XP per hour we can get with it. I'm hoping that I can set up my computer in such a way as that this rotates or I hold the space bar down or something and I could technically, potentially do a six hour splashing session, but we shall see. Okay, so I've been away from the computer for 31 minutes-ish and we were still, <laughs> we're still attacking. So yeah, safe to say six hour splashing is back and in a big way. So I'm gonna be doing this probably every night from now on until we get, well, I don't, I don't really have a limit now because I've got unlimited cash to buy runes with. And you know, a higher magic level is always gonna be better than not. So might as well just get stuck in. I need at least 60 to equip the Theramon Scepter. But I mean, if I get one of those, it'd be good to use it with a decent magic level because I think the ma max hit goes up with magic level. So yeah. I'll just keep sending magic for six hours every night. That's so good. 62 range coming in. Hopefully, I'll, I want to get 70 and then get the crossbow at like exactly 70. I feel like that'd be nice. It'd be nice to have a little double upgrade of a crossbow plus plus black dehyde all at, all at once. That'd be lovely. Well, I've just got back from a meal out with the wife and kids. Uh, safe to say that six hour splashing definitely works because we've been logged in for four hours and 20 minutes just splashing and we're nearly at 59 magic which is a pretty big level. Um, I'm about to go to bed so I'm going to re-log and do another six hours uh, but I'm going to go need to buy some runes first so I'll go and do that now but yeah interesting to notice works. I, I realised if I just do this each night for six hours, I'll get 99 magic in about four or five months, which is probably about how long this chunk is going to take me. So, I mean, it cost me what, 13 mil in cash, which I've pretty much already got from the emblems that I have. So do I want to just end this chunk with a free 99 magic? Kind of. <laughs> so it's probably worth doing really considering it's basically free and takes no extra time on top of doing the series normally. Um, but yeah, time to go buy some extra room. Oh, just while doing some Alks to get uh, some extra GP, I got 59 magic, which is level fire blast, I believe. Very cool. So 60 magic was achieved last night, which is a good thing because it is the level that we need for the Tharamon's scepter when we get it so yeah that's another chunk goal ticked off main thing we need to do now is actually just go out and get a load of weapons oh here we go again 73 combat ghostly robes hard to say really uh are we gonna get away right definitely swapped into the staff there okay easy oh he's got the level Oh no, could be in trouble here. Okay, we're gonna hope he's not got 75. No! Oh, fuck's sake. Auto retaliate, it's kind of pogging me here. Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, I don't think he's got the level. But. <laughs> I just need to make sure he doesn't kill me before I can run off. Okay, right, we're good. Whew. 
Oh, <laughs> that was the most nerve-wracking one yet. <laughs> My God. He had, uh, that 33 through prayer with the Dragon Bolts was wild. I mean, that is, that's rough. Okay, <laughs> I think we'll have to bank up for that. That was actually quite nerve-wracking. Oh, here we go again. Okay, what's his most dangerous style? Probably Mage. I don't think this... He's got Venom, which is a lot. Imagine risking this much on Pure to kill me. Embarrassing. Uh, can we get away? Yeah, not even got the 65, mate. Weak, weak. Get... Get down to the Falador course, pal. It's pathetic. I'll tell you what though, the Venom is particularly annoying because that's just like an insta-bank. It's so annoying when you get poisoned or venomed because you have to bank regardless if you just escaped straight away. Oh, go on then. One mil totem. It's not a collection log slot, but I'll take the free one mil GP. Pretty nice, I'd say. That means we're up to over 10 mils worth of emblems now, which is pretty neat. So I could, in theory, go and get a green cash stack on this account if I wanted, which is pretty neat, I would say. And there it is. Second one of those on the account, matching our ancient crystals now. The collection log for Revenants isn't looking too bad, but it would look a lot better with one of these four items ticked off. So yeah, 3.2 killed so far. Uh, I'm probably going to get at least 10k in this video because, you know, 10,000 sells well in the title of YouTube videos. Uh, as you know, because you probably clicked on this video uh, on purpose, hopefully on purpose, um, because it had 10,000 in the title. You know, psychological games like that is uh, is how is, is, is how the YouTube game is played. <laughs> what am I talking about? So we're coming in with a 63 range, which I believe is the level that I'm going to start hitting 10s with these Mithril Arrows, so we shall see on that shortly. Um, the levels are going by quite quickly. We're now officially halfway to 70 range um, in terms of XP, so that will come quick, which is very nice. Um, it's nice to... yeah, there's the 10. Lovely. Um, it'll be really nice to get 70 because I think once I get some black dehyde equipped I'm gonna be a lot more accurate and I think I'll probably have a bit more of a shot at things like the pyre fiends Maybe like the hellhound stuff like that. So I might not necessarily Stay at the goblins until first rev weapon if we get to 70 range first because I think that that 70 range might make it better for us to do slightly higher level revenants it might not because the kills per hour here is just so quick but we'll see oh here we go again oh he's one of the ones who's smiting a dragon crossbow so this might be slightly rough actually uh... oh <laughs> rip <laughs> oh dear Okay, well, there's a the first death in the Rev Caves. That's a bit rough. Um, don't think I lost anything. Um, my usual way to get back at the minute is to just go up here, get a teleport to Varrock, and tally straight to Varrock. Um, but I should probably just unlock the Ferox. The Ferox one. So, Ferox Enclave respawn point, right? I can buy it within my chunk, because Ferox uh, herself like wanders around here, so I can buy it here, that's fine. When you respawn at Ferox Enclave, you respawn over here, which is obviously not in my chunks. However, it's a lot closer to my chunks than the Lumbridge respawn is, so you know, should I get that? Let me know in the comments down below if you think that that should count as something that I have to do. And if it, not necessarily that I have to do, but like, is it more closer to the rules? Because I'm more unlock, I'm more likely to unlock that chunk and therefore never have to leave my chunks again uh, than I am the Lumbridge one. So yeah, let me know what you think on if I should, uh, if I should get that or not. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, I don't actually have 100k in cash. Um, I think I should have some alcohols. Yeah, I should just go and trade my emblems in, but I kind of like just having them there um, in the bank. And I'm also a bit nervous about actually trading them in. And I'm not sure if I should just 
you know, just alk them, even though it's only 60% of their value. Um, that's an option too, I guess. But yeah, okay, yeah, we've definitely got the alks to uh, to sort this out. But <laughs> we're running out of um, running out of nature runes actually, which isn't isn't great. Uh, but luckily, revs gives quite a lot of high value items. So yeah, we've got enough to go back into the rev cage. Hopefully, we can get some more alks to keep ourselves happy. Oh my god, look at this absolute PK bot. That's so bad. The auto switching is crazy. Look at this. Look at that. I hope he gets banned. Bwap Segzy B. My, look at the state of that. That's ridiculous. AHK or just literally a bot? That's nuts. Imagine doing that to kill some level 82 in the rev caves. That's so embarrassing. My god, that's crazy. I didn't realise people like actually used that stuff outside of being like absolute, you know, Android PK warriors in like, you know, absolute max. But that's crazy doing that just to kill random rev killers at level 80. Ridiculous. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's just splashed everything. What a dork. Studded body coming. Oh god, he's coming. He's still coming. Run! Run! Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I get recognised quite a lot in the game. Like, a disproportionate amount to what I thought I would do. This is the first time in about a week, maybe slightly longer, that anyone has recognised me in the Rev Caves at all. So, that's cool. I wish you'd stay and protect me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Cool. There is 65 range at the Revenant Goblins. Going quite quick. Five levels to go, two level 70, and then we'll be able to wear Black Dehyde, which will be such an upgrade over our studded body. Though, we won't be getting rid of the Maple Short Bow, because I'm, I'm not getting any random events. I don't think you get random events in the wilderness. Or a cert Sorry, Phoebe running around with a stick saying stick man. Um, if, yeah, I don't think you get any uh, random events, at least in the Revenant Caves, because I haven't had one since being here. It's been a long time. <laughs> She's ridiculous. Um, so that means I'm not advancing any random event stuff, and it's, uh, I think, 27 Hunter that I need for Bowstring. So, yeah, we're nowhere close to that, and I don't think we're going to get it by the end of this chunk, realistically, unless I really get a lot of random events while doing the agility, maybe. But, I don't know. Ooh, I think this guy may have come over the, uh... Over the shortcut. Uh... Get off me. Okay, right, we could be in trouble here. I'm hoping what I can do is he's not got 75, hopefully. I've looked him up and he does. Uh, okay, right, this ain't good. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a death. Ugh. God, they're so strong. 80. Why did I not go the other way? He couldn't have. I don't even know why I protect, to be fair. I should have gone the other way. Oh, quick. Keep running around here. Keep running around here. Might be able to get a gap on him. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's so lame. Okay, so it looks like I keep my green dehyde chaps, which I guess is useful. Oh, that's so annoying. Well, at least I've only just gone back, so I don't have any... Why did I not look at his combat level? Ah, oh. right, so in future I need to look at their combat level and look at their agility level, and then I can kind of make a bit more of an informed choice on what I need to do, because I just did absolutely the wrong thing there. Ugh! 
Bloody hell. Just got some knobhead on me. Didn't even notice where he, that he was there. Crazy, bro. Oh, fuck. Come on. Eat the wrong way. Uh. At least that has a shortcut. Okay, I don't think he does. I think we're all good. Literally just got here. I'm not going to loot him back yet. You can tell I just got here. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's getting to that time of day. Um, sort of late in the afternoon is the worst. I'm getting hit by PKs so much lately. I'm actually like going down in food as opposed to up. <laughs> Craziness. Um, but we we keep on because we aren't scared around here. We're uh, we're big boys. We're in our big boy trousers. And by big boy trousers, I mean tight, tight, skin tight green chaps. Yeah, you know, I've got my got my bald head and my tight green trousers. So yeah, I'm I'm heading into the rev caves probably to get fucked. And with this kill, assuming I've been counting correctly. That should be 5,000 revenants killed with uh, 40 bracelets, two ancient crystals, one effigy, one statuette, two totems, and one emblem. Not too bad for 5,000 got uh, well, you know, a little bit of imps, mostly goblins. I'd say not too bad, really. Um, it would have been nice to have spooned a weapon very early. Um, we still can spoon a weapon because I think the drop rate is about 1 in 10,000. But, yeah, we didn't get one super early. But I'm quite enjoying the revenants. I've got quite a lot of cash stacked up in the bank. Quite a lot of good alks. Quite enjoying escaping from the PKs as well. The agility is extremely fun to use because they all just look so disappointed as they, as they stand at the edge of the pillar. Uh, but, yeah. Onwards and upwards. Half of the revs I'm planning on doing in this video done. Hopefully we can have some better luck in the second half. Oh, also we are 8,000 XP until level 70 magic. Been doing quite a lot of splashing during uh, times when I particularly need to AFK throughout the day. Uh, it's quite very, very nice having that rune shop in Varrock for doing things like that. It just means I can, you know, I don't have to worry about runes as much as I would if I was getting them from NPCs. So it's really nice to basically just have unlimited... Well, I basically do have unlimited runes now, right? Because I've you can just buy them. And I have, with revs, pretty much unlimited cash. So, yeah, I think the goal is probably still going to be to try and get pretty much most of the way to 99 by the time we finish this chunk. Um, assuming we don't spoon like every single weapon here really, really quickly. But yeah, I think it's, to be honest, quite doable uh, with the unlimited cash that we've got now. So that'll be really nice because then the Theremin Scepter will be an incredible weapon for us. If I've got nearly 99 magic and I've got the Theremin Scepter where we roll barrows, for example, I am going to cut through those fuckers like a uh, hot knife through butter. Uh, which is the plan. So, yeah, we, we are just, I'm feeling quite positive at the moment. This is I, I rolled this as a death chunk, and the, my initial reaction was obviously, fucking hell, please no. Uh, particularly the agility wreck, which I've not really got too stuck into yet. I've only done 71, 75. I'm sure when I start pushing into the late 80s, that's going to feel really brutal. But... Yeah, I'm quite enjoying the chunk now from a overall perspective because I know that, you know, a thousand or so hours from now when we actually complete this chunk, I will be in an incredible spot for almost everything that we can do going forward. We still have a lot of skill uh, skill capes near us. However, they can be somewhat alleviated by having almost unlimited money, right? So construction, obvious reasons, having unlimited money, which is essentially what Revs is, is very, very nice because I have oak logs, I have the lumber yard. So in theory, and, and I, I get a lot of law runes from here as well. So in theory, teleport to Varrock, run over to the uh, oaks to the east, chop a full invent, 
go to the lumber yard, uh, uh, yeah, go to the lumber yard, convert them all into planks, and then teleport to house, build everything I need to build, and then you know back to Varrock and repeat, which is actually not too bad of a training method considering I'll have almost certainly all the money sorted from doing this grind. So that's huge. Also the cooking cape, which I'm one chunk away from as well, is pretty easy too with unlimited money because instead of buying just meat from the shop, which is what I had to do to get to level 80, uh, because it's one, it's like uh, one GP for 30 XP. So like really, really cheap. And I only had very limited access to money at the time. So that was the best thing for me to do because the money making was so bad. But with unlimited money, I can buy the salmon, the pike, the trout, the shark even. Um, there's less of them per world, but there's a lot more. But if I bought all of those, I'd get 16 fish per world. And they'd give, what, 70, 80, and 90 XP, and then like 210 for the shark or something. So the XP per hour would be way better now that we've got unlimited money. Room crafting, not really affected. Uh, what else have we got? Smithing is kind of also unlocked with this chunk, which is a kind of bad thing because as soon as we get a smithing method, I need to get 99 smithing, which is a bit brutal from this chunk. But as soon as we... Uh, yeah, I don't really see how money's going to help me with that, to be honest. <laughs> Unless we get, what... Um, What's that thing called that's on the Giants Plateau? The new one. I can't remember. That new mini game. Not not the Blast Furnace, the other one. Uh, Giants Foundry, that's it. Um, if we get that, I'll be able to buy like armor that is somewhat inefficient. So I'd be able to just like spam money on like adamant swords and or like adamant long swords at the sword shop for for instance to really speed the XP up there. So that's an option. Um, but yeah, basically having unlimited money is going to help us in a lot of ways. So you see, this is the issue. Like no one is honorable. I feel like when you're at a goblin, pick two worlds and just hop between them, but no one is honorable. And that means I can't be honorable and do that as well. And then everyone hops into everyone else's worlds and it's all just a big mess. But I guess now I've, I've been waffling for so long, you've seen a decent little snippet actually of what I'm doing to do this grind and as you can see it's not too bad not spending a lot of time in one world which is quite annoying it'd be better not to have to hop but i also feel like the hopping keeps me off pk's radar because pk's will run through here and i won't be here and they won't bother looking for me uh like half the time when i'm in another world so that's quite good i guess in some instances uh yeah, it's, it's been an alright grind and I'm, I'm looking forward to more. It'll be really, really nice to get a rev weapon and start killing some proper revenants because these just drop nothing or coins way, way, way too often. Uh, whereas proper revs will be dropping the loot, like the planks and the dehyde and and the alcohols like way 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 more often so that'll be really fun i hope i can get the avarice as well because that'll be really nice i like the idea of not having to attack random bots to skull up just being able to equip that will be nice and also it acts like a salve and i obviously don't have a salve so actually having one will be really useful but yeah this is going quite well so far 66 range <sighs> Yeah, we're now magic based, by the way, so but it doesn't really make much of a difference. Up to 64 combat, so we're slowly creeping into slightly scarier levels of PKers. So potentially that 89 agility will come in handy. Um, but I'm not seeing too many PKers with 65 even in this combat bracket. So I reckon the next combat bracket, I'm probably going to kill the orcs that are here once I get a rev weapon. And then just use that as my escape, the 75, the level 75 one. I feel like that's probably the smartest thing to do. But yeah, we'll see. I hope you enjoyed <laughs> my mini, uh, what, seven minute ramble I've just been on. But uh, yeah, I just, I, I got to talking and then never stopped. Uh, I'm like your your favourite history teacher. Did you, did anyone else used to do that in class? When You know when you had like a supply teacher who just loved the sound of their own voice a little bit too much? You just start asking questions about like random stuff like, oh, what's, 
What's your favourite period in uh, in history, sir? And oh, what's uh, what, what what kind of house do you live in, sir? And all this, and before you knew it, you were at the end of the lesson and hadn't learned anything. So uh, you know that's the goal of school as a student is obviously to try and not learn anything, uh, which which served me well because I'm now a salesman in my in my real life. Uh, I sell IT, like you know computers and that, uh, servers cloud you know things like that so if any of you are uh, <laughs> it managers by any chance feel free to comment down below and maybe we can work together in real life uh, i've lost my skull so time to go and find a bot and re-skull back up but yeah seriously if any of you are it managers hit me up because it would actually be really good <laughs> i did actually get my biggest client that i've ever had from RuneScape, they recognised me, or well, I spoke to them anyway, and they recognised my voice as being an old school RuneScape YouTuber, and uh, things just went from there. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it a good new business strategy, RuneScape. Here is a level seventy three magic, sixty six combat as well. Oh, that is flying past. Going to be good to get a high level in that ASAP, but time to get back to the Revenants. In fact, actually, so I've got, actually got a request for you guys, which is if we go into the Revenant Caves, we can see there's this shortcut, level 89 agility, which we have to get to. At the moment, the best course I have unlocked to get those levels is the Canifis course, um, which is about... 17k xp per hour miserable right it's gonna take about 300 hours however can you see this little agility icon here the werewolf agility course so in theory i can i can get there right but i need to do the creature fenkenstrain quest and where we're at in that is has ordered me to repair the lightning conductor to repair the lightning conductor you need three bronze bars and three uh three and one silver all right so i can get albeit not in enough quantity to force me to do a smithing grind bronze bars right i can get them very very slowly at a drop rate of way more than one in 16 which is what i've set secondary training at but i can't get a silver bar that i can tell at all um which is a problem so in theory, I could get a rare drop table of some silver ore, um, but I don't have the smithing level to get to level 20. Um, so I, d I don't have the smithing level, which is level 20, to actually create a silver bar out of silver ore. So that doesn't really help me. The other option that I looked into and I was so like excited for, but then didn't work out, was using a Christmas cracker from my main account on this account to get a silver bar, because they drop a silver bar at a 1 in 7. But... You can't do that on an Iron Man, which is annoying for sure. Um, the other option that I found was, and this is the one that I'm currently going with, is that baby implings drop silver bars, like pure silver bars, at a 1 in 100 rate, which is pretty lacklustre. And obviously I don't have access to pure puro. So I would just have to find a hundred of them out in the wild. Um, but, um, so I just have to find a hundred of them out in the wild, which is rough as it is. Um, but I also would need 27 Hunter to do that. I'm currently 13, which isn't too bad. But my main problem is that I'm not getting random events out in the Revenant Caves. So most of the time in this chunk is going to be spent in the Revenant Caves, not <laughs> getting random events. So that's kind of rough. The only so, so, so basically what I'm thinking at the moment is if I leave agility until last, I can then do the fletching outside of uh, the wilderness obviously in varrock or whatever which will take a couple hundred hours probably and hope that i get enough random events in that time to get me to level 27 i think i need about 43 lamps to get me to 27 which sounds like a lot but now that they've made the random event changes where the you know like the camo event and all that stuff gives you lamps 
I'm thinking it might be a bit more doable to get to 27 before I finish the fletching, but I'm not 100% sure. The other thing I was wondering is, do you guys know of any methods to get a single silver bar so it can be a one-off or as rare as you like within the chunks that I have um, kind of quickly at all? So, you know, I'm thinking like, you know, you talk to a random NPC and give them a cup of tea and they give you a silver bar in exchange, something like that. All the methods that are on the wiki don't work at all. I can't get them aside from the baby imp one. But I'm thinking, you know, there, there has been stuff not on the wiki before. Really, really niche stuff where if I could get a silver bar... I could cut the agility ground down from about 100 hours, no, from about 300 hours to less than 100 hours by using the werewolf course, because the werewolf course is about 60k XP per hour compared to the 17k that the cannabis course is. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you know of any wacky or unorthodox methods to get a silver bar sort of in and around the low level wilderness, Varrock, or cannabis areas. Um, I'm not holding much hope, but if you do, we would be saving about 200 hours of agility grinding and we could kind of get back to rolling chunks way, way quicker. And there is 67 range, only three levels to go until we can finally equip some black dehyde, which will be a good day. I'm hoping that that level 67 means that I can now hit tens with steel arrows because they are markedly cheaper than mithril's. Oh, he's got a ballista. That's cool. I haven't seen one of those in a while. This guy's kind of stacked on the gear, which to me tells me he's probably got decent levels as well. So let's see if we get across here. Is he going to follow? Looks like no. Ah, fuck's sake. Looks like we're going to get away. Easy peasy. Whew. Oh, I was a bit worried about that one. Oh, here we go. This guy's even more stacked. Let's go. We've not got much food either, so... We're a bit screwed on this one. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, might kill me. Oh. Did I get it? Okay, he's not following. <laughs> okay, that one was really nerve-wracking. Okay, okay. So the reason that the silver bar is so important for us is it lets us complete Creature of Fenconstrain, and completing that quest gives us access to the Werewolf Agility course, which will cut my agility grind down by about 200 hours. To this end, my friend Saycase came up with a genius idea that some of you may be familiar with from Swampletics, dragging an NPC that drops a silver bar through a fairy ring into Mauritania. Desert lizards drop silver bars at a 1 in 64 rate and reside right next to a fairy ring, the very same fairy ring that Settled used to pull jackals through in Swampletics. Right, so this is where we are and we're trying to pull through these lizards. So the only one I can get to step near the fairy ring at the moment is this one, but it's a two by two, so it doesn't seem like it pulls through in the same way. So if I go like this, it doesn't look like it pulls forward in quite the same way as the jackals do. So I'm not 100% that that works with that one. So that implies that what I need to do is get the lizard to do it, one of these small ones, but I can't get one to pull close enough. Because um, you see how, where's the jackal that you can actually do? Oh, I can't find it. Um, yeah, okay, right. Let's, let's See, look, you can get a jackal to come through even when it's nowhere close to you. Can I attack that? I don't know. Yeah, you can pull jackals, but that's it. Oh, that's so annoying if you literally cannot get a desert lizard to follow you. I think it's probably just coded to maybe bring a jackal with you and that's that. Oh, that's so annoying. That could have been amazing. Oh, yeah, I think you're right, friend. 
I've got a PKR on me. Uh, not got my thing right. He got across the 65. Is he going to get across the... Uh, across the 75? Yeah, he is. Oh, fuck. We're so fucked. Right. My only hope is to try and get around this corner and get the log out. Oh! <laughs> I thought I was so fucked then. Oh, as if that guy had 75 agility. That's fucked, man. Oh my god, as if I got away from that. Wow. 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 And there is 68 range, two levels to go until the game-changing black dehyde. Exciting times for I. Right, I think it's finally time. I'm getting sick of having no money, so I'm going to trade these bad boys in. I think I might just leave that second ancient totem just in case we die and I've got like a mill left over. Um, you've got to do it on the bounty world, which is literally just one world, which is very grim. But I'm going to go scout it on my main so that it's not quite so risky. But I'm going to go log. Oh, I, should I should probably take some food with me, shouldn't I? <laughs> that would have been a bit of an epic fail. Um, so I'll take a few of those. And then some, something, like, something like that should be pretty safe, I think. So I'll go like that. And hopefully this will go smoothly. Okay, so we found the emblem trader on the main. It's up by the pyre fiends heading this way. That guy's going to attack me. Guessing. Should be ready to log out. Okay, no, we're good. This is slightly nerve wracking. It should just be here. Okay, got the 11.5 mil. Let's swap off the bounty hunter world. Oh, okay, right. We need to really, really not die with this stuff. So I'm just going to log out on every single PK that we see. We should be all right, though, I think. Probably worth saving a little bit of run. Um... 11.5 mil, really hope I get back with this because that would be really, really useful for me. A lot of runes can be bought, a lot of arrows can be bought, a lot of just general security. Not having to alk anything. Okay, looks like we're okay getting past this guy. Okay. Looks like we're going to be good. So annoying that you got to go to the Bounty Hunter world. I'm pretty sure you didn't always have to and you could just do it on any world. Um... But it looks like we got away with it, so we are happy for that. 11.5 mil, that is so massive. That's so much money on an Extreme 1 chunk as well. And there's only going to be more where that came from, especially once I can kill some better revenants. Right, there we go. 11.5 million GP secured. Chuck it in the bank. Look, we're low on arrows, low on runes. That is going to be a game changer. We've still got another one mil there. We got third ancient crystal last night, which I forgot to mention. And we can now finally start stacking up some of these item stacks. Uh, I've been kind of alking them, but I'm now out of nature runes as well. So if I want any more, I'm going to have to go to green dragons or something. But we can now finally start actually getting some proper, proper stacks of the alkables because that 11 mil is going to last us a long time, which is great news. And last night, whilst asleep in my bed, 75 magic was obtained. Should I keep going? I think so. I feel like... The range level is just going to keep going up and up and up, so being slightly ahead on the magic isn't necessarily the end of the world. Can I cast any interesting spells with 75? Uh, fire wave, so I could technically splash with blood runes, of which I do actually have some, I think. 900, I mean, I'm not going to waste them, but there we go. Uh, level 79 for entangle which would let me bind opponents for 15 seconds which is actually useful to me uh, because it could be useful to escape from pks once i hit a higher level 
Um, and I do have the bind sacks for it, so I can just use those to cast Entangle. So I don't even have to use the four law runes or whatever it is. Um, yeah, magic is booming. Let's have a look at the uh, collection log as well for the Revenants. We're currently at six and a half thousand. No drops recently, which is a bit gutting. But uh, the collection log is actually looking pretty good. We're over halfway done with it, technically. Although these four items are obviously the, the, the big boys. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping once I get to 70, I'll be able to move to the Pyre Fiends with a bit more credibility. And at the Pyre Fiends, uh, the drop rate will go down to ooh, 1 in 4,000 instead of 1 in 10,000. So yeah, we'll be in a better spot then. Oh, here we go. Wilderness Chunk Man. I'll tell you what, do you know what? Having the high magic level, I've really noticed recently that they splash a lot more often on me um, when they try and chuck the binds, which actually makes the escapes even easier. I will be honest, I have died a couple of times <laughs> on mobile um, because it's just so much harder to do the prayers on mobile. Um, I'm fine if they come with like magic and, a, and and range and I'm just choosing between, you know, bolting and using like god spells or whatever they use. The ones that actually kind of have a chance of killing me though are the ones that chuck the DDSs and the granite molds and stuff. Um, but as long as they don't do that and I'm on the PC, I'm pretty confident I won't die too often. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What level is he? 58. Yeah, no chance, pal. Cheers for wasting my time. <laughs> Why even bother if you're like 58 combat? It's just, it's just never going to happen. Come on. At least pick on some of the like level 30s that I see around. I'm so, I'll tell you what though, I am so happy I've got that agility escape. <laughs> it makes escaping so much more realistic. Alright, here we go. 69 range, just one level to go until level 70, which is going to be an absolute game changer. Very excited for that. Currently at... No, yeah, I do want collections logged. Currently at... It's nearly 7,000 revenants, still no more items, but hopefully that will turn around soon. So many PKers tonight, so many. Level 81 combat, looks like the kind of guy that might be able to escape. Unfortunately, my 75 magic meant that he could not catch a single bind. Things you love to see. Right. Fuck it, we're still only 69, so we haven't got the Black Dehyde, but I've run the DPS calcs, and the Black Dehyde doesn't seem to actually help the DPS too much. What I've got is some Adamant Arrows, and I'm going to try and kill the Pyre Fiend instead of the Goblin. So the defense level on the Pyre Fiend is still quite low at 33, so I should hit quite often. The only issue with it is that because it's got higher hit points, it heals 20 each time it heals, so it's it can be harder to um, to get the kind of DPS that you need to kill it like before it heals. So you kind of just need to get quite lucky on the hits. But with the Adamant Arrows and... Uh, with the Adamant Arrows and the capability to use Eagle Eye, I should be able to hit 13s. And 13s... Is quite good, and I think I'll be all right. Uh, it reckons the DPS calc reckons fifteen seconds per kill. I think that's unlikely, to be honest. But um, because of the healing mechanics, I think I think that's unlikely. But I hope it should be all right. Let's say let's give this a go. See how we get. Piss off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought I was going to log in and get killed then. Okay, so the, the accuracy is actually very good. Okay. Not healing? That can't be a normal kill. Okay. I'll tell you what, I wish I'd range pots so badly. Um, that would have been one of the good things if RTO had been in this chunk, is that even though it would have been asked to kill, um... 
he drops range potions, which I could have used for revenants or anything else, so that would have been cool. Uh, but here we are. Do you know what? This might be the way. This isn't too bad. And I'm pretty sure the regular loot from this is quite crazy uh, in comparison to the goblins. Let's do one more, see how it goes. I tell you what, it's accurate, isn't it? 87% accuracy does feel bloody accurate. Um, they're not hitting me too much either. I don't know what their max hit is. I came here with an empty bracelet, I believe. Okay, this is very doable. This is very doable. Okay, right, I might stick to this then. Um, the arrows are obviously a bit expensive, but they're not too bad. And that is the 75 agility shortcut there. So I'll have a pretty good escape route if I need to. Um, piss off. People are so disloyal. Okay, right, let's stick with it. Okay, so this is certainly very doable. Um, I think it will be so much better if I can bag myself an Avarice, because I think if I get an Avarice, my max hit would go up to 16 at this range level. Um, if I get level 73 range, currently 69, my max hit will go up to 14 anyway. So, yeah, I think I finally hit the crossover point where I can kill some slightly better revenants. Um, I probably won't do this when I'm on mobile, because... I actually have to use my prayers quite a lot. Like, I don't think I would get the kills very often if I wasn't using Eagle Eye. But when I'm on desktop, I'm definitely going to be doing this. So many bots, though, honestly. Well, there's no way anyone other than me is actually a legitimate player in the caves without an Avas device <laughs> ranging uh, Revenant. Surely that's just me. Hold the fuck up! This is the first... The first, um... Random event I've had in the Revenant Caves. Doesn't seem like coincidence that it's while I'm at Pyrefiends and, like, for the first time and not... at Goblins. What? Is there something about being near the entrance or something that stops you getting random events? I swear to God, I've had zero random events since being there. In, what, 7,000 goblin kills or so? And, what, 10 minutes into my stay at Pyrefiends and I got a random event? I'm confused now. What was that? I honestly didn't realise that was a thing. Also, can we point out how mental it is that the respawn time on the Pyrefiends is, like, 36 seconds and the respawn time on the goblins is, like, 48 seconds, even though these have four times as much hit points? That's just weird. Um, but yeah, looks like I can get random events then whilst in the Revenant Caves. Which is huge, actually, because that means that I can lamp my Hunter to 27 far easier than otherwise. So it looks like I will be able to get the silver bar that I need to complete Creature of Fenkenstrain, which means I'll be able to do 60k XP agility, 60k agility XP per hour when I finally get to having to do the agility. My god, this is such a big game-changing moment for the account. It's such bigger than I even appreciated immediately. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, this is good, this is good. Okay, I figured it out. It's because I was hopping at the goblins, isn't it? So I was only ever logged in for like 30, 40 seconds at a time. Now I'm at Pyrefiends and I'm not killing them fast enough to need to hop. I can get uh, looks like I do negative bracelet of Ethereum charges here because I just ran out. Okay, that's not the end of the world, I guess, but it's quite annoying. Um, so I'll just need to charge up my bracelet of Ethereum every so often, I guess. Um, but yeah, it looks like the random events are actually... You can get random events in the wilderness, no problem. It's the fact that I was hopping around that meant I wasn't getting any. So that's fine. Uh... That means that I can get um, random events in the wilderness, which I'm pretty sure the whole video I've been saying I couldn't. But the fact that I can is a game changer, at least for my mental state when it comes to getting the silver bar. 
Um, however, I am definitely still going to have the competition to see if anyone can get me a silver bar immediately because it would be nice to be able to do that agility grind mixed in with this revenant grind as opposed to doing the whole revenant grind and then doing the uh, agility grind afterwards so yeah i'll uh i'll give details of that at the end i've had a couple of pks hop in and just not attack me i think the reason is that they don't see me as worth it i think the higher the level the pk the less likely they are to attack some dork with a maple short bow Okay, maybe I'm mistaken and this guy is just going to attack me. <laughs> it was this guy that logged in and then hopped away. I'm hoping that he will leave me. Okay, yeah, so I think me with my maple shortbow and green dehyde, they just don't see as worth it because it's just a waste of runes. Um, I think they probably only attack people with like crossbows or whatever that they can guarantee to get either a thousand or two thousand ether from. Um, you know they're sort of like guaranteed 500k if you can kill them whereas i'm like a guaranteed 100 only so yeah i'm hopeful that now i'm at slightly higher level revs there'll be higher level pkers that aren't so willing to go for a noob like me and even if there are more pkers and they're higher level and can kill me easier less of them will actually bother to attack me um so we might be in a net better spot than we were at the goblins if i'm lucky let's see what this one is this one will be the crossbow on camera never lucky right is this guy gonna get on me no logged out as well okay right so is the new meta look so newbie in the rev caves that no one bothers to attack you it seems to be <laughs> that's gonna good i've been here for like about 35 minutes and possibly longer and no one's attacked me but i've seen a few pks at least so this could be the meta Okay, so I used about 300 adamant arrows on that trip. Didn't get attacked at all. We've got, what, uh, 86k's worth of bracelet of theorems in our invent, plus another 311k, so 400k worth of stuff, at least 200k worth of alks. 300 addy arrows probably costs us 40, 50k. So yeah, definitely still in profit using the addy arrows, so I'll just stick to using those. And I think Pyre Fiends may very well be the way. So what are we looking at now? 7.2k. So yeah, I think that's going to be the way. And uh, the drop rate of a weapon or Amulet of Avarice from a Pyre Fiend is about 1 in 4.5k. So about two and a half times better than the Goblins. And the range XP is a lot better because I'm in combat for a lot longer, whereas I'm hopping quite a lot of Goblins. So... I think this is going to be the way that we're going to get the remainder of the Revenant kills. Hey, we got our first PK. -er. Exciting stuff. Okay, time to see if this guy has 75 agility. He's only 74 combat, so he could quite easily not. Oh, nice. Techers. Go on, get across. Please don't have it. Okay, looks like we're all good. <laughs> but I am poisoned, so I'm going to have to go and sort that out. Ugh, that's annoying. The poison from the dragon daggers is one of the most annoying things they can do. I much prefer when they've got a granite maul. Uh, partly because it never hits, and also because it doesn't poison me. Um, but yeah, that was the first PK we've had, and I've got... 130 pyre fiend kills so yeah definitely less pk as i'd say um but yeah no good loot yet 1.8 mil uh in no 1.08 mil of loot in 130 kills so we're getting just short of 10k loot and we've had no emblems no weapons no anything so yeah i'd say good start okay big moment for the account coming in 70 range which means we can now equip black dehyde and crucially because we unlocked revenants and our starting chunk cannabis we can oh and the 87 crafting that we've got we can actually get that which is very exciting for me so let's go and do that and uh we'll be back 
We'll be back looking far more stacked than we are currently in our studded body and our green dehyde chaps. So we have 100 black dehyde so far, which is actually quite a lot. It means I can lose quite a lot of sets of this in the wilderness if I need to, though. I'm not dying as much as I really thought I would. So which guy is it? Is it this guy? I think so. Whoops. Run over here. How much is it? I bet it's expensive. Yeah, quite a lot. But there we go. 25 black dehydes done. And we can even craft black dehyde bodies. Look at that, 250 AXP each. That's a Mauritania task as well, which is very nice indeed. So, oh, no. Oh, well, I'll need some of those anyway. Get some chaps. Look at that, full black dehyde on a level 68 extreme one chunk iron, man. This is peak performance. <laughs> Right, so we've finished up crafting our black dehyde. So we've got 19 sets of tops and chaps, which is fine because we obviously use the bracelet of Ethereum while we're out in the rev caves, which is most of what we're going to be doing for combat at the moment. So we've got 19 sets that we can go ahead and lose, which is basically infinite. What I am going to do, though, is replenish my capes and boots because there is nothing more cringe than a RuneScape character without a cape. So uh, I'll do that, and then I guess... We'll get back to it. So our Revenant gear previously was this, but with a bracelet, which was plus 45 attack bonus and mage defense, probably most important, 16 mage defense. This is 68 mage defense and 76 attack bonus. So we're in a way better spot for landing our hits and also tanking PKers. If we add in our attack bonus from the Green Dehyde Vams, this was our absolute peak range gear, 53 attack bonus. And this is now 87. Green Dehyde Vams are, I believe, equivalent of Barrow's gloves uh, by themselves. So we are laughing. And just look, can I just say, look at how stacked we look. Black Dehyde on an extreme one chunk account. That is pretty rare and very, very cool. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be our Revenant setup from now on. Look at us. Whoa, beautiful. My favourite accounts are the bots that as soon as you log in, just auto-telly. How can that be a good botting method at Revenants? It must take ages to get back. And you must be teleporting after you get, like, one kill because there's just always people running past. Like, um, most of them aren't PKers. But just as soon as I logged in, the account just launched the teleport and off he went. What's the point? That must be like the least GP efficient bot ever. Look at this dork. What's he on me for? Just random geezer with poison knives. Like, thanks, bro. Right, let's, uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> That was just bizarre. <laughs> Weird when like other Revenant killers attack you for seemingly no reason. Okay, I've just done a small amount of research and found out that the Revenant Orc only has 60 defense. So even though it's got high hit points, 105, it's got low defense. So I think there's a chance that I could actually kill them relatively effectively. So let's just give it a go and see how we do. Okay, I was definitely wrong on that. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't know if they've got... I mean, they hit me hard as well. I don't know if they've got, like, uh, high range defense or something similar, but yeah. Wow, there's a lot of crazy geared up PKs and stuff out, out at the moment. Um, hopefully that's not going to be too bad in my combat bracket. Oh, here we go. Level 82 pure. I reckon we'll probably be all right. I'm loving the black dehyde, though. They splash a lot. I'm very sad that I wasn't able to grab that. Okay, can he cross? Maybe? Kind of walked over like he might be able to, but I got away. Which is good news. Cool. Right. <laughs> Just as easy to get away here as elsewhere, and the Black Dehyde is definitely helping. 76 magic Black Dehyde is pretty splashy, which is nice. Why do they bother... They're so annoying. I think it's because they think I'm a bot or something, because I've got, like, no gear. Ugh, boring. Oh well. Oh, we got a ballista. Looks like he knows what he's doing, but we all know he's not going to have 75 agility. Yeah, shock. 
<laughs> I swear, getting that stupid 71 agility grind at the start of this account was the single best thing that has happened to me. Uh, what? Six weeks later, eight weeks later, I'm just absolutely loving it. Out of all the pain of having done it has has faded away and now we're just left with the pure glory of having the levels. Right, guaranteed teleports. Yeah, told you. Look, they're all bots. It's crazy how many bots there is here. Like, they just log in there, or Hot World's in there, every... more than every minute, and they either instantly teleport, or just log out straight away again, or run away. It's crazy. I don't... I genuinely don't understand, like, how they make any money. <laughs> It's great though, look, because you can just attack them and they teleport away. <laughs> you can literally just have any world you want. <laughs> oh, go on then. Second random event we've got out here and it's a genie again. Two genies in a row. Good times. Good times indeed. Right. Is that going to be another hunter level? I don't think so. We'll probably put us close to the next one. Uh, yeah, pretty close. Not bad, eh? Not bad. Oh, here we go. This guy is geared with the uh, Staff of the Dead, which is normally not a good sign. Fingers crossed. Okay, looks like we're good. I think you'd have crossed if you could. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're laughing. The venom is irritating, though. See ya, baby. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I, I would never get bored of that. You guys are probably bored of that, but I'm not. <laughs> Should we just waste this bot's time just because it's fun? And teleport. Three, two, one. Yeah, there we go. See ya. <laughs> Look at this guy. Level one agility. Which is quite funny. This should be an easy escape. But he's kind of wrecking me. Run! Oh my god, my clicks at the minute are terrible. I'm baiting this guy so good with the prayer switches though. As if they hit like that through prayer. Nuts, that 40 defense is killing me a bit. Yeah, you can't get me. Haha, <laughs> see ya! <laughs> Why do they... I can't believe people make accounts like that and come PK. Is he doing something else on the side, which is why he's, why he's like one, like he's got, he's 354 total with 94 magic and 80 range. So I'm guessing so, but <laughs> bizarre. Uh, I don't know if I should stay for more. This feels like a mistake. I um, don't think there's much I can do. Right, let's get this bot to teleport. See ya. Oh. Not a bot, maybe? Not a bot? Really? Surely he is. Maybe not. That's very strange. Since we've moved to the Pyre Fiends, the XP has been booming because I've realised that actually you're more accurate on the Pyre Fiends than you are on the Goblins because they've only got uh, 10 range defence, have the Pyre Fiends, compared to like 32 for the Goblins. Uh, but that is 72 range. At the next level, we're going to get a max hit on the uh, on the Adamant Arrows up to 14 instead of 13. So that will increase our kills per hour as well. But I'm enjoying the Pyre Fiends at the moment. We are on 532 kills. So we're over 10% of the way to a weapon rate just on the Pyre Fiends that I've been doing recently. So I'm hopeful that we're going to get something good soon. Okay. So there is two parts of the zombie outfit. I haven't got many of those random events. But uh, yeah, hopefully that should be the end of the zombie 
outfit, and I'll be able to get lamps from that from now on. Cause uh, oh, 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 oops, oops. Oh my god! Right, account, account failed epically. <laughs> Yet another genie in the wilderness, things you love to see. Is there like a a thing where only certain types of random events can spawn um, in the wilderness? Very well could be, I guess. Um, but yeah, we're, we're kind of scything through this uh, hunter ground at the minute, which is great news. We have just hit 8,000 revenants and still nothing new. <laughs> I'm really, really hoping we get something. I've not had anything from the revenant pyrofiends yet. And I've killed 750 of them. Um, I think to get like an emblem or something, I probably have gone past the rate to get one of those by now. So yeah, a bit disappointing not to get one, but we keep on keeping on. Oh, we might have a death on our hands here. This guy actually has the agility level. Run! Uh, get the gap, get the gap, get the gap! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh no! Oh, we're so fucked. Okay, we might get it if we run around here. Oh my god, that was so close. I was like, I didn't even bother recording, so I was like, oh no, there's no way he's gonna have the agility level. And then he did! Oh, that one hit points with the 19, when he hit the 19 and I was down to one hit points. That was brutal, man. Oh my god, that was so crazy. Huge level about to come in. We've been doing quite a lot of revs on the mobile over the weekend. Here is level 75 range, which is pretty big. Uh, we're at 66 hit points, 70 combat, which is starting to cause us some problems because we're starting to get like Zerkas on us in full void and stuff, which is a bit rough. Uh, clan chat supportive as always. Um, but yeah, we're at, so I think we're probably about 8.6, 8.7k revs, something like that. Um, but yeah, it's going well. It's going well. I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying myself. And that's the main thing. Oh yeah, something else to note. Just got an ancient crystal, which I believe is ancient crystal number four. It is. So yeah, 8.7k revs. So if we get a house at some point and a high enough construction level, we can create one of those little little wilderness portals in our house. Not that it's very useful because I'd have to unlock all of them all across the wilderness for, to be able to use them. Um, so that's not ideal, but cool nonetheless. I find this guy caught me like on the way out. I need to look his stats up. Who's that? Okay, he's 35 agility. So I can use this 65 shortcut to get away. Uh, we should be alright. I'm hoping from here. Come on. God, the bolts just fucking wreck you, don't they? I'll drink the fucking potion, my god. Ugh. Just cannot get it. Okay, this should be good because I think he's 35 agility. Ugh. Get off me. Okay, looks like we should be all right. Just gotta get these prayers right. Okay, it should be good. Oh, don't fall with me. Oh! Okay, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> that was nerve wracking. I told you. Look at them. He's just straight onto the next guy. <laughs> Love that for him. Wow, I was so close to death. I look at the invent and I totally forgot that I had my fourth ancient crystal on me. <laughs> that would have been a bit awkward if I'd lost that. So yeah, there is four ancient crystals and confirmation of our wilderness uh, teleport obelisk thing completed in, in theory, of course, because I can't build one because I haven't got a house or the construction skill unlocked. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs>
I will never get bored of the double dragon plate legs drops to like 320k, that's so nice. 500k in the bag, another 100 I should probably bank with 700k worth of loot, but fuck it, we ball, we ball. I've heard the what we're going to be pleased in the comments to uh, fix up the bank, so here we go, organise this slightly, I think that looks pretty nice, I don't think there's a better way really to organise that, but um, yeah. A lot of loot when you look at it like that. 27 mil and I cashed in about 11 mils worth of emblems. So now I've actually got some coins. These rune and dragon items are going to stack up a lot. I mean the rune plate legs alone is 1.2 mil in alks. The dragon long swords another 900k. I mean yeah this is going to be big money eventually. And these are very nice items in the long term as well. The addy bars are nice. The U logs and magic logs are nice for obvious reasons. The coal is actually very, very nice as well in the long run. So yeah, it's nice to get some good items kind of stacking up. Come on, what is the rate on those things? Like I swear they're basically as rare as some of the rarer emblems. I've got five of them now. <laughs> Come on, give me something else. Holy fuck! I was just I, I, right. I was just in bed playing on mobile, um, and I I've run outside to the studio um, in the middle of the night to show you what has just occurred. Um, okay. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, I charged it with the with um, some ether before realizing I really need to go out and, and record. Oh my god. Look at that! We got a fucking crossbow! What's the kill count on it? I didn't even look. Uh, 9.2. Crossbow done! <laughs> You know what the rate is on that from a pyrophene? One in 23,000. And we just pulled a fucking crossbow on the Extreme One Chung Iron Man. That is nuts. I also did a uh, DPS calculation on it just before um, coming out. Because I, I was like, oh, I should probably just stay in bed. And I thought, oh, no, fuck that, I'm coming out. Um, look at the clipping on that. Um, the max hit on this with Eagle Eye and 76 range is a 27. I could only hit a 14 with a maple shortbow, and this is three tick the same. So I basically doubled my DPS. Oh, and that's just on the damage. The accuracy is also, I'm getting nuts as well. Yeah, 133 in comparison to 87. I mean, look at that though. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's the best thing that could have happened as well. Because even if I got the mace, which is pretty good, I'd need to train my stats for it. The scepter would have been alright as well, but I haven't got any, like, mage gear. But I do have black dehyde, so the crossbow is perfect. Oh my god, just look at that. That is nuts. That is nuts. <laughs> Right, time to go use this bad boy to finish off the uh, 10k. Okay, we're going unsculled for now because I would really like to avoid losing my crossbow before the video even is released. So <laughs> I'll probably go sculled in future, but we'll just unsculled to finish off these 10k revs. The DPS on this thing is nuts in comparison to four. Look at that, 27. That is nuts. It just means that I can actually kill some proper revenants now as opposed to the low hit point low damage ones um and these ones just drop a lot of stuff very often so i think these drop essentially four times less coins than the pyrophenes did um which is kind of nuts it means i'm just gonna fill my invent very very quickly with like proper loot you know alcables and bars and battle staffs and this kind of thing so yeah, very exciting to get a rev weapon, I must say. Really, really cool. Also, I'd just like to point out I'm getting like over 55k range XP per hour now, <laughs> which is kind of nuts. Um, so we're going to be flying through range levels as well. 
um, in comparison to before. Uh, this is genuinely the biggest game changer ever. And this thing's good outside the wilderness as well. I mean, it's it wouldn't be hitting 27s. I think it'd be hitting 18s. But still, that's really good for the low, low cost of some Reven Revenant Ether. I mean, yeah, this is a huge upgrade for me. Huge. Right, I mean, this is just insane, right? 12 minutes and I'll fill the looting bag. 120k there, another kind of... 70k there so let's call that 200k plus another 200k in there so 400 ish k in 12 minutes so we're talking about two mil in uh you know raw ish gp per hour without getting any emblems or without getting any weapons this is crazy the crossbow goes absolutely nuts Look at me, I just saw a guy using like Earth Blast on the Pyre Fiends and I just let him know that it's a bad idea to do that because, you know, where Pyre Fiends are really good for hitting them with range, they're really terrible for hitting them with magic, but I'm just a good citizen, even in the Rev Caves. Here we go, our first PK are on us. Since we got the crossbow, has he got the range, has he got the agility level? No, he does not, so we're all good. I'm pretty sure this is a 75 agility uh, shortcut here. So we should be good. There we go. Oh, we can kill these uh, imps whilst we wait to... Uh... He's not actually teleblock me, so I might just stay in this world, to be honest. Uh, go on then. Unsculled off an imp. Let's get the Vigora's mace. So the dra... Shall I give the dragons a go? Do you need to have... Do they fire blast you? Pretty sure they might. I'm gonna just hop worlds just in case, because I'm pretty sure if I hop worlds and the dragons kill me, that guy won't get my stuff. Um, cool, right, let's go back. Um, I might be completely made up in that, but we'll see. But yeah, let's let's give the dragons a go, see how they, see how they do. See if they're too tanky for us still. Uh, doesn't seem too bad. 155 hit points is a lot, though, and they're kind of shredding with the uh, with the fives through prayer, like through the bracelet and the prayer. Not too bad, though. I definitely could kill them. The food usage would be crazy, though. Um. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be worth it, but. Interesting that I can kill them. We've progressed a long way in this uh, in this series so far. Um, right, so let's go back to quads. I think quads is going to be the best. Um, just for the kills per hour and the range training. I think once I skull up again, I might do something different. Might go back to orcs or something, but I'll leave all the analysis on what we're going to do with the crossbow for the next video. Main thing is just to finish up this 10k kill. And here is level 77 range, which is a pretty big level because I believe that now means that I can hit 28s with the crossbow instead of 27s. And that's our last max hit that we're going to get. Or, yeah, so there, we can hit 28. So that's going to be our last max hit until we hit level 81, where our max hit jumps from 28 to 30. So I've no idea why getting, you know, 79 doesn't put it to 29. It just doesn't. Uh, but yeah, last max hit we're going to get for a while. And there is 9,500, 500 to go. Still cannot believe I got the crossbow. I'm so happy about it. Um, the loot from the demons and cyclops at quads is just insane. The kills per hour, it's really quick as well, so that's really nice. Oh, oh I'm so happy. So, so happy. This homie just got an 8 mil emblem, this bot did. I feel like if I was on a main account and I wasn't risking a crossbow if I attacked him, I'd probably be thinking about it. Grats to the bot owner for getting 8 mil. What luck. <laughs> I wish that was me. I'll tell you what, the botting problem at quads is so much worse than any others. Let me hop to a random world, and I bet there are just tons of people everywhere. Or it'll be cleared out. Yeah, just look at this. All of them bots. Insane. Like, honestly, what is this? I've never seen a, like, a bot infestation like this either. 
Um, he's a real player, probably. It's these ones that are just words followed by three numbers. They are not real players at all. Like, bizarre. There must be hundreds of accounts here because they're all over the Rove Caves as well. Like, they're in every, there's multiple of them in every single world at every single rev spot. It's crazy. There's so many. <laughs> Fucking hell. Another ancient crystal. <laughs> Sixth one, sadly. I'll tell you what, I'd do well to have, like, a personal PK, wouldn't I? Anyone uh, who fancies just coming to the Rev Caves and standing close to me and scaring everyone off, that would be uh, much appreciated. <laughs> this is wild. Oops. <laughs> I just got clawed out by a guy. Um, didn't smite me. Um... Which is fine, because obviously I didn't even have a plus one. Um, but <laughs> put the Frighteners on me a bit and lost all my Revenant uh, Ether charges, which is a bit gutting. Um, but yeah, so can I mass break these? Is that a thing? Or do you just... Oh wow, is that really it? I guess I could set the left click, but wow, okay. Oh god, that was a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think orcs is off the table. There's just like a lot of PKs at orcs. Do you wear wigs? Uh, no, I do not. Have you worn wigs? No, I have not. Will you wear wigs? Maybe. When will you wear wigs? <laughs> Two episodes ago, we rolled the Revenant chunk. This meant a 1000 hour grind to greenlog the revenants as well as get 89 agility and 87 fletching with subpar methods for all three goals. In the last episode we made insane progress on these goals by snagging ourselves an early crossbow within our first 10,000 revenant kill count. Can we keep making progress this week? Let's find out. Welcome back to Canifis Chunk. If you enjoy these videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. We're in the Rev Cave, so there's a ton of content to show you, and I'm going to try and release these weekly for the time being, and I don't want you to miss a second. Here is a list of all the tasks that we got to do in the Revenant chunk with green ticks on the ones that we already have completed at the start of the episode. Hello, and welcome back to, I believe, episode 9? of the can of fish chunk video i just uploaded the last one and i mentioned in it that my plan was to uh was to skull up with the crossbow in the rev caves but i'm a bit scared of that so reason being that if i turn on my quick prayers you can see i've got a minute remaining on that for f43 prayer which is protect magic eagle eye and protect item if i disconnect that's going to go to zero um, just in the one minute that it takes for your character to actually log out of the world. So if that happens, I'm going to lose my crossbow if I'm sculled in the Rev Cave. So <laughs> that is what we want to avoid. Um, if I turn that on only, it's a lot longer. And if I do it like that, it's a decent amount longer as well. Um, which is all well and good. Um, but my main worry is that because super restores, which I can get as more blighted super restores, I can get as a drop from the revs, uh, only heal up like 17 prayer points or something. I obviously can't be 44 prayer points all the time because that's my max. So I'm going to be down at like 25 if I'm getting the most use out of my potions. But if I'm in that, in that scenario, then I leave myself open to just get smited. Um... <laughs> um, must yeah one quarter of damage dealt is also removed from the opponent's prayer so you know if I get just hit down from 70 hit points to zero I'm going to be really pushing it close on on just getting smited if I disconnect so it's not really worried about getting smited by people BKing me it's more being worried about people smiting me if I DC um, so yeah Having said that, first thing I'm going to do then is go to Green Dragons and just get my prayer up. And the Green Dragons this time should be a lot easier because I've got a crossbow. So, uh, yeah, let's get stuck into that see how fast the kills are and if I can do any better safe spots or anything like that. Do you remember when these used to take me, like, 
two minutes per kill. <laughs> and now they're just like AFK. So I've decided to not pick up the green dehyde because I just don't think it really helps me too much. Um, oh, fuck's sake. Um, yeah, I don't think it really helps me too much uh, with what I'm trying to do. I will take emeralds, though, because they could be useful for teleports in the future if I can get access to gold bars in some way. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be really useful. I might get into the 50s of prayer, maybe. I might not do it all in one go, but I'll do it eventually. Um, but yeah, this is going to be super helpful and relatively quick. And having the Ectophuntus is going to be very helpful indeed. Okay, I found a world free of PKers. If I stand exactly here, which I can't mark because I'm not going to plug and turn on, then I can kill this one and this one safe spotted without moving and then just loot the bones. And then they should be spawning back in by the time I've done that. Yeah, so five seconds on that. Grab that. Oh, not that. Grab that. And then step back to that. Perfect. This is not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, I totally forgot that these drop nature runes, which is actually very useful for me for if I need to alk anything. These are my by far my best source of nature runes. Um, it's quite tricky for me to get them. There's nothing better than this. I mean, even this isn't great in terms of just pure nature runes, but can be very, very useful for me. Um, don't need the Addy Med Helm anymore, the Addy Full Helm anymore, because we've got a Rune Full Helm. No, we've got Dragon Med Helm as a best in slot, I guess, but we can't use that yet, but I can use the Rune, rune Full Helm. I'm not entirely sure if I've ever done a Freaky Forester event on this account in 32 days of game time, so yeah, it's going to take us a little while until we, uh, we start getting lamps from that one, but that is another one where we will get lamps, which is exciting stuff, because if there's one thing I need, it is lamps. Because, uh, yeah, 15 Hunter is, is not great uh, when I need to get 27. <laughs> oh, kill me. Big level about to come in 80 Magic. Huge. I might stop there for now. Because if I get a Theramon Scepter and I want to do a Magic Grind, I'll be kind of annoyed if I level my Magic too high. So I might just stop there for the time being might go 85 at some point but not just yet um but yeah not too bad not too bad not too bad right let's get back to either green dragons or revenants i'm not entirely sure which i'm doing right apologies if you can hear the diggers outside but i asked in the last video should we get the respawn point in ferox enclave so you unlock it with ferox there which is in my chunks and the respawn location is over there which is out of my chunks but at the moment when i die I'm ending up in Lumbridge, which is, you know, even further out of my chunks. So, you know, it's an unlock within the chunks with a questionable spawn location. I think the idea that I went with was, yes, I have to unlock it and therefore use it, but I can't use it on purpose. So I can't die as a means of teleporting to Ferox Enclave um, on purpose. You know, it's, it's only there for if I die. Uh, without meaning to, so that I'm closer to the chunks that I actually have. Um, tell me more, so let's do that. Okay, switch my respawn to Ferox Enclave. Right, there we go. So that was 5 million of my gold gone. We're down to 2.7 mil left. Luckily, I'm not having to buy Addy Arrows anymore, so the, the, the GP stack isn't really diminishing. And I've got emblems that I could trade in, and I've got a lot of alcables that I could alk if I needed to. I mean, look, that's three mil just in the rune plates and rune plate legs. So, yeah, we're kind of laughing on that. Uh, we've got a lot of these, which look like they have a high alk value, but I'm going to have to break them all down for ether at some point, because the crossbow, as good as it is, it does absolutely devour ether charges. So, yeah, that's kind of where we're at at the moment. Um, it's good though. I'm enjoying the chunk. I'm enjoying it even more now I've got a crossbow. I'm really getting the itch though to skull up in the rev caves. Um, so I really need to just go and do the green dragons at some point. Maybe I'll do that while I'm on mobile or something. So, uh, so um, it does because because rev caves is scary even unsculled because of this. So like you know if I die I'm gonna lose two thousand one hundred ether, which is a lot of money <laughs> it's like you know three four five hundred k and i can't just get infinite ether charges so 
Yeah. Let's get on with it. Okay, I've never used this spot before, but it is very cool. Uh, you cannot get hit by the Revenant Dragon um, if you stand exactly here for some reason that I don't know. Sorry if you can hear the building work. That is crazy how loud they be. Um, the only reason that it might not be viable is that my accuracy is not, I don't think, quite high enough for the dragon. Because um, it does heal for some reason. When you do this with the Revenant Knight over there, it doesn't heal. But this Revenant Dragon does heal. And I can't necessarily consistently out-hit the healing uh, really well. So this might not be worth it in the long run. But pretty cool, though, that you can just stand here and not take any damage from it because that's the main thing with it well that kill went relatively smoothly actually um and the drop rate on items from the dragon is like absolutely crazy so yeah i'll give this an, i'll give this a bit of a go I'll give it a fair test and have a look so actually i think what i'm gonna do in the early stages of this video is try and find the best spot that i can that's a weird animation bug isn't it um try and find the best spot that I can in terms of kills per hour. So I'm measuring the dragons at the moment. I'll do sort of 20, 30 minutes of this and see what the XP, what the kills per hour is. Uh, I'll do it at some of the other kind of best spots in the game. And then I'll do the maths on drop rates versus kills per hour to decide what is the best place to end up. Um, and if and where we're going to skull. Okay, so we've got 12 kills in 15 minutes, which doesn't feel great to me in terms of uh, rev weapons per hour. I'm going to uh, just quickly move over to quad, see if I can find a mostly empty world. And I'm just going, oh, this is not too bad, actually, two MSBs, um, and see how many we can get here. So we just finished at quads. We got 10 Cyclops kills and 11 Demon kills, which is, you know, uh, 20... 21 kills overall, which me and we got to times that by six, so 126 kills per hour, I believe, which I think, well, I'm 99% confident is going to be better than the dragons for at least rev webs per hour, but we shall see. What I'm planning on doing is making a little spreadsheet of all the different methods and uh, and showing you guys some really, really stonking data to uh, back up my choices in future. Okay, next up is the Orc, but the problem with Orcs is there's only two of them, and there is always a bot here in some form. Um, if I skull up, I reckon I can get them to leave, because I just attack them when they teleport straight away, but as is, they don't leave, so I can't actually get on both Orcs at all, unless I pit them like that, <laughs> which is quite good, but I can't kill them fast enough to constantly have the two, so yeah... That could kind of influence the numbers a little bit negatively, but I guess if there's always a bot here, then, you know, that's just a feature of the orcs, really, and there's not much I can do about that. So, yeah, just going to bear that in mind. And potentially when we scull up, I'll run this test again. I will never tire of the dragon plate skirts. So good. Okay, the bot left. So potentially we might get some time with both orcs here right now, which is... Uh, Probably good. So we've got four minutes of one orc and then hopefully, you know, another few minutes at least of two to kind of give us a bit of a balanced assessment. Um, but the orcs, the orcs feel nice and the fact they're in low will is very nice as well. Okay, so we're looking at 22 kills in 12 minutes, which means times that by five. So a hundred and... 10 kills per hour at the Orcs, which really isn't too bad, is it? Um, that's very good. We did sort of have a probably 60-40 split on two to ourselves versus um, versus having to share. So that kind of ties in a little bit. But yeah, not too bad. I think if I'd had a fresh run at the quads, I'd have probably got a lot more than 126 though, right? Um, so I guess it's kind of fair in that regard. Okay, so next up, we're going to keep it where we've had luck before and try out the Pyre Fiends. Now, I think the risk here is that the Crawl's Bow will just be too OP for the Pyre Fiends and I'll kill them too quickly for their respawn timer. But 
might still work out and it'll probably be pretty uncontested um or it used to be uh <laughs> although i can't actually necessarily attack the bots because i'm not really willing to skull up at the moment but there we go so it is 507 and we have i don't know how many on the counter but we shall see so yeah look i mean i'm gonna kill them very quick and they have a 35 second respawn timer um so yeah that's gonna be a bit rough but let's see how we do Oh, fucking hell. How, how rare are they? I don't even want to know. <laughs> Six magic seeds. <laughs> totally useless for me because I don't have access to farming at all. But maybe nice in future. So in 10... No. Yeah, 10 minutes of Pyre Fiends, we have killed 26 of them. So we need to times that by 6 which is, uh, come on, maths, 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 uh, 156 of them. Um, so that is not too bad. Oh, a little bit of a spoiler there for uh, me writing my scripts for the videos. Uh, but yeah, 156 of them per hour. I don't think this is going to beat quads out on the drop rates for the weapons, um, but we shall see. Uh, I've got a couple other places I want to try, but I think this is going to be strong, but not the strongest. So I decided not to do any other revenants because they just weren't as good, um, just uh, even without trialing them. Um, but these are the ones that we've got and the GP and unique rate per one. So the dragons, obvious right off. The GP per hour, not great. The hours for a unique, terrible. Um, Pyre fiends, decent on the uniques per hour at 54 and 30. But the GP per hour is miserable at about 1.1 mil. Uh, where it really sort of comes about a sort of six and two threes is between quads and orcs. So they're about the same as a unique for a unique on this spreadsheet. Uh, but the GP per hour on the orcs is slightly better. I think I got quite a good like run at the orcs in this in the sample that i did in comparison to quads i th in quads i got attacked and had to wait sort of like 45 seconds um and in the orcs i didn't get attacked at all and there wasn't there someone for uh, there wasn't someone there for more than half the time which is pretty rare at orcs so i think quads is going to be the best I th just the bot infestation makes quads the best because there's like four in one room so there's just a lot more often times like like there's one up that you can get on um when i start sculling i think i'll probably run this again uh because if i skull it means i can attack the bots and the bots as we saw in the last video just teleport instantly if you attack them so what i'm thinking is like at quads and at orcs if i just attack the bot that's there i will have the place to myself and if I've got it to myself, then the kills per hour is going to be a lot higher. So we're going to be doing quads and orcs from here on out, probably leaning into quads mostly. But when we start sculling, we'll run the test again and see how we get on. Right, I'm actually just going to try sculling up and see if it helps at all um, with what we're trying to achieve. So let's stick that protect out. Oh, no. <laughs> I won't be sculling. Uh, player attack options. Always right click. Let's just attack him and see if he tellies. No. Does he? No. Does he? No. Okay, right. That's that's not particularly good. Um, I need to just make sure I have protect item on at all times. Uh, okay, right. That isn't that great then because that is going to limit what we can i mean just look at the bot infestation it's absolutely crazy um i don't know what i can do to make them tell you that maybe just literally come here on an alternative account and just clear them out it's probably best <laughs> um we'll see <laughs> i'll be honest lads this is fucking scary <laughs> i'm like nervously checking my protect item every like five seconds my god but i, f I just feel like it's worth it like what, a 52, 53 hour rate down to a 27 hour rate. Like that's really big improvements, basically half the time. Um, like it's half the time. So like if I sculled up again, 
I'd probably get I'd get two in the time I'd get one if you know what I mean so yeah I just feel like this is probably worth it even though it's slightly scary and it's putting me on edge <laughs> I appear to have broken this bot I attacked him a few times uh, to skull up and just to see if I could get him to teleport away and he's just stopped and has been stood there for about five minutes or so so yeah not really sure what's happening there but <laughs> So it appears we might be able to break the bots, even if we can't get them to teleport away. I guess that's better than uh, actually... I guess that's actually better if they just stand there not doing anything. Oh, this is our first genie in a while. Stickman Hunter should be 16 yet. Yeah, one level until we can catch baby implings with a butterfly net, but I cannot get access to a butterfly net, which is incredibly sad. But yeah, 11 levels to go until we can get ourselves the silver bar that we so desperately need. Uh, if you can't tell, I've just decided fuck it and I'm just going to skull up even though I'm 44 prayer. Um, it's not too bad. If I just flick the prayers like this, even if I disconnect, I won't run out. Uh, smite is quarter of your hit points. So even at 70, they'll only take 17 hit points off me. So as long as I stay above about 25, 30 prayer points, I should be safe short of my own fuck up. Uh, I'm not too worried that I'm going to just like get smited by a pk -er. Um, if I haven't disconnected because I'm so paranoid with the making sure that I've got uh, protect item on that I should be fine um, and yeah I thought let's just get stuck in get the improved drop rates and start rattling through these uh, these collection log slots because <laughs> there's a lot of them to get and uh, even the relics and stuff could go you know into the multiple multiple tens of thousands if we got unlucky so I've seen a guy who off task sculled took 63,000 revenants to complete the collection log so hopefully we don't go that dry uh, we're at about 10,700 or something right now uh, but yeah I'm just gonna keep going and see what we can get right here we go 80 range look at that we are filming clips just as we're shouting out our own youtube channel <laughs> to people which is outrageous um there we go though you know you never too you never get too many viewers to uh turn down another one i'll do my own advertising in game <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, 80 range. I'm sure that's just going to keep going up. I I wouldn't I wouldn't be too surprised if we get 99. I don't think we will. I think we'll probably end up probably mid 90s by the time we finish this chunk. But to be honest, I'm actually quite a high range level now. So if I got a if I got the mace in particular, I would probably just start using that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> man. Um, yeah, I'd probably just start using the mace because, you know, the range is decent now and having high melee stats would be helpful as well. So, yeah, I'd probably just immediately get 60 attack and like 80 strength. Now that I've moved to quads instead of the pyrophenes for a decent amount of time, the loot tab is just going crazy. Look how fat that is. 45 mil with only 2 mil of it being the emblems. Like such fat stacks these these item stacks are going to be absolutely massive by the time we're done um i'm kind of breaking even on the food now in comparison to what i was before i used to get a lot more food and i didn't eat any when i was at goblins and pyrophenes but the rest of it is just going absolutely crazy we're net positive we're going net positive on the ether which is good so that means we're keeping stacking it up because if i get any other wildy grinds i'm going to probably need a lot of ether uh so yeah that's useful and crucially one of the next things we're going to do at least on recording is i'm planning on making myself a ring of wealth um not that it's useful at revenants but cool item to have and will actually give me a proper imbued ring what i need to do is go and get a cosmic rune and i believe i can get those from yeah i don't have any in a minute i believe you get those from banshees so if i can go and get one cosmic rune then i will be laughing and i'll be able to go and get myself a ring of wealth which i feel like is pretty cool for a chunk account
Not too bad. The singular gold bar, by the way, is from the pirate random. He's got like a chance of giving like a gold necklace or a gold ring or a gold bar. I can't actually get gold bars in any other way than that random event. So we can only make the one ring of wealth. I feel like the ring of wealth is better than making just a single ring of dueling that I'll just blast through really quickly. Um, but yeah, a ring of wealth is pretty cool. Oh my god, I just got unsculled and got dragon med straight away, which I think is like a... Oh, I don't think it's 1 in 2.5k anymore, I think that was only from Goblin, so it's not as rare as I thought it would be, but to get that straight away from like kill 1 is annoying, but I need to, uh... I need to scull up again. Uh, I guess I'll just... I'm not 100% sure if this guy's a bot or not, so I will just kick him rather than attack him up by... Oh yeah, okay, here's a box. He started praying, mate. Oh! Right! That could be big, actually. So if I hit them with a style that isn't my bow, maybe they think they're getting PK'd and they run away? Potentially, because I've not had any of the bots run away from me um, when I hit them with my bow, but maybe that could be the strat. Hit them with the fists and then they just panic and leg it, thinking they're getting hit with melee. Ah. Oh, first PK! Uh, since we've been on the, uh, since we've got Skulled with the crossbow, but luckily <laughs> he's only got 63 agility, so we got away with it, but that could have been a bit awkward. <laughs> uh, right, let's hop. Oh, here we go. Another pk -er. Right, just need to make sure that we don't get smited. Is the only thing I have to do is make sure we don't get smited. This guy, oh, this guy is 75 agility, which is kind of a rip. Really entirely sure what's the actually the best thing to do. I guess just run away and hope for the best. I don't, yeah, I really actually don't know what's the best thing to do. Um, yeah, this might just be a death. Unless I can kind of fakey him somehow. Hmm. Okay, right, what are we going to do to get away with this? I mean, his damage is really, really bad. <laughs> best strategy is going to be to like, bait him into going across uh, when I don't. Ah, come on. <laughs> Just don't get smited. Don't get smited and we're good. Run, run, run. Okay, this might be the best bet. Come on. Get around here. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, I'm so shocked I got that one. I was really not expecting that. My god. That was stress. <laughs> wow. 
Okay, I would say that is a decent strategy then. Just sort of mess them about on here. And then the run round there and round that corner seems like it's not a clear line of sight very well. Um, so, yeah, I think that might be the play, really. Um, I think I might just have to bank, though. Re no, I'll stick with it. Watch this, though. You can definitely make the bots run by just kicking them. But See ya. And see ya. <laughs> so that is definitely the strategy to get rid of the bots going forward. Um, attack them with a bow and they, they don't react, but if you kick them, they, they just run away straight away. So that's good. I can't believe I escaped that PK. We're going to close the bag because we're going to start picking up all the food and restores and stuff that we get and just hope that the PK doesn't show up in the next kind of five minutes or so. Just got another PK on us. What's this guy's agility? 46. Okay, so this guy looks like he can do a lot more damage, but we should be decent to escape. Okay, run. Run. Oh shit, don't get smited. Should be good. <laughs> okay, it's starting to get quite late at night, and when it gets late at night, the PK has got a bit spooky. Right, we are actually venomed, which isn't good news. Um, okay, right, we need to hop worlds uh, to get rid of the telly block, uh, but then I need to get back without dying to that venom, and I have a very small amount of food. Um, and not very much run either, so what I might have to do is some log out strats on the way back. Um, oh. <laughs> Missed it! <laughs> Missed it on that one, uh, but we shall try again. Um, so yeah, I think our best bet is just to kind of log out every so often. In fact, no, I think I should be alright um, to get all the way back. I think it's probably best that I don't log out, because if I log out, it will turn off my protect item and dying without the protect item would be literally the worst thing I could possibly do. So yeah, let's not do that. Okay, we made it back. <laughs> that was slightly nerve-wracking. Two PKs. I definitely got not smited, but you know, I let my prayer points get a little bit low on that second one. So I just need to be just way more on it with uh, making sure my prayer points stay high. I do think if I was sensible, I would just go to the green dragons and get my prayer up, but apparently I'm not. <laughs> I'll tell you what, an absolutely underrated part about using the crossbow that I've only just realised now why it feels so much better. Not having to pick up the arrows? So good! Just like charged bow, shooting shots, one ether per go. Oh, blessing. Having to not run over and pick up my arrows. Oh, I'm so pathetic that I don't have an others accumulator, so I'm going to pick up my arrows like a fucking dork. Feels so good. Now I've discovered how to get the bots to leave, this is so much more peaceful and also so much better. I'm getting so many kills per hour in comparison because um, it's not quite happened here, but when I kill the demon really quickly, uh, you can sometimes be waiting like 10-15 seconds for the other one to spawn back in, and in that time being able to get on a cyclops and just continue dealing damage just adds way more kills per hour um so yeah i might measure the kills per hour again of this and stick it back in the spreadsheet uh, let's kill you all. oh here we go okay he's not smiting so we should be okay 67 combat so he's got no agility as you might expect looks like we should be good to get away as long as he doesn't like hit every single fucking bind Piss off. Oh, I've got so much loot in my invent as well. If I die to this guy, that would be annoying. Don't fucking turn off protect item. That isn't good. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Alright. 
Not too bad, right? Definitely going to be banking now. Should have banked anyway. I've only got 27 left, but 27 charges left, but we should be good, All right? Time to leg it to the bank. Oh, I think it might actually be the skull that makes them run away. Because I just ran into that room and like <laughs> two bots just legged it in telly and I didn't even attack them. So I think it's actually just being sculled makes them teleport for some reason. Okay, right. Working theory. There are two bot farms at Revs that I can tell like distinctly. So there's one, which is the name plus three numbers. Uh, they are the ones that bolt if you just log in with a skull and they protect mage instantly run and log out or teleport the other one is it's like random letters random letters capital letter random letters random letters um, and that one doesn't teleport just straight away if it sees you um, it will actually kind of just stand there and start attacking stuff but if you so one of those ones uh, well it's logging out because it's in combat but some of them, uh, those ones, if they're in combat, will stick around until you attack them. If you attack them with a bow, they won't teleport out. If you attack them with your fist, they will teleport out. So uh, that's one of the ones that should just teleport, yeah, or log out. So that's the one that's less certain. Um, they seem to log out quicker. I think that's a better bot farm. The one with the three numbers at the end is lacking somewhat. So uh, here I am now getting such an in-depth understanding of the Rev Caves that I can identify the different bot farms and their relative strengths and weaknesses. <laughs> oh, I spent too much time here. Yeah, there we go. So right, there's one of the ones, random letters, capital letter, random letters has logged in. So, and there is, oh God, I don't even know what that is. Um, so if I attack this guy with my bow, look, he shouldn't run away. Yeah, he just starts eating, right? Um, if I run over with my bow unequipped and attack him, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. We are fighting the bot farms one line of code at a time. That is fantastic. I've got the cheat codes in the revenants right now. I'll be honest, this one might just have to be a death. Uh, yeah. Got the protect item on, so we keep the crossbow. Uh, first time, first time respawning at Ferox, though. That's cool. Um, yeah, I just couldn't do anything there. That was a rip. I had so much loot on me as well in the looting bag. Oh well, um, happens from time to time. Yeah, not much I could do. He had the seventy-five agility, and he was kind of stacked on gear and levels. Like he was ninety-nine range, ninety-nine mage, ninety-eight strength. Like not much I can really do in that scenario. Um, but yeah. Is what it is right here we go quite a big level coming up which is level obviously now i stop hitting when i start recording classic level 81 range which doesn't sound too important by itself but we get two max hits from that so we've had four levels of hitting 28 as our max hit and now our max hit will be 30 which is very nice um but Time for me to bank. Let's have a look what this looting bag looks like. Small one. Small one. Baby one. 300k. Not too bad, though, I'd say. Uh, might be worth hopping away from whatever shenanigans are happening over there. <laughs> right. Sometimes you just got to engage in some pest control. Right. He's already gone. He'll go as well. Oh, my God. He's attacked me back. Are you a real person? Oh, my God. Oh, no. No, I think he was just auto retaliating. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> I got a bit scared for a second then. <laughs> I thought we were actually going to get cooked. <laughs> you see, this is where the bots kind of cost cost you, right? Oh, God, that's not a bot. Okay. Oh. Ugh, leave. I'm trying to steal my world. <laughs> I hate real players. Bring back the bots. Okay, so now I'm not a massive pussy and I'm sculling up and therefore I can uh, get rid of bots whenever I fancy. Um, I might go and see how many kills per hour I'm getting again with at uh, quads. So I can kind of kill three per spawn rotation if that makes sense. So I can kill both these demons and normally get like half of a cyclops down before the first demon respawns. So that should improve my kills per hour quite a bit. So I'm going to uh, set a timer and uh, see what we can get done. Okay, right. 
We'll call it there. So I've done 10 minutes. Oh, see, I've, I've, I've killed so many so quickly, I can't even get all the loot. Uh, right. Let's go for that. I'll leave one black dehyde. Um, and four battle staffs. So we killed a shitload in that time. So we killed 20 demons and 10 cyclopses in 10 minutes. So we're talking 180 kills per hour. Sculled? <laughs> That's nuts. That's going to be, what, less than 20k per unique... Uh, 20 hours per unique roll? That's mad. Okay, right, I'm going to plug those numbers into the uh, spreadsheet and see how, see how we get on. So I've added an additional line in, quads sculled and quads unsculled and then greyed out the irrelevant bits. Yeah, quad sculled is insane. 2.7 mil in GP per hour. So that isn't even including the emblems. That's literally just normal drops, battle staffs, rune plate bodies, black dragon hide, etc. Um, and then a unique uh, a unique in 20 hours. So it's actually slightly less than 20 hours because that times 20 would be 3,600. So it's probably technically 19.9 .9 hours. So yeah, that's huge. Obviously that's not including banking time and any time I spend doing anything else, but that's nuts. 20 hours for a unique. I mean, that's just insane. I cannot, but I'm, I'm definitely like, I got the hard bit out of the way, getting the crossbow, doing the maple short by revs was fucking brutal. Um, but I feel like I've got the hard bit out of the way now and I can just sail through to a uh, green log. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I don't go crazy dry. Yeah, I think I might be a bit cooked on this one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I logged straight into that guy as well. Oh, that's so bleak. <laughs> At least I kept the crossbow. Every every PK where I get killed by keep the crossbow is a success to me. There is 82 range, which is the first level for a little while. These levels have kind of got more and more XP, but actually they go quite quickly. Um, I'm getting a lot of XP per hour here, like well over 50k. Um, so yeah, XP is quite quick. I'm not sure when I get my next max hit with the, uh, with the crossbow. We're at 30 at the minute. Hopefully that can keep going up rapidly. Oh, here we go. Pretty newbie looking PK, so we might be okay. He splashed. Oh, we wouldn't want to run into them. Uh, I had an issue earlier where I didn't hop and it was just such a mistake, so... Fuck it, yeah, let's not hop again. Let's see if we can keep our world. I really don't like losing the world. Hopefully that guy just teleported straight away. Uh, or not teleported, but like, you know, hot world. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, earlier, right, I had it where I hopped away from a shit PK even after he'd up poisoned me. No, no, he splashed like that guy did. And then I went, ah, oh, we all right. And I went back in here and then he like got on me and froze me. I was like, oh my God, I just escaped from you with the agility shortcut. And he DDS'd me and like poisoned me. And then I escaped again. So I escaped from the same guy twice in like two minutes. And then, <laughs> and that was when I logged straight into that guy that like dropped me with claws. So um, yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, the arrogance doesn't come back to bite me again. Guess we'll just get rid of this bot as well. Hit him with a kick. See ya. Here we go again. Has this guy got really geared? He's alright. He's not got the agility though. Loser. Let's not die whilst, uh, whilst talking shit. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> yes. Can you imagine anything more embarrassing than dying to chat and shit? That would be so imagine getting smited for my fucking uh, crossbow because I was just too busy chatting wank. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I think about 20 minutes ago in, in video terms, in, in your terms, not, not in mine, probably about five days ago for me, but in 20 minutes ago, I think I said, I'm going to go and make a ring of wealth in the next clip and then proceeded to just not do that. So um, what I'm going to do now is do that. So uh, let's see, there we go, make the Dragonstone ring, lovely. And now what we need to do is go and grab ourselves some Cosmic Runes from Banshee. 
Right, time to see how broken the crossbow is outside of the wilderness because I've only obviously used it inside, but it's still pretty good outside. Uh, we've got 800 and something charges. That should be more than enough to grab ourselves the cosmic runes. It's 17s without eagle eye. That's not too bad, is it, really? I don't know what the max hit is with... I don't know, that's because I've just got protect item. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, this is a lot better than what, what were we were using previously. A steel scimitar here. Um, I mean, I know we've got an adamant sword now, but still, this crossbow is... <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> It makes me so unbelievably happy that I got this. It's so, so nice. I can't believe I get to use this now just for the rest of the account. And I'm going to get a Melee Magic version as well. So good. It was it was rough when I rolled the Revenants. Because I was like, this is going to take a long time. But I do think these weapons are just going to make it all worth it. Oh my god, so good. And there are the cosmic runes. So let's imbue this uh, dragonstone ring and get our ring of wealth. Look at that. So I can view the boss log, which is obviously all at zero. I can toggle current. Oh, so I can collect currency automatically. That would be pretty cool at revs, but obviously I'd lose it if I'm sculled. Um, and in theory, I could teleport. You will need to recharge your ring at the fountain of rune. Do you reckon you still need Hero's Quest, or is it Hero's Quest to recharge Dragonstone? If I don't, I'm actually really close to the Fountain of Rune. Um, yeah, one square away. So if I can get, if I can just roll that chunk, and this doesn't require heroes, I'll be able to use the, uh, the teleports to. Well, I wouldn't because they can teleport me what to the Grand Exchange and somewhere else that I don't have unlocked. But. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> not too bad, I would say. Um, yeah. Ugh, I hate the, like, proper PKs, the, like, level 100 plus ones. It's so grim. Although, it looks like this guy thinks I'm going to be running south. Okay, has he got the agility? No, he hasn't got the agility. Look at his account and he's still not got it. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that 75 agility is such a game changer. Again, it's been about two minutes. Leave me alone. Although, that guy appears to actually be leaving me alone. So. Okay. Okay, are we alright? Are we safe? Oh my god, look, I ran away and within two fucking seconds, two bots have logged in. <laughs> it's unbearable. Oh no. Terrible timing. <laughs> I've never had this. Oh no. Right, okay, I think my best bet is to go into the rev caves. I think I'm fucked though. I've got no run energy. This is not good. <laughs> I'm cooked. I need to make sure I don't get smited as well. I think I'm done. There's literally nothing I can do. Oh no. This is such an L. Oh, I'm so gutted. Look at that. Oh, my God. Right. Okay, he's 32 agility. So if I can just make it to the agility course. Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. That was not good. Ugh. Come on. Right, I need to splash, I need... Oh, that was not good. <laughs> uh, I'm like, so... I'm full of loot as well. Come on. Oh, my God! You are joking. That is, <laughs> that's the worst. Oh, my God. Caught me five seconds before I went through the fucking barrier. Oh, my God. I just don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> oh, that's definitely some kind of scout.
Definitely. And here is 83 range as we hit a 30 with our crossbow. 74 combat. Creeping up the combat levels is not what we want, which is one of the main reasons I haven't actually changed my prayer, despite saying at the start of the episode I would. Um, but it's cool to see, and I'm hoping that we can get a max hit off 83. I don't know, though, to be honest. Probably not. It seems to be about every four levels we get a max hit. Oh my god, I literally just showed off and I've got some cretin on me already. Uh, we should be good because he hasn't got the agility, but uh, didn't need that in my life. Run, run, run. Yeah, <laughs> I love it when they path backwards and don't even get to hit me over the gap. <laughs> love that, love that. I can't find a world at the minute, brutal. Hey, our first lamp for a while. Things you love to see. Right, is that going to get us a level? No. Oh, it's nowhere near getting us a level. We've got two more to go until level 17. Root. Oh, okay. Guess we, uh, guess we get one of these. Another one. I think that makes four. They're really common, I think. I think they're about a one in 1200, one in 1300, something like that, from, uh, from the demons and cyclopses. So really not too bad, but... A free one mil. Nice little looting bag. Oh, we absolutely hate to see the uh, the voiders. They aren't fun. What's your? Oh, he's seventy five agility as well. Totally screwed. All right, fuck. Right, don't get smited. That is like the worst thing you can do, pal. Okay. Yeah, I think we're just probably cooked here, to be honest. I don't think there's much I can do. Maybe I can lose him over here, but I'd have to do it quickly. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was brutal. <laughs> I'm losing... Do you know what? I'm getting PK'd a lot more recently. I don't know why. Um, But... It's really costing me with the bracelets. I'm kind of negging charges at the minute, I think, overall, which is kind of a bad thing because, I mean, I not only need to be breaking even, I need to be gaining because I intend on using the rev weapons pretty much everywhere once I'm done. And I'm just losing so many charges at the moment. Because look, if I get Barrows, for example, I'm going to need to use the Theremon Scepter like to finish Barrows, to do like, you know, a thousand Barrows runs, which is going to be, you know, hundreds of thousands of charges. And what? That right there is 40,000 charges, something like that. And I'm negging as well. This isn't good news. What can I do? I'm also negging on the food really badly as well. Um, I don't know if I should just start banking more and banking more of the food. Um, that's probably the call. I probably lose more and more crossbow charges as well doing that. Mm, this is rough. I thought the money would be the problem. Not, I mean, obviously not, but I mean, as in on the account, I thought money overall would be the problem, like training mage and stuff like that. But the money is fine. It's, it's, it's the bracelets that I'm really, really getting screwed on at the minute. Um, I actually don't know what to do. Okay, so the plan here, I think, might be to try out the orcs again. See if I can scare bots away with um, by attacking them. See if that fares any better, because I'm slightly lower wild at orcs. And therefore, less absolute androids like that guy can get on me. Um, so I should be a little bit safer in that regard. Uh, there's quite a lot of just like normal accounts at Orcs though, so I don't know if that's going to work 100%. Um, but we'll try, like there's more PKers at Orcs, even if they're worse overall, so it might not work out. Uh, but we shall see. Uh, right. See, just loads of people like that at Orcs. Right, we're new to the bots here, so we don't actually know. Pretty sure this guy is. Let's give it a go. Yeah, okay, perfect. <laughs> Things we love to see. So hopefully the PKers here won't be too bad. Uh, he says, just as a white dot logged in, don't know if you saw that. 
Um, but hopefully we should be all right. We'll uh, see how this goes. The kills per hour here should be pretty good because they respawn so quickly. So uh, I might measure that as well, actually. Let's, let's, let's see how we do. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Red dehyde and full dragon? Are you planning on attacking me? That's a bizarre find in the ref game. That went well. <laughs> oh, he just clawed me out. Fuck's sake. So dressed like a bot and then just clawed me out. Oh, get in the fucking bin. <laughs> Back here. We got clawed out. So, uh... Yeah, I think quads is still going to have to be the play. We've got 120 orc kills per hour, which just isn't that good. Um, quads is definitely way better. So, yeah, back to quads. And, yeah, that's time to time, time to go and lose even more ether. Yeah, nine, nine bracelets down yet again. And none that we can... Uh, and none that we got back. So, yeah, this is going fucking brilliantly, I must say. Oh, leave me alone. So many of them at the minute. 107 combat. Fuck off. Honestly, I'm... Okay. <laughs> now I'm just confused. What the fuck was that? I've, I've got to hop there, haven't I? Surely. We've actually completed a trip for the first time in ages. 824k in the looting bag. Can we escape? Another one mil totem. I guess. Uh, I guess them being common is quite nice. Good GP back, I guess. Uh, yeah, early in the trip as well. So, cool, 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 cool. I need to. I need to uh, get some of the higher rarity ones. I'm. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm um, still missing uh, the relic and the, is it medallion? The 16 mil one and the 4 mil one. Uh, which, oh, for fucking hell. I keep logging in on PK. It's crazy, man. Um, hopefully he didn't see me, or if he did, he didn't, doesn't bother giving chase. Uh, but yeah, 1 mil emblem, secure. Okay, so it's the, uh, it's the morning after the night before. And uh, if you can't tell by my attire, uh, something went terribly, terribly wrong last night. Uh, so, yeah, no more crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, if you don't laugh, you could cry, couldn't you? Um, right, I'll chuck up a screenshot of what happened uh, whilst I was in bed watching a bit of, bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! On, on YouTube. Um, yeah, we got smited for the crossbow. Uh, I feel like we've kind of been building towards this the whole episode. I feel like my uh, my arrogance arc of having a crossbow and, and claiming I can't get smited with 44 prayer is uh, has come to a swift end with uh, the loss of the crossbow. Uh, <laughs> so um, yeah, let, let, let's do a little bit of analysis on the uh, on the. So yeah, top left is me watching Yu-Gi-Oh, obviously. Uh, so the guy that killed me was like a hundred combat, wearing like full void. So I imagine he was a max zerker or something akin to that. Um, he was just fucking working me. And do you know what? I thought I was clicking the restores. Um, I was, I'll be honest, I was probably like uh, Karamban locking myself out of clicking the restores. And to be honest, he just really fucking worked me <laughs> um so yeah i don't think i really could have avoided what what happened i mean obviously i could have done i could have just clicked restores and let myself die but you know i was dying so much that day i was nagging on the on the bracelet so badly i was like oh, i really need to try and survive i mean in hindsight he probably jumped over the agility shortcut to get to me kind of thinking on it so yeah kind of really quite a quite a bad mistake on my part even trying to live it i should have just let myself die especially on mobile um so what have we learned uh don't skull up on mobile if you've got a rev weapon in hand because you're gonna die and probably lose it uh <laughs> oh god yeah so that that was that was mistake number one mistake number two Definitely just remaining 44 prayer if I was going to scroll up. Ah, I thought it'd be better because my combat level would be lower. But 
it just wasn't. <laughs> I think if I'd been like 60 prayer, I wouldn't have got killed. I wouldn't have got smited there. Because it was, it was one of those ones where like I got smited as he hit me. I think he hit me with like, like a 44 with a range. Um, and that's and that kind of took me down from like 10 to 0. Um, so yeah, that, that was a bit of an error. Uh, what else? Do you know what? Actually, I think those are my two errors. I mean, they're two major errors, but, but they're two errors. Um, in terms of mitigating circumstances, I feel like... So, so there's one thing. My gear being so shit aside from the aside from the rare of weapons makes it all the more enticing to use them um, in the caves versus just using whatever... Because if I had a maple short bow and a salve amulet, I'd just stick using that because I'd be able to kill the demons and that without it. Um... But because I haven't got any of that, I kind of have to, um, I kind of have to use the rev weapons that I get. So, yeah, that, that's one thing. The other thing is the bots. I, I, there's a, a significant amount of blame here. <laughs> I mean, and this is cope. Um, can be laid at Jagex not dealing with the bots, in my opinion. Because you kind of have to skull, if you know what I mean. Because if you don't skull... Um, at quads or at orcs or whatever, you're just going to be overrun by bots that don't teleport from you and they just swarm the revs and it's just miserable. If you're sculled and you can kind of hit them from time to time, you know, you you, you increase your kills per hour. I mean, I showed you guys, I increased my kills per hour about 50% just by sculling up. So not only was I getting about a 50% better rate of uh, getting weapons, I was also killing them 50% faster. So I was like more than double getting like i was more than double the rev weapon unique well more than double the unique rolls per hour by sculling up um so yeah it's kind of kind of tough in that way so yeah basically all in all <laughs> we are where we are uh bit brutal but are we on so the main thing i need to do now is just avoid burning out i mean it's probably quite easy to burn out losing a crossbow um it's not the end of the world though, I still had a lot of stuff to do in the rev caves and chances are I'd have probably got a dupe one anyway. So the only time where this is going to really hurt is if the crossbow is now my last thing that I get from the rev caves. Um, hopefully that won't be the case. So silver linings, I can start building up my ether stack again. So I was really kind of starting to cut through it so it would be good to get that built up again. Um, I think... I've learned as well that if I'm if I if I roll something like Venonatus uh, after the Rev Caves in the situation I was in, I wouldn't have had the ether to do it, so I'd have had to go back into the Rev Caves anyway. So I think what I need to do in future is probably just not skull up. I think I'm going to skull up until I get a Rev weapon, just because the Rev weapons are so much better. But I think once I do, I'm just not going to skull up at all because, in actual fact. I don't need to rush all three rev weapons here because it's I, I need to use them everywhere after this because they're going to be my best in slot by a country mile. So I need to actually have the ammo to use them. And we're talking hundreds of thousands of ether is what I'm going to need um, because it's going to be a long, 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 long time until I get something better. I mean, the Theramon Scepter is like best in slot until I get a trident and like when have you heard of a of a extreme one chunk iron man doing that much stuff with a trident well like doing that much slayer to get a trident right never um so yeah i kind of have to use these weapons for a long time and for that i'm gonna need a lot of ether and therefore i just don't need to skull um i just need to survive in the caves so yeah i think that is probably gonna be one of the one of the things i'll change uh, I'll obviously not skull up. <laughs> but, well, I'm not skull up on mobile. I, I was fine on desktop. Like I wouldn't have smiled on desktop. My error was getting arrogant and sculling up on mobile, thinking that oh, I'll just click restores and I definitely won't die. Um, where you know, if you're getting absolutely worked and uh, potlocking yourself with crown buttons, then you know, <laughs> kind of in a bit of bother. Uh, but yeah. That's kind of what happened. Um, what I need to do is just get back at it and start killing the Pyrefiends. Um, I'm 83 range now, which is a big difference from when I was at the Pyrefiends before. So hopefully, hopefully, 
we'll be all right. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna burn out. I promise I'm not gonna burn out. I'm, you can probably tell I'm not actually taking this that badly. Um, if this had been on my main Iron Man and I died for a crossbow and it was the only rev weapon I have, I'd probably be crying. But for some reason, it just feels all right on this account. I play this account despite the hours in my head. I play it quite casually. Um, this is just my sort of having fun on the on the account. So like like having fun on RuneScape after taking it seriously for so long. So I'm not actually too beat up about it. I've just kind of <laughs> learned not to make such catastrophic errors in future. Um, but hopefully we just get a crossbow again pretty soon and uh, and we, we get back at it. So I'm going to be at the Pyre Fiends. I've done a little bit of testing. My kills per hour now is like easy. I don't even think I have to use Adamant Arrows to get the right amount of kills per hour. Um, we'll see. Uh, I think I can probably afford to degrade to myth. The good news, though, is that I've got an insane amount of GP bank now. I don't, uh, you know, I've only got 1.5 mil there, but that even that will last a long time on early arrows. And I've got so much money from my time with the crossbow that I'm, I'm, I'm good in future, just on everything. So main thing to do now is build up the food stacks again, because I was hemorrhaging on that, and build up the ether stacks again. And we will get another row of weapons soon hopefully in the next video but yeah a bit brutal a bit brutal right let's let's get back to the pyre fiends so back at the pyre fiends let's show you a couple of things so most the most triggering thing by country mile is that the arrows that is the arrows just having to pick up the arrows so you can see how quick the kills are now i can hit up to 15s with the anti arrows now which is kind of crazy bro um so I'm glad I got those range levels from the crossbow before doing this. Could easily have just been dry the whole time. Uh, kind of waiting for a bot to log in so that I can skull up. Uh, but the kills are like so quick. Look, I mean, so there's a 35 second respawn timer on that. I'm going to kill this second one comfortably before that's up. Uh, which seems like a bad thing, but basically means that there's no difference uh, here between using the Addy Arrows Maple Shortbow combo and using the Crossbow here. So the kills per hour should be about the same at 120-ish. So we're actually not in too bad of a spot. I think we're talking about 40 hours for a unique roll again. Bit savage that I already had one, but <laughs> it's what it is. Um, I'm hoping that I just get the Crossbow again straight away because then in some ways that makes me feel less bad about losing it versus it being the last thing that I need to get. Uh, and also my kills per hour would go up massively again like it did before. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this really isn't too bad and I can probably afford to degrade to the mithril arrows, if not the steel arrows here. Um, and I wouldn't lose many, if any, kills per hour. So yeah, <laughs> main goal, avoid burning out. I don't think I will. I, it doesn't feel like I will. I feel all right. Um, but yeah, bit of a setback. <laughs> bit of a setback. But, you know, we keep going. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, get, we'll get a rev weapon, I'm sure. I'll tell you what, my stress level in the rev caves is a lot, lot lower than it was before. Like, if I die, so what? Oh, no. Don't take my maple short bow. So, yeah. <laughs> I can chill out a bit more now. And I'll be honest, my kills per day probably goes up because I did spend a lot of time on mobile not logging in because I was a bit scared. Uh, and then, you know, sometimes the, the addiction levels would just get too high. I'd have to. Um, but now I'm not going to give a fuck. So I'll just, you know, I'll just be here basically all day, every day. What is it with the bots at Pyre Fiends? Just like jumping on the Pyre Fiends, even though I'm stood here sculled. Fuck off. <laughs> and there he goes. <laughs> they just won't leave me alone here. <laughs> Bring back the crossbow and the, and the quad, so they just left me alone. That was the best. I'll tell you what, I feel a lot safer at Pyre Fiends. Just, it doesn't feel like there's many PKs around here. I mean, obviously not, because the loot is garbage. Although the loot isn't garbage. I've been logged in, what, 20 minutes, and I've got 400k in there, another 120. 40k in my invent so yeah i mean that was 500k in 20 minutes not too bad to be honest <laughs> could be a lot worse this is canafis chunk my extreme one chunk iron man 
my most recent chunk is the Revenant Caves, which comes with a level 89 agility requirement. This is the big problem in this chunk. The best course that I have access to in my chunks is the Canifis course, offering 17k XP per hour, over a 300 hour grind to level 89. There is one other course in my chunks, the Werewolf course, which offers up to 60k XP per hour. However, it requires a Ring of Charos, the reward from the creature of Fenkenstrain quest, which I cannot complete. The quest requires a silver bar, and despite offering a 1 billion GP bounty on the silver bar a few episodes ago, no one could come up with a method within my chunks to source one for me that was better than just waiting for enough lamps to lamp up to 27 Hunter for baby implings, which dropped the silver bar at a 1 in 100 rate. The issue is, I'm only level 16 Hunter, and by the time I've been logged in long enough to have received the 40 lamps that I require for 27 Hunter, I will have long since completed the level 89 agility via the Canifis course anyway. This is the problem. To save myself nearly 200 hours of agility, I need either a silver bar or a way to train my Hunter to level 27, and despite unlocking 35 chunks in the Mauritania, Varrock and Wilderness regions, my hunter is currently impossible to train. Or is it? This is the story of how I developed the most expensive skilling method ever, spending over 300 million GP to get 6,000 hunter XP. Demonic Thrones have previously been considered the most expensive training method in the game, costing 1,000 GP per XP. For this high cost, you can at least gain upwards of 20 million XP per hour. My method cost me 50,000 GP per XP, 50 times as much, however it yielded less XP per hour, a lot less, roughly 400 XP per hour to be exact. Thank you for watching and welcome back to Canifis Chunk. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. I'm a RuneScape player, so, you know, number go up just feels good, doesn't it? I'm uh, putting in extra effort this, uh, the next kind of, up until Christmas, trying to release a video per week. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Okay, big news. First clip of the video, and this isn't kind of what I'd expect to be talking about, but the Forestry Part 2 update was just released. And it looks like there is repeatable Hunter XP if you have level 16 Hunter or above, which luckily I do. Um, I can't actually spawn the events myself because I don't have any of the forestry uh, stuff, but I believe I can go on another account and spawn forestry items for myself. So let's go ahead and do that. Right, so here is the one pet at a time account, currently 97 woodcutting and got a decent amount of forestry stuff. This is like the only account I've done any forestry on. Um, so I believe what I need is this trap disarmor. Uh, trap disarmors are used... Oh, okay, so what I need... Oh, that's in the bag, isn't it? So I need to go to the shop. Trap disarmor blueprint. Blueprint is used as a pattern for creating a set of traps. So you also need bronze wire, iron, and iron bar, and that makes 10. Okay, so let's just get a few and then see if we can see if we, we'll grab some bronze wire and some iron bars and see if we can spawn ourselves some events. Just an aside, look at the stats on this account. I did this in like two months without being able to train any of the skills. So that 70 agility was done entirely on shortcuts <laughs> and the mining done entirely at like Guardians of the Rift and stuff like that. That's kind of crazy, bro. <laughs> right, so let's buy some bronze bars. Why is there only two in Star Wars? Because like, other people buy them, probably. Cool, so let's make some of these. Uh, I need to make... Why is it just def oh, fucking hell. Right. Default to that, I need some bronze wires, so let's make those. And then we should be able to make 50 trap design blueprints. Hopefully it's just one per catch. And then we should be good. I'm hoping that these events will spawn. What I might do is I might use and abuse the mark community a little bit. And okay, right, so we make the trap disarmers. Cool. Um 
I'm hoping that I'll still be able to get the repeatable Hunter XP without sort of partaking in the event. Interesting. Even making them make, gets XP. I don't know what the level requirement is on that, although I guess I'm one on Canopus Chunk. Um, but what I need to do now is go and spawn some events using forestry. Uh, so what I might do is I'm uploading a video <laughs> right now, this second. When that goes live, what I might do is see if I can get some people to come and chop with me some U logs over in uh, over here, a place I can actually do it, and then I might be kind of laughing. So what I'm going to do is for now is go over here and just start chopping, and then if I spawn one of the hunter events. Uh, I'll teleport to Varrock real quick and try and come and do it. So I'm actually just going to camp at the tree with the alt just, to, uh, just until we spawn one so I can see if it's actually worth it. Otherwise, I'm just going to uh, kick back and relax. We might do some experimentation with this. So it's quite annoying chopping all the logs and dropping them on my alternative account but it might not actually necessarily have to be like that if i can just like chop one log with the with the forestry kit and then that sort of sets the tree up ready to spawn an event when it falls over then that could be a kind of slightly more afk way to do it but i think for now if i can just brute force spawn some events by myself that would be ideal ah right we spawned an event but I have no idea. Okay. Okay, looks like free fletching XP. By the looks of it. Okay. <laughs> no idea what any of these are. I'm sure by the time you're watching this, this is old. But I don't need XP on my main account, on my one pet account, so I guess I'll stick with this. So this looks like one of the new ones. Although I do get anima infused bark, which is interesting. I didn't think I'd get any if I didn't have the forestry kit. Um, am I supposed to be doing something else? Oh, breezy at the back. Okay. Okay, looks like if you click like that, you can do it. Do I need to do all of them or can I just do the same one over and over? I'm not entirely sure. Looks like I can just do the same one over and over. So free fletching XP, I guess I'll take it. Um, and hopefully the hunter XP will be good, as good as this, because if it is, we could be on to a winner here. Perfect is can't leave me alone. Okay. A leafy mullet. So how much fletching XP was that? What? Uh, a lot? 600 XP? What? If I can get 600 hunter XP in one of these events, that would be very, very cool indeed. And I got some magic leaves. Cool! Right. <laughs> well, I can definitely spawn and participate in forestry events then. And that is big news. Because if we spawn the hunter one, I believe there's decent hunter XP on offer. And that could be crazy. That could be really crazy. This could be really big, actually. Because I just realised as well... Um, if I can get the Hunter XP up a decent amount, I can get Bowstring from Young Implings. And if I can get the Bowstring from Young Implings, then I can also make a Bowstring, which I can use on my Magic Log, so I can get a Magic Shortbow to use at the Revenants. And a Magic Shortbow at the Revenants is a big step up from the, uh, from the, from the Maple one that I've got. So that would be a huge help as well. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh fuck, here we go. Right, where are the where are the traps? Okay, there they are. Right. Eight hunter XP. Okay, this is definitely repeatable hunter XP. Is it any good though? Eight XP per go isn't what I'd consider a lot, to be honest. Okay, okay, right. Repeatable Hunter XP though, that it is. So I would say that that works to me. How many did we get? <clears throat> okay. 
So we're getting what five per go. This is decent XP, you know. Eight per is decent. I've, also, this guy just spawned in, which is quite good. <laughs> Means I don't have to waste my own uh, charges. Seventy-four. Wow. Okay. So I'm gonna watch that recording back and see how many we actually got. But I think that's decent XP, you know. Okay. So I watched it back and we got a hundred and twelve hunter XP. Um, from the one event. So. How much XP do I need for level 27? Uh, none of my skills are close. Okay, so level 27 is 9,700 XP. So in theory, I'd need, what, 65 events to get the XP? But I guess the XP would go up as well. So let's call it 50, 55 events. Is that a lot? I can't really decide. I mean, I do need to be doing some woodcutting anyway. It just, I guess, depends how often the events spawn and how often they're the fox one as well. Um, but that could be kind of huge. I mean, this is r fairly repeatable hunter XP. I mean, it definitely falls under like meme XP rates. Uh, so it, I, I'm not going to count it as a primary hunter method, but for, if I want to train hunter, like I do at the moment, not too bad, like repeatable, relatively so. I need the oak logs anyway to get the fletching and fire making levels. So yeah, this could be kind of big. I mean, it would be better if I didn't have to be here. Uh, I'm trying to think if there are better trees that I could chop on the, the alternative account to spawn events in that I could just like teleport straight into. Um, on this account, but I'm not entirely sure. I can't think of anything better than this, like closer to a teleport. I mean, the only teleport I've got that I can use is Varrock, and there's no trees around there. Uh, is there definitely not any others? No, not really. No, that's a shame. If I, if I had Edgeville, I bet there's loads of people out there using Edgeville. So that would have been really nice, but I guess you can't win them all. But this is decent. I'm going to keep trialing it and just see what the XP per hour we can get is. But we technically now have repeatable Hunter XP. So that level 27 may not be as far away as it seems. Here we go again. Let's go. Right. Okay. Next one's over there. So I think I need to do it on this account first and then I can do it. Uh, cool, right, we got this down and that spawned what? 20 minutes after the last one? So I would say the rate is not too bad and we are gonna be flying through hunter levels, come on. Come on, this is so good, right? I just need to stick with this. Because you know what Jagex are like, it's just a matter of time until they throw a nerf in or something stupid. Um, but hopefully we'll get away with it. Right, there's level 17, which means we can bet which means we can catch them with a butterfly net, but what we need is to be able to catch them barehanded, so 10 levels to go. Do we get any increased XP? No, still 8 hunter XP. Hopefully that will go up to 9 soon. Oh, it appears we're getting sort of like 8.9 or something, or like 8 point something, because I am getting 9 XP occasionally. Uh, yeah, there's 9. So yeah, it looks like it's 8.5 at the minute, which is good. Nice. Oh, I wish, oh, I, wish I got a, a lump of Hunter XP at the end instead of a lump of Woodcutting XP. That would be really nice. Um, but yeah. Exciting times, exciting times. This is really game changing. Okay, and good news is I thought with the trap disarmers on the alternative account, I'd lose one per trap, but it's one per event. So I've got 50 events banked on that account and I can easily get more. So we should be covered um, in terms of the materials that we need to spawn all the events that we need to hit 27 Hunter. Oh, okay, I just realized Eight and a half is half of 17, isn't it? So the XP is half an XP per level. So yeah, the XP will go up, you know, kind of lin linear, lily, linear, lily, linearly with, uh, with the levels that we get. So 
that's good news, actually. Really good news, because that means it's going to keep consistently going up. And we're probably talking, what, 50, 55 events? And if we can keep spawning a few an hour, which is the rate we're getting at the minute, we could get this uh, 27 uh, Hunter relatively quickly. Future Fro here. Ah, the naivety of youth. So um, that's the issue with tiny little sample sizes like what I just had. Three in an hour. It would have been brilliant if that had been the rate on the Fox events. However, the rate on the Fox events is easily several hours per one on average. I just got incredibly lucky at the start. Um, and you'll see as this video goes on that uh, the rate is terrible. Um, and actually, uh, the, we, we haven't really got to the training method mentioned at the start of the video yet. And, uh, you know, the rate being so low on the fox spawns is exactly why things had to get so drastic later on. Now oh, I'm getting the bin. The one pet account got the genie and my account got the fucking sandwich. Have a baguette. Go on, get the stale one. Never lucky. This new leprechaun event is pretty cool. Apparently if I stand over here, I get some kind of bonus XP. And then I chop the oaks and I get 204 XP each. What? Okay. <laughs> That's madness. That's madness. Interesting. I'm pretty sure I just got a far Yeah, I did. Farming XP off of that. This level one farming training? <laughs> interesting, interesting. Very interesting. Let's see what the XP drop is off this. 2.3k, not bad. And some leaves. Ah, oh, it takes ages for that tree to come back, doesn't it? Rip. Okay, this is another one of the new ones, and I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. So, looks like okay okay right so i have to retrieve retrieve the egg okay that seems like it is oh my god okay right so i've got to grab the egg from the nest that doesn't have one in and give it to the guy can i do more than one egg or no No, one egg only by the looks of it. Okay, right. Pheasant tail feathers. I think that's some kind of outfit. Is that right? Okay, right. Here we go. I don't know why I'm recording this. This must be such dead content for you guys. Although this is decent thieving XP. 20 XP per go. And it's pretty quick. Like, this is more XP than... than the hunter one, for sure. Um... Cool, right, this is this is pretty neat, I guess. Not too bad, bit of Hunter XP. Oh, I hate PK so much there, I said it. Okay, what? Okay, right. Got the DDS prayer on, which is the main thing. Let's look up this guy. Bot Demolish, 33. Let's, he's called Bot Demolisher, so let's see if he offs, if I show that I'm a real person. No, fair enough, doesn't give a fuck. I can respect that. Come on, even I'm getting these power switches. Easy. Come on. Come on, mate. Come on, this is too easy. You're garbage. I didn't even try for that one, that was a mistake. Shocking. Shocking. Terrible. Although maybe I'm just used to the fucking... <laughs> to the androids with the uh, AHK that I normally run into. Someone pointed out in the last video uh, about 48 minutes that the guy that PKs me is like definitely using AHK and I looked at it back and I was he was definitely right. He definitely was. Okay, the whole time I've had the loot in bag, I've only seen this comment once on the last video, which is quite a surprise, because normally when I fuck things up, a lot of people know already. So I'm going to start saying this as though not too many of you actually know. The looting bag, you can set up in the settings 
so that it only puts supplies in your invent. So now I've got it. So all the normal loot goes into the looting bag and all the food get and um, potions get filtered out straight into my invent, which is fucking great. Who knew? Uh, genuinely, that is amazing. So, so, so handy. So I've just ran a little test and we got 29 Pyrefiend kills in 15 minutes, which means we're getting about 116 kills per hour, which may not sound too great, but in actual fact, that is a unique about every 40 hours. And bear in mind, my input into this method is basically nothing. So if I die for maple short bows and adding arrows, like who cares? Um, so it's actually quite big because I might stick to this even after getting rev weapon. So if I unskull at quads or anywhere or, or orcs or anything with the crossbow, I was getting a unique about every 50 hours. So sculled with the maple short bow is actually 10 hours faster per unique than unskulled with the crossbow. And there's no risk at all of me losing anything. So I either need to skull up with the crossbow and just take the risk or just unskull with the maple short or, or just skull up with the maple short bow for zero risk and, you know, get them at half the rate of sculled crawls, but faster than unsculled crawls. Um, so that's pretty interesting for it's going to be an interesting choice next time we get a uh, next time we get a revs weapon. But that's that's. That's cool, I think. So, one of the things that is, that is a bit gutting about losing the crossbow is losing the loot in terms of, like, just the GP that I got from the quads was just crazy. So, I mean, this is nothing in comparison. But still, it's decent GP. The unique rate is pretty good. And it's incredibly low risk and I can just do it all day, every day without worrying about it. And also I need to bank less and I get attacked far less as well. So I think in the real world, this is actually a very, very good method, killing the Pyrofiends. Also, I'm net positive on ether using this method by a lot. So yeah, this, this just could be the way. Oh, you love to see a lamp on the uh, on the chunk accounts. Chuck that onto Hunter. Get us to nearly level 18. Flying through it. And by far flying through it, obviously what I mean is getting like 100 XP per day, if that. <laughs> and here is level 84 range. A very nice leveling account. One away from 85. Really, really getting up there with the range levels, which is very, very nice indeed. Okay, so what I've done is I'm hosting an event in my clan chat at the moment. Uh, I've got, what, five people in there um, on top of my own out. Uh, hopefully more will join because this is actually 30 minutes before the event officially starts. But what we're doing is everyone is at these exact trees in different worlds. What that means is that if they spawn a fox event whilst doing the, uh, the wood chopping, then what will happen is I will hop to the uh, I will hop to the world that they call out and grab all the hunter XP that I can before I do. I'm paying them five mil per fox event spawn, so good money. Seeing as I spawned three in an hour yesterday, uh, I think that was probably pretty lucky. But if we can get you know, if I can get four or five in an hour with the helpers, I'll be really happy with that. Any more than that will be, you know, massive. Oh, here we go. I spawned my own one, which is good. That uh, means I don't have to pay five mil for it. Good times. Cool. Right. This will be some Hunter XP then. Right. We just got level 18 Hunter, which is the first level. These events go on for so long. I'm kind of worried that what's going to happen is I'm going to end up having like... um too many spawn at once and like people will be calling them and I won't be able to get there. I mean, that would be pretty insane in of itself, but I'd feel bad for not paying them <laughs> if I don't get to their event in time. Although maybe I'll just pay them anyway, but I'm, I'm optimistic right now. We've got nine hunter levels to go and I'm hoping that the XP per hour doing this will be decent.
Right, we got our first event call. Sweaty socks in world three, five, one. Let's go. How much XP are we going to get off this then? Okay, so we got nine XP there. Hopefully, he called it really early. What a guy. Here we go. Okay, so this was. 15 minutes after my one and we're just getting more and more people joining the CC uh, joining the French chat so so I started at 3424 XP so in what 15 minutes we've had a couple hundred XP that's really not bad right we'll 496 at the same time Okay, well, 496 when we're done. So as soon as this event finishes, we'll hop straight into that world. Should be a little bit of overlap here, not too much, but these events take a long time. So I'm, I, what I was hoping was that I'd literally just be hopping around at these events the whole time. I'm going to have to get people to backlog. Uh, cool. Uh, there we go. And we've just got our next one. Nice, that was, I don't know, it's been less than half an hour and we've got three though, so we're doing quite well, I would say. And here is another event in World 309. Looks like we got here pretty early. Hopefully we can get the second trap as well. So I've currently got 16 other accounts spawning events for me in every world and they're still not coming in as quick as I'd like. Um, hopefully it's just RNG and they start coming a bit quicker, but yeah, the XP per hour is not fantastic. It's still, it's probably a few hundred, 500 max at the moment. So not bad, but I think we can do better. Cheeky little lamp whilst doing the forestry grind. So that is level 19 hunter doing well doing well and here is another one we should be getting another 120 or so xp from this that's very very nice and another one good times good times hope we can keep that fox alive looks like we've managed it good stuff right on to another one midway through 19 hopefully 20 soon <laughs> lol three spawned at once i got this one and then some people got them in 474 and 421 as well that's such a rip <laughs> right and here we go that is level 20 hunter not bad at all very cool so we've got what, three levels in a kind of two and a half hour session that's really not bad and our luck has been pretty poor as well so yeah this is very exciting oh and here we go again we've got the uh got the pk on us this guy's actually kind of working us though look at this yeah you love to see the splashes see ya See ya! Love that. Love that. Okay, so Jangex have said that they're making some changes to Forestry Part 2, and God only knows what changes means. So uh, I'm, I'm slightly nervous they might break this method by the update next week. So it's currently Friday, and they'll, they'll only make a change on Wednesday at the earliest. So what I'm going to do is sweat out as much Hunter with the Forestry method as I can, before then, um, we've got a decent amount of people in the French chat at the minute. It's early in the morning, so there's not too many. Um, but we're, uh, we're, 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 we'll get more over time. So more people will join, more foxes will spawn, and hopefully the XP per hour will kind of go up past the uh, you know 400-ish XP per hour I was getting yesterday. <laughs> Oh, now I'm level 20, getting 10 XP per one is just nice. 
Oh, I love this method. This is so nice. Like, I can't believe I'm going to get 27 Hunter. Like, I'm not going to say easily because it's costing me hundreds of mil. <laughs> but, you know, pretty well, I would say. Um, you know, we're, we're getting there. We're getting it done. I mean, it's going to be, what, two or three hundred mil at least for, like, 6,000 Hunter XP. But, you know, it's the most expensive training method in game. I think someone worked it out for me yesterday as being about 35,000 GP per XP. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, quite expensive. So, for the efforts of uh, getting me a hundred and what? 140 Hunter XP, I think it was. Uh, there is 5 million GP for this guy. So, uh, good, uh, good little moneymaker for these people, <laughs> to be honest. But, uh, yeah, onwards to the next one. A spawned my own Fox event on the out, so free XP here, not having to spend 5 mil on this one. Good times. Oh, we're going straight into another one, literally straight away. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. We're here. Oh, got it. Okay. Good times. So we're 183 XP off, so let's see how much we get from this one. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we only got about 100 XP from that one because I, for some reason I failed one of the traps. I don't know if that's my fault or it just happens. Uh, but we should be getting 21 Hunter from the next event. Good times. And here is level 21 Hunter. Things you love to see. Just six levels to go. Oh, God, I feel so good about this. Oh, paying the XP, 300 or so Hunter XP from this guy. So 15 mil down. <laughs> Things you love to see. I'll tell you what, whilst doing this, I'm banking an awful lot of uh, oak logs. Look at... Where's our stack? There they are, 5.2k oak logs, and it's only going up. So that's nice uh, fletching and Hunter XP. Not too bad. And here should be... Level 22 Hunter. Five levels to go. I can now catch a young implings, but I would need a net to do that. So to bare hand uh, baby imps, we need 27. And to bare hand youngs, we need 32. So nearly done. Getting through it quite quick. Coming in with level 79 woodcutting. Only one level away from level 80. Um, I reckon by my calculations I should get about 81 by the time I'm get, I've got 27. And here is level 23 Hunter. We could hunt wild kebits if we could. Four more levels to go. Nice. <laughs> oh, things you love to see. I just finished a fox event here and then decided to uh, quit doing them for the day. And then we just got a little lamp of uh, five minutes logged in. Things you love to see. Let's chuck that in Hunter as well. Nearly level 24 now. We are flying through it. And here is level 24 Hunter. Good times. Right, we could do Willow Bird Houses if we had it unlocked. Very nifty. Uh, just three levels to go. Exciting times. Cheeky little freaky forester, get ourselves a little hat. Good times, good times. If we get a, if we get another one of those soon, I believe, because I've got, maybe I need one more item, but I think I'm pretty much done. I should start getting lamps from that soon, which will be very nice indeed. And I've just paid this guy out 15 mil in like the last, uh, the last... 20 minutes if that he's got so lucky but there is level 25 hunter just two to go good times good times oh things you love to see the genie yes all right hunter 250 xp huge huge we love it Oh, just to look, my cash stack is dwindling to the extreme. There is another 5 million GP paid out to Ravage Dees, who has taken quite a lot of money off me so far. So, um, yeah. Daddy, Daddy, 
Oh, I feel bloody excellent when I spawn one for myself and it doesn't cost me a bunch of money. This one is going to be level 26 Hunter as well, so only one level to go after this. Exciting times. And that is 26 Hunter. Feeling good, feeling good. All right, how much XP to go? 971 XP. Hopefully, hopefully we can get that this morning. <laughs> oh, that's a nice way to cheat some XP. To nice little free 260 XP from a genie. Lovely things you love to see. 659 XP to go. You see, this is why you need to do the paying for a whole clan chat to do it for you method because it's been half an hour without a Fox event and look how many people are in here, like what, 20-ish? And there's been half an hour of no Fox events. So if I was doing this by myself, you would times that half an hour by 20. So it would have been 10 hours without me getting a Fox event and a Fox event is like 100 XP. So yeah, the clan chat is very much necessary for this and why this is the most expensive training method ever. Decent little level here, level 80, but someone just shouted it in 534 that I just saw. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I would have loved to have done a bit more of a clip for, uh, for 80 woodcut in, but here we go. Right, let's see if we can get Level 27 from this one, we're on 139 XP to go. So there is a decent chance that we can get it. Good that it spawned directly under us. Good stuff. Um, yeah, this should be level 27, which is going to be an absolutely massive level for us. Let's keep sending it, see what we can get. It's amazing that this is actually a method. I'm still blown away. Um, so expensive <laughs> to do to pay all these people but worth it i would say um let's grab this one 74 xp to go we should be getting it from this event i'm hoping a lot of people showing up Cool, 48 XP, so we just need four more, including this one. So one. Can't believe it happened in the 80 woodcutting clip as well, that's so funny. Two, 22 XP to go. And this will be the last one. There it is, 27 Hunter. Which it, it is such a small thing, it didn't even bring up why it's why it's interesting. But barehanded baby implings, they spawn over there out the east of Varrock. That means that we can now get the one in 100 silver bar from baby implings, which will allow us to complete Creature of Fen Constrain, which will give us the Ring of Charos which will let us get access to the werewolf course. So we have smashed it. Awesome. Right, let's do this drop party then. So this is the stuff that we're going to be dropping off the main. Don't tell me that I don't feed the boys when they help me out. Uh, I'm not going to be dropping the 192 mil, but I'm going to be dropping the rest of this stuff. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully they're happy with this amount for the work that they put in. This, this took... A long time I mean even with all these helpers this probably took I'm oh, sorry wrong account this probably took about 20 hours <laughs> with all of the uh, with all of the helpers that we had so yeah huge grind very expensive grind but a massive massive goal for the account so uh, yeah let's do this drop party then right so Let's just get started. Oh, I'm not going to have to do that every single time, am I? So we'll start with the low value stuff. It looks so satisfying on the ground. Oh, when we get to the orange, it looks really bloody good. Here we keep going. Oh, well, put it down. It turns into a, into a zero.
Okay, now time for the big ticket items. The Armadale God Swords are going down now. So anyone clever is not going to be chasing the, uh, the tops around. They're going to be... Uh, wait. Oh, there we go. Right, they're going. <laughs> There's a third aid range legs down. Third age range top, and we'll put the spectral over here out of the way. There we go. Look how good that looks. Thing of beauty. Right. Let's hop on this account so we can see the items show up when they do. Carol's leather tops are coming through now. Doesn't it look so good having a, uh, having a, like, real old school drop party rather than a giveaway. We love a drop party. Oh, there was the AGS. <laughs> Let's see what anyone gets. <laughs> oh, I don't think they were expecting it to be this big. That's so funny. There's actually not that many of them as well. There's like probably 20 people here that actually helped. So we're looking pretty good. Who's going to get the legs? Oh, Ranger's here, got it. And the top, I think, is over here. Oh, Lord Jimbob, and the last item, the Spectral Spirit Shield over there. <laughs> Only Moly got it, I think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hopefully they enjoy I love seeing an old school drop pie. That's so funny. <laughs> got an AGS. Did that person? No, that person got an AGS. That's so funny. <laughs> oh. I think it was only Molly that got the spectral. <laughs> No, oh, it's nice when it's like actually kind of like low level noobs that get it. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. I mean, he's not a low level noob really, but yeah, nice that it's not like people in Max Capes and Infernal Capes getting it. Um, look at that. Lord Jim Bob with the third age range top. What a guy. Awesome. Right. Time to. Go and get our silver bar. Well, I'm not going to go and do that right now because I've got to go out to a work meeting. How tedious. But uh, when I get back, well, am I even going to do it in this video? I might do. We'll see. We'll see. So how much bark did we actually get from all that? So on a non-forestry account, we got 4,200 bark. That's not even bad, is it? Um, I think that's actually quite a decent amount of rewards if I had access to a forester. A uh, forester? What are they called? Yeah, I think it's a forester. Um, but yeah, we got the level we needed. That is massive. I'm going to start probably scouting some baby implings over here. If it's easy, I'll probably do it myself. If it's tricky, I won't. So I am back from my meeting and it is five past five. And what we're going to do is look for some baby implings. And we just found one as quickly as that. So uh, let's go grab this first baby impling. Check that we, in fact, can bare hand it. Let's see. And there we go. What did we get? No nothing? Nothing? <laughs> I don't think. But good sign that it was so easy to spot uh, if we hop through the worlds. And it was highlighted, which is good. So what I'm going to be doing now is just basically hopping through the worlds and seeing if we can see them. I believe they spawn over here. So I think if I just what, walk left to right, I should see quite a lot of them, probably. Okay, it took us about four minutes to find a second one, so it doesn't seem too bad. What do we get this time? A knife. Not what we want, but we shall keep hopping. I believe the spawn is like here-ish, so hopefully we can spawn some more. And there is a third one that's going to give us a hammer. Not very exciting at all. Okay, so I've got Stella in the room with me, and she is making some hilarious noises. 
Um, so the, it looks like their wander range on these implings is very far, and I spot them about one in every ten worlds, so it's not the best. Seems you can get nothing from this relatively often, seeing as I've got it two in four. Um, so, yeah, not sure if I might just host a community event to find me baby implings, even though it's relatively easy, just so I can, uh, you know, engage with the community a bit, give some uh, give some GP away, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it doesn't seem too bad getting these baby implings. I'm sure we will wrap up 100 relatively quickly. Uh, just to note, this does not count as a primary training method. Uh, implings only count as a primary training method inside Pura Puro, and we do not currently have access to Pura Puro, Pura Puro at all. So, yeah, we're not we're not landing ourselves with any stupid hunter grinds just yet. Though now I'm level seventeen twenty seven. When I, what are you doing? Just like smashing a fan against the wall. Um, when I get to level. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? Um, when I get to level 7, when I get to Pura Pura, I will land myself with a grind uh, to get 89 Hunter, I believe, inside Pura Pura, so that would not be very fun. Um, but, you know, we've got to complete this chunk first, so uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just crack back on with this. The Silver Bar. One of these bad boys will set you back a cool 125 GP on the Grand Exchange. However, I'm an Iron Man and thus can't use the Grand Exchange. And not only am I an Iron Man, I'm an extreme one chunk Iron Man and so I can't even mine and smelt a silver bar at level 20 mining and smithing because within my chunks, I don't have access to a pickaxe. For this reason, I've had to think outside of the box. However, there were no thoughts to be had outside of the box. Getting the silver bar was impossible. Until, luckily, in the last episode, Jagex bailed me out. They created the single worst skilling activity ever, Forestry Part 2. And as part of this, for the cheap price of 50,000 GP per XP, I could pay scouts to source tiny amounts of Hunter XP within my chunks via foxes. Today, we finish off our quest for the low, low cost of 400 mil a single silver bar will be mine. If you're enjoying the weekly uploads, please like, comment and subscribe. It is really appreciated and helps push the videos out there. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy this one. All right, here we go. We've got a PK and he does have the agility level and he is smiting us. So this isn't a good look particularly. Uh, what we're going to try and do then? Run around. Oh, we've thrown him. Ah, go on. Oh, okay, he's going the other way. Ah, have we got it? No, 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 run back. Ah, yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I did him so good. That is so funny. <laughs> he got fucking wrecked. Oh, it's like, oh, I'm going to have to put in one of those clips of someone getting wrong-footed. Um, like in uh, American football or whatever. That was crazy, bro. Oh, that was my favourite escape, yeah. Oh no, it's this fella again. Is this... Is this the guy just wrong-footed? I think it might be, mightn't it? Yeah, he's got 75 agility. <laughs> okay, I don't think he's going to make that mistake again. I'll tell you what, though. If we escape again, this guy has been embarrassed. Come on, let's get him. Okay, I know you can do it, so I'm going to go the opposite way. Go on. No! Oh, we so nearly had that. Oh, if you hadn't caught that freeze, we'd have been laughing. Oh shit, I'm not nearly out of food, I didn't even realise. Uh, come on, let's go. Okay, I'm going to run and pretend to jump. See ya! <laughs> oh, I've just had him again! Oh my god, I've pulled this guy's pants down so badly. That is so funny! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, you have been destroyed on screen for, what, 50,000 people to watch. Oh, look, you, you've lost respect. You can't respect yourself. I don't respect you. The audience don't respect you. Your wife and kids, they feel let down by your lack of, of, of game knowledge. Oh, <laughs> that's the best thing that's happened to me all week. <laughs> oh, I can't get over how much I just had that guy's pants down. That is deserved for the PK community as a whole, taking my uh, first crossbow. Oh, good times, good times. As you know, we don't take sponsorships on this channel, but I'm excited to announce that the Frey merch store has finally dropped over at FreyRS.com. I spent a lot of time putting together the website as well as the collection, so please check it out because this is absolutely the best way to support me in my goal of going full-time into content creation. I'd like to think I've covered all bases on what people might like to see. I've got the headline art piece, The Journey So Far, Muratonia arc, available on both canvas and metal posters, as well as on ultra premium hoodies, sweaters, and t-shirts. The artist Maximus did a really great job of telling the story of the first four episodes of Canifish Chunk, so please show these some love if you like his design. I think it looks amazing, but maybe I'm biased. I'm thinking I might get a three foot poster for my home office. Personally, for me, the wearables, I tend to buy more subtle designs when purchasing RuneScape merch. Here is a picture of me and my wife wearing some of the OG Swamp Letics merch. So for people like me, I've got a couple more simple designs, the Canifish Chunk signature and the Chunk lines. With the Chunk merch, I've made it available in kids and baby grows too, so that all the mums and dads out there can kit their babies and toddlers out in something meaningful to them, whilst also calling your kid a cute little chunk too. I fully intend on getting a matching pair for my daughters, so look out for that in uh, upcoming videos. This is my first ever merch drop, but hopefully not my last. I intend to make further additions to the Journey So Far lines and will discontinue the art over time as the account progresses further into the grinds of Chunk Man, so if you like it, please get it now whilst you can. It sounds like Jagex are going to be hosting a RuneFest in 2024 and it would be incredibly cool to see you guys with some of my stuff there, particularly some of this OG stuff in this release. I hope there is something in the collection that sticks out to you and if there is, I'd love to see a picture of you wearing it or hanging it on your walls. Thank you so much for listening to this little self-sponsorship ad read. Anyway, back to the video. So I believe it is the first clip of the video. The last video has just gone up about 45 minutes ago. It's doing pretty well, which is good. I've just had a Jmod, Mr. Manked Up Mage, comment on it. So we're clearly doing something right, which is very good. And the first clip of uh, this video, and I'm not entirely sure at this point whether it's relevant to the title or not, is going to be level... 85 range which is kind of massive isn't it like that is a level um that's like kind of in my head when i think yeah it'd be all good to go and do zolra now so um we've kind of got a zolra level account which is kind of poggers man um we're getting protected by our buddy soup here super soaker um which i like as a name let's see if he can take out its camel with the web weaver bow um, he mentioned when he showed up that he's not very good, so <laughs> I guess we'll see if that's the case. Um, but yeah, let's see if our boy manages to kill this guy. It doesn't look like it's going particularly well so far, <laughs> I must say. Uh, hopefully he can turn things around though, that web weaver bow is strong. It's looking a bit evenly matched now, they've kind of chanced each other a couple of times. Our boy here with a web weaver bow does himself have a god sword, so he's got a bit of KO potential. Um, hopefully my boy Super Soaker can... Oh. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> Thank you Super Soaker. What in the fuck is this? Is this a new, a new random event? 
I've checked your account. You have a direct account. You have set a bank pin. You pass my checks. Enjoy your... Okay. <laughs> it is a Wednesday. So I'm guessing something has happened. Uh, that's... that's that Jagex have done. Is that permanent? Do I just get a free lamp every so often? I mean, that was a random event, wasn't it? Surely. I mean, uh... Do I, what do I want a lamp now? Slayer? Or Hunter? Hmm. Right, so benefit of Hunter is if I get to 32 for young implings, I can get a bowstring. The only issue with getting the bowstring is, yes, it gets me a better bow in the form of the magic short bow and the U short bow, but the only places I have to use those bows at the moment is... At Revenants, where I'm going to be sculled the whole time, and therefore, if I die, I'm going to lose said bow. Um, and, you know, getting the bowstring from the young implings will just take longer, I think, than using... I don't know what this guy's talking about. <laughs> There's not been any earthquakes where I live. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to use the bow, because to get a bowstring back from young implings is just going to be so much ag that it won't be worth the mild accuracy increase that I'm going to get from it. Uh, so I think that's probably a bad idea. Um, so I think, I mean, what do I get from Slayer? What Slayer creatures do I have unlocked? So I've got the Slayer Tower. Uh, if I get to level 45, I'd have Infernal Mages. Um, it's just kind of pointless. So any goals with the Slayer are so far away just to the point of being pointless. <laughs> um, what else could I lamp? Uh, agility, that'll just save me a bit of time. Farming could be interesting, I guess. Um, what else have we got? I don't think I can lamp runecraft in construction, maybe. Uh... I think it's probably just going to have to still be Hunter, isn't it? Because I guess there's always going to be Implinks that are worth unlocking. And I guess if I get a Magic Short Bow before I get another more useful Wilderness Weapon, I could... Okay. Um, if I get a Magic Short Bow before another Wilderness Weapon, I could use that at things like Green Dragons. Uh, so that could be the idea. Right, yeah, let's stick it on Hunter. Fuck it. We're, we're sticking with the Hunter as our lamp of choice. That was a long clip to decide that, but <laughs> here we are. I'm guessing some kind of bot just had to teleport. Rest in peace, noted dragon plate skirt. I wish I could pick that up. They look so good on the ground. Last week, I soft launched my Discord, but I thought I'd chuck a clip in the video today so I can hopefully see even more of you in there. The invite link will be in the video description from here on out. See you there. Okay, so could I get um, the baby implings myself? The answer is yes. Uh, do I want to? No, I want to have some fun with the community, man. Let's let's grab some baby imps from some people, give away some money if we get it. So we're just going to give away 100 mil to the person that gets me the baby impling that gets me a silver bar in my inventory. So uh, chisel for Ganorth. Let's get back to hunting. So um, let's... Uh, yeah, I thought I thought it'd be more fun to uh, host a community event, get the uh, get the lads involved. Hopefully, someone wins a hundred mil uh, soon. It would be nice to uh, to get this wrapped up quickly and get on with the rest of the requirements that we need to get uh, to the werewolf course. And once we get to the werewolf course, we can start agility again, and that'll be big because it would be nice to have eighty nine within the revenant caves. Okay, this event got out of hand <laughs> very, very quickly. Look how many people there are in the friends chat uh, when I can join. If I can join. Imagine if it gets too full. There is, yeah. <laughs> this event got kind of out of hand. Um, 519, just west of the gates. What, look at this. Like, look how many there are. My God. Um, so we're at 80 baby implings at the moment. We haven't got a silver bar yet, but hopefully we will soon. Um, 100 mil to the guy that gets it. Hopefully it's this guy. Go on. Oh, no. I think it's... Who's the guy that's been calling it? Uh, that guy. Rip. All right. 421 now. Um, 
yeah, they're, they're not exactly uncommon, but I like I like this idea of getting the community involved, and this has been quite a lot of fun. If I'd self-scouted 81 Implings, it would have taken a lot longer than this. So, uh, yeah, I'm speeding it up for myself. It's fun as well, because look at the boys, and I know when someone gets it, they're going to be very, very hyped. This is quite nice, actually, because we've caught so many now, they're kind of sticking to the spawn region, so it's actually far easier to find them than it was earlier, like earlier I was having to run around a lot, whereas now a lot of them are like just respawning back in near the gate and people are keeping them there, uh, which is very nice. I need 491 as well. Go on. Okay. We're actually nearing <laughs> level, 30, level 29 Hunter. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, ball of wool so many of those so many right five two two as well yeah it'd be really nice to get to be, like this is actually not bad as a hunter method i don't know what the hunter xp per hour is uh well, well <laughs> it's pretty bad um it's about but it's about 1600 no it must be more than that i've done 80 in an hour so oh yeah 1600 xp per hour yeah that's not great um but it doesn't feel too bad um, and hopefully we'll get this silver bar soon. We are up to 92. This will be 93rd. Nope. Uh, 494, 513. God, here we go. There is the 99th catch, and we are about to go and get catch number 100, so we're going to be hitting the drop rate. Level 29, but we didn't get the silver bar, so 100 baby implings. Uh, and we did not get the silver bar, but we did get level 29, so only one more to go until level 30. We're really kind of rattling through the levels. I mean, again, a very expensive way to play offering a bounty for this many baby implings, but interesting nonetheless. Uh, we wouldn't have to go too, too dry, I guess, to get... Uh, to get the level for young inflings, which would be quite hilarious, really. I tell you what, no stamina potions for this is terrible. I wish I had stamina potions so, so badly. Come on. Just running around on 0% run is so bleak. Come on, let's get it on number 103. Silver bar about to appear. Ah. <sighs> Oh, we just got a mud pie. Does that actually do anything? It's 1.8k, so I assume it must do something. Let's, uh, let's research what that is. Hold on. I thought that was a food item. It's an equip item? You throw it at people? <laughs> I'm very confused. Since when did that item exist? That is ridiculous. Oh, okay, I see. It's a fun weapon, I believe. So it's got like minus 100 stats and stuff. Uh, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, we've equipped some boots and a cape and our mud pie for the look. Luck. Let's go. Literally nothing. So we must have actually more than the 108 that are counted on the tracker at the moment. So we're actually going quite dry for this because we're 108 plus all of the ones that I've got nothing from. Um, so yeah, we're probably about 120 or so, I'd guess. A lob that's the first lobster that we've got, uh, which implies to me that that is a fellow one in 100. Rest in peace to Cheesy Peens. So I've looked at the log and there are 10 items that are a 1 in 100, same as the silver bar, so inclusive of the silver bar. Uh, and we have all of them at least once, if not twice, except the silver bar and the soft clay. So if we get soft clay before we get the silver bar, the silver bar is literally our last in a one, 1 in 100 drop. So that is sad. 
we're up to 130-ish now, uh, because the nothing drop, as it turns out, is a 1 in 10, so I've got 119 on the log, plus probably about 10% that are nothings. So, yeah, we're, we're kind of getting now decently far past the drop rate, and we should hopefully be getting it soon. Right, I've got a really, really good feeling about this one. 480, world 485. It's a good number. It's a good number is 485. Let's get this silver bar, shall we? That was lucky. And there is another air talisman. Please, can we get the one in 100 that we actually want? Oh. Rip. Four nine three. So we just got our third spice, which is the same rate as the silver bar. So yeah, we're really getting unlucky now. We're up to about 170 baby impling captures without one, which is kind of brutal, I must say. A fourth spice before getting a single silver bar. Come on, this RNG is crazy. Imagine if I was actually scouting this myself and hadn't bothered to uh, get the old community involved. I'd have been here for, like, I was getting about 10 per hour. So I'd have been here for 20 hours scouting these without getting one. This is wild. Wild. <laughs> Oh, and there's another flax, up to two flax. I've nearly got two of everything except the silver bar and the soft clay, coincidentally. And another spice. Five spice, zero silver bars. Come on, the spice is just trolling me at this point. Oh, there's level 30 hunter. That's a nice little side quest that we just got. Very nice. Uh, let's go to 341. Go on, I reckon... This is the one. 341, impling count number 179. Let's get it. Here we go. Go on. Never, ever, ever lucky. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Zlatan505 is the guy. There he is. Silver bar at number, what's that, 176 plus 18, so we're talking 194, there we go, 194 to get the silver bar, but we have it, there we go, huge, huge, huge for the account, right, gotta go, uh, log and get my main and give this guy a 100 m's right so i know i was saying at the start of this grind oh no i don't need to you know i don't need to do this it's it's you know it's just optional i'm just doing it for some fun with the community blah 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 do you know what i saved myself <laughs> so much time doing that it is scary i caught nearly 200 implings which if i'd been self-scouting would have been about 20 hours probably so we saved ourselves a decent amount of time. There is the boys, Zlatan 505, 100 mil for the Zlatan. There he goes. Hopefully he spends that nicely and enjoys it. But uh, yeah, main thing is we got the silver bar on Cannafish Chunk and we can now proceed with the Creature Fengenstrang quest. Well, here's the big thing. No, we can't. Because the, what we also need is three bronze wire. And if we can see here, this is kind of the problem. We need level four smithing to get a bronze wire. So as per the rules in my series, I only need to train uh, uh, smithing 299, which is the level that I've currently got backlogged because I have a rune bar, if I get a primary method. So primary method would be, you know, a guaranteed drop of bars or um or mining the resources like the ores like tin and copper that kind of thing getting a one in 50 drop for a skeleton or whatever does not count as a primary training method at least for me to get you know level 9 i don't have to train smithing and i don't have to train smithing to level four i could complete the chunk i'm in without doing that but 
I want to train it to level four, and therefore I'm going to do a fucking stupid method just for th uh, three levels so that I can get the three bronze wires and therefore complete creature of and strain, access the werewolf course, and start on my agility. <sighs> That was a long, uh, <laughs> a long old explanation, but hopefully you kind of understood all of that. Yeah, time to carry on. Well, not time to carry on. It's four minutes until my dinner time, so it was actually good that we got that uh, that we got that silver bar when we did. Good times. Cool. So let's take a little look at what we've got in the bank so far. Have we got any bronze bars? So we've got one bronze bar there. Have we got any tin? One tin. Oh, we've got 10 copper. That's interesting. I think they're drop. They're like a one in something stupid rate from uh, Black Knight. So I'm not sure how many bronze bars we're going to need to get to level four. Probably a decent amount. I, I mean, we're genu genuinely talking just to get to level four. Hundreds of skeleton kills, probably mid hundreds, maybe up to a thousand skeletons. So you can see why getting level four, which is like 280 XP, might be somewhat achievable, and getting level 99 so that we can do our runite bars is obviously not, because you know, I'd prefer not to spend the next 20 years of my life killing skeletons for bronze bars. Um, but yeah, we'll crack on with this and hopefully we'll get that quest knocked out soon. Holy, holy fuck. I just saw a YouTube comment that there is an oak tree in Varrock and he's absolutely fucking right. So when I was going through all that pain of like chopping trees on this account, basically unnecessarily, I could have just been doing anything that I liked, having everyone and myself chop this tree and then just teleporting into Varrock straight away to uh, get the fox event. <laughs> oh, who knew that was there? That has got to be a Mandela effect. That oak tree cannot have always been there. I mean, obviously it has been, but I've never seen it before. Any, any of you guys ever spotted that before? That's bizarre. So I've just done some quick maths and we're talking, uh, I need 21 bronze bars to get to level four and I need three further than that to make the bronze wires for the quest once I, once I get to level four. That looting bag betrays that I just died on mobile. Some guy level uh, 99 med using a heavy ballista killed me for my maple short bow. Hope he enjoys that. Costs less than one of his uh, javelins that he used. Um, yeah, it's 12 and a half XP per bronze bar. We need 252 XP, so we're talking 21 plus three. Uh, so we need 24 bronze bars, and they are dropped at a rate of one in 26 from the skeletons uh, near Edgeville. So we need, uh, how many is that that we need to kill? So 24 times 26, come on, I should be able to do that. 520 plus 104 equals 624 skeletons just to get to level four smithing, which is 276 XP. So I'm sure you can appreciate why I'm not going to be doing that method much further than that. Um, you know, it falls outside my rules and is definitely a meme grind. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. I'll finish this revs trip and then I'll go and kill 624 on rate <laughs> skeletons for bronze bars. Oh, tell a lie. Actually, I don't need to kill 20. I don't need to kill that many because I've already got one bronze bar in the bank. And I've also got one tin ore and one copper ore that I can use. So I've actually got 22 that I need to get. And actually one less than that because one of them was just to get 2 XP and I'll get 6 XP from the smelting. So what I actually need is 18 bronze bars dropped plus 3. So 21 total. Not too bad. Oh, here we go. This lad's actually got the uh, got the agility level as well, so we're going to have to try and play it a bit smart around here. See what we can do. Hope that he splashes. Okay, let's try and run it around here. 
This can work sometimes. Can sometimes get the log. Go on. Yes. Oh, you see, you don't always need the agility shortcut. You just need to be good on the running. Oh, that was a bit tense. Oh, and here we go again. We've got a proper PK on us this time. Look at the gear. Look at that. Luckily, I can see he's only 65 agility, so we should get away. To be honest, go, come on, at least cast a button and tangle. Okay, there we go, he's cast one. Go and get the pro range on. I love the auto retaliate attacking back for you, that's really nice. Go on, kill the guy. <laughs> I thought I was going to get him for a second there. <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> See ya! Okay, so fun little fact for you that I've just I've just read on the wiki. So the werewolf course can actually be done with a hundred percent success rate if you've got level eighty agility, which I'm pretty close to, and interestingly, level eighty strength. So you can only fail one part of the course, which is the death slide at the end, and it, and it can hit up to 30. Um, so yeah, I really want to avoid getting hit by that as much as I can. Um, but if I'm going to do it, I'm going to need 80 strength, which is quite a lot. So I'm debating, should I... I'm thinking I should train up to 60 attack. Uh, ooh, it's so tough, isn't it? I guess I should just go and see what the rate is, to be fair. Um, but in an ideal world, I'd get the Vigora's Mace soon, and then I'd use that to get up to 80 strength, and then I'd start the agility at that point. Um, that seems kind of sensible to me if it's going to affect the rate by a lot, but I guess probably the key thing I need to do is just go and test it out and see what the rate is like. I think it's time to go and get ourselves some bronze bars. We've had enough uh, fun messing about with PKs for now. Uh, we're actually going to be quite close to the Ferox Enclave Bank doing this. So the Skelly Bobs are just down... Where do I do them? Uh, over here. So I can use this tree stump, these iron rocks, to uh, safe spot them quite effectively. Although, I'll be honest, 85 range and 40 defense. I probably don't need to safe spot them, do I? I've also got Protect from Melee these days, so I could just, you know get stuck in I guess I uh, get the protect melee up and hopefully we can get some bronze bars soon I've got you know basically unlimited money and bronze arrows so I'm not even gonna bother picking up the arrows uh, 600 and well probably about 600 skeletons that we need to kill let's see if we've got any on the log no we don't I'm guessing I'm hiding them yes I am include their loot sorry you couldn't see that so that was all just for me we're up to four skeletons so far let's see how many we need to do to get all the bronze bars that we do I in fact ignore that whole last clip because I'm gonna be I'm gonna go inside soon and do most of this on mobile so uh, I won't be able to keep track but I will hopefully come back with the bronze bars all the sooner I always find when I'm going slightly overrate on something like this, I get paranoid that the wiki is just wrong. I'm convinced I've had bronze bars as a drop from these before, like personally. But, you know, I'm 38 in, no bronze bar to be seen yet. Just get you, just, you know, gets you slightly nervous that your whole plan is going to come crumbling down before your very eyes, you know, the one that you invested. 400 million GP into that you invested uh, You know that, that you're you're hinging 200 hours of your life into I don't actually believe because that one doesn't have a sword or anything I actually think that one doesn't drop a bronze bar. I think it's only the ones like with the weapons that do um, So that's something but yeah, you know, I, I've invested so much time and energy into getting four smithing for a bronze wire that I'm just praying that these do actually drop the bronze bars. Come on. Okay, getting slightly more nervous here. We're at 70 kills with no bronze bar yet. Hopefully that comes in shortly, <laughs> please. 
Okay, that's 99 kills, and on to kill number 100. Still no bronze bar, which is supposed to be a 1 in 25, so I'm getting a bit nervous. Uh, rate my impression, though. I'm gonna, you know, I was gonna insert a little clip here of the uh, I don't get nervous guy, um, but I, I, you know, I'm gonna do an impression, then I'll play the clip, and you can kind of rate that out of ten. So uh, I don't get nervous, but you know, I'm starting to get a bit shaky, you know. And now I'll play the clip. I don't get nervous, but I'm starting to get a bit shaky, you know. I mean, I'm a little bit. Weak. I mean, the fact I'm 105 dry on this now is exactly why we don't treat this as a primary training method, because I've killed 106 skeletons and haven't received one item that gives me 12 and a half smithing XP. So, uh, yeah, you can see why getting a million bronze bars to get 99, ru uh, 99 smithing for the rune 2H is off the cards. Because, uh, you know, I've not got, you know, I've got a lot of time for this game, but I don't have 108 million skeletons worth. <laughs> this whole get 21 bronze bars, no worries thing is <laughs> starting to stress me out a bit. I was supposed to go to bed about 15 minutes ago, but I was like, oh no, I'll just get the first bronze bar at least. 142 kills against what should be a 25 drop rate. Yeah, I'm starting to get a bit worried that these don't drop them at all. I swear I've had them off this, though. I swear I've had bronze bars off this exact creature. I swear. Right, I'm going to have to call it there. 150 kills. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to do some on mobile. So hopefully I'll come back tomorrow and go, Hey, don't worry, guys. I got seven bronze bars last night. But we shall see. Okay, so after 500 kills on mobile, as well as the 200 we put in uh, over here, or the 150 we did on, on PC, I can confirm these skeletons do not drop a bronze bar. So the wiki says they should. They're level 25 and they're armed, you know, they're holding weapons. That is the criteria that the wiki reckons gives a bronze bar. So... The weirdest thing about this, though, is where these five guys near the rocks do not drop a bronze bar, this one skeleton, who, bear in mind, look at him, right? What's he got? Hammer, round shield, helmet, right? Level 25. When compared to... Where is he? Sword round shield helmet. I mean, how is that other guy? Oh, yeah, here's another here's another one. Look, hammer, shield, helmet, right? Level 25. Doesn't drop the bronze bar. Does drop the bronze bar. What on earth is that about? What criteria have they possibly come up with that justifies that? That's mental. Um, so, yeah, this fella here does, in fact, drop the bronze bar and all the other items. So, not only did those other skeletons not drop a bronze bar, they also didn't drop a random selection of the loot that is possible. So, they drop, they don't drop iron medium helmets, unless you're on free-to-play, in which case they do. They don't drop iron scimitars, for example. Um just weird like there's just a weird difference in the drop table for some reason so this is the this is going to be the way that i'm going to do it uh it's just hopping worlds and killing this one skeleton over and over which is way more tedious than just killing the five of them that were there but this way we can at least guarantee ourselves the bronze bars as opposed to whatever weirdness is going on with the <laughs> with the ones over there but uh yeah I have confirmed because I received one on mobile that this guy does drop the bronze bar. Okay, I'm starting to get slightly concerned again. We're at 75 kills of this skeleton without a bronze bar again. I, I could swear last night I literally did this and got a bronze bar. I feel like, you know, I'm this close to going over and just checking in the bank to see if I've got an extra bronze bar. What is with my RNG? Come on. Just got a loop half of key before getting a single bronze bar. How rare is that? Come on, we're on 92 kills. Come on. 
We just got an uncut sapphire as well. That's not even on the drop table. I swear. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> I definitely got a bronze bar last night. Definitely. The only thing I'm not 100% confident on is whether I was on a member's world or not. I feel like I was. But we're now five times the drop rate. We're at 125 kills for a 1 in 25 item. So I'm thinking... Let's hop it to free to play and see what happens, I guess. Right, they exist. Free to play, in at least in free to play, they exist. There is one bronze bar, 35 kills in free to play. So I guess that is what, somewhat accurate to the rate, which is supposed to be one in 25. But I swear yesterday I got it on, I got it on members. <laughs> I'm so baffled. Okay, they at least exist. They do exist. I'm not going mad. I, I just feel like the rate just isn't 1 in 25. Like, something about it just seems off to me. I've, I've been very dry on a lot of stuff, and I just think, yeah, I think it, they're like short printed versus the, <laughs> versus the rate to uh, borrow an expression from uh, card games. Okay, yeah, I wasn't going mental. I did get a bronze bar yesterday, so we're now up to three. This is proving to take a lot longer than I thought it was going to. I thought I'd be able to rattle through these like 600 skeletons pretty easy, but we're up to well over 500 skeletons and only got two bronze bars. So hopefully, in fact, I'm going to grab some more arrows. Hopefully, that's okay. I should probably swap my range gear, shouldn't I? It's like studded or something. Oh, I should put a, a rune... I'll put a rune full ha no rune med helm because that doesn't give negative range bonus, uh, and I'll put in fact it's green green dehyde is members isn't it uh, non members so if I do green dehyde and studded body I should be able to wear all that right yeah look at that free to play setup is booming uh, we'll grab the rest of our bronze arrows I'll probably just grab my iron ones as well and let's get back to can I use these pools in free to play if I can, free to play is a lot more uh, content rich than I thought. Look at that. Nice. Nah, we're another 80 dry. I don't understand. These drop, this this NPC drops this at a supposed rate of 1 in 25. And yet, on my loot tracker, I have 396 skeleton kills, all of them for armed skeletons, and I've got one bronze bar. I... I <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. What am I doing wrong? Right, I've gone back to pay to play. We just did a hundred and free to play without anything, so I don't particularly think it affects everything. They must just be not the drop rate that the wiki says that they are. <laughs> Reckons it's a one in twenty-five. Yeah, right. I mean, I've seen. I I don't know if they've changed it though, because I've seen. Um, there's this. A uh, picture on Reddit of someone who's killed a thousand of what I believe is this exact NPC, and he's got thirty-four bronze bars in a thousand kills. So that kind of lines up with the numbers you might expect if the drop rate was one in twenty-five. So uh, I just don't get it. I, uh, this just doesn't seem right to me. Like you've seen that this NPC has dropped me a bronze bar. Like, it literally has, like, in front of my very eyes. So, twice. So, it does drop it. It just must mean that the drop rate is just categorically wrong on uh, on the wiki. Weird. Yes, no, it must have been in members when I got the last one because it went into my looting bag and you can't access the looting bag in free-to-play. So, yeah, definitely got it in members. So, the bronze bar drop does exist in members as well. <sighs> Am I just... This unlucky? This seems unlikely though, doesn't it? Right, I'm gonna try these level 22 ones and see what the deal is, see if... Because they are armed as well, visually. So potentially they're better. Although are they, or do they just have a shield? Mm. <laughs> well, we'll see what the drop table is on them. If I start getting stuff from the armed drop table, then maybe these maybe these are what I need to be killing. I just don't think so, though. This has all just been very, very confusing. Okay, now those ones are definitely unarmed, because that just dropped two coins, and that is only a possible drop from an unarmed one, whereas this guy drops the right amounts of coins. I'm so confused, man. I... <laughs> 
I've never seen the wiki be wrong before, but I refuse to believe this this isn't wrong. It just, it just this cannot be a one in twenty five that I've got one in over four hundred kills and more on mobile. That just isn't right. And there is another bronze bar. This time confirmed in pay to play. Uh, we're at like way over. Where's it? Really? Yeah, we're at. 130 something kills since the last one so maybe it's a one in 128 and the wiki's just wrong saying it's a one in one in 25 that's the only thing i can think but yeah <laughs> hopefully hopefully i'm just moaning and i'm just really dry and i turn around and get like 10 in a row that would be really nice but we'll see oh we just got another one about 10 kills later Maybe I'm just going biblically unlucky on these. That would be crazy. I mean, I'll have just spent five minutes bitching and moaning. But really? That would be nuts if that's the case. Like, that is insanely dry to go multiple hundreds dry back to back on a 1 in 25. But maybe that's the case. And there is another one. But about 25 kills later. So yeah, looks like we did literally just go insane, like 200 dry on a 1 in 25, twice. Uh, so, okay, well, that's good, because it means that hopefully I can start getting these bronze bars a bit more frequently, and uh, we can even out our drop rate a bit more, and hopefully get this uh, smithing knocked out today. And another one, like 10 kills later again. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> this is a 1 in 25, and I was just bitching and moaning for no reason. Okay, we just got another one after 80 dry. So, yeah, it just seems like the drop rates are just pretty variable, and I'm getting pretty unlucky. But, yeah, we're, we're picking them up now. We've got kind of eight or so in the bank, so we're about a third of the way through. Um, so, yeah, if we can finish it up before 1500 uh, skeletons I'll be pretty happy I should if I hit drop rate be finishing it up before a thousand but we shall see and there is the tenth bronze bar from the skeletons only about 10 to go I'll uh, once I bank this in band I'll work it out precisely and I will know exactly how many we've got to go but I can feel this uh, the creature of Frankenstein completion edging closer and closer and closer so that is going to be very exciting right the looting bag is starting to look a bit healthier now we've got what one two three four five six seven in there plus an extra three in the invent so that was a decent little trip we are up to where are our bronze bars there they are so what we're up to 17 that's not even bad is it Look at that, 17. Right, I just need to do some calculations on how many more I need. I believe we've still got our ore. Yes, yeah, so we've got one bronze bar in the ore. Uh, so let's just do the calcs. Right, so by my calculations, I only need five more bronze bars. which should be 125 kills. We shall see how we get on with that. We're at 743 skeleton kills at the moment, plus you know, another two or three hundred on mobile, so we're at about 900 uh, kills, uh, 950 kills for a grind that should have taken us about 500, but good that the RNG is finally sort of evening out a bit, when we're no longer doing like 500 kills for two bars or anything, so uh, yeah, a bit of a brutal start, but we're kind of back at it now. I, I, I literally don't understand, we went like 200 dry for one bar, and in three kills, I just got two. Uh, <laughs> this is, like, even though it's such a small item, this is the weirdest RNG I've ever had for a grind. It got so bad, I actually bothered to tweet Ash about whether this rate was correct. I mean, evidently it is now, but, I mean, <laughs> that was just bizarre. So much variance. You must be joking, it's like five kills later and I've got another one. All that's in this looting bag is three bronze bars. Right, two to go. I swear to fucking god, it's been like three kills. It's been- it, what? What is going on? What? <laughs> How? How? How did I do like 300 kills for one bronze bar? And now I've had four in about 20. 
I'm so baffled. Maybe, <laughs> maybe like the drop table is like, uh, you know, attached to the phases of the moon or some bollocks. Uh, right, one more bronze bar to go. What the actual fuck? <laughs> look at the words. Look at the words. Look at the words. I've gone from so I've got done four. There we go. Four bars, one in the end, Ben. That is fucking crazy. Right, let's go. So what we need to do now is just smith these. Irritatingly, to get the final bit of XP, I have to go to Port Phasmatis. Um, so I've got to go all the way to... Is that, in fact, actually, is that the only furnace we've got these days? Uh, no furnaces over... Ooh. No... Uh, oh my god, what am I doing? Right, no furnaces over there. None down there. Yeah, we're gonna have to go all the way to Port Phasmatis to 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 smelt one bronze bar to get the level, but and then what? Teleport all the way back to Varok for the anvil, and then all the way back over here to finish the quest. Brilliant! But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get on with that now. First time actually doing this random event. Let's get the free frog token. Can't go wrong. Twenty eight collection log slots. Not bad. So I just accidentally stepped into the chunk up here uh, for the first time. So you can tell that every single time I've traversed across the Port Phasmatis, I have gone through the miserable haunted wood up until now when I accidentally just unlocked the music track for stepping into that chunk. I don't really know what happened and I didn't even really notice until, <laughs> until I'd done it. Um, but we did get that music track, unfortunately, which is a bit gutting. Uh, but, you know, at least if I've recorded it at, uh, how far into the account, 36 days into the account, you know that I at least wasn't doing it for the 36 days that it was available. So what we need to do is just smith this, smelt this bronze bar, which is the whole reason we had to track all the way over here. And that gives us 7 XP and we should now be 245 XP until level 4. So what we're going to do is... Grandfather, I need those. And now I need my hammer. Uh, we're going to grab. Should have 22 bronze bars. Yeah, so I'm going to grab another fucking noted items. Get in the bin. Um, so we're going to grab those, 20 of them. And we're going to grab our hammer. And we're going to teleport to Varrock, and we're going to make 20 of something to get to level 4 smithing. Uh, so this does not matter uh, for progression in the account, because I don't have to do this. This isn't a skilling method that counts under the rules, because the drop of the bronze bar is way higher than the 1 in 16 rate that we set for it. But yeah, here we go, making some bronze daggers. Uh, do we unlock anything at level 2? Probably not. Oh, we do. Um, well, I don't know. I might have been able to make all that stuff already. Make some maces. Look how quick this is. Smithing is nice when you've already got the bars. Getting the bars, less so. Uh, but here we go. Approaching level 3. So little XP per bar, isn't it? That's so depressing. Um, I'm so glad I haven't unlocked any smithing grinds yet. Let's make ourselves... Oh, the bolts might be... No. No, the bolts. Yeah, the bolts might be useful one day. Uh, 12 XP per one. So I'm hoping my maths is exactly right and we're just going to tick over to uh, to level 4 on the last bar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we will, we will, we will. Right, here we go. So big, big level on the account. Level 4 smithing for a bronze wire. So not a level that we had to do by any means, but doing so uh, by doing some bullshit method is going to unlock us the ability to go and do creature of Fenkenstrain. So we're going to grab the remainder of our bronze bars and our hammer again. <laughs> And we're going to go make those into bronze wire, grab our silver bar, and then we should be good to go and get Creature Frankenstrain finished. So here come the bronze wires. We need three of them. One, a two, and a three. There we go. Right, so let's go finish this quest then. Right, there is our extended brush. That took our three poles that we had. 
and our three bronze wire so that item there is the only reason we had to go and kill about a thousand skeletons to get bronze bars and aside from that we just need to go and repair the lightning conductor and job should be a good one so we got we used the extended brush we got the mold and it turns out we need to go back to any furnace and the only furnace we have is in port phasmatis so i have to go all the way back to canifis bank grab some ecto tokens and a ghost speak which luckily we still have and head back to port phasmatis so i spent 400 million gp and many many hours of my life getting this silver bar and we're about to turn it into a lightning rod lightning rod there we go there is our 400 million gp conductor let's go uh Let's go attach it. Right, time to get rid of our lightning conductor. It costs 400 million GP and there it goes. We no longer have it. Go back to the first floor and speak to Sir Dr. Finkenstrand. Sorry, that's probably a borderline racist accent. <laughs> I feel like Randy, like just doing things that I shouldn't be. <laughs> I feel like really naughty for having gone and uh, trained my hunter through such a wonky method to be able to do this this is uh this is great i can see why he gets addicted to the feeling of just like doing slightly untoward things this is fucking great so here we go about to complete the quest there we go ring of charos achieved that is massive that is werewolf agility right there. So let's go take this ring and see if we can talk to the uh, werewolf and get into the course. So here we go. This is the moment of truth, I guess. How can I get to the werewolf? Who's beneath the trap door? Okay, I've got my ring. Hold on. Oh, I thought for a second then I had to do something else before I could go in. Okay, West is the main agility course. Okay, Bark it. <laughs> I just had a mini heart attack. Okay, so there we go. Here we are. Good times. We are down at the Werewolf Agility course. Let's, uh, should we give it a run? Give it a go. 10 XP. Look at this. Run over here. So you can't fail any of these uh, obstacles until the last one, but the last one can hit you 30. So I crawl through, I need to then grab the stick, like so, and then climb up this skull slope. I teeth grip down here. This is the one that you can hit. This is the death slide, as it's known. 200 XP for the completion, and you give the stick to the agility trainer for 380 XP. Werewolf agility, lap count one. Did you see how much XP that was relative relative to the cannabis course? This is bonkers. I mean, right, let's uh, reset the tracker and see, you know, what the XP per hour is. Right, let's go. So, I know this won't be 100% accurate, but let's add that to canvas. I love that it's like one tick to hop across the stones and stuff. It's like a really actually quite interactive course, which is nice. Like, look at that. That's pretty nice. Like, I definitely lost a tick there by being crap. Um, but there we go. Grab the stick. Up the slope. It's actually quite a nice little course, to be fair. Uh, let's teeth grip down the zip line. Off we go. Do we make it the whole way? Yes, we do. Give the stick to the guy. And back to it. Look, the whole course takes about 38 seconds, supposedly. Oh, so I need to run like this, run to there, and then go. Oh, that's so nice. That's actually really interactive and cool being able to do that so quickly. So uh, let's keep going. Definitely losing ticks. Yeah, this is actually like a skillful agility course relative to... Some of the others, right, so the stick's over here. Oh, so the stick can move, that's interesting. Uh, run over here. So we're starting to tick down, so we should see the XP per hour. So once we hand the stick in, we'll kind of have a slightly closer to a representation. Um, 
200 XP again, and then another 380. So yeah, this is probably going to be about 60k XP per hour. The only issue is that I'm going to run out of run energy. So it's not going to be as quick as people might think, but it's going to be better. It's going to be substantially better than the Caliphus course was. This is massive. And all we need to do is get to level 29. Uh, 89. 29? 29 would be nice, wouldn't it? Sorry, I'm used to talking about Hunter, not Agility. But yeah, level 89 really shouldn't be too bad on this course with the with the run energy. Maybe I should do some laps walking only, and then I'll be able to see like a worst case scenario. Um, and then I'll be able to just always get at least that, possibly more if I've got run energy. So that, so that can happen. So I only hit five there, but you can see I fell off early, so I only got hit five but I need to get my strength up because that affects the fail rate and I need to get my agility up as well because apparently that so once you hit 80 strength and 80 agility you should never fail which is good so uh yeah let's these stone that's nice being able to do the one tick stones um but yeah let's see what the xp per hour is walking only and uh yeah this is game changing game changing so walking the entire time, and I failed the uh, the death slide, uh, I'm getting 42k XP per hour, which is substantially better than the Canopus course, which was about 18 if I was really paying attention, more like sort of 14 if I wasn't. So yeah, we have cut hundreds of hours off our agility grind by spending all that money and that time getting a silver bar. So I would say hugely worth it and doing this to 89 is going to be relatively a breeze oh look one of the things that you can tell so when i was at the cannabis course it's always said 15,000 laps to go until the goal here less than 5,000 laps to go so yeah basically cut our time down by three and these laps are slightly faster as well they should be about 38 seconds if running uh so yeah this is very, very nice. Oh, I can't believe how hyped I am for this. This is so good. Mr. Eminem here coming in with actually a very good point. Forestry part two, pretty much unilaterally hated by the entire community, except me and my hunter level, because without forestry part two, I would not be here right now. So big up Jagex for releasing shit, low effort, poorly thought out content because it is beneficial for me personally. Yeah, that's what can happen. Just got here 27 falling off there and reduced my XP by quite a bit. Uh, you can see why I need all the food, but the food weighs me down, which then makes me fail more. So it's a bit of a kind of sick, a bit of a circle in that way. Um, so what I really need is to get to 80 strength and 80 agility and then i shouldn't fail that at all and then i won't need the food and you know it will just all be a nicer experience for me uh but what i need to do to get that is to what i basically need a vigorous chain mace because it'd be idiotic of me to train my strength all the way to like 80 with an adamant sword when i'm going to be getting a vigorous at some point in this chunk anyway so yeah, I need to decide what order I want to do things in. I'm not going to get level 89 agility here and now. I think I'm just going to kind of do this on and off with other things. Um, it's no longer quite the insane grind it once was when I was going to do it at the Canifis course. So I think I can probably knock 89 out relatively quickly. But I think I would still be a bit of an idiot to just do that before getting the Vigorous Chain Mace. So we're probably going to go back to Revs for a little bit see if we can get a mace soon and i'll maybe do this like in the evenings and stuff that might be the nicest way to do it right here we go we're gonna try and do this guy i nearly died there just getting the recorder up we're gonna try and do this guy just like we did that other one here we go no he didn't fall for it <laughs> oh no oh no it's not looking good bruv it's not looking good <laughs> I don't think I've actually got like hardly anything. Is he just gonna? Is he alright? He just literally let me get away. What a noob. That's immense. <laughs> 
Oh, I just saw Big Batty Paul, the PK bot, get absolutely shredded by this guy. That was class. <laughs> Things you love to see. Right, so I've decided that, you know, I need, I'm need. i going to get the Vigorous Chain Mace eventually. I want to train my strength up for the Whale Fragility course, so I may as well now just start training my attack up, because I think if I don't, you know, I'm just going to end up paying for it later on, right? So I'm going to get my attack to 60, ready to get the Vigorous Chain Mace. And then when I get the Vigorous Chain Mace, I'll then just be able to train strength straight away. But there is 41, first attack level. I think I should be able to get to 60 attack without becoming, uh, without my combat level. Oh yeah, there we go. 31 attack or strength levels before I get a combat level. So... Yeah, that's kind of perfect then, isn't it? So yeah, I could get up to 60 pretty easily and almost 70 strength before becoming melee based again. So yeah, that's going to be the plan. Get 60 attack now. I am going to skull up and see if I can chance a rev weapon, but I thought, you know, I may as well train up here, right? At Revenants and, and have the rolls on the table. I guess actually a good idea could be maybe to go to experiments in the Fenkenstrain castle chunk, but... Even though that would be better XP, probably, I wouldn't have the rolls on the rev table that I would here. What do you think's better? Hard to say, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Should I stay here and get the attack levels and get the crappy rolls off the Revenant Imps? Or should I just go to experiments, knock out the level ASAP, and then come back and kill Pyrophenes properly? Tough to say, really, isn't it? Right, so I think the best thing I can do is probably just test the XP per hour in both places and then do the push his glasses up emote maths to uh, decide which one would be better based on the drop rates. So yeah, I'll get the XP. I'll get a rough XP per hour for doing the imps. I'll then head to experiments and get a rough XP per hour for that. And then I'll do the maths on if, you know, with the hours saved from doing it ex ex at experiments, would I be able to have more rolls on the Revenant table by spending the hours I saved at the Pyrophenes doing them properly with a maple shortbow, basically. Although I must be the only fucking chump in the world that says doing Revenants properly with a maple shortbow. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let, let's, let's do the maths. I severely, severely wish this was me <laughs> again. Although it looks like an actual player, Group Iron Man lag rather than just a random bot. So at least there's that. Oh, that just makes me miss my own crossbow <laughs> sometimes. Cool, so the XP per hour on the imps is about 13k. Let's call it 12 and a half with banking and escaping from BKs and stuff like that. So uh, in fact, I'll call it 12 actually because it's it ticks down quite quick so we'll call it 12k xp per hour uh for the imps and then i'll go try out the experiments and see what the xp per hour is there all right and here we are at the experiments looking like a fucking chad so the uh the rune dagger is actually better than i Addy sword but i can't use it at revenants because i could lose it and i can't get it back as easily as the Addy sword so i guess that's a reason to do the experiments as well Let's give them a go. So I believe they have 100 hit points and pretty low defense. So uh, yeah, let's just get stuck in. I, I oh god, I can't talk. I absolutely love doing this, uh, doing that event and getting a lamp now. That's just so good. Uh, there we go, 300 hunter XP. Let's crack on with this. So it looks like the XP per hour here is about 20k. So it is a lot better and it will continue to get better in a way that the imps don't. So the imps, even though I hit more often on them, they're like despawned quite a lot of the time. Um, so this is quite good. It's also very AFK. So it's going to take me, what, 11 hours at this exact XP rate to get up to 60 attack. Not too bad in, in reality. And I think what I should probably do is just save doing this for a time that I can be AFK, or I need to be AFK, um, because, yeah, this is like, what, a click a minute, something like that, which is pretty low in reality. So, yeah, I think I might just save this for 
when I need to AFK and do this. That seems like the best. I'm not particularly in a rush to get 60 attack. It would just be nice. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll just split this up over time and do it slowly. Okay, quite a big level coming in here. Not the level 47 attack, but total level of 1,000. I wonder if we'll ever make it to 2,000 on this account. That would be pretty crazy. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> that would be me going absolutely wild. But uh, yeah, 1,000 total level. Nice little milestone. Could go and lock in the uh, Iron Man status forever if that's still a thing. I think it is. Um, but yeah. We, so I decided on the experiments um, because it's going to be 11 hours versus about 19 hours. And in the eight hours I'd save, I could get about 1,100 Pyrefiend kills, which is about, what, about 20, 25% of a unique at Revenants. Whereas the 19 hours I'd spend at Imps is about is about sort of 18 to 20 percent of a unique. So not only would I get more of a unique chance by doing it at the experiments and then using range at the uh, Pyrefiends, but this is also incredibly relaxed in comparison. So yeah, not only is this more efficient, but it's also better. So yeah, experiments. Good. Now, don't let the naysayers say that I can't grind off screen. There is 60 attack. Uh, I believe that was just one clip uh, between getting 47 and 60. So, yeah, that was a pretty big grind. But we are ready now to train strength as soon as we get the Vigorous Chain Mace. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go head, head and do some agility for the evening. Good times, good times. Oh, and I guess I'll chuck this, uh, this lamp on Hunter now that I'm... Uh, now that I'm recording, here we go. Uh, there we go. Job done. Just 600, oh, 529 XP to go until level 31. I'll tell you what, it is crazy depressing that trout is like one of my best foods I can use. I mean, obviously I could buy some more from there, but I just have the trout in the bank and anything that I can buy from there in any decent quantity isn't much better. But yeah, just having such crap food to go and do the werewolf course with is bleak, but at least we can do the werewolf course, which makes a fucking nice change. These people are just so boring. Nice, well executed. Good job. Right, Let's see if he's got the agility. He doesn't, what a surprise. Oh, it's just, like, I got here like five fucking seconds ago. Like, leave me alone. I'm not even killed anything yet. Like, my God. Who are these fucking losers? Oh my god, these people are relentless at the moment. This guy doesn't have the agility either, but I'm pretty low on food because I just got attacked. I thought it'd be okay. Oh, come on. Go on, yeah. Yeah, yeah, keep attacking, keep attacking. Go on. Yeah, you fucked it. Oh, okay, that's not a good time. Oh, fucking hell. I think we should have this. Hopefully. Okay, this is pretty slow on the switches, so we should be good. Oh, he's 70. Oh, no, he's got the pie. He's got the pie. He's got the pie. Oh, no, run. Oh, God. <laughs> he's 74 agility, so he must have had an agility potion or a summer pie or something on him. Oh, that was brutal. Oh, no. Fucking log straight into a maledictus. Are you kidding? Right, I need to just go to the bank. Oh, no. <laughs> that was quite the... Uh, that was nearly me getting uh, destroyed for being arrogant. That was ridiculous. An absolutely massive trip to the Revenants. A whole invent of food down. Two PK as found. And zero loot in the looting bag. So, yeah, good fun times right there. Five episodes ago. I rolled a death chunk, the Revenant Caves. 
On screen you can see the items and levels that I have to get in this chunk. 89 agility and 87 fletching are particularly brutal skilling grinds, but by far the hardest task in this chunk is completing the Revenant collection log with the use of only a maple shortbow. To that end, in this video we will be killing 10,000 more Revenants. In my first 10,000 I received a crossbow, which I promptly lost. Can I do any better in the second set of 10,000? Let's find out. Welcome back to Canifish Chunk. If you enjoy the extreme one chunk Iron Man series, please like, comment and subscribe on the video. It lets me know that this is the content that you want to see. Thank you so much for watching. Why haven't I thought of doing this sooner? I'm in the high risk world. I've been here for maybe 10 minutes and not a single bot has logged in because of course they all use an amulet of avarice, don't they? So none of them want to risk it. So there's none of them here. And because there's no bots here, there's not, I imagine probably not going to be too many PKers either. Um, I mean, there might be the odd one, like looking for real players, but I don't really know why you'd go in search of real players who aren't going to be using a plus one, like a crossbow or whatever, because it's a high risk world. And you, as the PK, I can't use any high value weapons or anything because you can't bring a plus one with you. So I'm quietly hopeful that this is going to be a lot less miserable now. And I don't know why I haven't thought of it. And frankly... I blame you guys because no one suggested it in the comments either. <laughs> Hold on. Is there a reason people don't do this? Do these skulls that you get in the high risk worlds count as skulls for being like skulled at revenants? My thought is possibly not. You want to ask? Okay. Okay, that's fine. So I can get a regular skull. I just can't use those that like, other weird one um okay cool that's fine i just need to pay extra attention then because it won't be so obvious when i de-skull cool this guy just menacingly standing there is stressing me out like surely he's definitely calling some mate that can come and kill me because he's too high combat we shall see <laughs> oh there we go nice little ancient totem not too bad Free little one mil looks nice on the floor as well. We take those. I think they're like the most common of the decent drops. So not too excited. Uh, but nice nonetheless. Let's go chuck that in the bank. And here we go. Yet another ranging level. Level 86. Let's see if we've got an extra max hit. It'll be nice if we have. But I don't think we will to be honest. But 86 range, that is such a high level. We're gonna we're gonna be 90 soon, God. Hey, it's our first PKer in one of these in a long time. Not seen a PKer at one of these for ages and ages. I think I've been logged in. I mean it doesn't look like it because I've been hopping well to skull up, but it's been about an hour and a half without seeing a PKer. Uh, but he's not got the agility level, so rip to bozo. Unluck, friend. <laughs> oh, shit, bros. We just got ourselves an ancient relic. 16 million GP. I missed the collection log slot. Oh, fuck. Got some guy on me. Oh, some guy, like, logged in. Oh, God, I don't know if that was a PK or what, but oh, my God, that was scary. Oh, my heart's actually going. Oh. Okay, I need to make it out of this thing because I would be really annoyed if I lost my 16 mil emblem. I can't believe that guy just came out of nowhere. Oh, oh my god, my heart is going like fucking crazy. Whew. 16 mil emblem. Oh, that is nice. That is so nice. 
Ancient Relic, right, that is all of our emblem collection slots done, I believe. Let's have a look. There it is. 11 out of 14 on the collection log. Just need the mace and the scepter and the avarice to go. Oh, that's huge money, huge money. Right, that was indeed our last emblem, which means we can finally fill in the last slot here. Chuck that over there, and there we have it. There are all our emblems. So we only we don't have all of them currently, uh, but we've got a decent amount. So what have we got? We got what 1.5, 6.5. 10.5, 26.5 in emblems. <laughs> That's pretty good. I can just convert that straight into cash, which we might need to do soon because we are running low. That is exciting though. Oh, my heart was going when that guy logged in on me. That was crazy. Oh, there is a cheeky little genie. We'll have you, my friend. So that is actually the last lamp we need for level. 31 hunter one more level until we can bare hand some young implings and when we can bare hand young implings that means that we will be able to get bowstring and that is quite big because it means we can use uh, magic short bow well use short bows for now magic short bows once we get our fletching level up so yeah really not too bad and I probably won't use them too much, but I'm feeling quite safe in the Revenant Caves in the minute, so I think it may be worth making a magic short bow at some point. We'll see. What are these people? Is this a bot? Like, it seems like not. Like, what's the point? Attacking me with... Okay. <laughs> they just confuse me. I, I, I don't know. Are these real people? Probably. Oh, just, just baffling, isn't it? Baffling. Okay, now he's dropped a Varax Flail. I'm so conf... What? What is this guy around? I'm just going to go back see what happens. <laughs> is he going to attack me again? No? What a confusing man. Oh, I'm just... I'm just confused. I'm just... Con what is... Huh? <laughs> what is happening right now? Oh, I just recorded a whole clip and forgot to uh, hit record. Uh, we just turned in 5 million GPs worth of emblems at the Emblem Trader. Uh, so frustrating you got to do it in Bounty Hunter because it just makes it that bit more scary. But we made it, we turned them in, we're all right, and we're just trying to get so we can teleport out now. I need to buy some new arrows, and I'm hoping, like, you know, 5 million GP will be enough to cover us in Addy Arrows to get us through to another Revenant weapon, because I'm sick of this maple short bow, and I just want to be using something better. Uh, but there we are, got out of the world eat with 5 million GP, and it's now time to buy some arrows. Okay, we bought ourselves 5,000 Addy Arrows, which cost, what, nearly 800k. See, they're expensive, but that's not too bad, I guess. Uh, what, 160 GP each? I mean, we're making way more than that. Oh, I'm so happy I got that earlier. That's so fat. Uh, I'm, I'll turn that in one day, but not yet. I think what I want to try and do is get a full set, like, just in the bank, because I think that'd look really sick. Ah, there's just there's just been an update to the game, uh, and there's no bots, which is kind of a good thing because there's no bots, but kind of a bad thing because I've got nothing to skull on. I usually just use those as mobile uh, sculling fodder. So yeah, uh, don't know how I'm gonna get a skull. I guess I just kind of have to wait for the emblem trader to walk by and unskull until then. That's so sad though, because the rate is so much worse unsculled. Can I just say this update was a bot breaker? Like all the bots in the ref caves are clearly not there. Average population on the 500, to uh, like on the you know the UK world's 505 down to 525 is about five or six hundred at this time normally. It's an average population, like 150 across those worlds, unless there's something specific going on. That's insane. That means like 
three quarters of the game is bots. That's nuts, isn't it? I mean, really, really crazy. What I might give a go, actually, is I've just done a DPS calculation at 86 range, and it looks like it takes me about 33 seconds in this setup to kill a Revenant Demon, which is longer than the Pyrefiends, but I have to wait for the spawn time of the Pyrefiends, so potentially this may not be that bad, although I guess actually it's 33 seconds, assuming it doesn't heal, and it'll probably heal quite a lot, but... My damage isn't too bad anymore on these, is it? Really? Like, I'm hitting quite consistently. Um, I should probably do another check now that my range level is so high to see if there are any other things worth killing, like the Hellhounds or something like that over the Pyrefiends. I think the Pyrefiends are probably going to be the play just because I can KO them quite quickly. Um, but worth, uh, worth having a look into. Eh... Uh, yeah, it's just isn't worth it. I just can't hit consistently enough to like out hit the heal. And also it hits me really, really badly. Um, so yeah. Boring. <laughs> Pie beans it is. Ah, uh, I love going over the uh over the agility shortcut and telling them to politely see ya. Uh <laughs> it's just so addicting. The PKers are out in full force right now. He's still got shit agility though. Are these guys actually using HK? I swear he just like changed his whole gear in like one tick. Oh no, he's 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 a legit PK. We'll allow it. He's got shit agility though, so he won't have fun with this. Although he might actually KO me because he's quite high level. Uh, he's given up. Pussy, pussy boy. <laughs> Oh, it's felt like a while since I've got a uh, HP level, or at least it has been on screen. Of course, it dies just in time for me to uh, not get it. <laughs> now I'm going to wait for the spawn of the other one. Brilliant. Uh, we are currently about to get, though, level 2. No, not level 2. <laughs> 2 XP remaining until level 77. There we go, level 77 exactly, which doesn't give us a combat level, which is good. So we are just safer from the PKers for nothing, which is nice. So, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, it's annoying because I'm, as my combat level creeps up, I'm just going to get into more and more trouble with PKers, particularly if I move to higher wilderness once I get another rev weapon. Um, but... It's, it's nice to see progress on the account, like the range level, the, like I remember this account being a noob really not that long ago and now, you know, 80 magic, 86 range, 77 hit points, they're all like pretty good levels, so yeah, exciting times. Got some absolute cretin on me, he's splashed almost everything he's thrown and he's not going to get agility level. <laughs> they never respond, I want them to like start shit talking over the gap and they just never do. Maybe they're just better people than me and I'm the asshole. <laughs> I'm convinced the people that dress in like this gear are bots. He's 97 magic and nothing else and just attacks you with fire wave and tally block. So annoying. <laughs> like all it does is cost me my arrows and my pyrefiend kill. Like I don't even hop world from him because it's just a waste. What? Like, he'll probably just get straight back on me, even though I just escaped. Like, I told you, it's so annoying. Ah! Uh... Okay, I think this may be a real player, but he is AFK, and so I might just get my first PK <laughs> on the account. <laughs> Sorry, Carol. <laughs> Holy fuck, that guy was stacked! <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. Oh, feel bad now. How long is this pile of stuff gonna last there for? Because it's, it's actually quite annoying having it on screen. Oh. <laughs> he's back and he's on me! <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, the agility coming through is a lifesaver again. That's very funny. <laughs> Sorry, Carol. We might have another AFK player here not responding to me. 
Let's give it a go. No. Oh, looked like he was actually. Loki disconnected or something, but <laughs> that would have been funny. Oh, 50 agility merchant. What's he got for me? Hopefully, fuck all. Things you hate. So the G moles are a bit spooky because they can just go crazy, but I've got 40 defense and decent gear, so it's not too bad. Have to tr have to talk a little bit of trash. You're not going to beat me when I'm concentrating. Easy game. Bye. Yo, look at this actual beast. Has he got the agility level? No, he doesn't. Oh my, I can actually get this then. Okay. Uh, I hate the toxic swamp people because I hate getting venomed. Although he's not actually venomed me yet, so I don't really know why that is. Come on, come on. Surely we got this. Easy. <laughs> he has venomed me though, which is annoying. Uh, I guess we'll just have to uh, go bank. Ah, oh, things you love to see in the rev caves. The old, the old genie with the lamp. Two, how annoying is that? I'm too... 2xp away from two lamps from level 32 and I can get myself a better bow um, but 2xp <laughs> that's so annoying um, hopefully I get a dunce or whatever but you can't get the dunces in the world so that's pretty unlikely um, but I guess I could just go and catch a baby implant once I've had t oh hello <laughs> see this is how frequently I get attacked you guys think that I put loads of these in the video and I just don't um, but you know it happens all the time and they're really annoying and they always start with a TB even though they can't kill you it is wounding but we'll uh, we'll carry on yeah uh, it would be nice to get the new bow soon hopefully we do two levels two, well two lamps and one little baby and pling to go and then we should be good Right, I genuinely didn't know this until someone left it in the comments. Instead of running all the way around there, apparently you can just hop in this free-for-all portal, straight back out, and that cures everything. That is ridiculous. Why even have that if you can cheese it through that? <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh, I'd like to get a gold bar from this, because if I can, I could make myself a ring of dueling. Ah, bad luck. Hold up, lads. It's Big Batty Paul. Big Batty Paul's on me. <laughs> He's like famous in the rev caves for being shit. Uh, so if I die to him, that would be particularly embarrassing. Oh, here we go. Oh, he nearly had me. Come on, Paul. Paul's going crazy right now. Look at him. He literally is just here all day, every day, doing step-unders and everything. He must get bored. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't, he's, he's attacked me, uh, you know, 500 times, uh, and never killed me, so we shall see, I think he just switches every attack, like, I'm pretty sure Big Batty Paul is a bot, but, there he goes, see you Big Batty Paul, oh, one more totem, not bad, wonder if that PK will get on me, now that he's, Oh, he's not followed. Good, good stuff. All right, one mil totem. Not bad, most common thing, but it'll do. It'll do. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Just got attacked by a PK. -er. He didn't land a single hit on me, except a bind as soon as I'd crossed the agility. And with that bind, it venomed me with a toxic staff. <laughs> Fuck off. If it was just poison, I'd stay, but venom is just pain. Oh, go on then. I'll get another level. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I always kill it too quickly when I get a level. Oh, now we've got 11 seconds to wait. Terrible. I'll just have to entertain you in the meantime. Do, 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 do,
There we go. Level 87 range. Flying through it. 77 combat as well, which means even higher level people can attack us now. Good times. But the main thing is we don't get a max hit from that, at least with Eagle Eye. Uh, so it turns out my next max hit with Adamant Arrows is going to be level 91, which gets me up to a 17, which is a bit gutting. But um, I at least might get a max hit without Eagle Eye. If you could hear that Discord message, I'm so sorry. I swear, this count check stuff is fucking great. I like, it's been so, so, I've had like four of these. It's because I can't get dunces in the wilderness as well. It's double the amount of events I can get in the wilderness. And they are brilliant. Right, there is another lamp. How close are we now? 232. One lamp and a baby impling to go. Fun times. Okay, we could be in a bit of bother here. PK seems decent. And we're dead. <laughs> oh, I just got some good loot as well. Oh, sad times. Sad times. Go on then. Second shot at the uh, gold bar. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Here we go. How quickly can we do it? Bowl. Bar. Coins. Unlock. Sad. Oh no, we just got caught at the end of a trip by a guy. Like, he just teleblocked me the second I came out. I think he was attacking someone else. Ugh. I mean, the good news is that at least I've got full food, but I don't think I'm going to survive this guy, to be honest. What's the agility level? 81. Yeah, I'm fucked. I'm so done. I can't... There's nothing I can do here. I mean, what I reckon probably head into the caves is probably the... Or maybe, maybe what I'll do is try and fakey into the... Oh, shit. What, decided he couldn't be bothered with me? Okay. <laughs> we'll take that. We will take that. We'll hop. Oh, my God. That was nerve-wracking. He could have so easily had me. Several people in the last video were interested in how I was eating blighted manta rays outside of the wilderness. What is the charge? Eating a manta ray? A succulent Chinese manta ray? 77 days ago, I rolled this chunk, the revenant chunk. Alongside 89 agility and 87 fletching, I also need to green log the revenants. After 16 days, I received a crossbow, and after 23 days, I lost a crossbow. However, after a further 42 days of killing revenants with a maple shortbow, I still haven't received another revenant unique. This changes today. Welcome back to Cannabis Chunk. Views are down. Just look at the state of my real-time view count since League's on screen. I think this is more to do with League's content saturation than anything I'm doing wrong. However, I'd like to try and keep my motivation high. And frankly, as a RuneScape player, number go up really helps with this. So if you could drop a like and comment on this video or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, it would be massively appreciated. Thank you for watching. So, quick question before the live clip start. On losing the crossbow, should I have to get another one to complete the chunk? The chunk picker says you must equip a crossbow and you must get a crossbow in your collection log, both of which I've technically done despite not having the crossbow anymore. So, question for you guys in the comments is, should I have to get a second one to tick off the chunk before I can move on? Hello and welcome to the first live clip of the next video, the video where we are going to be getting a unique from Revenants. Uh, so, where we're starting? We're starting at 21,928 kill count. 10 ancient totems, that's pretty cool. 3 ancient relics, which is a highlight. And then obviously the crossbow that we got at 9,200 kill count and lost. 
So we're about 12,000 kills dry of getting a unique. And these uh, Pyre Fiends are one in four and a half thousand. So we're starting at about three times dry. And hopefully we can get the weapon at the start of the video, get a, get a bit of luck finally. And then most of this video will just be me going, you know, pew pew with a crossbow or a pew with a with a staff or clobber clobber with a with a <laughs> with a chain mace um but it might not be we won't be waiting right till the end to get it but we will be getting a revenant weapon or an amulet of avarice in this video hopefully i mean i'll be honest i would like to get my crossbow back that would be cool but the vigorous chain mace i think would be my absolute tip top pick if i could pick something so Fingers crossed that that's our uh, our one in four. Oh, go on then. Let's let's grab another gold bar. Hopefully, go on. I'll unlock your chest for you. Why not? Right, coins, bar, coins, unlock another gold bar. Things you love to see. That's taken us up to two. So we've got a ring of wealth in the bank, and we can now make two rings of dueling, which will be useful for us in the long run. Oh, I'm getting absolutely sick of these Revenants, Revenant bots. I mean, 482 total level on this guy. Uh, I wish I could get like another 200 total levels and I could go to the uh, at least one of the total level worlds and then there'd probably be, probably be less of the bots. But it looks like we're all right. Good times. These are just always the juice. The dra the double dragon plate leg is always just absolute fire. So, so nice. 320k in cash. And it's not even a unique. So, so, so nice. <laughs> fucking hell. Leave me alone. Ancient crystals. Can't fucking move for them. I think that's the eighth one that I've had now. Oh, come on. I just... just Praying for a unique. Come on, I've got enough money. I've got enough crystals. Just give me a unique. Oh, 500k emblem. They are the same rarity as the, the high value ones. So that is a bit of an L. But look at that. 1.1 mil in the bag. We also picked up the six magic seeds drop on this trip as well. Which again is another hilariously rare drop. But... It's nice that we're at least getting interesting stuff and adding to the bank value. Okay, this is about to be a huge moment for the account, which is level 91 range, which may not seem like a huge deal. But for the first time since we hit level 85, so six levels ago now, we're getting ourselves, I think, a max hit. So I believe, ne there we go. 17 with the Addy Arrows. We are absolutely massive now. Um, that is huge. So yeah, I mean, extra max hits are always nice. I think the next one is at like 96 or 97 or something. So hopefully we'll never reach it because I'll have some kind of slightly better weapon by then. Um, what would be very nice would be an Amulet of Avarice. I've said it before, but if my base max hit is 17 and I get, what, 20% from an Amulet of Avarice, I mean, I should be hitting, what, 21s with a Maple Shortbow, which is pretty big in, you know, all things said. Uh, so, yeah, let's hope we get that or another weapon soon. But, yeah, we are now going to be killing these Revenants slightly faster. Huge moment for the account right here. We are just about to get level two farming. Look at that, our first farming level, which is good because that means our lamps are now twice as effective. So that is the biggest percentage jump in lamp effectiveness right there. Uh, kind of level two to level like 12 is like actually really really quick and then it kind of slows down from there um but if we can get to level 15 if we unlock a farming a couple well, a couple of farming chunks we'd need the tree patch one and we'd need one where we can actually get a spade and seed dibber and that kind of thing because i don't think you can get them from just that patch alone but when we do we have a lot of xp i mean a lot of it is gated at um 
60 and 75 farming for the U and magic seeds that we're getting from here. But we're going to get way more of them before we green log this place, evidently. Um, <laughs> seeing as at the moment we're on rates, have to do like 100,000 revenant kills to green log, which would not be ideal. Um, but we've got a lot of bird's nests from getting 80 wood cutting as well, and we're probably going to have to do a bit more wood cutting uh to get the 87 fletching that we need in this chunk so either way the farming is looking quite quite sort of a bit more possible at the moment which is which is quite nice it would be nice to get a tree patch before unlocking any other bullshit from farming basically um and getting it up to level 15 via lamping while i can is a big component of that we also just broke over 200 rune plate legs, which is pretty crazy, and 40 dragon plate legs. Um, yeah, we got 61 magic seeds and 39 U seeds, which is a lot of farming XP there. I mean, the 60 magic seeds is what? Uh, 750k magic uh, farming XP, and I imagine that is going to be another what, 7k each so another 280 right there which is quite a lot considering we've still got quite a lot of uh, revenants to go and 108 of those and that is going to be a lot of uh sort of those lower level seeds that we need to get us up to level 60 once we hit level 60 we'll be flying it's going to be getting to level 60 which will be rough but i mean it's only 270k xp that is really not too much is it i mean that's what like a hundred willow trees something like that which is you know willow tree yeah willow trees probably about 2.7 aren't they no they're probably not <laughs> they're probably like 1.5 um but still it's a realistic amount of xp to get and then once we get there we're going to be flying we could get probably like 80 80 farming just off like mostly this stuff um, from level 60 um, maybe not maybe more like sort of I mean we're going to be like what we're going to be short on the usage but by the time we actually finish revenants we're going to be flying I mean yeah because once we get to 75 we're going to have you know easily 100 200 maybe 300 magic seeds which is going to be uh, millions of xp so yeah that will be nice because it will mean that we can actually do some proper sort of like herb runs and stuff in future, which would be very nice indeed. Just a reminder that it's your last chance to pick up some Frey merch with a 15% discount this week. So if something on screen catches your eye, all purchases are massively appreciated. Thank you very much. This guy is the bottiest of PK bots that I've ever seen. He is here all the time right and he always attacks me and always fails to kill me and it is painful because he does exactly the same thing every single time so he's gonna do mage and then i keep the power and then he does range like so and then he does mage and he probably do mage again because he's gonna try and bind me there we go and he splashed and he doesn't have the agility level. The bottiest of bot. And look, he'll path all the way around here, I think, trying to attack me still. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I could probably keep him here all day by just hopping across here and hopping back again. He's probably going to path back this way now. Is he? No. But it is annoying. <laughs> I wish they'd actually do something about these bots. It is crazy. Because so, not only are these guys all bots. See ya. Uh, the, the PK is a bots as well. It's a whole ecosystem of ridiculous bots. It is stupid. Like, I, 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 do any real players play the game? I mean, you see it. When when the servers update... Look, he's going to go for me again. Oh, <laughs> for fuck's sake. Why didn't I hop? Oh, painful, painful. Wow, there's a real PKer. Oh, oh, right, I'm going to pay attention to the audience. All I need to do is is move one level of wilderness down, which I think is about three squares, and I should get away. But look at this guy, he's stacked. <laughs> that was so close. Oh, my goodness. Actual players. We love to see them. Wow, that was cool. I like that. 
I'm actually kind of wrecking this guy. I should go for the kill. Look at this. I'm taking him out. I'm taking him right out. <laughs> See, this is the kind of PK that I'm like, why are you even bothering? It's just, just a, it's a waste of your time. It's a waste of my time. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's... A, is he a bot? I don't know. He seems quite... Like, his clicks aren't too bad. Oh, he actually has a Gmo. Yeah, that's not a bot, but he's at least trying. He's at least trying. Bye. I, I love the sad moonwalk that they do have to do away. Uh, am I comfortable with this amount of food? I might die, but it might be worth it. Might be worth it. Let's go back to the other high-risk squad. The high-risk squads are generally better, but people do go in them and when, when they go in them they tend to stay in them as well so i wouldn't be too surprised if i see that guy again in the new in the other high risk world <laughs> that clip of me getting the genie was literally an hour ago probably maybe less uh so that is another lamb from count check things you love to see and let's chuck that on farming for our first 20 xp drop huge we're gonna fly through those levels Four more lamps until level three. Oh, here we go. It's the same guy with with actually having the agility level. Here we go. There oh, Look at that perfect pro melee. That was very nice. Okay, right. What are we going to do here? Because he's definitely got the agility level. So we could be in a bit of trouble here. Um, I need to decide when it's going to be the best time to cross back probably when he goes immediately right uh, or do we just run Ugh. yeah that didn't work okay oh 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 so annoying when you when you think you've got it but you don't oh can we fake this guy out over the over the things that's so tough I don't think he's got pre-crossing in there. I don't think he's that kind of guy. Just probably splashes at the wrong moment. That's not good. I don't think we've actually hardly got anything on us at all. But that Addy arrow being on there is actually quite big. Because it might make him misclick. Looks like it did. Just. Come on. Come on. Come on. No! Oh! Oh, we're so done. Right, what am I going to do here? He's level 91 combat, which is really quite bad for us. Um, I need to... I think i got to go back. I don't think I'll make it down to the bottom. Um, so we'll just go this way again. Hope for the best. Ugh. No, we're definitely going to die here. There's no way we make this. The way he puts his fire cape on really signposts the fact he's about to DDS. So never do that if you're a PK. Um, right, I think we're probably going to die here, but we'll give it a go. Uh, Go on. No! Oh, that could have been it. That could have been it. No, he's got us. We're done. Oh, so lame. Pathetic. <laughs> oh, we've ran out of money. Oh, I'm going to have to alk something because I can't even go into the cave to turn in my emblems unless I've got the 100k. So, oh. Dying over and over. That's twice today I've died. I didn't die at all yesterday to get in those 700 kills. And then today, we've died twice before we've got like 200. Oh, yet another one mil. God, I lose my voice a bit there. Yet another one mil emblem. We have 11 of those now. I think probably about six of them in the bank. We've turned in five. Can't move for these things. Uh, they're pretty common though. I think they're like one in 1.7k or something like that. So not too bad. Oh, fucking hell, 500k emblem is literally more, like, rarer than a unique. Same rarity as the 16mm emblem, and the 8mm emblem, and the 4mm emblem, but it's just worth 500k instead. 
oh, please, can we just flip the script and get some RNG in the things we want? It's amazing. No one is actually interested in killing regular players here. It's literally a bot hunting farm. Because look, I had this guy attack me and I was like, oh, hold on, beast. And then he just stopped. So I stayed and then, you know, five, six, seven minutes later, this guy gets on me and I'm like, hey man, and he just offs as well. He could have easily killed me as well. He was like a max voider. Uh, yeah, it was literally a max med. The, the kind of account that killed me for my crossbow. Um, but uh, yeah, literally all they're here to do is hunt bots, which is, I guess, good for me. Although bad for them at the moment because it's update day and there are no bots in the rev caves which you'd think would be a good thing but it is definitely not because i basically just use them as like remote sculling targets whereas when there's none here oh my god it's painful trying to get a skull um so yeah i'm, I'm hoping they come back soon <laughs> and here we go 92 range and 80 combat on the extreme one chunk account exciting stuff we don't actually get any max hits i don't believe for 92 range but halfway to 99 so we, we started this chunk at level 30 range and now we're level 92 so yeah are we gonna hit level 99 before the end of the chunk i think it's looking like a distinct possibility based on the fact that we have uh, zilch in terms of uniques but I guess we'll see. Oh, for fuck's sake, I wasn't even looking at my screen. I just got two hit with a ballista. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Oh, I think I had a decent amount of loot on me then as well. The most annoying thing is losing my arrows because just having to go and buy them back is so, so lame. Uh, right, what should we go for this time? Up to over 600 bracelets now, which is pretty nice. I believe that's a full outfit. It is indeed. And then we just go one, two, three, and one, two, and we're ready to go again. That is how quick the regear is, but we don't do it too often, but when we do, it hurts. The Addy Arrows are so expensive. Even though we got loads of money, the Addy Arrows are still expensive and annoying to buy. Uh, I think what I'm going to have to do is turn in some emblems at some point soon because that cash stack is looking bleak. Okay, I've been running around the caves like a nutter, but I have just found this guy here. Let's just... Hang on. Okay, there we go. 40 mil GP. Now I just need to... In fact, I should probably hop away to the world I was just on just because there's less PKs in the high-risk worlds. Oh, right. It is very scary running around here with 40 mil GP on me. My run energy is not looking good because I was pacing around the caves for so long. Um, but it should be all right. 40 mil is going to go a long fucking way to buying us a lot more arrows and such. So we're out of run. This is scary. Okay, we made it back with our 40 mil GP and we can chuck it into the bank. That is so nice. Uh, we're pretty much out of Addy Arrows now. I've only got 120 left, uh, but I reckon it's probably time to go and buy some more. I'm also tempted to just go and buy a load of runes as well and start back up on our magic training. I'm level 80 at the moment and I don't know if like, like should I get 99? Because, you know, then as soon as I get a Thalmoran Scepter, it'll be as good as it's ever going to be. Or should I stay at 80, maybe get some XP? Um, or should I get, like, just to, like, 90 and then leave some XP for me to get? It feels like a waste getting 99 and then, like, just spamming loads of uh, Thalmoran Scepter for, you know, if that if that's the rev weapon that I get first. And, you know, if I ever end up with Barrows, I'll have to do loads of that as well. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think on that. Okay, so I am very, very grateful, feeling very grateful at the moment. So we just finished off buying 10,000 Addy Arrows, which is worth like absolutely nothing and cost me uh, nearly two mil. Um, but I'm very grateful I can buy arrows. I know a lot of chunk men really struggle with range because they've got to make their ammunition in some capacity. So just being able to buy it is very, very nice. Oh, yet again, Ancient Crystals, I think that's the ninth one. Oh, it'll be nice to have the obelisk in my house one day, but 
<sighs> I don't need any more of those. Okay, big number coming up with that kill there. We are at 25,000 Revenant kill count. Nearly 16,000 since we got the crossbow. So we are approaching four times the drop rate of another unique, which is getting pretty brutal now. But hopefully we can get one soon. Is kill count 25,000 and one going to be the kill? Hopefully. Ah, oh, some guy just got an amulet of avarice just as I left. Why couldn't it be me? I wish it was me. Oh, another two mil statuettes. Oh, we're getting so many of the emblems and statuettes lately, but unfortunately just none of the, um, none of the uniques. But another two mil to stick into the bank account. Very nice. I mean, it'll be a while till we cash them in again because that 40 mil that I did earlier is definitely the fattest stack of cash that I've ever um, had at once. So that will last a long time. There'll be a lot of Addy Arrows. Um, I mean, if I go through all that before getting a unique, uh, uh, that would be mad. Um, so I'm hoping I won't need to really cash emblems in again, unless it's for a specific reason, like uh, construction or something like that. So nice little one for the collection. No, oh, I wasn't really paying attention and my heart just skipped a beat when I saw the pink text. Four mil emblem, rarer than a unique once again. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'll take the GP though. Four mil's pretty good. Oh, the pink text looks so good on the ground, but the, uh, yeah, the expectation subversion from that is wild. That's a very clean number, 1,000 battle staffs in the loot tab, 8.2 mil on the GE, it is nuts how much the bank on this account is worth, 243 million GP on the Extreme One Chunk account, most of it in Revenant loot and obviously 40 mil of it nearly in cash. Just look at some of these item stacks, they're getting so big and they're only going to get bigger because we're currently at 25,341 kills and currently have zero of the uniques, you know, technically minus the crossbow, I guess. But hopefully that unique rate picks up because if I, if let's hope we don't hit 100 dragon plate legs, that would be bad because <laughs> we are about four and a half, well, about four times over eight at the moment. So yeah, if we get up to 100 dragon plate legs, we have failed miserably. <laughs> oh god, sorry, that was probably really loud. I just escaped this guy by running south and was laughing at him, and now this guy's on me. Uh, luckily, this guy's only uh, 32 agility, so it'll be an easy escape, but <laughs> I ran away from one PK, was shit-talking him, and then this guy gets on me and starts like trying to waste me as well. Oh, it's painful. There's a high-risk world as well, so there's literally nothing more I can do to try and get away from them. Um, yeah, annoying. <sighs> Fucking hell! Oh, God! I was not ready to talk there. I just cannot stop getting GP, can I? Oh, another 16 mil emblem, please. Just give me a unique. Oh, the 16 mil GP is much appreciated, but fucking hell. Oh, I'm getting to that stage, right? You know the stage that everybody fucking hates people, where they're moaning more than they're being happy, and I'm definitely at that stage at this point. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh god one day one day it will be something I, I see the pink text right i see the pink text i see the 16 mil value and i'm like my god i just got a crossbow again and <laughs> alas i did not but at least if we're gonna get a, a dummy rare emblem that's more rare than a unique at least it is the ancient relic which is by far our best one that is 64 mil in ancient relics that we've got at this point which is just absolutely massive um so happy to get those in in reality and in the long run it will help me a lot getting all these good emblems because as we're seeing with limpwer at the moment these uh gp 
is definitely a finite resource. Even for me, even with this chunk, there are scenarios where I could get in a bit of bother with GP. Um, so I'm very happy to see that I'm getting a lot of it because it is handy. So up to 200 mil in there now, which is just massive. Like these item stacks are just getting crazy, aren't they? Like even the small ones, like 1500 Addy bars. That's like a decent amount of smithing XP one day when I can actually use those. Um, like 20,000 blood runes, 700 black dragon hide, 200 rune war hammers. I mean, that's just a nothing drop. And yeah, it's 4.8 mils worth of GP. So yeah, I really want to get an eight mil emblem and then I can have one of each, but very good to get another 16 mil one. I'm sure you guys think I probably put a lot of PK attempts in and stuff like that, but I only try and put the best ones in. But what I think is quite funny is at any given time, you can generally kind of see in my chat what's kind of been going on um, in the, <laughs> like, while I've not been recording. Uh, I love, I love, I love shit talking the PKs. They deserve it. They deserve it, man. Come on, get your own resources. Kill your own revenants cannot move for magic seeds in the bank i think i'm now up to over 70 magic seeds which is just nuts i don't even bank anymore when i get them because i'm like ah, if i lose them i lose them hey there we go we got our second eight mil one there we go that is gonna complete our collection in the bank i've got stella with me at the moment because phoebe's gone to the doctors uh with my wife but uh yeah Eight mil effigy, very, very nice indeed, very nice. Oh, there we go, look how nice that looks in the bank. At least we have one of each now, and I'm gonna try and not trade in any of the singles, so ideally we're gonna have, you know, what is it, 31 and a half mils worth of emblems in the bank forever. Oh, so nice to have the full set in there. That looks so good. Wow, this guy, actually spellbook swapped to kill me and i i'm pretty sure i literally just got here oh my god he actually spellbook swapped to kill me oh my goodness that is nuts <laughs> that's so funny oh I don't I think he's probably gonna kill me to be honest. He's the ones with like rigor and piety and stuff just hit way too hard. Uh oh ouch. Yeah, not not much I can do against the 60 attack med with 99 strength, 99 range, 99 magic. Um <laughs> rip. It's so annoying because that guy yesterday, he played for about eight hours, basically just swapping between the high risk worlds and not. It was so infuriating. It basically makes the high risk worlds like off limits to me for, you know, eight hours in the middle of the day, which is right when I want to be doing most of my rev killing. So that is particularly annoying. Um, it means I have to go into pleb worlds and then there's just other generally more annoying, like worse PKers because that's where like all the like bot PKers go. Um, so that's quite annoying. This one guy basically just ruins my whole party and brings my kills per hour down by like a lot. Oh, for fuck's sake. BBL loving. What a name that is. Uh, 65 agility. So we should be good. Uh... My god, stop maxing on me. Christ. This guy's absolutely working me through absolutely no skill of his own. He's a real player though, I'll give him that. I ain't trying to predict them. Come on. Fucking hell. Look at that, he's taking like nearly all my food just getting to here and he's got like pleb gear and everything. Come on. No DDS? Come on! Ugh. I need to get that plugin that shows you how long you've got. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ah, oh, it feels good to escape from them like that. And this is why having the uh, high risk worlds is good. We use 28 arrows, 
And that's what we got in our looting bag before we had to bank because we were poisoned with hardly any food. Uh, <laughs> so that's what happens when you uh, do it in the regular worlds versus the high risk worlds. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can have some more luck. Oh shit, boys, we got a Tharaman Scepter. Let's grab it and go. Oh, it's in my looting bag, which is bad. Uh, right. Okay. Oh, Tharaman Scepter. That is big. That is big. Oh, as if I got one. Finally. Oh, fuck. I fucked up by letting it go into the looting bag, though. I need to make sure I get out of here without dying, because if I die with it in my looting bag, it's going to go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is nice. I, I kind of wish it was any other one, but I'm so happy about that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Right, let's get to the safe zone, then we'll look at how much kill count that took us. Theremin Scepter, new collection log slot. That is huge. Huge, huge, huge. Right, let's take a little look, shall we? Uh, so that was... 26,128 kill count. Two items to go until we've green logged the revenants. Right. Let's uh let's grab it out of the looting bag, shall we? Okay, right, let's get it out. Stick it in the bank. There it is, looking badass. Look at this thing. I mean, my main issue with the Theron Scepter is with the crossbow and with my maple short bow i've got gear because i can make a green uh black dragon hide body and black dehyde chaps with the scepter i've got absolutely nothing i think maybe my robes here give a tiny amount of mage bonus but otherwise we're kind of where we are but that's a decent amount isn't it how much is the mage bonus on that only plus 15 attack which isn't great uh it gives plus 20 defense which is interesting and then yeah they give plus two each so i guess that's not too bad but i can't get them very easily so if i lose them i, I lose them but look at that bad boy oh it's a nice looking weapon now i believe you could yeah it's a powered staff so you can just use it like that um i need to charge it up let's grab some ether shall we 1500 should do let's have a look does it change its appearance when it's charged? Uh, yes, the jam gets a bit bigger. Uh, are the stats any different? No. Um, okay, awesome. So I need to now decide if this is like the best way to be. Also, should I put it on defensive and get a load of combat levels? I don't think so. I think keeping 40 defense is probably the best. Um, but I should probably start splashing my magic again, shouldn't I? And I'm definitely not going to use this thing Scald. <laughs> I can tell you that for free. Um, but that's cool. And I wonder what my DPS and damage is going to be like with it. With the crossbar, I could obviously go and do like demons and dragons and knights. No problem. I don't think it's going to be the same with this. Because as I say, with crossbar, I had the, the black dehyde as well. But the scepter. That's a nice looking weapon, isn't it? That does look fucking good. Um so yeah let's get stuck in and see how it goes right i'm struggling with what npc i should try and kill with this staff um because pyrophenes are actually a bad option with the staff because they've got really high magic resistance cyclopses might be a decent test just to kind of see how it goes um yeah let's 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 give that a go oh i don't actually have any good prayers do i um okay right let's try that or should we try a demon? Let's try a demon, see how it goes. I'm thinking it's going to go quite badly because demons have quite high magic defense and I have no magic gear. Uh, okay, yeah, right. We've hit three zeros in a row followed by a small number. Uh, uh, we seem to be hitting all right now, actually. Um, at least we can hit some decent numbers again. I'm guessing the max hit is going to be higher than that. It's probably going to be 20 something. Uh, 24, not bad. Um, Okay, right. I need to find a revenant that has high, like, you know, decent drop potential, but also doesn't have really high magic like uh, these demons do. Um, orcs, potentially? Um, 
Not sure. Maybe hobgoblins, because I think they've got a really fast spawn rate. Oh, I could do uh, I could do hellhounds. I think they're actually quite good. Right, so I just like nearly killed a hellhound, and I'm struggling with that even. So I'm thinking. Oh, there we go. That's our max hit. Twenty-seven is our max hit. That's pretty beast. Um, I think it'll go up again as well when I uh, when I get another magic level. Um, so yeah, this is still quite tricky to kill, and the accuracy isn't quite there. So. The magic level of a hellhound is 104, and a cyclops is 65, and a hobgoblin is 55. So I think the cyclops and the hobgoblins might work, but I think based on kind of what I've experienced so far, and the fact I've got no mage uh, gear in terms of like giving actual like attack bonuses, that I think potentially sticking with the pyre fiends is going to be the best. I think a maple shortbow sculled at the pyre fiends is going to be better than anything i can do with this staff um in all likelihood uh which is kind of a shame because it would be nice to use our new weapon but i just don't really see an application unless i can kill these cyclopses very very quickly and very very consistently i don't really see where this staff is going to fit in necessarily um so like how's the damage on these is it better I'm still missing quite a lot with 65, uh, with uh, the Cyclops' having 65 magic attack. So potentially not great, although we're hitting quite well now, really. Um, maybe this works. I think, it, I think the main issue is that I just don't have any gear. So my accuracy is just terrible because the staff's got like plus 15 and that's kind of that. Um... Cyclopses are also just very very busy as well. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna check out the hobgoblins and see how it is uh, But I think and if that isn't very good, then that's kind of our last our last option really So this is another problem. I can't really force people to leave hobgoblins. So there's one hobgoblin here. Is there an Is there another one? Um, I don't really know uh, there should be two here, no? Am I being really dense or what? Oh yeah, there is two. So let's see how the kills per hour is here. So the rough maths is working out that I'm getting about two kills per minute. And uh, the reason for that is my DPS is definitely higher, I would say. But um, I'm unsculled and these have way higher hit points. So they've got 72 hit points. Um, so I can kill them about every 30 seconds, the same as I can with the MSB, uh, the Maple Shortbow, at the, uh, at the Pyre Fiends. But, crucially, the damage doesn't make up for the fact that I'm unsculled. And me being unsculled is kind of a problem, right? So, instead of the 1 in 4.6k that I'm getting at the Pyre Fiends, sculled with the Maple Shortbow, because I don't care if I die and lose it, is less than the 1 in 8.3 chance that I'm getting here at the Hobgoblins because Hobgoblins have exactly the same drop rate as the Pyre Fiends but if I'm using the Theramon Scepter I won't be able to scull up so yeah I think it just isn't worth using because the drop rate is just worse and the kills aren't much faster now that I've got it though I think it's probably going to be worth a while for me to um use splashing i like to when i'm when i'm afking and stuff to get my magic level up because um i don't think that i'm going to use this again really until i get to do other content so my my thought was oh i won't splash loads of magic because i'm probably if i end up having to use the theramon scepter uh Thamaron's scepter sorry to um Level to, to like kill revenants because that's the best way to do it then i'm going to get loads of passive magic xp anyway and doing the splashing will be a waste of time which probably would be the case but if i'm making the decision to not use it to kill revenants then there's absolutely no reason not to get out of this chunk with as high a magic level as possible possibly you know into the 90s um because why not <laughs> like if i get to a chunk after this like barrows or something it's only going to be easier for me already having 99 magic and the only reason not to get 99 magic or at least as close to it as possible 
uh, in this chunk is that it's going to cost a load of GP that I might, you know, might be better spent elsewhere. But realistically, the amount of GP I've got is fucking nuts. Like it's off the charts compared to other chunk men. And I can also quite realistically come here whenever I need in future and get more. So is my like, you know, potentially Barrow's um, stuff going to be boosted and made better by the fact that I've got higher magic from splashing? Almost certainly. So yeah, that's my thoughts around that. And I think is my decision that I'm going to start splashing again. Um, and you know, if I get 99, I mean, what, how much man more max hits is that? Six max hits, I'd be able to hit 33s here with the staff and I'd have even more accuracy, you know, suddenly that might be worth using here as well. So yeah, I think, you know, I think this is probably the right decision. Uh, I'm quite enjoying using the staff and it is nice seeing some big numbers again, but I think that it's just not quite worth it i think if i got the vigorous chain mace it would probably be slower but would be worth it once i got my strength up um but i already have relatively high magic and this isn't particularly worth it um so yeah i think what i'm gonna do is stick to the maple short bow uh and start splashing again so another question do we think that splashing with like so what i was doing previously right was i was using my uh, fire strike to splash, uh, which was, you know, per six hour session getting me about 75k XP. But now that I'm massively rich, should I potentially look at doing chaos runes? Because what, they'd be 10 times more expensive, but twice as much XP. So let me do the quick maths on that. So the wiki reckons that it's 11.5 XP for a fire strike and uh, 11, no, 22.5 XP for a fire, what are they called? Fire bolt. Um, my thinking is that that's what double the XP per hour, and it reckons that for fire strike, it's going to take me from level 81 to level 99, uh, 800 hours to get to level 99 magic so i mean what that is in real terms is what like 130 days ish give or take um to to get the xp needed if i do one six hour session per day if i do fireball it's 400 hours total uh, which brings that 130 days down to about 65 days, which is what, two months of one session a day, which I can quite realistically do. Uh, it reckons the total cost all in, if I use bolt instead of strike, is it's going to be about 50 mil if I use bolt, and it's going to be about 20 mil if I use strike. So 30 mil to save about 400 hours um, is what we're talking and that is what a gp per hour rate of like 100k per hour and i have an insane money maker right um so i think it's probably quite realistically worth using fireball i also think it's probably quite likely that it's worth using fire blast because Death runes really aren't too expensive from this shop. The only issue with them is that I can't buy them very quickly with um, kind of the with the shop that I have here because there's no such thing as death rune packs, right? So as cheap as they are, which is uh, that's not the price of them, they're like 180 GP each, uh, and then but I can buy packs of chaos runes, and the packs of chaos runes is probably just worth it. Um, but that's very very interesting because i think what i need is about half a million casts and i could buy quite a decent percentage of that just for this gp here bearing in mind i have an extra 16 mil emblem in the bank already so i can afford to just buy the runes for 99 magic i'm not going to buy them all in one go because if i roll another if i roll the barrow's chunk like if i finish this chunk very quickly and then roll the barrow's chunk then I'm going to be in a decent amount of bother. But I think this is probably actually going to be the way. And just to start buying an ass load of, uh, ass load of Chaos Runes is going to be the play, realistically. Um, look at this. This is, 
This is kind of crazy, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so you need three air runes per firebolt in comparison to two uh, for fire strike. So it's going to be a bit longer buying these, and I'm only going to buy one per world. But I think I'll buy at least a hundred thousand casts of a uh, firebolt, and then we can sort of set to it. At some point today start burning through our six hour sessions and yeah really uh start getting some progress on the magic training because if i do a six hour session with chaos runes we're talking what twenty seven thousand xp per hour times six which is 42 160 odd kxp so that's 160 kxp per day we're going to be getting doing this so the magic levels will fly and the thing is because it's so afk i'll be able to do it in instances when i wouldn't be able to do anything else so for example i'm about to go on christmas holiday uh, from work so i'm going to be spending a lot more time with the kids and this kind of thing so i'm probably not going to be playing as much like properly like you know sat there doing revenants and stuff like that but i'll definitely have the capacity to be able to um splash on remote desktop for example so where it sounds like i'm only going to be getting 160k xp per day i could probably quite easily push that up to 400k xp per day uh with kind of very little effort at all because um I'm, I'm, I'm going to have so many hours in the day free to splash. So suddenly that 400 hours when you're doing something that you can AFK so easily suddenly starts to feel a lot smaller. So yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about this and the prospect of being able to do so much um, is, is, is very quite, is really quite exciting because Getting high levels on this account will be massive. I'm going to, ideally, I don't want my magic XP to overtake my range XP because I like being range based and there's no point getting a load of extra combat levels that we don't need. But there's a lot of runway there because we're nearly at, what, 7 million range XP and we're only at like 2 mil magic XP. So it shouldn't be too bad, really. Although in an ideal world, I'll probably have knocked that all all out by by january to be honest but yeah being rich oh god i've got the hiccups being rich has its perks oh it's the first white stack of items that we've had on this account ever 100k air runes and we are not done yet right there is 50,000 chaos runes and i think that's where i'm going to call it for now because i honestly just can't be bothered to buy any more but 6 million GP got us 50,000 casts, which is a lot. So we're probably talking about 60 mil GP for 99. But still, that's really, really actually quite achievable for me. So that's pretty nice. And we'll start our splashing journey later on. But, but, but in the meantime, I think probably going back to Revenants is the play. Um, look at that, though. Oh, that looks so good now. Two collection log slots to go. It would be so nice if I still had the crossbow. And I'll be honest, I am fucking gutted that I don't. But that is a really nice collection log. And hopefully we can knock out these other two items ASAP. I'd be really interested in getting the salve amulet next. Um, because then I could just go back and start doing agility. Because the last thing that I'm going to need is the Vigora's chain mace. But... Yeah, getting the salve will be, not the salve, the amulet of avarice will be really, really nice. Whoops. <laughs> I'm watching uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! pack openings and I completely missed this guy saying Frey question mark. So, Pomzi, if you're watching, yes, it was me. I just wasn't paying attention. Sorry. I'll tell you what, though. One reason I am very, very happy about getting, getting the scepter is that at least it's not my last item I need to get. That would like really hurt. Like imagine like going another 20,000 revenants after I green logged it just to get the scepter. That would be pretty, pretty bleak. So I'm glad it's not the last one. He's spellbook swapping on me again. It's the same guy. Oh, he's so annoying because he fucking shreds me every single time.
Oh, just rigor just absolutely murders you. Oh, look at that. I swear that was through prayer. That is ridiculous. All right, all done. That's good news, actually. Oh, he's going to fucking freeze me in the hair, isn't he? Okay, I'm away from the PK, but I have to get past the Maledictus. Uh. <laughs> okay, this guy can't kill me there, so it's all good. <laughs> wow, that hurt. Oh, that's fun. Don't. Yes! Yes! <laughs> go on! Yeah, oh, come on, kill him! Kill him! Oh my god, he's shredding him! Oh, come on! Oh! Come on, he's doing a good job. He's absolutely working him, to be fair. Uh, oh god, I can't stay because I'm going to die. <laughs> I really want to find this out. Have I got anything on me? A little tiny bit. Come on, Mujuriego. That might go bank and then come back. They'll probably still be fighting. Oh, they're gone. That's sad. Oh, I hope our boy, I hope our boy won. So on that last trip, we got a night. Oh, fuck's sake. So yes, on that last trip, we got a nice little drop of six magic seeds again. So we're now up to 72 magic seeds, which aside from being... Oh my god, when did they get so cheap? I remember them being like 200k, or nearly, forever. That's wild. Um, but that is a lot of farming XP there. I mean, they're, what, 13k each? So that's, you know, 900k farming XP, in theory, just there. That is cool. Very nice still having this in the bank. Not, probably not going to take it out of the bank, so don't worry about it getting the crossbow treatment. Um, but yeah, really nice to have a weapon and actually feel like I've made some progress. So last night we hit a level 93 range on mobile as well as level 82 magic from splashing. 93 range, that's pretty crazy. Um, the main thing I want to ask you guys though, and I might have already asked this through the video, but I kind of want to ask it a bit more directly and say, please comment about this, is should I have to get the crossbow again? So obviously I got the crossbow in episode, what, 8? And lost it again in episode 9. Um, but I need to th think now. Because we're getting quite relatively close to finishing. And it's probably it's relatively likely that I won't get another one. Um, should I have to get another one to complete the chunk. And like have one in the bank. Because you know I, I, it's there as a placeholder. It's in the collection log. Um, and I have equipped it. So in the chunk picker, the, the, the wording is, um, you know, receive blah, blah, blah in the collection log, which is obviously there. And also equip your best in slot item, which, you know, in my case is crossbow. Um, and I have technically done both of those, even though I don't have it in the bank. Um, but should I have to get another one to leave this chunk or can I get it and then or can I roll a chunk again once I complete the collection log and, you know, all the other uh, grinds? But mainly, if I complete this log at 14 out of 14, does that count? Um, I mean, I think I would probably want to get a crossbow back again anyway, because it's just going to be my best in slot range item for probably the whole of this account. Um, so I'll probably want to get one back anyway, but it would be nice to get it back at a point where I feel like I need it as opposed to like up front and then not use it for ages. Um, and I'm probably going to be back here anyway to come and get Revan Ether at some point. So, you know, I'd get it at that point as well. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think and, and the reasons why I lean towards, I think it's probably fine to move on without it and I'll probably get it back anyway at some point. Um, but if you guys really strongly feel that I need to have it at the point of rolling the next chunk, then I'll, I'll obviously stay and get it. Uh -huh. Let me know. So one thing we've not actually looked at for a long time that I thought actually worth looking at because new viewers probably have never seen my chunk map. Um, but this is kind of what we're working with. It's, it's you know, quite a ridiculous L shape that we've got going on here. Um, 
But what's more interesting is this task list. And we've actually done 21 of 31 tasks available in this chunk, which really isn't too bad. Um, especially considering, in fact, I got 60 attacks as well, didn't I? So we can take that off. So 22 of 31. Uh, we've got 81 of the 89 agility, really not too bad. Now we've got access to the werewolf course down here. It's really not too bad. Getting that silver bar was definitely worth it. The 60 defense we could kind of knock out whenever we wanted, really. I'm just not for the, because um, getting additional combat levels in the Revenant Caves just would not be worth it. 75 fire making would be a bit of a long one, to be honest. Um, not too bad. Um, I don't think, um, especially if I go so dry that I've got U logs to spare. I don't think I am going to go long enough that I'm going to have U logs to spare. Um, I think that would be a lot of Revenant kills, probably about 100,000 that I'd need to get to be able to need to have U logs to get 75 fire making. But maybe that will happen. Either way, I think doing that at Oak Logs wouldn't really be too bad either, to be honest. So level 75 isn't too hard and you get a lot of XP for fire making in comparison to fletching. 87 fletching, again, we're not we're doing we're not doing that on purpose. I think we'll have a better shot of getting that just from the U-logs that we get from Revenants. Um I'm currently at I think seven and a half thousand U-logs, which is most of the way there um well not most of the way there that's why it's level 78 79 but you know a decent chunk and we're gonna be get at revenants for a decent while longer i think um only missing from the best in slot tasks we're only missing the vigorous chain mace and the amulet of avarice we've got the rest of this stuff which is pretty cool most of it's just black dehyde and dragon equipment i've obviously not equipped most of this yet you know the dragon stuff because i can't because my defense is too low um the magic shield is obviously also just that fletching task of 87 fletching so i just need to uh knock that out at some point the collection log again we're only missing the vigorous chain mace and the amulet of avarice we've got everything else because we've had multiple of each emblem and we've got the other two weapons so yeah it, it's not too far off and i'll be honest if we just get some rng and get the amulet of avarice or the chain mace or both relatively quickly suddenly this ta this this chunk is pretty much done um other than some pretty quick skilling goals i mean i say quick skilling goals uh eight agility levels and uh, 14 fletching levels probably won't be that quick but it will be quick relative to doing you know tens of thousands of revelants um I'm happy that I got a couple of the weapons before I got an Amulet of Avarice because the Amulet of Avarice is twice as common as each of the weapons are. So you could quite easily get quite a lot of Avarice dupes before you've got, you know, multiple weapons. So I'm quite happy about that. Um, hopefully we will get more weapons. We, if I can get the mace and then I'm just sat there waiting for an Avarice, that would be beautiful i would prefer not to have the mace as the last thing that i get because i could actually use the mace to get 80 strength before knocking out the agility which would be very very useful indeed um but yeah i thought it worth kind of showing you guys this showing that we're actually making a lot of progress on this chunk 22 out of 31 is no joke so as death chunks go we're getting through it um we just need to uh Keep going, keep the trusty maple shortbow firing, and we'll get there sooner or later. Also, actually, looking at this chunk map, I don't know if you guys can see any kind of use in particular for the Theramon Scepter. Um, it would be nice if you can think of something that I didn't do before or couldn't do before um, that is now possible with the, with the Scepter that we got. Thamorons. I keep saying Theramons for some reason. Thamoron Scepter. Um, because, yeah, it's, it's a cool weapon to have, I think, and I can't think of any particular uses for it myself, but it's a cool one to have. 89 days ago, I rolled chunk ID 12345, the RuneScape chunk containing the Revenant Caves. After nearly 50 days playtime on this account, Dear Lord, what a sad little life. My best range weapon is still the Maple Shortbow. I have never, I repeat, never had a better ranged weapon on this account, and there is nothing that you can do to prove otherwise. However, 
That changes today. For the first time in nearly 500 hours, I'll be making a pretty sizable upgrade to my range gear. This video is one of my best yet, so please drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and welcome back to Cannabis Chunk. At the beginning of the last video, I asked if you thought I needed to get back a second crossbow after losing mine in episode 9. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. The comments were 95% in favour of me not having to get crossbow back. However, there was definitely a vocal minority that did want me to get it back before moving on. And it got me to thinking, this is extreme one chunk iron man. There are principles at stake. So you understand why I'd rather not compromise my principles? Yes, I do. Totally. Unfortunately for you, it's not the First World War. You can't conscientiously object. So with all that said, I will be getting the crossbow back before moving on from this chunk. Bow. That... Oh fuck, I shouldn't have put it in the bag. Oh no, I put it in the bag again. No fucking way, I just wasn't looking at my screen at all. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Okay, right, hover over the log up button. Okay, no, that guy can't attack me. Oh, just got another crossbow. No fucking way. Oh my god. <laughs> doesn't help with, yeah, this guy's right, Kono Chunk doesn't help me get in, uh, Getting my strength up to do the agility, but we got a crossbow back. I tell you what, I will not be sculling up with that thing again. Oh my god, as if. No fucking way. Received a crossbow. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. Put the crossbow back. Right, I need to uh, grab it, stick some ether in it. Oh. Oh. That's so good. No, I don't want 15,000. I want 1,500. Grab that fella. There we go. As if I went through all that this episode to get a fucking crossbow right at the end. That's so funny. Oh, look at that bad boy. I'm so happy I've got this back. So happy. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh, I literally wasn't looking at my screen. I t looked back at the screen. There was just a crawl face out on the floor. That's fucked. Oh my god, look. Look. Right, swap those back around. We've got two full rev ovens down. Look at the collection log. What's our kill count at the moment? 28,068. We've got two crossbows in the coal log. That's so funny. Oh, I'm so happy about that. So happy about that. I'm so happy I got one back because it would have been really depressing having to get another crossbow having had one already. Oh, that's so juice. I wonder what my uh, max hit is going to be with that uh, now that I'm way... Because when last time I had a crossbow, I think it was like 84 range or something. So now I'm 93, it's gonna, probably going to be way better. That's so funny that I made all those short bows, paid loads of money for it, and don't even need them now. Oh, no. Okay. Um, right, do we need anything other than this? So, actually, I should be wearing a wizard's hat, shouldn't I? Because uh, that's actually slight amounts of bonus for me. Oh, look at that. We finally look like a fucking beast again. And I can tell you for free, I will not be sculling up with this bad boy. Um, but I think, I think if I do quads unsculled, it'll be about the same purples, uh, not purples, about the same unique rolls per hour as doing sculled pyre fiends um, with this thing. Um, and I'd be getting way more range XP per hour, way more kills per hour. So I'd be getting way more loot in terms of like regular items per hour. And frankly, loads of this stuff is going to be really useful because I need to get loads of U logs, right? To get 75 fire making and 87 fletching. So I'll get way more of those per unique roll 
if I do quads or something with the with the crossbow. Oh, that is massive. That is so massive. I'm so happy. So happy. Oh, crossbow. That's nuts. That is nuts. Three weapons before getting a single amulet of avarice when these are twice as rare each as an amulet of avarice. That's kind of wild. Oh, 28,000 kill count. That is a lot though, isn't it? <laughs> Two girls' bows. Oh, just look at that thing. It just looks sexy. Oh, the clipping is terrible on the uh, region locker GPU plugin, but wow. Oh, that's so nice. This is Cannabis Chunk, my extreme one chunk Iron Man. As the name suggests, I started this account in Cannabis and it has been through some very tough times. My journey started by having to kill 400 werewolves with no gear and no stats. Ooh, you're hard showing off. And then we had to get level 71 agility, predominantly using the bridge jump at Nature's Grotto and the Cannabis course. And then I had to cook a shark getting level 80 cooking with only raw meat. And then I had to craft a dorgish and light bulb, requiring 87 crafting. And then I had to get level 72 fletching, cutting only oak logs. I trained my hunter up to level 28 using only fox events from foratory, something which cost me 400 million GP. And then we hit our biggest challenge yet, the Revenant Caves. So far, we've received a crossbow, every single emblem, a theremin scepter, Lost a crossbow. And in the last video, received a second crossbow. Today, we are escalating our revenant killing and taking the total kill count up to 35,000. We should have finished the revenants a long time ago if we went on drop rate, yet we haven't. So we are definitely owed some RNG. And let me tell you, we definitely collect on our debt in this video. So sit back, grab a drink, enjoy with a friend. Oh, friend! And welcome back to Cannafish Chunk. Okay, so as you know, on the last video, we got our crossbow back. Big times, big exciting times uh here we go have a look at the log at the start of this video Twenty-eight thousand three hundred kills two crossbows in the log hopefully we can tick off a mace or an avarice or both today that would be rather exciting um we just hit 50 days playtime on the account so i don't really think that the amount of chunks we've rolled is too bad for 50 days um it's been pretty pretty good so far Hopefully we can just keep moving onwards. But the first thing we're going to be doing today is testing out the crossbow at the Revenants and seeing if we can unskull with it and get a better unique rate per hour than we get sculled with our magic short bows that we also got last week. So aiming to do that, I've got an alt account set up in the Revenant Caves to tag the bots that spawn in. Um, and so what I'm going to do is tag them away and then hopefully keep uh, the quad spot with the two Cyclopses and the two Demons uh, locked down for myself and hopefully my kills per hour will be insanely high and even unsculled it will be better than sculled Pyrefiends but we'll have to see. So let's get on with that now and I'll uh, see you when I have hopefully an answer. Okay I think I might struggle with just the one account. Look at the state of this what am I supposed to do? I mean, I don't think they even teleport if I attack one. Um, I think the level 88 is most likely to teleport if I attack him. No, look, they just attack you back now. They've changed their script to just attack you back. And there are so many, which would be fine if there was one in each world, but there's just so many in each world that, like, there's literally nothing I can do. Oh, that's so annoying. I've no idea how to sort of rectify this okay we've got a world to ourselves let's see how long it lasts probably not too long but we'll give it a go so i don't think that drops ours but let's get stuck in right so i attack this guy to see what happens oh they just all instantly start attacking you back and i'm like out of food on this account oh 
Yeah, there's just nothing I can really do. That's so annoying. I bonded up this account for nothing. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's really a rip, to be honest. Uh, I've had to run away on the alt account because I just can't take on this many bots for myself. I might try and rope in the clan chat in some way, uh, like rope in my, my viewers to see if they'll help me out in some capacity. But just look, they just... They're like a fucking swarm. They just all log in. They all pop up instantly and they all just like, oh my God, that's so bleak. Like lasted literally no time before the whole place was overrun with bots. How, how long was that clip? Less than a minute and there's three bots logged in and my alt's been attacked by one to the point it's had to leave. Like what? That's ridiculous. All right, we might have to write this off as a lost cause. We got, uh, what, 13 kills in six minutes. So we're talking 130 kills per hour. And the fact, if we were sculled, that would be fine. But we're unsculled, so the rate is really high. So this is categorically worse than just using the magic short bow at the Pyre Fiends. I've got one other thing I might try, which is the Orcs. Um unsculled but i don't hold much hope for that the only hope is if i can uh, for fuck's sake leave me alone at least he's only 52 uh agility so i might get away with this uh oh my god leave me look at him he's a beast oh my god can i move Oh, he's, he seems like he's a noob, even if he's, uh, even if his gear's overpowered. Uh, there we go. He seems fairly easy to predict, he says, as he misses the fire flick. Leave that on. Desperate, desperate for my 1000 ether that I have. See, and that's another pain of bringing the rev web to you. They, they like the PKers actually really sweat you like hard. Um, so yeah, they like focus you because they know that you've got like a guaranteed, you know, a couple hundred K on you. Um, so yeah, I just think the pie fiends are going to be better. They're just more chilled out. Um, I'll try out the orcs though. I will try them out. Right, we're going to send it at the Revenant Orcs. Let's have a look what our collection log is looking like. Three, five, nine kills. Ten seconds on the clock. Let's get stuck in. Right, well, that certainly felt a lot, lot better to me. Although now, like, three people of Web Weavers just logged in, which is interesting. Um, but it felt a lot better. So we started at 359 and we got up to 378 in about seven minutes. So I'll do the maths on that and see if it is worth doing. Okay, so in terms of uniques, it was, uh, we got 106, we're getting 160 kills per hour at the Orcs with the crossbow, um, which equates to a unique about every 36 hours. At the Pyre Fiends, Sculled with the Magic Shortbow, we're getting a unique every 35.3 hours. So it is pretty much the same which isn't too bad. But obviously the, at the Orcs, the main drops are better. So at the Orcs, you're getting about uh, 25k per kill between statuettes and the main drops unsculled, right? Um, which equates to about 4 mil GP per hour um, if I'm doing 160 kills per hour. Uh, so if we compare that to the Pyre Fiend, which is about mm, uh, about 13k per kill, and we get 130 per hour, um, you know, that's suddenly a lot less. That's suddenly more like 1.5 mil per hour. So, you know, we're sacrificing one hour of uniques, uh, but we're gaining a lot of GP in terms of just like 
general rewards. I mean, I don't, did I collect um, tears? No. So that was in seven minutes, right? I got 600k GP. Obviously, the dragon plates gets a little bit of an outlier, but you know, the rune stuff clearly shows that the drops are crazy. Um, I think it's because you get like a coin drop very, very infrequently at uh, Orcs, whereas it's about one, one in three um, at the Pyre Fiends. Um, so my thought is what I might do. So because you don't need many PKers at the Revenants, you just kind of need one to keep the bots logging out so they don't snipe your kills. What I might do is pay this fella if he's happy to do it. So baked. We might have seen a few escapes from him in my videos. Um, but if he's willing to do it, and I've not messaged him yet, um, he could just kind of stay on me. So I'll pay him sort of, you know, three to five mil an hour or whatever, um, get him to stand next to me. And then whenever a bot or whatever logs in, he just gets on them and, and, and takes them out and keeps them off the orcs, essentially. I think he might do it. And also it would mean that I can keep my kills per hour up quite a lot. I got interrupted once or twice during that seven minutes, just in small ways. Um, but if I don't get interrupted at all, because I've got a guy full focused PKing, that might work out quite well for me. And we might be able to up our GP per hour a lot. Because I tell you what, 4 mil GP per hour added into this would be quite a lot. I mean, just look at the loot stacks we've got now. And I just, I love the idea of adding even more to that um, over time and quite quickly. So, yeah. Let me know if you think paying a PK or is uh, is kind of against the rules or not. I don't particularly mind, um, but it's kind of up to you, I guess. Oh my god, I literally cannot stop getting ancient crystals. I've got I got two off cameras as well. Two, yeah, two off cameras. Well. So now up to twelve ancient crystals. That is nuts. Oh, 500k emblem, just equally as rare as the uh, as the 16 mil and the 8 mil one. So that is kind of brutal. Getting to the end of the trip, pretty bad trip overall, I would say. But we did get the ancient crystal and the emblem that we just got. Better than nothing, I suppose. I'm hoping that just wore off and I haven't been unsculled for a while. But uh, yeah, hopefully the next drop will be something slightly better. So I met a guy yesterday who really sort of helped me realize something, which is that if you attack them, the bots with mage, they teleport away. Whereas if you attack them with range, like I was doing previously, they don't. Guess it makes sense because they recognize magic attacks as a PK and range attacks as someone just tagging them off. But it means that I can do this solo uh, with my alternative account, which is handy for me. Um, so we're going to give this a go unsculled at the orcs and just see how we get on. And after our last death, it has finally happened. We've ran out of some black dehyde. We have no chaps remaining. So we, the good news is Rev's jo uh, Revenants drops a black dragon hide. So we actually have an ass load of it. Uh, but I'm going to need to go all the way to Canifis to tan some of that so that I can make some more. But uh, yeah, that lasted a surprisingly long time. I think I made about 15 sets and it's lasted ages. So yeah, I'm going to go make some more of that now. I am so, so lucky to have a tannery in Canifis where I started this account because we can just knock that out like that and then we just walk back, use that, craft ourselves some black dragon hide and just look at that. A thing of beauty. Having to get that 87 crafting in Port Phasmatis was a blessing in disguise because being able to make black dragon hide is so nice. Oh nice, we just got a lamp from a genie which is our last one for level five farming and it's only two lamps until level six which is very very nice indeed okay here we go level 94 range and 82 combat which isn't a good thing but we're leveling up five more levels until level 99 loving using the crossbow mostly for the fact that i don't have to pick up my arrows which is very very nice indeed hopefully it's quicker to do this to 99 
than it's going to be to get <laughs> than it's going to be to get well i hope it's not actually i i'm sorry i was because i'm playing multiple accounts and once i can barely talk um i'm hoping that i can get the green log at revenants before getting level 99 that's what i'm hoping for um but it's not looking particularly likely so far because we're about 50 percent done and we're in terms of the log because we've got crossbow and scepter but we're well over 50 percent to 99 range so hopefully that 99 range never comes in or at least doesn't come in during this chunk lol i just tagged a bot on my out like i normally do and it just died <laughs> what okay i guess i'll get his amulet of avarice that's very funny. I should probably uh, get loot keys on this account, shouldn't I? Um, okay, I guess that happened for reasons. Um, is any of this stuff worth anything? I don't think so. We got the Amulet of Avarice though, so that's pretty funny. Um, wish I had that on my uh, on my chunk account. Um, but that's very funny. Just got an inactive bot for his, uh, for his Avarice. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so fun. Unlucky, mate. Sorry for wasting your runes. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it out. That could have been, uh, that could have been an L moment for me. I'm honestly the worst shit talker as well. I just, I just never have anything good to say. So, say, tell you what, Jeff, I had a great shag last night. Oh, really? Yeah, with your mum. What? Can you imagine if that voider had got on me whilst I was just shit talking the other guy? That would have been so embarrassing. I suppose you thought that was funny, did you? Well, your little jokes got you in a lot of trouble. Honestly, it wasn't a joke. No. Okay, I just woke up and look at the state of that level 90 magic achieved on the one chunk account. That's pretty big. I'm going to keep up the uh, the splashing gains and just kind of see how far we can take this now. I mean, I'm happy with 90. I don't think I need to go higher, but why not? Let's just get stuck in. Okay, I've decided to give the quads a go and we're at four minutes into a little test at the moment to see how many kills per hour this is. With the alternative account, it is really not too bad in terms of the kills we're getting. I'm using quite a lot of prayer because I'm having to like loot and run around at the same time um, and hit, which is quite tricky, but we're getting quite a lot of kills per hour, I must say, so it'll be interesting to see what the... Uh, what the results of this are and this might be worth it i imagine it'll be way too busy in the evenings and stuff but as it is right now about half five in the morning this is looking very very promising okay we just got a pk on us at 12 minutes into the challenge so i need to uh run away as quickly as i can oh <laughs> he just killed me i'm up <laughs> on my other account whoops uh okay right i've run away on this account though so we're all good um we were 12 minutes in and we'd got 37 kills so i'll do the maths on that in a second so done some quick maths 37 times 5 is 185 kills per hour which if we run it against the rate for an unsculled unique from quads which is the demons plus the cyclopses we're talking a unique every 35 hours so slightly better than both of the other methods and i'll be honest it's actually slightly more chilled out than the others uh because it's it's just kind of better in some capacities um and the reason for that is that when the bots show up they tend to attack this one over here which i don't actually have the time to kill i kind of only have the time to kill these three so they kind of yeah even if i don't get on them in time like i just did um 
they'll usually attack that one and then I'm kind of in the clear. This guy has just showed up though, which hasn't happened to me before I started recording this clip. And that is quite annoying because he is obviously going to just rag this and I can't attack him on my alternative account because he's too low combat. So that's not very cool. Um, but, you know, that seems rare. So hopefully... Uh, we won't encounter too much of that and we'll be able to get some decent coin. So um, where we're at at the moment is so it took us 12 minutes to get a looting bag of 563k. So yeah, the GP per hour here is pretty good as well. Look at this guy. Have you seen a look this classic for... Oh, look at that. Just the pure with the book and the D-SIM. Oh, that's just pure nostalgia right there. Oh, something interesting has just started to happen. As soon as the bots log in, they seem to either be logging out or praying mage and logging out. So I wonder if the fact that I'm, I've reset like hundreds of bots now on the other account by like attacking them with mage and I'm having to run away and teleport, if I've like got myself added to some kind of list on this account. Because um, if I have and they're not going to attack anymore, that's pretty nice because that means I can just stand here on the account and I don't actually have to bother with, with attacking them um, to get all the benefits of having all the bots teleport away. Um, this guy is AFK and I'm just so tempted to try and kill him on this account, but I'm just worried that if I do, he'll just like, you know, fight back or something and he's not actually AFK. Um, but if I've got myself added to a list on this account um, so that all the bots leave me alone, that would be very, very nice indeed. Oh, <laughs> I just thought the more likely explanation is probably that this guy is uh, is, is, is on the list, isn't he? <laughs> so, what I'm thinking is actually it might be better to scull up with a Coral's Bow. Now, I know what you're thinking. You lost it once before. Why are you risking losing it again? Well, the drop rate increase is just too enticing not to do. But I'm not going to be an idiot. So I've currently got 44 Pratt, and that's one of the main reasons I got smited. That and the fact that I was sculled on mobile uh, and trying to escape from like a med that was like 100 combat with like rigor and stuff. So there's a few things I'm going to do differently this time. One is I'm going to go and get my prayer up. It's not as bad as you think. I've got green dragons out to the east, uh, so I can get dragon bones relatively easily. I've got crawls bow to kill them very, very quickly. And I've even got the exophantus over here so that I can get quite a lot of XP per bone. So that's one of the things I'm going to do. Don't know what level I'm going to get, at least probably mid 50s. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to not do it on mobile at all. Uh, so that, that's another one. <laughs> the other thing I'm going to do is I'm also not going to try and escape like proper, proper PKs. Shitty little pures that aren't smiting me, sure thing. Uh, proper like meds with rigor and stuff that like actually is sweating me hard. No, I'm going to just not bother trying to escape them and just let myself die and make sure that I keep my, uh, keep my protect item up, keep drinking restores and just suicide it because it's not worth it. So, um, yeah, those are changes I'm going to make. First thing I'm going to do that is I'm going to go and grab myself some dragon bones from green dragons. So I believe this is the best spot. I just sort of stand next to these bones here and then they can't reach me because it's a safe spot. So I kill this one and then I kill this one. Um, and I believe that this one's in range. And also the bots, for some reason, don't seem to be too bothered about these ones. Um, no need to scull up, so I'm safe pretty much. I'm only going to pick up the dragon bones as well, because I just don't need the range XP. Uh, not the range XP, the crafting XP from the green dragon hide. I'm already level 87, and realistically it's quite easy to train. So, yeah, I'm not going to bother with the green dragon hide. I'm just going to try and get as many kills per hour on the green dragons as possible. Okay, I re-logged before doing our second trip, 17 and a half minutes, and that was from running to the bank to the Green Dragons, getting all the stuff, and then teleporting back. So we got 23 Dragon Bones in the invent, plus 
plus 26 in the pouch, so 49 in just over 17 and a half minutes. So the maths on that is about 170 per hour. And if I times that by the 288 XP that I get per one, that would make it mm, give or take about 50k banked per hour XP per hour. Really not too bad, to be honest. Um, it'll only take a little while to use that because the Ecto Funtus isn't the fastest training method in the world due to all the running and such. But 50k bank per hour, really not too bad. Oh, 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 oh my god, huge news! We've got a hard clue step that we can actually do! Oh my god! Right, we'll keep hold of that then. I've never had a hard clue before on this account that I can actually do, so this is exciting times. And we are up to 500 dragon mines. Also, an incidental of uh, doing these green dragons, I'm actually getting some decent amount of nature runes, which may very well be handy for some of this stuff if we need some GP. I mean, we've got uh, 7.1 mil in dragon plate skirts that are otherwise entirely useless to us, aside from the one we need to retain. Uh, so that's quite an interesting incidental. But yeah, 504... Um, 504 bones banked, which, if my calculations are correct, is 56 prayer banked. So we need to get grab four more levels, uh, which is about 250 something bones, and from there we'll be laughing. And we just got another lamp. Let's chuck it on our farming for level six. Very nice indeed. Three total levels as well, which is pretty good. It'd be nice to have access to the 1250 total total level worlds at some point. Although I kind of need to stay below 1500 because I'm very close to last man standing. And at total level 1500, last man standing becomes available. Unsure right now if I'd actually do it because quite a lot of chunk men ignore PVP heavy mini games. For example, I know I would definitely not do Bounty Hunter because like, I would just have to boost it. Um, obviously, last one standing, I wouldn't necessarily have to boost, so it would feel slightly less arbitrary. Um, but I don't really know what just getting a load of random cosmetics from last one standing, which is like totally devoid of the one chunk game mode. Like none of this gear that I'm getting at the moment, none of these stats that I'm training at the moment are relevant at all. So I don't really know what last one standing would do. So I'm debating whether I'd include it at all. Um, maybe let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. So I'm about to pop off for the evening, uh, but I'm at 650 uh, dragon bones in the bank. What I'm going to be doing whilst I'm offline is uh, I'm probably going, like as in this evening on mobile whilst I'm watching Below Deck with my wife. Uh, unrelate, uh, unrelated to the game, Below Deck, quite a good show. Just kind of a fun watch if you're uh, feeling brainless. Um, but yeah, I've got not many of the green dragons to go probably about 100 so i'm going to finish those off asap uh, and then i'm going to head over to the ectophantus and just start using the bones i'm not anticipating getting through 750 bones on um on mobile tonight i think that'll probably be a bit of a push because i'm imagining it's going to be very slow to use that because i'm going to be running all the way to the bank and back and i don't have staminas and you know the drill um, so I'm going to just be doing that, but basically what you're going to, you, what you guys are going to see is that I'm going to get some prayer levels off screen, uh, probably quite a few, but probably not all the way to 60. So I'm, the next clip is probably going to be me coming back with in the morning with 50 something prayer and 91 magic from the six hour splash session that I'm going to do tonight. So I'll see you in the next clip. So, my predictions were about correct. We're at 54 prayer at the moment. Uh, we've got our last load of bone marrow, uh, bone marrow, bone meal here. Uh, I didn't get the 91 magic because I got logged out slightly too early. Uh, so, yeah, that'll have to wait for another day, probably today. Um, and, yeah, we'll knock out this 60 prayer real quick. It's about 180 bones per hour used, so we're about sort of two, two to three hours away from having the level 60 prayer. 
Um, yeah, successful night last night. Buying all of the slime was quite an ordeal, to be fair, compared to... I sort of thought of it as being zero time, uh, but it definitely took quite a while to buy and bank all of the 757 slime that we needed. But... We're knocking through this uh, 3D Dragon Bones quite quickly, about halfway done with the prayer, and yeah, up to level 54, which is quite crazy. I mean, look at that. We've actually got some prayers now. All right, go on then. 55 prayer, that would be enough for preserve if we ever get access to it, although the spirit shield we may get access to, we're slightly close to that, although I'm not sure I could kill Corp Beast with the gear that we have at the moment, but maybe one day if we can do some kind of alternative account abuse, but I don't really think that's an option these days. And just like that, we have nearly completed the grind. It has been a long one, uh, but not as bad as it could have been. Come on, there's chunk men that have got prayer up by just burying normal bones. So, you know, really not too bad. But here we are go level 60 prayer we are going to feel a lot lot safer in the revenant caves now so yeah let's uh let's go get back there and see what see what's what right so i guess it's time to skull up oh i need to uh take my pk skull protection off and just make sure that i am Protecting item at all times. <laughs> Let's try not to lose a crossbow today. Okay, here we go. So number one thing, don't get smited. I really want those U-logs though. Come on. Alright, let's grab those. Oh, he does have the agility level, which is interesting. Um, what combat level is he? 90. Why, uh, why has this happened to me? Just got, just got to keep the prayer up. That's, that's the only thing that matters. We can die just fine. That doesn't matter. Please have splashed. Uh, uh, might get it. I don't think the gap's far enough though. Ah, fuck. <laughs> My ult just died as well. Uh, so that's a bit of an L. I tell you what, I got about four kills before I got a PK on me, so... I'm not starting particularly well, I must say. Um, are they in a team? That's just bizarre. Hmm. Okay, make sure you don't get smited, Frey. Ah, oh, that was a bit shit. I probably could have got away there. Come on. Ah, right, I'm fine. Okay. Make sure the protect item stays on. <laughs> Do not lose the crossbow. Oh, I think we'd have got away there had he not killed us. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's so annoying. Right. <laughs> well, there's ripped to 1500 ether. So is the crossbow worth using? Probably not, but we'll give it a, we'll give it a go. Oh, you guys are probably all screaming at me just then to use entangle sacks, weren't you? Yeah, I probably can hit with them as well because I'm like 90 magic now. So my magic level is pretty high. So I probably can actually hit with them reasonably well. So I should probably try that in future. Okay, we're going to try quads instead because it's just generally maybe hopefully a bit quieter um or at least if there are pks they won't be as good but who knows uh we'll also try us world because it's about uh three or five three to five in the morning in the us depending on east or west coast so 
Hopefully that works out for us, but we shall see. Oh, we're nearly at the end of our first trip up to quads. 500 shots nearly gone, and we're rewarded with our double dragon plate legs, which is just something that we absolutely love to see. I basically need three um, kit like revenants to myself, which is why I've got the alternative account with me. Uh, there to kill some of the, not kill these bots, uh, just tag these bots and then they run away. Uh, which is not too bad, but you can see with, <laughs> you can see in this clip the frequency with which they, uh, they spawn in. Um, which is why I didn't want to bring an ult. I thought if I just brought some entangle sacks, I could tag them myself. But they spawn so frequently that just having the alternative account is just so worth it and keeps me killing revenants a lot, lot quicker. So uh, yeah, this is kind of the state that we're in at the moment. But I, I'm I'm pleased because I know that we're rolling weapon uh, rolls very very frequently. Right, uh, I think we're probably at around just over twenty hours per unique sculled here, uh, sculled here with the crossbow. So yeah, we we should hopefully start seeing some more stuff, particularly um, emblems and hopefully avarices. Uh, with a bit more frequency, which would be very nice indeed. Oh, we got another PKer on us. Fun times, fun times. This guy does not have the agility level, so it should be an easy escape for us, but irritating nonetheless. I'm going to log out on the other account so I don't get killed uh, whilst I'm escaping, but we should be good on this one. Just, It's a lot easier to keep the prayer up on... We're now I've got 60, like way easier. So, yeah, I'm really happy about that. Um, I don't think he can attack us across there. Cool. Right. <laughs> so that's going to be the plan of action normally. Um, if I get anything stupid on me, like a voider or whatever, I'll probably just nip that in the bud and kind of... I might just stay here, to be honest. Um, I might, like, nip that in the bud and just suicide because I, they're more likely to be able to, like, whack me a 70 or something and, like, actually... Um, cause me some issues, uh, whereas like noobs like that won't, won't cause me any problems really. Oh, go on then. Nice little 16 mil emblem. It's been a while since we've had one of those. I'll grab that and uh, head out of here. Hope I don't get any uh, PKs on me or anything. Very nice indeed. We love to see those. If we're going to get an emblem, hopefully it's always that one. I think, I think that's our fifth one which is kind of mega. And do you know what? I'm glad it doesn't protect over anything else because in my pouch, uh, so, so like if, if it was in my invent and it protected, it would protect over the crossbow because the crossbow is only 11 and a half mil these days. So good thing it doesn't protect. Oh, we made it back safely, which is a good thing. And yeah, nice little drop to get. I also got Dragon plate skirt and a dragon plate legs in that trip as well, which is very nice indeed. Look at that, 16 mil. How many have we got in there now? Got three in the bank at the moment, which means we can trade two in whenever we like, and two of those, which is what 40 mil without even getting rid of any of our small ones or any of our placeholders. Uh, we're going to need that money because I'm kind of running out. I'm down to 40,000 chaos runes and 12 mil uh, gold, which means I've spent nearly 30 mil. On splashing supplies and we're at nearly level 91 so yeah if we're gonna get 99 we're gonna have to get some more emblems and get rid of them but yeah that's a good way to uh, go about it and we love the 16 mil emblems lol what in the fuck that is very funny. We just got our second one of those. That is approximately mm, 45 minutes after the last one. <laughs> That's very funny. That is very, very funny. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy about that. We are balling today. 32 mil GP in literally no time. That is crazy. And we made it to the bank again. That there, that collapsed message, Ancient Relic 2. That is so funny. What the hell is the RNG on that? Right, let's chuck it into the bank with the rest of it. Oh, look at that. Four of them in the bank. The 64 mil. That is literally crazy. 
Oh my god, I'm so so happy. That is so oh oh we're just we're just raking it in. Come on. Pretty big moment coming in here, which is see what the drop is. Nothing of interest. Thirty thousand revenants on the collection log. Pretty crazy, eh? I mean the drops have been decent, not perfect. Um, I'm owed a lot of uniques in comparison to the kill count that I've got, so I'm so happy to have my crossbow back and, um, you know, the other bits and bobs that I've got so far, but I would really, really like to um, just increase the RNG and just get a few more uniques to kind of bring me back in line. Um, the rate that I'm on at the moment is 1 in 3.6k from uh, these demons and cyclopses, so hopefully we should get a drop relatively soon because we are owed so, so many. <laughs> and here we go, level 95 range, which little did we know is the last level where we're going to be getting a max hit from our crossbow with Eagle Eye. So we should now be able to hit up to 34s with the crossbow. Uh, which is really quite high, but I don't think we're going to be able to get a higher hit than that um, Even if we get 99 so aside from getting range pops or rigor <laughs> uh, We've hit our max hit now, so Yeah, not very oh, so many bots man. Look. I mean look you can tell based on this clip how many bots there are here. It's crazy um, But yeah 95 I just got an ancient totem and literally didn't even notice because I had my screen like this and it was off the bottom. And it's, oh, no, oh, that's okay. One mil. Hopefully these U logs are mine and not just uh, residuals. Yes, they are. Good stuff. Hopefully, hopefully we can get another unique soon because we, we've upped our kills per hour to about 180. Um, and the rate on a unique is 1 in 3.6k, so we should be getting a unique about every 20 hours, which really isn't too bad at all. Oh, got the PK on us whilst leaving for the uh, for the way out. Let's just not get smited, and then we'll be good. Oh. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> there goes my 14 driver in plate legs that were in the looting bag that I was just... Uh, chatting about oh well at least we didn't lose the crossbow <laughs> fuck's sake that must have been about a lot of money like 900k we just lost i'm pretty sure my ethan bracelet had a lot of money in it as well fuck's sake oh there we go a nice little surprise level there 85 hit points coming in we're still 84 combat for now looks like we're gonna get 85 pretty soon with our next range level but 85 hit points, 95 range. We're kind of a bit of a beastly account these days. Oh, the PK bots still resolutely exist. What can we do about it, though? Not very much. Luckily, they have terrible agility levels, so we'll be all right. Just got to make sure I keep the protect item on just in case. Keep swapping the prayers because that's how they do things. And then we shall get away. Like so. And then log out on the alternative account so we don't die on that. Right, I need to get my food stocks back up because that's not very much food to tank any future PKers. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? That is not too bad at all. We'll take the 8 mil emblem and we'll head to the bank. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, I love getting those ones. That's nice. That's the first decent drop today. I didn't get a 6. Hopefully this guy doesn't get on me. Oh, he's too low. Level. Um, yeah, I didn't get anything good today, really, aside from that. And it's quite late in the day now, so I'm happy that I got that. Uh, they, I just love the purple text on the ground. It looks so, so fucking nice. Um, we can add that to the bank value, which will be really nice indeed. And hopefully no PKs get on me as I'm exiting the caves again, which was uh, terrible the last time it happened.
So we made it back safely. Let's chuck that emblem into the bank. Got two of those now. I, I, I don't get very many of them compared to the other one. So I got, oh, 31,000 KC as well. I hadn't checked that today. So we've done about 600 kills today so far. Not too bad. Um, but yeah, the 8 mil emblem was the first one that I got from a goblin at like 1,000 kill count. And then I barely get them since. That's only the third one. We've had six of the 16 mil ones, which we didn't get until we were past 10,000 kill count. So yeah, interesting that. Uh, but let's have a look at the bank value as well. Uh, 345 mil, that's not including the crossbow. So we're about 360 mil bank value at the moment. 300 mil of which pretty much is in the Revenant loot tab. I mean, just look at the state of it. It's just a crazy, crazy tab right now. I'm pretty sure over here that we've somehow ended up with two bots <laughs> having a scrap. <laughs> I don't know if they accidentally clicked on each other or what. But uh, yeah, that that's happened, which is odd. <laughs> Always with the U seeds, although to be fair, I get the magic seeds way more often. That is my 51st and 52nd U seed, but I've got 79 magic seeds in the bank. And let me tell you, if I had that amount of uh, weapons relative to drop rate, I'd have about nine. So uh, <laughs> could be could could be a lot better. Um, but I guess the farming XP banked for the future will be nice because we are relatively close to a uh, a tree farming patch. Um, so yeah, hopefully a weapon will be the next clip, but don't hold your breath. This is actually quite a nice setup that I've got. So almost all PKers for some reason come from the south. I think it's because not very many of them have um the agility levels to do this and this shortcut which are both level 75 and because a lot of them come from the south the first thing they do is they see um the alt account sculled and dressed in weird gear so the first thing they will do is like chuck a bind or a tele block or whatever onto that account before they even see this account if i stand slightly to the north like this so then usually what they do is they hit that account I then auto retaliate and start hitting them back. Then they spot this account and go, oh fuck, that was a way better target, you know, with the skull, the crossbow. But there's nothing they can do about it because we're in singles plus. So that account is just sat on them and they can't get off, um, which I'm quite enjoying because even when I'm getting attacked by PKs now, they tend to attack the other account probably the last five times in a row they've attacked that account rather than me. Um, so if any of you kind of fancy doing some revenants, uh, try and set up like this and you'll have a much better time of it and feel a lot less risky. So when the PKs have been on this account, I've felt a lot less like I'm going to get smited than when I had 44 prayer because having 60 prayer is just, just way better. It's 50% more, right? Which is an infinitely less likely to be smited. Um, because like as soon as I sort of hit 45, I start using prayer potions. Um, and then the odds of me even getting attacked on this account is even lower than normal because this account is like acting as a shield as such um, that all the PKs seem to get on. Uh, so yeah, set up like this if yourself if you're ever doing Revenants. <laughs> oh no, you are kidding me. I just got another fucking crossbow. <laughs> I was literally like, oh yeah, I gotta go. This is my last kill. And then got another fucking crossbow. For fuck's sake. Three cross, literally my first kill. Oh my god. As if I just got another crossbow. Oh. I mean, it's good. It's good because it means that I can be super, super casual about losing one because it's really not that big of a deal if I do now. Oh, that's so... How did I... So I had a 60% chance of getting a chain mace and a 40% chance... You know, a 60% chance of getting a chain mace or an avarice and a 40% chance of getting something that I already got. So it was more likely than not that I got something I needed. And I got something I didn't. As if I just got a third crossbow on this account. Ah, oh, that's so funny. No! 
Oh, let's have a little look then, shall we? Where are we? 31,807 and we just got a third crossbow on the account. Oh, that's funny. No. Oh, well, there it is. There it is. Means It's good news because it means if we lose one now, it's not the end of the world. So... I can keep risking this one with the skull without stressing too much. Maybe I'll start using it on mobile as well, for example. Um, but yeah, rest in peace. Oh, why couldn't it have been a chain mace or an avarice? Oh, God. Oh, go on then. We just got a cheeky little lamp. Let's uh, use that on our farming. We've had three lamps today, and that gets us to level seven farming. And now we only need two lamps to get to uh, level eight. We're really at like the peak efficiency of lamps. I believe level seven is actually the best level um, in terms of XP given from a lamp, i.e. ten times level, to XP required. Uh, yes, okay, I tapped the wrong one, sorry. Um, to XP required for the next level. So, yeah, we should be able to get up to level 14 farming pretty easily, and then I'll be able to just sit at level 14 and decide if and when I need to get that up to level 15 and start tree run. So, a few people misunderstood what I meant by that in the last video. I don't actually have a tree patch at the moment, um, and even if I did, I wouldn't have to use it because um, in episode two, we went over a couple of the minor differences between my series and uh, the normal extreme set of rules. So one of the things that I didn't like about uh, Verf series and Limpwet series is that they came up with exceptions sort of on the spot. You know, they just sort of arbitrarily decided if... Um, Sorry, uh, using the L. Uh, they just kind of decided, not arbitrarily, but like, you know, based on the hours used or whatever, um, the, like the hours required on whether they were going to skip a grind or not, um, which I didn't really like. And I kind of wanted to know if I was going to be skipping grinds ahead of time. So I did two things, which was I introduced that raking doesn't count as a farming method, a primary farming method, which stops you having to do some bullshit like get you know, stupid high farming um, with like next to no access to seeds. Um, and then the other one that we did was uh, I introduced a secondary training um, limiter. So essentially, if in my chunk, so I've got like level four smithing, right? Um, and technically I can get tin and copper ore uh, it's just a really rare drop from like a black knight and a man, right? It's like a one in one, two, eight and a one in 64. Um, those are my like best, that's like my best method for smithing realistically. Um, and I don't think that's reasonable because I've got a 99 smithing goal queued up in this chunk, right? Because I've got rune bars. Um, so what I did was I put it to the secondary training method is limited at a 1 in 16 so something like uh, green dragons to get uh, green dragon hides would count as a training method because even though it's a monster drop as opposed to like being able to buy it or mine it or whatever it's a training method that you can get quite reasonably the same would be the same said for like smithing for example if i were to get iron dragons um, they drop iron bars one for one, which is obviously less than our one in 16 limiter, and therefore we wouldn't need to do it. Um, so, yeah, those are the two changes that I've made, which is why I can get up to 14 farming without potentially landing myself with a raking grind or anything like that, is because raking doesn't count. And also, you know, you might be wondering why I'm not getting 99 smithing at this exact second, and uh, the explanation around the secondary training methods is why. Um, we are going to end up doing a stupid smithing grind on this account at some point relatively soon. There are half a dozen chunks uh, that I can roll that give a pickaxe. And the fact that we don't have access to a pickaxe in all of our chunks is um, actually... Oh, there we go. See, that did exactly what we wanted it to do, which is get the... get The, uh, the alt took the... Uh, took the aggro of that PK. Um, so 
And I'll just die on this die on this account. Hang on. Um yeah, the reason that we don't need to get 99 smithing at the moment is due to that it's due to that drop limiter, right? Um but as soon as we get a pickaxe and can mine uh some stuff, then that's when we get into a bit of bother. Um so yeah, I'm I'm kind of anticipating the fact that we will go on, I'll move this down here so you can see if I escape. I highly doubt it. I'm I've been lazy and not got summer pies on this account. Um so yeah, the reason that we don't have to get it is that drop limiter, and if as soon as I get a pickaxe, I'm gonna have to. Um and that is obviously gonna be quite annoying because there are about six chunks that I can roll that give a pickaxe. And as soon as I get a bronze pickaxe, I'm gonna have to not only get 90 mining, uh, but also 99 smithing, which is going to be a bit mad, uh, as you can imagine. So I would ideally like to not have to do that, and I can't really think of a way that I can get around it. Um, there's the three iron ore mining spot in our Carid, so I can mine some decent, I can train mining at a decent rate. But the issue with that spot is because I don't have Alcarid Bank, and I can't have Alcarid Bank because to roll to it, I'd have to roll through the the chunk with Ali Morrisane, which gives a bronze pickaxe. Uh, I wouldn't have that that bank available in Alcarid. So realistically, what that would involve is actually getting a lot of ore from like the Varrock East mine, which I think is pretty miserable. And would also very likely, yeah, like it would just be miserable. Um, so yeah, I'm not immune to having shit grinds because obviously 99 smithing is a shit grind regardless how you do it. You know, unless unless for some reason I'd rolled all the way to Keldergrim and and got all that stuff. Um, but that's probably pretty unlikely uh, because you know then I could just buy gold ore etc, which would be pretty good. Um, but, okay, it looks... Are we going to get a gap? Oh! We might actually get away! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! As if we get away on that! I was just chatting shit that whole time! Oh my god, that's amazing! Um, but yeah, so uh, that, that was probably a bit of a ramble and I really don't... I really don't expect many people to <laughs> listen through all that. If you did, <laughs> please drop a uh, please drop a comment saying I listened to you waffling. That's how much I love you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're not immune to shit grinds on this account, even with the slightly forgiving rule set that we've got. But we shouldn't land ourselves with anything really, really grim. That was the whole point of what I was trying to say there. Oh my god! Oh my god, we just got it! This is like uh, less than an hour after we just got the, uh, after we just got the, um, the second crossbow. Oh my god! There we go! With one item. One item away from Green Log in the Revenant. Amulet of Avarice attained on the chunk account. That is massive. That is absolutely massive. Oh my god, how many kills was that? Eight, nine, seven, like 30 kills after, maybe? Something like that? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, look, we stumbled on two bots attacking each other again. <laughs> Bizarre. So there's two bot farms that I can tell. There's this one with the um, with the web weaver bows that have these sort of two two word names like this, and then there's this one that has the magic short bows, etc., which um, have just random names. This one I reckon is a hacked account because the names are also different and the stats are also weird as well. Um, but yeah, they they seem to get into fights every so often. And I don't I don't really know why. Oh no, I'm ninety nine percent sure I was just uh, recording the wrong screen for getting that avarice, wasn't I? Oh no, no, 
No. Oh, well, I've still got the, um, I think I've got the clip of the, from OBS, like, replay. So I'll at least be able to see myself getting it. Um, oh, no. It's extremely refreshing doing this whilst um, accepting that any kill could be the last kill. Um, like, I could literally get the mace from this kill here and I'd be done with Revenants. Well, at least until I need more ether. But that's a crazy thing to think. I've always like had it in my head, you know, oh, you're thousands of kills away, you're thousands of kills away, because I always had to get multiple drops. But now that I'm down to just one drop remaining, it could literally be at any moment, and that is a bizarre feat. XP is rolling in a lot faster these days due to having the crossbow in comparison to the maple shortbow. But coming in now is level 96 range, only three levels to go until we hit level 99. So we're flying, and I'll probably hit 99 not too soon unless we pick up the, uh, the chain mace at some point. Um, one thing I thought though is now that I've got the Vigorous Chain Mace as my last item, I essentially can't train strength in an efficient manner within this chunk, right? Because the only things I need to kill in this chunk are the Revenants, and as soon as I get the Chain Mace, I don't need to kill any more Revenants. So we wanted to get the Chain Mace so that we could train our strength to level 80, because once you hit level 80 strength and level 80 agility, I can do the werewolf course without ever failing, which would be very, very nice. But if I've got no reason to train my strength, then I've got no reason to sort of do anything else, if you know what I mean. I don't need to kill anything within the chunk to get 80 strength because that would be pointless. So I can essentially now train agility as well um, without losing any efficiency. Um, that's 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 kind of just the way it is now which is unfortunate i'd have preferred to have had anything else as the last item um you know having the scepter as the last item would have been perfect but it is what it is and yeah i'll probably just be doing a little bit of agility here and there on the side because we need to get level 89 to complete this chunk which is a lot but now that we have the well of course instead of the canopus course it's a lot faster. So yeah, I'll probably be doing some agility on the side at some point, probably focus on it on mobile, to be honest, because I can train agility efficiently on mobile and I can't do revs efficiently on mobile because I can't log into two accounts. So yeah, you'll probably just see the agility level creeping up off camera. Uh, same with the magic XP. We're nearly at level 92 magic at the moment. Now that we've got the crossbow, we're getting a lot more range XP per day. So I don't think my magic will ever overtake my range at this point. Uh, and frankly, with one with one item left, I'm kind of hoping that I'll get done with this relatively soon and won't have to go flying all the way past level 99 range. Oh, more magic seeds, rarer than a unique, any unique, not like as in that's not rarer than the mace, but it's rarer than rolling an avarice, a mace, a scepter, or a bow. Uh, so hopefully not too many more of those and more unique rolls. Oh, I tagged the bots away just after they killed a, uh, after they killed the revenant that they've left double dragon plate legs on the floor that I can't pick up. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Oh, I wish they were mine. I love, I love free money. Oh, nice, nice. I just got a second set. Of, well, is that nice? No, that's annoying. <laughs> oh, a second scepter. No way. Come on. I mean, that could have been a mace. I could have been done. Oh, that would have been so good. Imagine if it had been a mace. Oh, do you know what though? That is cool. I, I'm liking that I'm finally getting some items. So I went nearly, uh, what, 17,000 dry uh, in the middle there. Um, not in the middle of this video, you know, a couple of videos back went 17,000 dry. So I'm just happy I'm finally getting some uniques. But a second scepter, that's probably the worst one because it would have probably been even better just to get a third crossbow or something. Or another avarice, because I can actually just risk an avarice. But, ah, oh, that's cool. That's cool. I, I'm back on the PC after getting that Thamarin's Scepter on mobile. 
Look at the state of this collection log now. Like, three, two, one, all of these, 32,000 KC and still zero Vagoras chain maces. Hopefully, we can get it. We can get one soon. Come on, I'm really feeling it. I'm really, really feeling it. Please, please. Oh, another little ancient totem. I don't even know if we can be bothered to bank it. Uh, yeah, I probably should. Okay. <laughs> you know, how arrogant am I that one mil GP is not all that to me? But yeah, I probably should bank it. Um, it is nice to get a mil because one day, not today, but one day I will need money. Um, and I'll be thankful that I got all these emblems once upon a time. So... Yeah, we, w we won't just sit around with a mil GP on us in the Revenant Caves, because that would be stupid. So, a fun little milestone here. We just hit 1,000 bracelets of Ethereum in the bank, which is 250,000 Revenant Ether, which is essentially 250,000 charges for our Revenant weapons, which... Sounds like a lot, but I feel like when I'm using these Revenant weapons for basically everything else I'm going to do on this account, it's probably going to run out and probably going to run out relatively quickly. So I don't think these will be the last revs that I ever have to do on this account, uh, even when I get the Chain Mace, but it should cover me for a long while, even if it's not the last ever. Weird, but I guess semi-relevant uh, achievement. 10 million range XP, just 3 million to go until level 99. And one thing I thought is, I'm pretty sure if I get 99 range, um, that I can equip a range skill cape and therefore get a little bit of the Avas effect. I think it's like save 72% of ammo um, without having an Avas device. So, I mean, I'm sure not many people have actually got 99 range without an Avas device before. I guess probably like 10 HP accounts that can on it and stuff, but probably not many other people. Um, I mean, I guess I don't need an Avas device too much because I'm probably mainly going to be using a crossbow, which obviously doesn't need it. Um, but quite interesting to think that potentially I could get one one day. I'm not sure what would actually be easier to, like more likely to happen on this chunk account from where I am at the moment to have all the chunks to complete the Avas quest and all of the items and requirements that are needed or to get all the way over to like west of Sears village and just buy a range cape from there um yeah I don't know if anyone can be bothered to do the working out on that but if they can I'd love to know in the comments oh this guy keeps attacking me and he's just so bad I mean I'm hoping it's a bot based on how terrible he is but you never know uh log out of that account We'll head over here, chuck that on. There we go. It's just it's just shocking. If you're gonna PK around here, at least get the agility level, man. Come on. It's just that's just that's just PKing 101 in the rev cave, surely. Ah, oh, and then he's still gonna bother attacking over here like he's gonna random dragon bolt me for why is he using wind blast or wind surge? That's so cringe. Oh my god. Oh, he's poisoned me as well. Loser. All right. No deaths. We're getting a surprisingly small amount of PKers lately, which is definitely a good thing. It means that we, um, it means that we are actually getting quite a lot more kills per hour than we would be otherwise. I'm actually kind of getting that theoretical max of like 160, 180 rather than, um, you know, having to spend all my time running and tallying from PKs and refilling food and that kind of thing. So it's actually very, very nice not having to worry about that so much. And that is the standard of PK we're getting at the moment. So Lord knows. How oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> all right. For, for food, if I die having shit talk this guy, that would be so funny. Come on. Come on. Oh no. Oh no, this isn't looking good. Hey, I just 
need to really pay attention to him. Prayers. Come on, he's like maxing me through prayer. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, we got away with that one. Fucking hell. I'm also poisoned for a five, so I can only take two hits before I get back to the bank. Luckily, I've got this little poison timer, which is uh, telling me when to like hop. So I just need to hop between two worlds whilst, like, whilst running out. But <laughs> oh, 10 damage away from dying to a guy that I was calling the worst PK or other. That would have been the single most embarrassing thing ever. I was absolutely stacked on that invent too. 500, 600k in there. Another, what, easy 250k in the invent. <laughs> Plus how many uh, charges have I got on my bow and my bracelet? 1400 in the bracelet as well. I mean, how much even is that? Yeah, that would have been an easy, like, one and a half mil for that guy, probably, across everything. <laughs> oh, I was, I was kind of thinking to myself, ah, oh, it's a shame that I've not got the... Uh... I've not got the mace before or anything else so that I can't use it here to train my defense to level 60 which is a chunk goal and my strength to level 80 which would obviously be advantageous for uh, the werewolf course but I just realized I still need 87 fletching and I've got a decent amount of logs in the bank but only sort of like five six thousand in like use and magic so not loads so short of going like incredibly dry um what I like you know from now until getting the mace like you know a ridiculous amount dry like thirty thousand. um what i need to do is just do ents and do ents oh, do ents with uh the mace because i'll be getting the bonus xp from it um not bonus xp like bonus strength and accuracy from it um and that'll probably be a lot of Ents that I'll need to kill. And they have decent hit points. I think they've got like 150 hit points or something like that. Um, so if I do that, I'll be able to get 60 defense pretty easily and probably start making some progress on the, the strength goal. 60 defense and and probably a decent amount of progress on the strength goal. Um, which would be really quite handy, actually. So I think probably the order that I'm going to do things is finish off the Revenant Green Log. Um then start on the ents to get the logs for um get the logs for 75 fire making and 87 fletching and then use that time to get up to 60 defense which is the goal that i need to equip the dragon items in this chunk um and then use any extra ents that i need to kill to get the strength up because i think it, it scales linear, linearly i don't think at 79 strength uh you fail all the time and at 80 strength you fail not at all i imagine that goes up kind of in relation um like the fail rate goes down in relation to the strength level so yeah that probably seems like the smartest order to do things in um yeah let me know if you guys think anything different because honestly i'm I've been in these chunks a long time. I sort of get tunnel vision on what I'm planning to do. So I kind of need other people to help me out with the <laughs> theory crafting to an extent. Which if you haven't joined already, please feel free to join my Discord and help me out. Because there's a nice little community in there. And also uh, helpful for me to, to kind of decide what I need to do within chunks. Which will be especially use, uh, helpful in chunks in the future. Right, I tagged a bot off this Revenant, like not off it, but like when he was about to attack it, um, by split seconds. So if it drops anything good, that was so, so good. Ah, <laughs> not a unique, but that's, ah, fucking hell, they're so annoying, the bots. Oh my god. Um, well, that's 250 ether I wouldn't have got otherwise. See, and now I have to kill it, wasting charges on my bow. For no loot. Like, it's so annoying. They log in and they just attack something within, like, you know, two seconds of logging in. So I have to, like, really pay attention and hit them on the out before they hit anything. Ah, Oh, fucking bin the six U seeds. Come on. They're so rare. It's so annoying that it gives, like, a cave notification for it as well. Because I kind of see that out of the corner of my eye and it makes me think I got something good. Um, Although, to be fair, that is what... 40 something K farming XP one day. 
That's actually a decent amount. So I guess they're not as bad as as, as you think. And actually, they're more useful for uh, for me than the uh, magic seeds are because likely the farming requirement that's going to come up is some variation on about 75 farming if I get the tree patch. So that will be the requirement, at which point, obviously, the magics, the magics themselves aren't actually useful. Uh, but the U seeds would be. So hopefully we actually can get more of these and less of the magic ones. Oh, that's a nice little milestone. We just hit 400 mil bank value. Well, I guess actually we didn't because I've still got a Quarrel's Bow equipped. But that is massive. 354 mil. Every single time I open up this loot tab, I'm just blown away by how good it looks. Um, just the, some of the stacks are just absolutely crazy. I mean... These logs are actually starting to add up again, but 20,000 coal, like, without mining anything. 31,000 blood runes, like, that's just nuts. 110 sets of dragon, dragon bottom half, so that's mad. 350 rune plate legs, like, wow. Nearly 3k mahogany planks, that's not an insignificant amount of, uh, of construction XP. That's like 400 and, what, 420k... Uh, construction XP. That's like a lot. Um, the Onyx bolt tips, if we can eventually make those into bolts, so we like nearly 10 mil GP. You know, we're, we're between the stack of Revenant Ether and the bracelets, we're now up to about 300,000 Ether. That's crazy. 170 Dragon Longswords. On a, like, like, that, that just looks insane, doesn't it? Like, I love these extreme one turn guns, partly because you build these mad stacks, but also because you don't sell any of it or alk any of it, like, ever. Um, so you just end up building up these absolutely insane stacks of items. Um, yeah, very exciting. It's just, it just, doesn't it just, doesn't it just make you a little bit excited to look at? Right, here we go. Another level coming in level 97 range and 86 combat. Only two more range levels to go until the big one. Look at that. Ooh, 86 combat, still relatively low. Getting quite high though. Level 121s can now attack me while I'm at quads, which is getting quite high. You do see quite a lot of like 126s and 125s and stuff. Um, so hopefully we can get the next, I'm, I'm glad I kept my defense low, I'll tell you that, because I thought about getting 60 for a while just to knock out that chunk requirement, and if I had, I would be in a lot of bother now, that is for sure. Oh, a cheeky little one mil totem, we take those, they're kind of our bread and butter really, on, uh, how we make our GP here, I think we've had 13, 14 of them maybe. So that's 13 or 14 million GP, which is pretty nice. Hopefully we can get something else before hitting 35,000, though. It's Bo, who is 109 combat. Uh, he doesn't seem to have entangles or anything on me, but he does have the agility level. Uh, and we've just run out of run. <laughs> so hopefully we can make it out of range before we run out of food. Oh, that was a chance! <laughs> oh, that was stress. Okay, okay, we made it. Hopefully. The Avarice is so nice for the Manta Ray, because normally it drops like, you know, 15-ish Manta Ray, and I have to just leave them, uh, or only pick up a few every time. But being able to grab those noted is absolutely massive, because at the end of every trip, I've got usually like 50 in the bank, and I feel like this one, yeah, this one I've got a bit more, 37, and I'm really early into the trip. So being able to bank those for the future will be so nice. So I really hope I can keep hold. Okay, that's a bot. I really hope I can keep hold of this avarice for a decent amount of time so I can just bank some manta rays. That's actually probably the main thing I want to get out of this. Okay, we might be in a bit of trouble here. This guy is high level and has agility levels. <laughs> uh, I could be in a bit of bother here. Uh, we've got the we've got the amulet on us as well. We could be in bother if we can't get gap or anything. No, oh that could have been it.
Oh, we might get it. We might get it. Oh, he splashed three times in a row. That's so lucky. Oh, he's 106 combat, so I just need to make it a couple more levels. A couple more levels. Ah, oh, we're good. <laughs> I tried the bribery and that did not work. Oh my god. Got my heart's going a bit there. Whew. Hey, someone just got a crossbow close to me. Nervous rub. Can't decide if that's a bot or not based on the name. But uh, congrats to him. I don't need any more of those. I've got three of them. Oh, well, I've got two of them. I lost one. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get the mace soon. Come on. Oh, he gets a crossbow. I get an ancient crystal. Number 17 in the bank. 18 overall. Oh, I just can't stop getting them. I just can't stop. Oh, I just, just in trying to get my recorder up, I died. No! Oh, there goes the avarice. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, shut up. All right. Oh, all right. Ah, uh, down to just the one avarice there. Oh, that's so annoying. We might have been able to get away from that. It was like 113 combat, so we wouldn't have had to go that far south. Oh, no. Oh, that's so bleak. It was so much faster and just so much more enjoyable, everything going straight to the looting bag. Oh, that's so infuriating. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is always the worst thing that happens, walking into a bot whilst I'm on the <laughs> Whilst I'm on the way back to the bank and I've got no run and nothing. Oh, don't smite me. Oh god, that was just so bad. The no run is so bleak. No food. I think there's I've only got like 500k in the looting bag to be fair, so it's not the end of the world. Oh, that's so annoying. <sighs> run, run, run. <laughs> We've got a gap. We might get away with it. No, because I've got no run. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, that's so grim. That is so grim. Come on, please splash. Oh, we're done. We're cooked. <laughs> oh, running back to the bank, get in the bin. <laughs> right, I might have a go at killing this fucking hell, it hits you hard, doesn't it? Maybe I won't have a go at killing this. <laughs> I thought it would be quite easy. What am I supposed to pray? I literally don't know range. I feel like, yeah, other people are just going to show up and it's going to become impossible. Yeah, that's really stupid. Why does that thing hit you so hard? Am I doing it wrong? Someone tell me if I'm doing it wrong. It's a sad, sad day. We just died yet again. So many PKs around at the moment and we are out of rather than an ether. So we're going to have to start collapsing ourselves some bracelets, which is very, very sad because I've not had to collapse any yet. This is just all of the ones that we've that we've got on the way. 64 mils worth of bracelets. I uh, don't know how many I've collapsed, maybe just like 100 to start or something like that. Sad times, sad times. <laughs> and not only that, but we are also out of black dehyde so we're gonna have to go and make some more sad sad times luckily we've got 1400 to go but it's a ball lake having to go all the way to cannabis to sort it out Ugh. big moment for the account coming in here level 99 range there we go there we go indeed look at that Woo -hoo -hoo. 87 combat so we shouldn't be uh increasing our combat level very quickly at all uh in future um because we'll only be getting combat levels from hit points so 87 is hopefully going to be the last level we get um, do we need yeah we need two hit points levels come on surely we can get the uh chain mace before we get to level 90 hit points 
Uh, good times, good times. All right, that's going to make uh, training, like, you know, just getting loads of range XP, it'll probably feel like it goes past really, really quick now. No, oh, I just don't know what happened today. The It was just painful in the Rev Caves. I died about a dozen times. Yesterday, using the Avarice, didn't die once, all day. And then uh, today, it's just been absolutely painful. So we're going to do some agility to compensate. 150k until level 84. Should be able to get that tonight, I think, kind of on, as a, on a mix of PC and mobile. Uh, it would be nice to get level 85 before the next video, I think, because then we're leaving ourselves with four levels to go to level 89, which is obviously the chunk goal. And that just feels like a, you know, positively doable thing. Yet another one mil totem. Cannot move for them. How many have I got now? Probably a lot. Uh, 18. <laughs> 18 mil in just the one mil totems. That's kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of nuts. And a number 19. Oh, hopefully we can get something slightly more exciting soon. Uh, what kill count are we at as well? Uh, 40,000 exactly. There we go. 40,000 for the ancient totem. 1 mil GP. 25k GP for each kill we've done. No, no, that's not work. 25 GP for every uh, every kill that we've done. That's kind of nuts, isn't it? They were at 40,000, still don't have a mace. Come on, please soon. Oh, well, at least it's something slightly different. It's a different colour on the ground as well, which we like to see. The, uh, the orange is pretty cool. 2 million GP, we take those. How many kills since we got the 1 mil one? Let's have a look. Uh... 96 not too bad we will take a statuette or something every 96 kills that will do us nicely oh there we go another one mil emblem <laughs> why is it never anything exciting come on i mean that was really not a lot of kills since the last one i mean we're talking yeah like tw 24 kills because i've killed three extra since i got it because i was on the phone when i got it uh, but another one mil, <laughs> three in about, you know, less than an hour. Not too bad. I cannot actually explain how much I wish I could get the range cape because not only would it look way better than these basic bitch capes that I've got, but also it would be like an Avers device, which I feel like would be so cool for when I'm using an, an actual short bow as opposed to the crossbow. But just imagine, imagine how sick that would look if I had the untrimmed range cape on right now. Oh, that would look so juice. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. Not again. A fourth one. <laughs> Why isn't it ever just a fucking chain mace? My fourth scepter. Oh. Nice to get a weapon. I mean, it just looks unbelievable on the ground, doesn't it? But that's just infuriating. <laughs> oh, please, please. I just want a mace. I just want a mace. KC at the moment is 40346. We should have, what, 12 weapons, something like that. We've got or 12 weapons and avarice and we've got nine so we're kind of owed three still so hopefully our rng can keep up and we can pull another unique soon that is gutting that it's that i just got a bit, oh. oh scepter come on i'm not really sure how but when i ran up here i somehow managed to bring 250 revenant cave tellies with me they were just in my invent so i dropped them and put them in the looting bag but if my stack of tellies goes down by 250, you know why? Because I can't be bothered running all the way back to the bank to deposit them. But I also know that 250 Revenant Cave tellies losing them would, would be a bit of an L. So yeah, that, 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 that happened. On a more positive note though, I'll tell you what, I've had this crossbow now for what? 12,000 KC and not lost it. I've managed to keep hold of a crossbow for once. So clearly getting that 60 prayer and just generally not playing uh playing with it on mobile 
has come through and saved the day. A 12,000 KC sculled at quads with a crossbow. And I still have it. Amazing. <laughs> oh, if, I, if only it was actually mine. Oh, so sad. <laughs> oh, what, what I would do for that to be legit. Oh, I should grab a screenshot of that for the boys, shouldn't I? They'll only laugh. <laughs> If he just let, I think he's just gonna let it despawn. <laughs> what a legend! I feel like I should pick it up at the last moment on this account. Oh, <laughs> oh I don't know how long it will last. I don't know if he wants it back or not. Look at it. Oh, it looks so good. I wish it was mine. I wish it was mine. Oh fuck! We just got an avarice! And I've got a big air on me! What's this agility level? Okay, he's got 63 agility, so I just need to grab the avarice and go. I've still got the fucking thing there as well, though. Uh, come on, right, I need to get away now. Oh, uh. Okay, okay, I should be alright. Across this gap, I should be okay against a noob like this. Okay. I really want to go back and get those seeds, though. <laughs> oh, right. Come on. Oh, right. Okay. So I need to think how I'm going to get those seeds. Uh, right. I need to log out. And then see if he leaves on this account. Or if I can lead him away. I really want this. Okay. Is he logged out? Okay. He's logged out. Right. Let's go. Come on. We're on a mission to get the seeds now. As if I just got an avarice. Oh, that's so annoying. So that guy, that guy coming and dropping the thing was literally, you know, no time ago. And then I got a roll on the tape. And then I got a roll on the table. Come on. Run, 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 run. Grab the seeds. Okay, we got them. Right, so we got the four magic seeds and the avarice in the looting bag. So now we just need to make it back to the bank. That is the second best drop for me because I can actually use it. Because obviously I lost one earlier. But if I can use that one... um. Then we can do some better revenants again and hopefully not lose it very quickly. There's a lot of PKs around at the moment, so I'm not going to use it now, but potentially tomorrow morning, super early, I will. Oh my god. <laughs> What's the chances of that? That guy that guy sacrificed his mace so I would get a dupe avarice. Oh, it's still good. It's still good. It's not as annoying as the scepter was, and certainly not as annoying as a bow would be. Okay, so we're back to our two avarices. That looks very nice in the bank. Let's have a look at the log. 40,442. Drops have really been raining in in this video, um, which is good. Unfortunately, not the one that we want, but that collection looks starting to look pretty stacked, doesn't it? Oh, I just shit myself a little bit because I got a pink text. Four mil emblem. Better than 1 mil, better than 2 mil, better than 500k, better than most things. Oh, I really, really thought for a second though. <sighs> one day soon, one day soon, come on. Right, I've decided to bust out the avarice and just give it a go. It's 6.30 in the morning, you know, there's not going to be a better time. We get hit, we get hit. I'm, I'm alright unless it's like an absolute raid boss of a PK. So I'm trying to avoid that by staying away from the European worlds. Because for some reason, and I don't know if this is just personal experience, whenever I'm on the German worlds, it's just like, you know, I ju I'm just picturing these like Finnish 140 IQ PKers that just, you know, have got clicks like 1013. Um, but on the US and UK worlds, I just don't see those people. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to do at least a few trips with the Avarice without losing it. 700 shots worth of cross oh, crossbow with the Avarice. Let's see what loot we got. 1.2 mil. That's kind of the average that we've been getting per trip. That's so big. Honestly, that like, is why the bank value is just skyrocketing. Look at that. Killed them all with multiple seconds till it spawns again. God, this avarice goes so fucking hard when it comes to Fuck off. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Fuck right off. We just got a fifth scepter before we got a fucking mace.
<laughs> Fuck off. Oh, just look at it on the ground. You are fucking kidding me. Why can it at least be a crossbow? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, come on, let's just get two back to back. That would be really funny if I just got the mace as well like, on the ground. Oh, you are joking me. Oh, God. Oh, at least it looks nice on the ground. Oh. <laughs> that is infuriating. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck right off. Lol, look at this as well, right? On my other account. There's, I've got two in the chat. That it's happened so often on this account. So it's listing it as two having happened. And also another guy just got one like in the next room. What the fuck is happening with the scepters? Look at this thing entering the bank. Four in the bank. One in the invent. Five Theremin scepters. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. We've got a PK on us. What's his agility level? He's got 70 agility, which is not good. Although we're kind of killing him, to be fair, so... Maybe we'll get away with it. Hopefully this guy doesn't have any summer pies on him. Looks like he's made a small mistake there. So if he doesn't have the pies, we should be... <laughs> Come on, no pies, no pies. Oh, fuck! Okay, I can't let this guy get my... King Avarice, that would be so bleak. Come on, run. <laughs> oh, we so nearly had the gap there. Oh, where do we go? Where do we go? What should we do? Try the same again. Fucking hell, stop working me so much. Oh, no! Fuck. Come on, come on! Fuck off! He's at 82 combat, so I just can't run. Come on. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh okay, okay. I don't think he teleblocked me, did he? No, okay, right. So I just need to run away. Oh, oh, I can't explain how happy I am. Whew. God, my heart's actually going a bit. I re <laughs> Even though it doesn't particularly matter, I do really want to keep the avarice. Oh, God. Okay, thank God for that. Emblems, emblems, emblems. Two mil emblem. Not too bad. I guess we take those. Let's grab that and head to the bank. We're right at the end of the trip anyway. 3.3 mil in the looting bag. Really not too bad. Oh, obviously missed the level. Well, that is 89 hit points. Oh, well, are we going to get to 90? I really hope not. Oh, you will have seen a clip uh, just, you know, a few seconds ago. But for me, it has been over 36 hours. Not of in-game time, probably about 12 hours of in-game time of just doing stuff. But it's been a little while since we've achieved anything. Uh, but we're going to achieve something now, uh, and it's not going to be the pet, I don't think, um, although you can get it from this course. I'm not sure if you get it from that obstacle or handing in the stick, but the most important thing is level 85 agility. Just four levels to go until the chunk goal is complete. What a level that is. 85 is like a proper milestone, I think. I remember... When I played uh, back in 2000 and God knows what, 2006, 2005, something like that, I remember getting 85 attack as my highest stat and being like, my God, I am a baller. I had like 85 attack and 60 strength. Um, I just 
fundamentally didn't understand how the combat worked at all. I was like, yes, I can have a whip, and I'll be even better with it if I get even higher attack. Um, but yeah, that, that was a bit of a tangent. But yeah, 85 agility, not bad, and we shall keep pushing on. Okay, we just shot off a thousand crossbows with the arrows equipped. Let's have a peek in the looting bag and see how rich we are. 2 million GP, that is so nice. 4 dragon long swords, huge. 12 eight bracelets, oh, love stacking up the ether. Um, barely any man to row that trip, which is a bit sad, but yeah, that's why it's so good. Just, just being able to do those long ass trips and to get those huge looting bags is so nice. This has got to be, this has got to be the worst invent of loot I've ever seen for 750 shots of crossbow. Look at that! No rune legs, no rune plate bodies, no dragon anything. Miserable. Miserable. Oh, I'm sure you guys are by now, but I never get bored of the double dragon plate legs. Just looks so nice on the ground. 325k in pure coinage. So, so nice. All right, we're back with the fattest looting bag you've ever seen. Look at the juice on that. Ooh, bleh. Oh, God, so good. <laughs> Two and a half mil. Oh, the Amulet of Avarice it just goes fucking crazy, man. Oh, I'm about to ruin it with this kill, but... There is 42,000 kills, and we did not get the mace on the 42,000 and first, but... We're still going strong. Let's get this. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. So nearly smited for the crossbow as well. I tried to get the recorder up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we lost our avarice, which is very sad. But at least I didn't lose the crossbow. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, there was like no chance I was going to escape that guy anyway. He's like the perfect build to kill me. 82 attack, obviously, for the uh, for the Fang. 99 strength, 99 range, 99 mage. 77 prayer for Augury. 89 agility, so I couldn't have got away from him on the obstacles either. Just way too stacked for me, unfortunately. Um, yeah, down, and out, down to one Avarice again, which means we're going vanilla into the caves with just the crossbow, which is... Very sad making, but, you know, it is what it is. I got I got a decent amount out of the Avarice, to be honest. We got our Manta Ray stack back up to nearly 700, which really isn't too bad. And our Addy Bars are flying for it as well. Ah, <sighs> that's so sad making. What kill count are we at now? 42,114. I'm pretty sure I got well over 1,000 um, 1, kills with the Avarice, which is pretty decent, to be honest. Um, I haven't had a big emblem in a while, like an 8 mil or a 16 mil or anything like that. So hopefully we can get one of those soon, even if we do not get ourselves the chain mace. Sad times. Oh, I decided to swap it up, swap it up a bit and do um, do some orcs, and got myself a little totem quite quickly. I'm I'm working out that I can get kind of about 165. Uh, kills per hour here at the Orcs, which isn't too bad really. Uh, looks like I'm going to try and get attempted to be killed by this guy, which is quite funny. Uh, <laughs> he seems to have given up on that, although I'm going to lose a bracelet of Ethereum for it. No, fuck it, we're going back for it. Fuck you! I want that bracelet! <laughs> oh no! Come on, run! Okay, looks like he can't attack me for some reason. <laughs> Unlucky. Good stuff. And I'm back at uh, quads because, oh my goodness, orcs are fucking busy. <laughs> I've never seen so many PKs in my life. Sometimes I can go sort of 30, 40 minutes here without seeing a PK. At uh, the orcs, my god, it's every two minutes. It's insane. So, yeah, I'm going to stick to the quads and just do my time here. I thought if I went to orcs and got a slightly better drop rate, maybe I'd have some luck. But unfortunately not. Hopefully... We'll have some luck here, though. Well, this isn't a very fun situation, is it? I've got some peak air on me after that last guy, and I've got like, no food, and this guy actually has the shortcut. That is fucking lame. I might get this. If he doesn't bind me.
Come on, don't lag too much. Oh, I'm just too good. I'm just too good. Right, we've got a guy here who does have the agility level. So what we'll do is try and fake him out. He splashes that. So I need him to kind of splash on me because he's got ice. It's not very good for me, to be honest. Um, it's definitely better to do that sort of when I cross to the north and run east. But, oh, got me there. Rip. At least we keep the crossbow. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, neat. We just hit 3,000 laps at the werewolf course. Less than 2,000 to go. Halfway to level 86. Flying through it. Can't believe I've done 3,000 laps already. It's one of those grinds where it feels like it's just, you know, gone, gone like, I've, I've barely even registered that I've done those laps. But, yeah, I guess we've done 3,000 werewolf laps. Time for another decent little level. Level 86 agility. Only three levels to go. Even at the werewolf course, this is taking quite a long time. So I can only imagine how long this would have taken had I done that, had I had to do the canopus course. So that 400 mil for the silver bar was definitely worth it. 86 agility on a screen one chunk. That seems kind of crazy. Um, that 89 feels quite, you know, within grasp now. It felt very, very far away when I rolled this chunk. But it's starting to get a lot closer, which I'm very, very happy about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guess what, my boy? Guess what? You're in one. 50,000 revenants. It sounds like a lot. And it sounds like a lot because it is a lot. I've been in this chunk, in these caves, for four months. I started with just a maple shortbow, but I've managed to secure three crossbows, all of which are definitely still in my possession, and five Tharaman scepters, but I am still yet to receive a Vigora's chain mace. At a starting KC of 42,000, I'm already way past two times the drop rate to have one, so surely, surely I will get one soon. Today, we take our Revenant kill count up to 50,000, as well as achieving several other long term goals that we have in this Goliath of a chunk. Will I get the chain mace? Let's find out. Welcome back to Cannabis Chunk. Oh, go on then. Just as I'm roasting Maka in the uh, in the CC chat, we're going to uh, grab ourselves this lamp from Count Check and get ourselves level 23 Slayer fun stuff. And the first drop of the video is an ancient statuette, 2 million GP. Can we get anything second? I've never had like a back-to-back -back item before. That would be pretty cool. Might, might just kill this demon as well for funsies. Let's see if we can get two items on the ground. That would be quite fun, wouldn't it? Um, the two mill emblems aren't the rarest, but they're also not the most common. I think they're one in sort of 3,000-ish. So slightly more common than a weapon, um, but not too much more common. So let's see if we can get anything here. Let's grab our emblem. Nothing from that fella. Right, let's go chuck that in the bank. Oh, <laughs> ancient crystal. Is this going to be yet another video of just getting the same dupes that we've had a million times? I really, really hope not. Cause I just, I just want to get some new stuff. I like getting the weapons. Like even if they're dupe weapons, I quite like getting them because they just look quite cool on the ground and it's nice to have a collection of them. And in theory, they're worth a load of ether in the future. Ah, oh, but the ancient crystals, they can get in the bin. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at the lag. Wow. Uh, 100 range. Still no chain mace, but uh, in interesting that I've got virtual levels turned on. I never normally have them turned on, but I guess that's pretty interesting. Nice. <laughs> this guy got on us and then immediately splashed every single bind. <laughs> I, was, I was like, just filled up my looting bag, went to leave the caves. Ran into that guy with like hardly any food and he splashed like five binds in a row to like go over here. <laughs>
Right, 13 seconds of the update. I reckon there's probably quite a high chance that I kill this thing but don't get to pick up the drop. If we see the drop and it's a chain mace, I'll cry. Okay, looks like we're not even going to get to see the drop. <laughs> okay, we appear to have walked into a pretty severe graphical bug. And I'm pretty sure it's actually sort of real because if I stick it on W117HD, it's still broken. And regular GHD and vanilla and region locker. So hopefully if we log out, it will fix it. Oh, we're flying already. We are up to 43,000 kills, which is pretty crazy. If we go drop rate from here, we're getting 60,000 because the drop rate to get the mace is one in about 17,000. So I should have it two and a half times over already, uh, but that doesn't really count for anything. And it's only from now that, you know, drop rates are important to me. So hopefully we can get lucky. Hey, here we go. We've got a 75 agility PK. -er. Um, don't catch a freeze, don't catch a freeze. Yeah, <laughs> your 75 agility means nothing when you're as bad as you. <laughs> this guy's trying to kill me and he's got no run energy. <laughs> That's my favourite PK attempt ever, the guy with no run energy. What an idiot. <laughs> oh, 8 mil effigy, yet more pink text on the ground that I thought that I thought <laughs> was something else. Oh, it does look good though, doesn't it? Eight mil GP, we take those. What's the, uh, that's our seventh one. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, I guess we take those. That was, uh, I would not be surprised if I still had the other one in the chat. That is so funny that I just got a 16 mil emblem as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there it is. Kind of a strong ancient effigy, 8 mil. Lol. <laughs> Literally can't stop getting funds. That's so funny. Right. 16 mil. There we go. <laughs> Things we love to see. Start your subscription by following the link in the top of my description and using my code FRAYFREE to receive your free breakfast item for life. And also, support me and my family. Thank you. Oh, we are so, so rich now. So we've got, what, 96 mil just in that stack with another 48 mil just in that stack. So we're talking 144 mil in just those two items there. That is nuts. Do you want to see something quite interesting? Look at the loot that I've got here, right? Um, so from the demons, we've got 17 magic seeds in nearly 9,000 kills. From the cyclops, we've got 34 magic seeds, twice as many in 4,500 kills. So twice as many seeds in half as many kills. That is bizarre RNG, isn't it? Cannot stop getting the useless ancient crystals. Not only can I not use them now, but I'll pretty much never be able to use them unless I get all the way over to Relica to get the, uh, to get Caldergrim to get the building supplies. So bleak, a unique, but not one that we want. Hopefully we can get something good soon. It is a sad day. We have ran out of coins, which isn't good news because we need coins to enter the Rev Cave. So not the end of the world because we obviously have a lot of money uh, banked, but I don't want to be like alchemy stacks particularly. And I do need to turn some of these in, which is sad because I wanted to keep the stacks going, but it is what it is. Um, you need to turn them in on a bounty hunter world. So I'm just going to go do that now. Hopefully I don't get PK. I'm thinking what I might do is just take one of each. Um, and see how we get on. Hopefully well. I have located... Oh, fuck, I can't get in. Oh, I was about to say I've located the emblem trader, which I have. He's at Pyre Fiends in this world, but... I can't even enter the caves because I've got no money. Uh, um, cool, so what I'll do is I will... I'll have to alk a pair of dragon plate legs, I guess. Um... That's probably the least damaging to the stacks of stuff we've got. 
Um, and then that will give me enough money to get in. Let's just do that real quick. Okay, there's 162k. We'll chuck that in the bank and we'll go back for a second attempt, but we will regen our run before we do so. Okay, the emblem trader is in the quads room up here. There he is. Let's just trade all these in. Is it as easy as using them on him? Yes, we'll take our 31 mil. We'll run away on this account and log out. Oh, and there's a maledictus right ahead of us. <laughs> we'll have to hot world. Oh, okay, we made it out safely. That will never not be nail biting, but we got our 31 mil, so we can kick back and relax now. We shouldn't have to trade in any more emblems unless we go, <laughs> you know, 150,000 dry. Um, but nice little cash deck to have and a lot more banked besides. This may very well be the fattest non Amulet of Avarice trip I've ever had. Look at this. Over one mil in the looting bag, pretty big. And then we've also got the double dragon plate legs in the invent with uh, with some other stuff as well. Pretty big, 1.4 mil trip. We take those. And here is 15 million range XP, only 61k until level 90 hit points as well. Oh, those levels are really getting high. The post 99 XP is getting higher and higher by the moment as well. Hopefully we can get it before too long. Here we go. Level 90 hit points. We did get there. Half a million hit points XP since we started this video, which is quite a lot. I think it's probably more than that. I think I might have started on 88. I'm not sure. Um, but we're looking, as the boys are saying here, very healthy. Will we get to 91 before we get the chain mace? <sighs> Hopefully not. I reckon this is a bot that's gone uh, AFK or something. Should I try and kill it? Yes. Go on. Broken bot. Yes! We killed one! What do we get from him? Oh, we got the avarice as well. Look at that. Things you love to see. Oh, that's very funny. Oh, I hope this guy doesn't attack me. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> oh, that was funny. So free. So last night whilst on mobile, I got level 87 agility. Which means we've only got two levels to go until we've got the agility chunk goal. Which is kind of crazy, to be honest. 847k XP to go. Goes quite quickly, really, because I only do this on mobile, so I'm not really paying too much attention whilst I'm doing it. Yeah, it's been a decent grind. I thought it would be by far my least favourite, but it's actually been quite good. So, onwards and upwards, and hopefully we get the mace soon, then we can just finish off the rest of the skilling goal super quick and get to rolling again. Oh, ancient statuette, not too bad. Not sure if I just lost my skull just then after getting it, or I just got it unsculled. But we take the two mil, not too bad. Okay, relatively big moment for the account coming up. I haven't actually banked that two mil emblem yet because we were pretty close, about a dozen kills away from 45,000 revenants. Hopefully... Hopefully we can get it before 50k. I mean, surely. Um, yeah, 45,000. Sounds like a lot, doesn't it? Well over two and a half times dry of the mace. Oh, come on. Oh, you don't get that too often. The double dragon plate legs. But I've already got the double dragon plate skirt in the looting bag. Things you love to see. I think that's another bot that's broken. If it stays there and the prayer goes off, then that reckon, then I reckon it's smited and I'm going to kill it on this account. They're so weird. They they break quite a lot, to be honest. Oh, the old one mil totem. It's been a while since we've had one of those, but they add up in the bank. I think we've had some like 20 something now, have we? Uh, yeah, 22 of those. 22 mil just from that. Crazy. Right. It's a pretty big moment for us. Come and take a little peek into this bank where we are going to have 100 
sets of dragon plate legs. I really didn't think, when I was sat on 40 and I had two weapons already, I really didn't think we'd ever get here. But here we are, 100 sets of dragon plate legs. Will we hit the 1,000 sets of rune plate legs at some point? Hopefully not. But I can't guarantee anything because I never thought I'd hit the 100 dragon plate legs. What's kind of crazy is that the 16 mil emblem drop used to be 100 dragon plate legs um, back in the day. So imagine if it had been, I'd, I'd have like 900 sets of dragon plate legs by now, which would be nuts. Nice, just found ourselves a uh, rogue young impling and pulled ourselves up a uh, a bowstring. Things that we love to see. That's a f oh, so let's let's grab this baby imp as well and see if we can get ourselves a silver bar. That would be a lot less likely, one in one hundred. But a ball of wool, relatively useful actually. Oh, go on, another young impling. Can we pick ourselves up a bowstring again? That would be nice. No, but the tuna will do. That would be useful for us doing our agility. So, I just had a guy get on me with a, uh, what's it called, Ursine Chain Mace, right? And I believe either the special attack or the normal attack, that drains your agility. Um, so it drained me down to like 48 agility and I couldn't escape over the obstacles. And then I've hopped worlds and it's just took my agility back up to 87, it's got rid of the drain. Does anyone know why that is? Because I swear normally if you get drained by stuff, it stays across world hops that seems really strange to me i don't know if that's different or i'm just an idiot so uh let me know lol i just got back to back magic seeds five magic seeds one message in between and another four magic seeds i feel like i should probably bank with nine magic seeds on me <laughs> that's so cool i've not seen that happen before you know they're like one in at least a couple thousand to get magic seeds as well so the rng on that is way worse than getting a chain mace. So are we going to get every single combination of stupid RNG before we get chain mace? Probably. Oh, there we go. Just hitting level 101 range. <sighs> the milestones are getting dull now. Come on, let's just get it soon. Fuck off! You're fucking kidding me! God, this has got to be a dream. Nothing this bad could ever happen in reality. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> no, oh, you are fucking joking me, oh my god, six, six scepters, zero maces, fucking stop it, oh my god. <sighs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what do I even do with that? Come on. <laughs> oh, let's chuck it into the bank then. Five in the stack. What's a sixth one? <laughs> That's mental. What are they? Someone tell me the odds of getting six scepters and zero maces, please. I'm not very good at maths. Well, I'm good at mental maths. Well, I mean, probably not based on what you guys have seen. Look at that, though. But, yeah, I can't do proper math. So, tell me the odds of getting six scepters and zero chain maces, because I bet they're not great. Look at the amount of bots that keep logging in right now. This is insane. One, two, three. This is me live comment this. Four. This has been happening for about five minutes. Five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. How mental is that? That all happened in what? 15 seconds? 12, 13, 14, 15. Pretty sure they're the same ones over and over again. But I've no idea why they keep logging in and logging out again. This is bizarre. I mean, what? There's at least half a dozen individual ones, though. Just look at this! That was, what, about 20 separate instances of bots logging in in about 30 seconds? That's nuts. That can't be normal for a video game. I'll tell you what, I always feel safest 
in the UK world, right? So this is my kind of analysis from sort of almost 500 hours in the uh, in the Rev Caves. The uh, the UK world, that's where you're at your safest. There's not many PKers. If there are, they're okay, but there's not many of them. Go to the European worlds and you're totally fucked. There is like constant absolute raid bosses just like ready to take you out. But not quite as many PKers overall as the US world. If you go to the US world at any time of day, it is ridiculous. Usually they're all shit because mostly they've either got no money to risk or they don't have an agility level or anything like that. So luckily they're not too bad, but they are endless. I mean, there must be some relationship between like uh, ethnicity. Is that what it is? No, not eth where you're from. Um, there must be some um, correlation between what country you're from and how often people go PKing. Because, I mean, I know the US population love a bit of PvP in real life as well, so maybe they love it in the game. But honestly, it is crazy. So I'm a UK-only maxi. I don't know about the Australian world. I don't go there very often, but someone from Australia, let me know. Look at this! I log out for five seconds to Hot Worlds and look at the state of the caves. My god. <laughs> oh, they accidentally attacked that bot, so he's attacking me back. This is what happens if you attack them with range. They get on you like that for some reason, which is just annoying. Leave me alone. <laughs> Did you see how many bots that was, though? That was ridiculous. There's about eight on screen at one time. My god. I'll tell you what, I was getting like happy because my twisted bow on my um on my main account was going up in value. It's like 1.7 bill now. The reason why is nothing to do with the twisted bow going up. The inflation these bots must bring in just from the shed loads of GP that you get from killing revenants must be insane. And I'm guessing if it's this crazy here, it's this crazy everywhere. Can we get this rev down before the update? And if we can and it drops something good, do we have time to grab it? No. <laughs> oh, 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 we've rolled the table again. And we've got another avarice. That is a fourth avarice. At least that's more common than the maces. So I don't feel too bad. And it's also at least useful for me. So I will grab that. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, will I use it and lose it? Probably at some point, but I'm not feeling that today. I at least want to keep it in the bank for a little bit. That'll be fun to use at some point. Uh, uh, I wish it was the maze. I really wish it was the maze, but you can't have it all. And the avarice is not too bad. Nearly 47,000 KC and we've only got four of them. So we're very dry in avarices overall. But I guess I can't complain too much. It would be nice to get the mace. But the avarice is the second best option. And there we are. Let's chuck the second one into the bank. Looks pretty nice in there. Next to my six scepters and my spare crawls bow. Come on. I believe. I just temporarily lost my skull and instantly got a dragon med helm for fuck's sake. My RNG can do literally anything except get a chain mace. Come on! Okay, I just got an emblem, one of the 500k ones, and a PK like, logged in on me like right as I grabbed it. So I had to run away. I think I can come back though. Yeah, he just logged in here, but he's gone now. I should probably go put that in the bank, shouldn't I? It'd be annoying. And also, look at that looting bag. That's a pretty decent looting bag. 1.5 mil trip. Not too bad. Oh, here we are with 47,000 kill count. Surely, surely we'll get something good again soon. I'd like another crossbow. It's been a long time since I've had a crossbow. And I feel like just seeing one on the floor would be second only to uh, getting ourselves a mace. But that would go some way to uh, redeeming my day that I've spent in the rev caves getting nothing. <laughs> Can we juke this guy out? It's probably going to be our only bet. Oh, we got him. And then here's the straps on the, on the circle thing. Yes. <laughs> oh, the straps are just too good. 
Oh, nice. I just noticed we finally hit 20,000 lore runes. That's something I don't really consider when I'm looking at the loot tab, but that is a massive amount that can be used for a lot of stuff. I'm pretty sure that is enough or very nearly enough to get 99 construction, for example, um, without having access to a house portal. So that could be relevant in the future. Okay, so we just died yet again in the Rev Caves. Fun times. There's no bots, right? Because they've just done a system update like earlier today. But that's actually worse because all the PKs are, are, like, are focusing me rather than killing bots. So that's annoying. But I've been doing some quick maths. So in this chunk, I need to get 87 fletching and 75 fire making. Um, we've got quite a lot of logs at the moment. We have... Nearly 11,000 U logs and 5.7k magic logs, which sounds like a lot, but that's not quite enough to get us. That's about 85 fletchings worth. But I've kind of been assuming I'm going to use those logs on fletching, but why? Fletching is a lot more AFK, and if we take a look at the XP charts over here, uh, you get 25 XP for fletching and oak log, which is probably what I'll have to do to kind of fill up the gap of the logs that I need to... Um, once I've used the ones that I get from the Revenants. Um, if you go to U-Logs, though, you can see that you can um, fletch them for 75 XP if you do a U-Long bow. So a U-Log is three times as good as an Oak Log if you fletch it into a Long bow. However, as we can see here, if we burn a U-Log, we get 202 XP uh, for burning it. Um, if we burn an oak log, though, we get 60 XP. So what that means is that where a U log is three times better for fletching, it's about 3.3 times better for burning. So overall, if I use my higher tier logs on fire making, I'm going to have a better time overall because overall I'll use less logs. Does that make sense? Hopefully. So, two, so level 75 is, we've got no skills there, but level 75 is what, just over a mil XP, something like 1.2 mil XP. So we're talking just under a million, X, a million fire making XP uh, that we need to get in this chunk so that we can burn a magic log. That is, you know, 2.2 mils for, uh, uh, fire making XP banked right there. So there's no reason for me not to just knock out 75 fire making at some point. So... As soon as I'm finished with the agility grind, which I'll hopefully have done this video, uh, I'll probably just start on the fire making grind while I'm uh, AFK. And I imagine the XP per hour will be quite high, and that 75 fletching will, f uh, 75 fire making will fly by. But I just thought I'd give you some rationale on the maths. Oh, <laughs> ancient crystal. I do, like the RNG is kind of there to just get stuff. It's just none of the right stuff. No, the bots are back. It took how long did that take? Uh, just over five hours. Oh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? They're annoying, that's for sure. But I guess also they keep the PKs off me to an extent. Or do they attract more PKs by virtue of there being more accounts for PKs to attack, so they don't get bored? If you know what I mean. Interesting balance of probability there. 4,500 laps of werewolf agility. Final stretch now, 457 to go. We are getting really close. Really, really close. I'm so happy to get this grind done. Right, fuck it. Let's go for the avarice and just see how long we can uh, stick with it. It's a decent time of day. 8 o'clock in the morning UK time, so the Americans should be asleep. Most Europeans should either be asleep or going to work. Uh, the only real people to worry about would be like Australians, where it would be evening for them, but they shouldn't be in UK worlds. So hopefully it'll be quite quiet and we can keep hold of this avarice and really sort of pump those kills in, because uh, the kills per hour goes up a lot when I'm using the avarice. Oh, the old one mil totem classic. I don't even know if I can be bothered to bank it. Oh, probably should. One day, are we looking at that one mil like, oh, that's so good. I need one mil so badly. So I should never take for granted the easy access I have to money. So yes, I'll bank it. Fine, fine. I've got Stella with me. So if you hear some shouting in the background, that's who it is. But I thought I might just try and kill this thing. I've got the Avarice on. I've got the Crossbow. So my damage should be good. 
My only worry is if PK show up. Uh, which could go badly for me. Hopefully not, though. Ah. <laughs> Someone else has just started attacking it with a crossbow, so I won't get any loot from it. So I guess I may as well just log out and wait till it dies. Okay, we got a proper PKer on us. And he has 75 agility. So this is not a good moment. He's 117 combat, so we... Might be able to run, but I just Okay, good 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 good. That was decent. That was decent. No oh. Okay, right what are we gonna do here it doesn't seem great But He does have a Karassi and Karassias are scary Just because they can do that Run, 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 run. Okay, we might have this. Just need to get the log out on the run around now. Okay, we should be good. Whew. Okay, we kept our avarice another day. Oh, 500k emblem. That could have been an 8 mil or a 16 mil. That's two of those quite recently, which is quite sad. Two of those, like, in a row, aside from the 1 mil ones, so... Hopefully we can pick up some two fours, eights, or sixteen soon. Oh, I think I'm just gonna stay though. I don't really care if I lose five hundred k. I'd be way more bothered about my avarice. So <laughs> yeah, it's hardly a big deal. I'm just in a bit of a test as well. I'm currently getting forty three kills per ten minutes. That I'm here, so that means that uh, our, our right now that we've got ninety nine range and the avarice and the crossbow is about two hundred and 50 to 260 kills per hour at the Revenant Demons. Obviously that's not including banking or PKs or anything like that, but undisturbed, 260 kills an hour. That is fucking crazy. Looks like we're getting crashed 29 minutes into our trip. Not too bad, we've made a thousand bots log, but you know, not much you can do about real players that don't respond and I mean maybe they're just a different kind of bot who knows but yeah not ideal for me unfortunately but 29 minute trip we'll take that let's see what the looting bag is after a 29 minute trip I'm guessing it'll probably be quite good over the trip we've been averaging 120,000 range XP per hour yeah 2.1 mil in the trip after barely 30 minutes not too bad, I would say. If we can keep that up, we're going to be very, very rich by the time we finish this chunk. Hopefully, though, we'll get the mace before anything really catastrophic happens in terms of uh, KC. If I ever make it to 100,000, that is when I'm going to know that this account is fucking cursed. I mean, this is why the avarice is just so nice, and I wish I didn't lose it on death. Um, getting those stacks of Addy bars, that's going to be so big in the future. I mean, they're, I think they're something like 70 XP each to like smith into stuff. Um, so that would be what, like 3k smithing XP just right there from like one trip, another, you know, however much from the room bars. So, you know, it's like 10k XP per trip in smithing, 20k XP per hour banked from just purely incidental stuff. Um, being able to bank the Manta Rays is just massive as well, and just, yeah, the faster kills are so good. I'm just hoping I can keep hold of this Avarice as long as possible. Oh, we could actually be in trouble here. This guy's got piety and he just keeps fucking wrecking me. Yeah, we're fucked. He just keeps maxing me. No chance. No chance I get this. Uh, no chance. Fuck! Ah, that's such a shit way to you lose the avarice that fucking quickly. Fuck you. Oh, I'm so sad about that second trip. Oh my god, fucking bitch, little fucking bitch boy. It's so annoying how easy they are to get and how easy they are to lose. Oh, in fact, how hard they are to get and how easy they are to lose. Oh, I'm so annoyed. 
<sighs> Fucking winds me up. <laughs> I just really want to be done with this chunk already. I'm so bored of it. So, so bored of it. <sighs> 47.5k. It's so fucking long, man. Oh, I saw the pink text and got a wee bit excited for a second because the Vigoras Mace is also like around about 4 mil GP value as well. So I got a bit, a bit twitchy there, but 4 mil emblem, we'll take that. I just like seeing the pink text on the ground mainly. It just feels nice. Decent little milestone. 91 hit points pretty much exclusively got in this chunk imagine if i hit 99 hit points in one chunk that would be fucking crazy hopefully it doesn't get that far um but at least it would make the hit points cape chunk not too bad which i believe i can roll um so yeah i mean if i did get that wouldn't necessarily be the end of the world would just take a decent chunk of time uh, if I did get it next, I'd probably use the chain mace and just max out my melees to get, or nearly max out my melees to get 99 hit points. But yeah, I mean, that would put me in a pretty good spot, I guess. So edging closer to that 99 and multiple level 90s now, which is pretty cool. These fucks just do not leave me alone today, honestly. Why am I on US Worlds? Like, what am I doing? It's just always these gimps <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Oh, I know that what they're doing is fine and designed to occur, but it's just so irritating. Oh, okay. He's got 74 agility, but I thought, I assumed if he had 74, he'd have a potion on him or something, but evidently not. <laughs> I thought for sure I was dead then. Oh shit, log out on the alt. No, he got me on the fucking alt account. Ah, oh, ha, ha. I'm so not dealing with going dry well. I'm literally here in the chat trying to like roast bots. I mean, they're not real people. Even the ones that don't teleport, like they're not real people. They don't respond. They don't play like normal. They only kill demons or cyclops. It's clearly just another bot farm. Why am I trying to like guilt trip bots for crashing me? <laughs> Fucking losing it. <laughs> Cannot stop getting one mil totems for love nor money. I swear I must have about 25 of them total now. I really want to get a back-to-back -back drop one time and just, like, kill the second uh, monster and get something else. That would be so cool. How many have we got now? 24. Nearly 25. That is a 24 mil just in those. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? Wow. There is 17 million range XP coming in. How many more millions are we going to get? Please, not too many more. I just got one of those kebabs from the sandwich lady. And it just healed me 18 hit points. Is that normal? I swear they used to heal me like five or something. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at the screen again. <laughs> what is it with us and getting money? Oh my god, I literally can't. Oh, I look back at the screen to see pink text again. And it was more relics. At least it was the 16 mil one. Oh, look at that. It does look like a thing of beauty. I do not have much food or potions, so I should better grab that and run away. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Moneybags is correct. I am Mr. Moneybags. Right, so we made it back to the bank, no troubles, back up to six of the 18 of the 16 mil emblem. That's a pretty juicy cash stack, but I think maybe we're nearly there. Not quite, nearly got the 700 mil bank value. That is massive. Imagine if we make it to a bill on a chunk man and pretty much all of it in basically cash. That would be wild. Oh, and also up to 1,800 bracelets of Ethereum as well, which is, I don't even know how much value that is, probably a lot. 79 mil. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I'm in a dangerous spot right now, and I probably shouldn't have let it happen. Uh, but I'm out of super restores, and I've only got 35 hit points. So if someone gets on me and smites me to death, I'm not entirely sure I'll be able to avoid being smited. So hopefully we don't get a peak air on us right now. Hey, I just killed a guy. Things you love to see. Hopefully that's a bot. 
Uh, I can't really tell by seeing that. I didn't get his avarice, which is a bit sad, but we did get some stuff. Nice. Things you love to see. An absolutely huge non-average trip here. We got this gumbo in the invent, but then also 1.1 mil in the looting bag. That is massive. The U seeds and the dragon plate skirts and the dragon long swords. Things you'd love to see. Hopefully we can have some more trips like that. The dragon plate skirt of all dragon plate skirts trip. Two in the bag and two in the invent as well. 781k in the looting bag. You know, easily another 1.1, 1.2 mil trip. We are flying right now. Oh, when they've got the agility level, it just becomes so much worse. Okay, right, here we go. This is the one. Come on. He splashed. That's fucking good news. He's quite close, though. Might be fucked anyway. Well, might have it. Yeah. <laughs> That is foolproof. The jump back, back, and then round the round the uh, rock is foolproof. Love that. Oh, another five hundred k. Come on, let's get the good ones at least. I think this two mil emblem is the only thing that shows up as orange from the Rove Caves, which is interesting and doesn't make me crap my pants like all the pink ones do. Uh, yeah, another two mil. Nice. Go more than two hours without getting a one mil emblem challenge level impossible. <laughs> Literally can't help but get them. I'm really nearly out of crossbow shots though, so I guess it's a good time to get it because we're heading to the bank anyway. Can I get this one down in 12? Hopefully. Can we get a drop? Hopefully. I really want to get two. I technically did have two in one invent when I got the two mil emblem which i think was one of the last clips because i still had the 500k one in my invent at the time so that was the only time i've ever had two unique drops on me at one time and i forgot to record it before i hit deposit all in the on the looting back screen <laughs> there's this one pk called visage max right who wears like pure gear and he attacked me once i hopped away across the shortcut and he's never attacked me again. He must have spotted me a dozen times and I run over here every single time. And he never bothers. And he doesn't attack my alternative account so he can't be because to try and get the 100k like loads of them do. Respectable. I respect that. Like, more PKs like that, please. Like, it's so frustrating. The most frustrating ones are the ones I know aren't going to get me because they don't have the agility level. And I know they don't because they've tried it 15 times before. They must know they don't because they've tried it 15 times before. And they still give it a go anyway, and I escape every single time. It is so annoying, because, like, I can't even get a clip out of that, because it's just a foregone conclusion that I'm going to get away. The ones where they've got the agility, and I've kind of got to be a bit clever about it, at least I can get a clip about clip out of it. But the, the noobs, nothing. So, you know, big shout out to, Vis to uh, Visage Max. Oh, I missed him, he was right there. Oh, oh I nearly got the right click on uh, old Visage boy. What? In the fuck is this? <laughs> you do not see that gear in the Revenant Caves very often. I can tell you that for free. Oh, another two mil emblem. Things we love to see. Can't go too wrong with one of those. Go on, back to back. Never lucky. One of these days. One of these days. I just got smited from a fucking crossbow. Oh no. Fuck's sake. Oh, that was so bad. That was so bad. What is this? I know why I'm wiring, you know, this gimpy ass gear. Why is this guy wearing this gimpy ass gear? <laughs> There's no excuse. What is that? Oh, fuck off, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> He's done me there. Oh, uh, why can't that be mine? I just want the mace. <laughs> oh, fuck. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. 
That fucking killed me. Oh god, I let the biggest noob kill me because I was too busy typing. <laughs> oh for fuck's sake, I died to the biggest noob ever because I because because I was too busy typing. I had like 1.5 mil. <laughs> <laughs> in the looting bag as well. Oh no. That guy got me killed. I picked up his mace though. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. Oh, why was I too busy typing? At least I didn't get. Imagine if I got smited for my last curls by just typing to that guy. Oh my god. I was kind of thinking, right? Now that I've got only one crossbow left and I've got one amulet of avarice left, I'm obviously way. I oh, know he's all right. He's 124 combat. Um, yeah. Now that I've got an amulet of avarice and and a, and a crossbow, but only one of each, I'm obviously way more bothered about losing my crossbow. So I'm thinking maybe I should. Oh my God! Won't leave me alone. He's got a good name. Yeah, he's got the agility level. Fuck's sake. Um, he's only a pure though, so it shouldn't be too bad as long as I can actually get gap on him. Um. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should keep the amulet of avarice as my as my like sort of main thing, because so what I want is to get across again and then run. Don't think that worked. Maybe that worked. <laughs> okay, so what I'm thinking is if I can keep the avarice. Like, I, I might use that as my thing and, and swap to using a magic shortbow instead of the crossbow. Because if I lose my next, last crossbow, I'm going to be gutted and I'm going to like be wanting to punch myself in the head. Whereas if I lose my last avarice, I'm not that bothered. Um, so I'm a bit gutted that I used all my avarice, like I wasted all my avarices just on slightly boost, boosted kills per hour. Um, but maybe I might try out using a magic shortbow and an avarice at... Um, at Revenants, see what the kills per hour is, see if that's better, because even though I, I wouldn't then be risking it, I'd just be using it in the same way as I use the crossbow right now, but maybe I'd have a bit more, um, a bit more ability to not lose my crossbow, which would be a good thing, because losing the crossbow would fucking suck. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking I might do that, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, this is the kind of PK where I need to uh, make sure that I keep my prayer up and don't let uh, myself get clapped. Uh, because the, the, it's just a Void Waker, man. The Void Waker is scary. Uh, this guy does have the prayer level. I uh, does have the agility level, I think. So, oh, clearly not. Clearly not. Right, let's give the Magic Shortbow and Amulet of Avarice a go and see how we get on. We seem to be hitting okay, actually. I mean, we're 99 range, <laughs> so you'd hope that we'd hit okay. But that was pretty decent. Let's see how we get on. Um, I'm not entirely sure what my max hit is. Clearly over 20, which is nice. 21 is the max hit. And we're hitting quite frequently, to be honest. So this may not be too bad. I need to kind of check out what the kills per hour is. Um, what is nice about this method is that I'll be getting a lot of um, I'll be getting a lot of ether because I'm not using it with my bow anymore, and also I'll be collecting it just passively. Um, and additionally, I will also be getting noted items like manta ray and adi bars and rune bars, and rune ore, and stuff like that. So that should be very nice as well. So assuming the kills per hour is decent. This should be pretty good for me. And obviously has the added benefit that I'm not risking my crossbow. So <laughs> we'll see. Although I only have eight magic shortbows, which isn't good. So yeah, we'll see how we get on. So let's start at 777 and we'll start at 1130. And we'll see how many kills we can get in, you know, a given period of time. And then calculate that per hour and see how it stacks up to the crossbow. Right, we've just finished 10 minutes, slightly over 10 minutes. Let's see how we got on. So 21 kills, uh, and we need to times that by six. We could probably call it 20. So we're getting 120 kills per hour 
using the magic short bow. So it's about two thirds the rate of the crossbow. The crossbow is uh, 180 kills per hour. So it's not too bad, not too bad, but still not great. I mean, do I want to increase my time here by a third? Probably not, but it is also quite nice for getting the noted supplies. I mean, when I can, when I've killed this one, I can look in the looting bag. Like getting the noted supplies like that is very nice, um, and I do quite like the uh, lack of stress that I have by not having to uh, <laughs> worry about it too much. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I like that. I'm that I'm. Uh, you know not risking the crossbow but i also really don't like that i have to pick up the arrows so yeah i'm not sure maybe we'll maybe we'll kind of use them interchangeably like when i need food maybe i'll use this for a bit but yeah i think i'll probably stick the crossbow as the main right here we go it took us a long long time but short of us getting the mace just there which we didn't there is 50 thousand kc at the revenants and we are still missing the vigoras chain mace six scepters three bows four avarice and zero maces <sighs> I rolled the Revenant Caves chunk over four months ago. I've made huge progress on the chunk, and in that time I've killed over 50,000 Revenants, amassing nine wilderness weapons. However, none of them have been Vigorous Chain Maces. I have had three crossbows and five Hammer and Scepters, and people keep asking me, are you going to set a kill count that you will backlog the mace and move on? I've considered it. It makes sense. I can't just stay in the Rev Caves forever, can I? But what number? 60,000? 75,000? 100,000? What's the limit that I deem acceptable to leave the Rev Caves? Well, after much deliberation, I've settled on a number where I can leave. I'm not leaving. Infinite Revenants. I'm not leaving. The heat death of the universe will occur before I leave these caves without the mace. I'M NOT FUCKING LEAVING! <laughs> Welcome back to Cannabis Chunk. Literally cannot stop getting two mil totems at the moment, which is crazy because they're really not that common. Getting one of those is about as common as getting a unique. So, yeah, all of these two mil emblems we've been getting recently could very easily be uniques, but we will always take the two mil GP. Looks nice in the looting bag and will be useful for us in the long run. I feel like the magic seeds have gone up in value a bit. I feel like this drop wasn't always 417k. We'll, we'll take that though, because that is going to be good farming XP one day in hopefully the far future. Oh, I just got away from a PK up, but we are not in for a fun trip back. Basically, no food and I'm poisoned, so that's going to be good. Is it a mistake to carry on the trip with two food and not much hit points? Probably, but it would be quite satisfying if we refill our invent with, uh, with food from the Revenants and didn't die and didn't have to bank for more, wouldn't it? So let's give it a go. This guy comes into the room and he says, hi. I go, hi. He goes, hot. I go, oh, he's complimenting my account. Yeah, I guess it's a pretty good account. Or to, I say, T-Y. He goes, hop. I go, oh. Oh, arrogant strikes again. I don't really want to piss him off. Well, he's got 52 agility. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Look at me as I uh, leap across the agility shortcut. Wanker. Right. I reckon this is a busted bot over here. Let's take it out. On, please be busted. Hopefully if it's broken it will drop its avarice as well. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, I love killing the uh, I love killing the broken bots. Come on, please drop your avarice. 
Did it? Oh, it did. Things you love to see. Look at that. How, why do they break, I wonder? Very interesting. I guess this is slightly complex content with, like, PKs and stuff, so... I guess it makes some amount of sense, but, uh... Easy pickings for me. That is now the third avarice I've got on the alternative account from getting broken bots. Very nice. Aside from killing them, my other favourite bug the bots do is somehow end up attacking each other and they don't have the code to stop. <laughs> so they just stand there forever killing each other. Very, very strange, this bot code. Does anyone know how these notifications work within the Revenant Caves? Because... You see them quite a bit, right? So, for example, I've got both of these accounts logged in, but only this account can see that notification there, um, which I presume means that I'm within range, but this account isn't. But how big is the range? Because that person, Big Farm 721 I said person, I mean bot, isn't in this room, right? So he's clearly somewhere else, probably at the Knights or the Dragons or something. But how far is that range? Because when I used to go to the Rev Caves like a long time ago, I assumed this was for the whole cave, and I was like, oh god, you hardly see any weapons, do you? Um, but evidently it's just area-based, but I'd love to know how far the area is and, you know, which air which regions it, like, it overlaps into and stuff like that. So, if you know any details on the mechanics of that, let me know. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> a guy just tried to get me with Tarox and I killed him. Oh no, I kind of killed him. Hang on, I need to get that clip. Okay. <laughs> oh god, I need to run away because this guy's just... oh, totally going to kill me. I oh, know he's not. He's 124 combat. Okay. Lol. <laughs> As if I killed the guy in Tarox. <laughs> I need to get over there on my other account to pick it up. Um, okay, right. I should be able to grab that when I get it. That's so funny. <laughs> so I hit him when I um, when I like ran away from him before, but then he just died from the revenant hitting him when he logged in. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That is so funny. <laughs> oh god, I need to make sure. I get okay, right. Go, 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 go. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm getting it all because that bot... Did that bot get up something? Imagine if I goes plus one as well, that would have been too funny. <laughs> I can't believe that, that's so funny. I think the bot... Yeah, the bot goes fucking axe! Fuck's sake! <laughs> Fuck's sake! I told the guy to go to Edgeville on his, uh, on his account so I could give him his stuff back. Should I give him his stuff back? Or is this a little bit of payback for all the times they fucked me over? Hmm, can I, can I, can I put the crimes of the entire PK race onto this one guy? Does he deserve that? It's a tough choice, isn't it? It's a very fucking tough choice. Yeah, fuck this guy, right? I'm logging out, screw that. Now, I'm a YouTuber and I love number go up, so if you enjoyed this video so far, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm on the road to 30,000 subs. I reckon we can get there in the next month or two, so please drop a sub if you can. I promise the rest of this video just gets better and better and better. I would have felt sorry for him. I totally would have felt sorry for him, but he tried to kill me and very nearly succeeded killing me on this account. So. Do you know what? Fuck him. <laughs> he hit me for like a 58 and I got away over the shortcut. But I was like 10 HP. What if I'd not had my protect item up and he had one hit me or something? I, he'd have had my crossbow and I'd have just been, you know, flat on my ass. So, yeah, fuck him. I'm keeping his 4 mil. <laughs> Although it's not 4 mil because the bot somehow managed to snipe my, uh, snipe my Darok's great axe. So, yeah, that's like down 1 mil. But aside from that... That's, that is so funny. <laughs> the way it happened as well, getting hit by the fucking Revenant on straight away on login is too funny. What a fool. Oh my god, I'm so happy. That has literally made my day. Oh fuck. So why did all that stuff drop? Because I just really, I've just noticed in my invent, 
I've got a fucking loot key for 1.5 mil. What? Where the fuck did that come from? I'm so confused. So what? I got like 3 mil on the alt account from just stuff that dropped to the floor and like 1.4 mil in a loot key? I'm so confused. How do I get, how do I, how do I transfer these to another account? I've not even got loot keys on this account. How do I transfer loot keys to another account? Oh god, I need to figure this out. Okay, right, I'm pretty sure if I just, oh no, hang on. I'm pretty sure if I just kill my account like so, that I should get the loot key transferred. We shall see. Alright, that's that account dead. And yes, I did get the loot key on the other account. Let's have a look what it involves. What's there? I don't, where do I open them again? <laughs> okay, over here. Right, let's, uh, let's open this, see what we got. <laughs> oh my god. Right, so he's clearly killed some bot or something for 1.4 mil, and then I've got that as my loot key for some reason. I don't know why all the other stuff went on the floor. Oh, because he probably had a loot key already, right? And that was what was in the loot key. Okay, right, that's so funny. I cannot believe that. How many avarices do I have now on this account? Probably quite a lot. Yeah, four that have PK'd. <laughs> right, here goes nothing level one if we can hit 92 hit points which is nearly a big level for us so at level 93 our angler fish will go from healing 17 to healing 23 or 22 one of them um but either way they go from sucking ass to being actually really good so that's going to be big because i've got like a thousand angler fish banked um which is pretty cool um, and I've got like no Manta Ray and no Karamban Bank. So it will be nice once the Anglerfish are actually useful for me. Uh, but yeah, 92, still level 88 combat. Looks like we can get two more hit points levels, like one more before we get up to level 89. So we've got a little bit of leeway there. Once I hit level 89, uh, you know, I'm thinking I might just get the 60 defense passively here uh, maybe just a long range on the crossbow even though it's kind of inefficient um damage wise it might be worth doing chunk goal wise because then i can just knock out the level 60 on, as a passive thing because obviously i need level 60 to equip the dragon equipment um but yeah that's uh, that's something i'll decide upon at the next hit points level oh oh god i just got a crossbow but this guy just got on me oh fuck oh Oh, he didn't get on me, luckily. Oh my god, I'm so gutted that it's not a mace. But, it is a crossbow, which means I now have a dupe crossbow, which is very, very good news, because I was getting a bit stressed about only having one. Oh, my heart went then when I saw the crossbow on the ground and the PK I literally logged in at that exact moment. Oh, crossbow. No! Oh, that could have been it there and then. What kill count are we up to? 51,732, four crossbow, six scepters, zero maces. <sighs> oh, we're trying. I'm, I promise I'm trying my best. <laughs> Please. Go on, go on. Kill these imps and just get the uh, get the crossbow here and now. That would be, uh, that would be, I mean, not the crossbow, the mace. Oh, and dupe crossbow. <sighs> okay. That is good, because I did lose my second one in, uh, or my, you know, I've lost two, and now, I, now I've got a second one that I still have. Um, so that means I can be slightly less stressed about losing it, which is very good news. Um, but we take it. It's better than a scepter, because it is actually useful to us. So we'll chuck that in the bank. Lovely jovely. Okay, okay, right. Not the best thing but that is the second best thing we could have got oh and i just noticed we are also up to 600 of all of the rune items 720 rune plate legs as well that's a pretty big value uh how many items is that 1200 1900 3100 rune items i'll tell you what if we could unlock giant's foundry that would be a shitload of xp Oh, 
my friend just came in out to Vigora's chain mace and dropped the coins. I've officially, I've officially become a meme. Please, can I just get the mace now? What the fuck? This guy in the clan chat has also got the rev chunk. And I, he went, oh, can you bless me for a crossbow? I said, yeah, sure, man. Crossbow shall be yours. And he's fucking got one like 30 minutes later. What the fuck? That's huge. Congrats, man. Congrats. Hopefully I'll be next. So the friend gets the crossbow. I get the ancient totem. Although I don't know why I'm moaning about my friend getting a crossbow because... I got a crossbow, like, really recently. <laughs> Probably, like, two minutes ago for you guys. Oh, I guess we take the one mil, though. Very nice, very nice. I guess we get another one. Uh, literally no time since the last one. You can see there, because it says Ancient Totem 2. So, literally in this chat window. Uh, I believe in this login as well. So, 2 in 23 minutes. Not too bad. Oh, I don't know how many that is now. 20-something of those. <laughs> they just keep coming in and are totally useless, but they do technically count as a unique. Oh, I forgot to say, yeah, last night I got 81 Fletching and quite a lot of the way to 82. I think I've got 83 banked in U-Logs at the moment. Um, which is good because I don't really want to use my Magic Logs yet because I want to get the most bang for my buck with the Magic Logs and I can do that by uh, only fletching magic longbows starting at level 85 fletching. So I need to get 85 just off the use and then use the magics to finish off level 87. And then that will be the chunk gold done. And then as far as levels are concerned, we are done aside from 60 defense, which is basically a nothing grind. So very exciting that we're getting quite close to the end of this chunk. Any kill now could be the Vigorous Chain Mace. And then from there, we are pretty much done. Right, I've had reports from a friend of mine, Sarim Chunker, who is also in the Rev Caves Chunk, that apparently the bots will hop if you have a Dragon Dagger in your invent on the Chunk account. So we've seen in the past that the bots do not hop away from this account if I've got a crossbow equipped, right? They don't see me as a threat or whatever. I'm not, I'm clearly not on the list. So what I'm going to do is grab a Dragon Dagger and just see if they can somehow read that that's in my invent and that make them hop. If they can, that's fucking nuts. Right, so I'm gonna log out on the alternative account and just see if the bots hop away from me. And if they do, there is some fucking scary script going on if they can read your invent. So right, let's log out on that account and see when the bots log in what happens. Okay, looks like they aren't. Okay, good, good. That's That means the bots are slightly less scary and my friend must clearly just be on a list or something. So that's fine. Yeah, look, when I log in on that account, they all run away. Okay, cool. So the bots aren't as scary as we thought and aren't as clever as we thought. Good times. I mean, to be fair, though, that might not actually be true because... This account doesn't need to have the GDS equipped for people to run away. It just has to have it in the invent. So there's one of two scenarios where, or three scenarios, it can read the invent, but my account, this account, look, see, that one's going to log out, even though that's not got a DDS equipped. So there's three scenarios. Either it can read the invent, but my account is on a, he's a PVM, I don't bother logging out or running away, list. Um, option one. This account is on some kind of list that's like, that's a PK, I log out no matter what, which I don't think is the case. Because if I don't ha have a DDS on me on that account, they don't run away from it. Um, so, I think maybe they can read the invent, but they've just put me on a list that's like, this guy isn't attacking us. This guy isn't a threat. Like, don't bother looking out, basically, no matter what he does, unless he attacks us or whatever. Um, in fact, no, because they attack me back. If I attack them, they, they attack me back. Whereas if I attack them on this account, they run away. So there's definitely some kind of username list somewhere, one way or the other. And I think it's likely default. Yeah, I, I think it likely defaults to run away if there's a melee weapon equipped or whatever or they read a DDS in the invent, and then, you know, they will add you manually if 
you are very clearly a PBMer, which I obviously am. Like I've got 52,000 kill count and I've been here for months. Like as a bot farm, they will know this account. So that's very interesting. Okay, next working theory is this guy can equip a DDS and has done and made the bots run away. I now reckon that if you have ever equipped a DDS in their presence, they then know that you can do and therefore add you to the, you know, the PKR list. So that's what I reckon is the problem. So if this account could equip a DDS, I probably could become self-sufficient, uh, self but maybe not. Although I guess the real question is now, do they run away from his account whether he has a DDS on him or not? If he if it does, it like it only runs away when he has the DDS, then yeah, they are reading the invent, which again is scary. No! Someone really close by just got a Vigorous Chain Mace! Oh, why couldn't it be me? Why couldn't it be me? Must be at the Knights over there or something. Oh! <laughs> Come on! Oh, I just noticed we've gone past 2,000 bracelets of Ethereum, which not only are worth 88 mil, but also if I break those down into Ether, that is over half a million Ether, 500,000 shots of crossbow. Um, so that should serve me well after this chunk. It means I can use the, re uh, the rev weapons a lot outside the chunk. So if I got something like barrows, which would be ideal, I'd have basically 500,000 casts of the Thamarin's, uh, Thamarin's Scepter, which would be massive. So yeah, that is a very, very tasty stack. And that is a third one of those this morning. <laughs> right on these is crazy. I think it's one of the most common things we can get. Um, something like a one in 1.7 or something like that. But to get three of them in one morning is quite rare, I guess. Uh, 3 mil GP though. Pretty nice. Oh my god, I've escaped this guy like three fucking times in a row. Leave me alone. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got him with the old fakey. Love that. Love that. Come on. Let's do it. Come on. Please. Easy, easy, easy. Surely, surely. Yeah, he's given up because he knows what's happening. <laughs> okay, looked out. <laughs> you cannot beat the rock. The rock is the goat. No, he's got me. No, he's got me. He literally outsmarted me. He lo he lo back in and out of that world. Right, let's go. Okay, I think I'm going to try and fake him, see if that works. Yeah! <laughs> See ya! Oh my god, oh my god, I'm literally too smart. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm literally dying. Oh my god. Oh, that was so good, that was so good. <laughs> <laughs> the Uno reverse on who on who on who outsmarted me was just too good. There, he took it well. To be fair, on the uh, on the on the alternative account, he was like he was like xding and lolling. So I'll give it to him. He took it well, but oh, that was too good. Oh, I love doing that so much. The fact that I've got zero food as well just makes it even better because it was literally like if he'd not done that he would have definitely killed me that's so f <laughs> I, j I just want to make clear this has all happened in about three hours i've had four of these in about three hours that is mental that is really mental please can we get something else <laughs> please Right, a guy keeps logging in over there, like, with Darox and stuff, and I reckon he might, like, hop to another world and try and kill me in a minute. So, if this clip is never mentioned again, he didn't. If, uh, I kill a guy in Darox shortly, then he did. Oh, for fuck's sake, of course I type something totally wrong in the chat and then, uh, and then get a clip that I've got to record. 
two mil emblem we like to see those free money we always take the free money i think the bank value is now getting up to three quarters of a billion gp on a chunk man account will we hit the one bill it's probably it's not looking that unlikely now the average loot from a, a revenant demon and revenant cyclops is about 25k so we'd only have to go another 10,000 dry and not die meaningfully to any PKers um, to get, what, 1 billion GP. That would be nuts. And almost all of it is in stuff that's like pretty much alkable. So we would literally have in excess of 500 mil in just pure cash. I do like the green cape because it looks almost exactly like the Guthics god cape. So I think people think that I've got like magic gear on me when I'm wearing it, but it looks pretty nifty as well, doesn't it? <laughs> I killed a bot and the bot, like, oh, well, I didn't kill a bot. I killed a demon that a bot had already mostly damaged and it dropped an ancient totem that's now just on the floor and I can't pick up on this account. That's very funny. I'll have to just pick it up on the out. Well, I guess that's an easy one mil. Not too bad. This is so free. Ah, oh, they're so predictable. Oh no, he got the freeze though. Oh no, he's 120 combat, so I might be able to run south. Uh, uh, this is not a great situation to be honest. What shall we do? Just leg it. Ugh. That's not good. I think I'm fucked. I probably should. If I'd run south straight away, I might have been able to get him. It's hard because sometimes I just try and run before I read their combat levels and that can kind of help to save me a bit. Um, right, what I'm thinking is I'm going to go over, back, to the left and then run south. That oh, fun. Oh, unlucky with the pathing. <laughs> oh, they're always good. Oh, okay, lucky. Oh, we just hit 70 days playtime on this account, which means we've been in this chunk for 40 days. We're approaching a thousand hours in this chunk. Will we get there? Almost certainly. But that is absolutely crazy. Oh, the pink formal emblem always gets me like it always because i know that i'm pretty sure the chain mace is gonna say you know vigorous chain mace three point something something mil so the four mil emblem always always gets me oh one day that will be the drop uh looks nice on the ground love the pink text always nice to get the pink text no matter what it is well scepter's pissed me off but the uh the gp is always nice and just oh i just love pink text man it just looks so good Look at that thing. Oh, thing of beauty. Let's grab it and get out of here. Oh, 103 range, 19.3 mil XP. How much further are we going to have to push it? Hopefully not much because uh, it's getting slightly painful. Loving all the U-log drops. I've just got two back-to-back -back 64 U-logs. That's like, you know, uh, nearly 5k fletching xp which is just massive for me so hopefully we can get more of those if we're not going to get the drops that we actually want oh we just can't we just cannot stop getting ancient totems can we we will take the one mil come on i really want to get the two items on the floor at once just getting that once would be really really nice uh let's hope we can kill this somewhat quickly please okay right there we go Grab those lore runes. Go on, drop a weapon right now. If this is the Begora's Chain Mace, I'll go mental. Okay. Uh, let's go chuck this in the bank. We're probably getting pretty close to a full invent of those things uh, in the bank, which is pretty mad. So, incoming, we have level 83 Fletching, which is four levels away from the goal that we need, which is 87 for the Magic Shield. Now, to get to level 85, which is the level that I can then make magic longbows, I need about just under 8,000 U-logs. So, I've got 1,300 of those, so we actually need about 6,700. 
Um, by my calculations, based on the last 22,000 rev kill count, uh, you get about 0.66 U logs per kill. So to get 6,700 more, I need to do roughly 10,000 more kills, which would take us up to 64,000-ish. So by the time I'm 64,000, I will have the U logs to get up to level 85 fletching. I will also have almost all of the magic logs that I need to get to level 87. Um, because they will translate to 91 each, I believe, uh, which should be enough. I think I did the calculation, it was something like 7,000 I needed to get to level 87. So, yeah, by, by the time we reach 64,000 rev skill count is when we should be getting the XP for 87 fletching. Good news, but if I get the Vigorous Showmace way before then, we're going to have to do some ends, but... Let's face it, if we've done 54,000 and not got it, what's the chances that we do 64,000 and don't get it? Probably quite high. So yeah, 64,000 is the magical number for the fletching grind. But other than that, we're hoping to get the mace as quickly as possible. More ancient crystals. We love to see them. We can... Ne oh wait, no we don't. We hate to see them. As if some guy with fucking normal void has got 89 agility. Are you fucking kidding me? Surely he's going to come across, is he? Is he? Is this guy stupid? Is he dumb? Evidently. Right, this guy's kind of working me. I've failed getting him across a couple of times, so I'm going to try the fakey, see how it goes. Come on, right, this is basically it. Uh, oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, we got it. Oh, the head banging on the wall. He knows he got cleared. Oh, that is one of my best ones yet. Oh, that's so good. Hey, the six magic seeds drop just hit 500k in value. Things you love to see. The green text is uh, underappreciated, I would say. But uh, that's pretty much a full invent, isn't it? Yeah, 900k in there, another, what, 600k in the looting bag. Let's bank all of that. Right, I reckon I've got another broken bot over here. Let's go get him. Oh. Oh, no, he just couldn't, he couldn't see the out. Never mind. <laughs> More ancient crystals. We love to see them. How many is it actually now? I genuinely don't know. Let's have a look. 24. Four more to go until a full invent. Will we get there? Hopefully not. Oh. Oh. Another roll on the unique table. Another not mace. Amulet of Avarice. At least it's pretty useful for us. I'll chuck it in the bank for now, but oh, that's painful. That is painful. Oh, I'll probably use it at some point. Oh, I'm so sad. Uh, am I sad? I don't know. <laughs> that was kind of brutal, though. One of these days, one of these days, we will get the mace. All right, how many do I have? I've only got one left. I think so. Yeah, so that's a, that's a dupe one. Uh, so I may use that up with a crossbow. I feel like that might be a waste. Um, I've started doing revenants in the evening with like on mobile just a little bit and i've currently just been using a maple short bow and that's it like no plus one um but potentially i might use the avarice because i'm not that bothered about losing it so if i get smited for it it's not the end of the world although i have to do it in high risk worlds on mobile because i don't have an alt to make the bots telly so that may not actually work um hmm. we might use that at some point we'll see I hit 20 million range XP whilst on mobile. That's a pretty big milestone, isn't it? It's probably quite feasible that we might go double 99. 26 mil XP before getting this mace. Genuinely, when I started this chunk at, what, 30 range? I did not think we would get anywhere near numbers this ridiculous. Hopefully, though... That's the last 10 mil milestone. If I get to 30 mil range XP, I'm going to be depressed to strong word, but you know what I mean. <laughs> one of the bots that I just, so I just logged in on this world and one of the bots just got an ancient totem, like as I logged in, 
I'm not entirely sure he's going to have picked that up. Um, it's going to spawn over here, I think, if it's going to spawn at all. Hopefully it will. Oh, I don't know, actually, he might have got it. I only saw, the, saw it on this account, and it's this account that they run from. I logged in, like, ever so slightly later on this account, so it might have just grabbed it by a tick. Oh, that's so gutting. That could have been free mil. Oh, broken bot by the look of it. Let's go get stuck in. Come on. I mean, it definitely is, but we can't hit anything. Brilliant. All of our specs are wasted and we've not hit anything. Oh, for sake. Weak hits, to say the least. Come on, I want the free avarice. This would appear to actually be a real person for once, which is exciting. Although he is slightly out of range, so maybe it's not. And the bot goes down. What did we get? Did we get the avarice? Oh, we didn't get the avarice because the prayer didn't quite run out before it did. But we got the 100k and some loot like room plate legs and whatever. So not too bad. If I had to pick one kind of PK to not have to go against it, it'd be this kind of person. Hopefully that splashes. No. Okay, so we're going to go for our classic, you know, fakey over the thing. Uh, not fakey. We'll go for the Duke first. And then if that doesn't work, we'll go for the... Uh, Go for the fakie. Okay, he did range, which is bad for him. Might get away with that. Doubt it. Doubt it. Oh, we did get it. <laughs> that one is a bit nerve wracking. I had a lot of food though, so we were kind of okay. Oh, I see. It's kind of foolproof that technique. Really is quite good. Now, this may look like a fairly innocuous kill. However, what it actually is, is kill count number 55,000. <sighs> How much more dry can we go? <laughs> like, come on, please, please. The worst part is my unique rate is actually decent. Like, I probably have about the right amount, if not slightly more. So I'm not unlucky in that sense. I'm not really owed loads of uniques or anything, but I've just got unlucky in their distribution. Um, I don't, how many have I got now? Uh, 15 or something? Uh, yeah, 15 uniques. What is the odds of getting 15 uniques and the Vigorous Chainmates not being one of them? Surely not. Surely, surely really, really low. <laughs> Okay, it is peak time, which is a bit miserable, but luckily, I mean, I've managed to snag myself two spots in World 330, which is full, like literally full. So hopefully that means that no PKers can log in and kill me. My only slight worry is this guy, but I think he was here getting the uh, Maledictus that was just spawned in. Um, now that that's gone, I'm hoping those guys will all leave and this will be relatively calm because no uh, PKs can hop in, hopefully. <laughs> Although I did get in two accounts in, so it's probably not that foolproof, but hopefully they just can't be bothered. Well, that lasted all of no time at all. <laughs> Do a jig and a jive. It's all the fives. I mean, that's just bizarre. <laughs> Why is there a black knight here? <laughs> People do some odd stuff. Do you ever have that thing where you're driving a car, right? And like two minutes later, you're like, oh my God, I can't remember anything that I did during that time. But you've somehow successfully driven, uh, you know, a few miles without really even paying attention to what happened. I'm getting that now with Revenants. It's like... I know I've been here for half an hour. I, I literally can't remember any of it. It's bizarre. Oh, the green text got me a little bit. I thought I'd got another avarice. The six magic seeds, though, that's pretty big. I get so many of those from specifically the Cyclops for some reason. I've got double the amount of kills on the demons, and yet I've got more magic seeds from the Cyclopses. Very weird. But I think that takes us up to about 175 magic seeds, which is what, 2 million farming XP, I think? Which is pretty crazy, isn't it, really? Wow, 
2 million farming XP. I don't know if I'd ever need that. Well, I guess if I roll 9 on farming, but that's pretty far away. 2 million farming XP. Another day at Ravstun. Look at this looting bag. 1 million GP without any dragon plate legs or anything. I guess I've got the 6 magic seeds in there, which is most of it. So that was actually a kind of pointless clip. But I want to see if we've managed to get up to 800 mil in the bank today. I think there's probably a decent chance that we did 800 mil exactly that's fucking crazy just look at the loot tab that's a disgrace <laughs> oh i said uh i said 175 magic seeds didn't i actually 183 <laughs> that is getting kind of out of hand now isn't it especially considering they're like one in 1.5k to get between like three and six of them uh, so that's kind of ridiculous. You know they're rarer than the U seeds as well. Or oh, they're, in fact, sorry, they're the same rarity, but you get slightly more of them. So yeah, that's a that's an odd bit of RNG right there. Nearly at the 800 rune plate legs as well. I was just kind of joking when I said, oh, maybe I'll hit a thousand before getting the mace, but it's not looking exactly unlikely now, is it? That is the first emblem I've had in about 1300 kills. And it's the fucking 500k one that's the, basically the same rate as the other ones, like the good ones. <sighs> if that's indicative of the RNG for the rest of this video, I'm going to be sad. Nice little lampy lamp we just got from Camp Check. Chuck that onto Slayer and that is level 27. Do, you, do, I, do I think I can get to 45? Probably. There's a lot of lamps these days, especially once I leave the wilderness and I can get the outfit lamps as well, because in the wilderness, I've not even finished the random event collection log, even though I've got over 70 days, because I wasn't getting them before they updated them to include lamps, and since they include them to get lamps, I've been in the wilderness pretty much the whole time, and you can't get the teleport random events here. So I need to finish off all the outfits, and then I'll start getting lamps in all of those as well. I just need an outside of wilderness grind, which hopefully we can get next. Damn it, I missed the level, but that is 93 hit points. Six levels away from 99, but crucially, now Anglerfish heal me for 23. So 69 hit points, eat that up to, not 23, 22 for fuck's sake. There's not 23 healing food. I'm think, I think I'm thinking of Rocktail from RS3, but I'll be honest, I'm not even entirely sure they heal 23 either. Um, but yeah. Anglers are now actually very good for us. Better now than Manta Rays, because even though they heal the same at 22, uh, the Anglerfish can overheal. So Anglerfish now officially 100% better in every scenario. So that's big, because I've got about 800 of them in the bank, and I've got about 12 Manta Ray. So yeah, that's good news. I'll tell you what, max healing up to 115. That is safe feeling. That's the same as like, you know, 99 hit points plus a brew. This account combat wise is now actually kind of outrageous. I, it kind of snuck up on me because I started this chunk with 30 range and like, you know, 55 magic or whatever. But 99 range, 95 magic, 93 hit points. That's nuts. Once we get the mace and like an actual grind to do with the mace as well, we're going to be falling combat wise Oop, log out seeing as i'm 93 hit points which is what about 55 60 percent of the way to 99 um that would mean that i and i've got 56,000 revenant kills right now that would mean a hundred thousand revs would be about 99 hit points so i mean that would obviously be awful like one of the worst things that could happen. But I tell you what, 100,000 revs as a video title, that fucking slaps. Um, but that would be pretty cool. 100,000 revs and 99 hit points. Please let me avoid that. But if it does happen, that is at least cool. Okay, so I've messed about with some of the audio settings and I'm hoping that this is going to be sounding a lot better. So from this point forward in the video, I'm going to be using some slightly different audio settings. Let me know if this sounds better to you, like, and if it does, fantastic news. Um, does it still need a bit of work? If it does, that's fine, because um, I kind of know what I'm doing now. Um, but just let me know if this is noticeably better or not. And if it is noticeably better, is it fine for people with headphones? I know it's basically fine anyway without 
headphones. But with headphones, is this fine? Let me know. Thank you. Oh, I'd hit 21 mil range XP as well and hadn't noticed. 21 mil. 8 mil past 99. Oh, make it stop. Oh, that's a shame. One of the bots got dragon plate legs and ran away before it could uh, it could pick them up. Oh, I feel bad for... Oh, wait, no, I don't. Oh, that's not a good time for this guy to find me. Uh, four anglers left. Uh, okay, um, just, just not get smited. He's almost certainly going to kill me, but we shall try our best. Um, right. Yeah, we're so fucked. <laughs> Best no he splashes. Oh, he's gone the wrong way. Go on, splash, splash, splash. <laughs> As if we got away. As if we got away with that one. Oh my god, that's so lucky. Oh, the surprise levels come in. Level 104 range. How high is it going to get? Hopefully not too much higher. Come on. Please. <laughs> Please. How do so many of them show up straight away? Like, the, the people that kill these. Like, this just spawned on top of my head. And within uh, less than 20 seconds, there were four people trying to kill it. Do they, like, have scouts or what? Oh, he's trying to kill me. Lol. Why are they always like this? Why can they never just leave a boy alone? Ah, uh, you lost your chance to kill the Maledictus now. Unlucky! Uh, I'm going to have to log out now. Whoops. Oh, he actually got the kill as well. I saw it down the bottom. Oh, that's gutting. Right, I'm definitely not trying that again. Not worth it. Like, the char like for some reason... I've seen people do it before, though. Like, you know, normal players. Um, You know, a Maledictus spawns in and they just kill it and no other guys show up. But I have never seen it that a load of people just haven't turned up straight away so i don't really know what i can do about that i don't think i'll ever kill one it would have been nice because i feel like it's sort of a very a very very soft chunk requirement like obviously it's not and it would only be a supreme requirement to get drops from it but it would have been nice to kill one but i just don't, genuinely don't think it's possible with the scouts that people have Oh, I forgot to mention, last night I got up to 84 fletching, which means I only need about, well, I need 300k's worth of logs. I've got kind of a few hundred U logs in the bank, so really not too many to go. Once I get those, I pretty much have the magic logs that I need to get from level 85 to level 87, so that will absolutely fly by. I think it will be in excess of like 160, 170k per hour. So, yeah, we're nearly done with the fletching grind as well. So, yeah, this chunk is almost entirely done aside from the mace, which could happen at any point in theory. Will it be this kill? Maybe. It wasn't. That's happened to me literally 58,000 times. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully we get it soon and we can wrap up the chunk. Oh, go on. We just escaped a PK and got the sandwich lady asking for a baguette. Go on, stale baguette me. Why is it never the stale baguette? Okay, he's kind of working me. Um, hate the ancient god swords. Uh, but I think he's quite newbie, so... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love those ones. Those are the best. It's just like, oh, it's such a middle finger to the PKs. Love it. Something about this guy just comes off quite newbie. So, uh, I'm going to say that and he's going to smite me or something, isn't he? Let's recross. I think that might work. Oh, God, I probably could just run away there. Oh, as if he catches that one. Of course he does. Oh, I'm so gutted. Come on. Stop fucking maxing me with the fucking god sword. Is that a good PK aim to just whack someone with the god sword over and over? Evidently. Oh, he's absolutely debating me, so. He's too stupid. Like, like, it's not that he's doing well, he's actually doing badly, and that's what means that he can't kill me. Like, he's unpredictable because he's so slow and keeps fucking whacking me with a god sword. Who does that?
This is where my 40 defense really hurts me badly. Come on, please splash, 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 splash. Oh! Come on, is this a zero food escape? I think it is. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. You love to see that. 500k emblem. <sighs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I haven't had a decent emblem in a while. I've literally only been getting the really, really small ones. I'm hoping I can, because I'm trying to get to a one bill bank. I feel like that would be really, really cool. And I definitely need the like, you know, four, eight, six mil emblems to do that. So hopefully I can pull some of those soon because they are so nice to get in comparison to the 500k one. Okay, we might be able to use this guy's abysmal gear against him. Uh... He'll probably splash a decent amount because he's got shit gear. Hopefully we can use that. Uh, let's see. If he splashes that one, we might be good. Mm, don't think so. Oh, he was a bit slow. See, abysmal gear. Look at me. I can read the situations like an absolute genius. You're not going to get me with a reverse back. Don't worry. Oh, maybe you will. Oh, God. All right. All right, we're not we're not playing particularly well right now. It has to be said. Uh, are we going to get away with this one? I really don't think so, to be honest. Uh, we got. Uh, do we have a deep? Oh, we got a five hundred k emblem on us. Ooh, that's not good. Ah, uh, come on. This just is not playing well right now. This is not a good place to be. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy that would fall for a fakey either. Hopefully if he... Oh! Oh! Uh! Uh! Oh, the Australian world was really, really hurting me there. I think that's how he kind of hooked me the first time because my clicks are so delayed because of the ping. Oh, lucky. Yeah, that would have been a sad looting bag to lose. Look at that, six U seeds as well. Good thing we didn't. No! No! <laughs> Stop! Make it stop! Please! Seven! Seven of those fucking things! Oh my god! When is it going to fucking end? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, what is the KC now? 58,300. Seven fucking scepters. Zero maces. You are taking the fucking piss. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, when is it going to end? When is it actually going to end? Right, <laughs> let's chuck it in the bank with all the others. Six. Oh, let's just de-uncharge this one so that we can, uh, we can take a real good look at it. Look at that stack there. That is mental. How have I got seven? Seven scepters and zero maces. Seven. I'm actually, uh, um, I can't take any more. Oh, this is crazy. Oh my god. Seven. Seven. I'll tell you what though. Road to uh, ten scepters is very much on. I mean, come on. If you can get, uh, if you can get seven in a row without getting a mace. What's stopping 10? I feel like 10 scepters would be like such a mega meme. I could have one on each of my fingers. That would be kind of cool. I just logged in. I literally, right, look at the time. Look, 49 seconds. I literally just logged in, killed one fucking thing, and got no. Fuck off! <laughs> You're taking a piss. You're taking a fucking piss. Oh my god, get in the fucking bin. Oh my god, right, I'm gonna have to kill one more. Can we spoon just another weapon back to back? I, I just logged in.
Stop! I might, I might actually die. I might, I might. <sighs> That's eight, eight scepters. Stop, please. Yeah, you won't be so cocky, Jeff, when I come into the office with a Kalashnikov and 200 rounds of ammunition. What is that? What is that? Brother, uh, what's that? What's that, brother? <laughs> I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. Imagine if that had been the mace. I'd literally loved in and got it first kill. Oh. Oh, God. God. How has this happened again? How has this happened again? <laughs> I just... What is going on? I just killed a fucking imp on the way out and got a one mil tension. Um, oh, what is going on? What is going on? I, I, make it fucking stop. Make it fucking stop. Imagine if that had been the mace on the way out from the imp. Oh my god. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Safe to say that was one of the most bizarre four minutes of gameplay I've ever had. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? Back up to eight scepters now in the collection log. Let's have a look at that. That, that was probably what? Two, three hundred kills after the last one? <sighs> I'm literally dying here. Like, what is going on? Oh, another ancient crystal. How many of those have we had now? Let's take a little look. 25! Three away from a full invent. That would be rather exciting, wouldn't it? Uh, I'm going to switch to a PvP world. Just be I don't think it's high risk. No, it's not high risk. <laughs> Imagine if it was and I lost my corals by that. would be a bit awkward. Um, but yeah, I'm going to switch to PvP world because normally they can be quite quiet. If PKers do show up, it does kind of screw me because the wilderness level is 15 higher than it otherwise would be. So level 126s can get on me here when they can't in regular worlds. But I feel like the quiet and the no bots will probably outweigh that. Hopefully. Fuck, I've done that thing when I clicked login by accident. I need to log out ASAP. Oh, yes, he already crossed. <laughs> oh, God, I clicked, like, log in by accident, and it's really, really painful. Oh, fuck, I need to log out. Okay. <laughs> we got away with that one. That's not good. I wish that it was crossbows that I couldn't stop getting. If I had eight crossbows, that'd be nice, because not only would I have six in the bank that I could lose quite comfortably, but also that would be worth so much more than the scepters. I think the bows are about 14 mil, and the scepters are about two. So I'd be way, way closer to the goal of 1 billion GP bank value. Obviously, I do actually have... I've got slightly more than that overall, but I spent so much of it getting 95 magic. So, yeah, I mean, we're going to have probably quite... Unless we get the mace, like, now, we're going to have generated, like, well over a bill in GP from the Revenants, you know, and me getting PK'd for crossbows, spending it on magic and also just dying for regular loot as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm kind of excited to become an extreme one chunk billionaire, but I need to stop getting, uh, stop getting scepters and start getting bows instead. Oh, yet another one of the ancient crystals. That'll be 26 that we've got now. Brutal. Oh, you love to see the cheeky little bracelet as you leave the caves on the out, uh, on the from the imps. Very nice, decent little looting bag as well. Don't mind me just roasting a guy in the chat. <laughs> That's my normal tactic I go for in the shit talking. Just this sort of like um, patronising. Um, oh, it must be so bad being you. You know, I can't imagine being as poor as you. <laughs> That's my usual tactic. Oh, I just realised we've hit 22 million range XP as well. 
four mil to go until double ninety nine. I'm guessing we're gonna get a uh, level one hundred and five range at some point before what about round twenty four mil as well. So at least that's something to look forward to, isn't it, guys? Oh, this isn't a fun one. I reckon this is going to culminate. Why didn't that recross? What? Yeah, this is definitely a death. <laughs> Every day of the week, this is a death. <laughs> no way do we get away with this. Maybe the fakey will work. Oh, no. Okay. Uh. Oh, did we? Oh. No, and I'm on the wrong side to do a good fakey again. Uh. Nah, no way we get this. And run. What? What's he doing? <laughs> as if that happened. Out of food. How much have I got in the looting bag as well? 500k. That's very funny. See ya. Oh, bit of a uh, Chad PK here. Uh, doesn't look like he's too good. Which is a good thing. Well, he was so slow that he fucked is this the guy that just swings the fucking god sword over and over is this the same guy I can't remember as if he was so slow that that I basically got away am I going to get away again here no sad it's so sad when they actually have good gear but they're crap because it actually makes it harder to <laughs> harder to escape. The worse they are, the harder it is for me to escape in this kind of janky way. Come on. It's 111 combat, which is a kind of irritating combat level. Um... Doubt we're going to get that. Oh my god, so irritating. Leave me alone. Why are these losers always here? Like, have you not got anything better to do? Evidently not. As if the shortcut killed me. <laughs> oh god, they fucking wind me up though. I hate them. Oh, 16 mil emblem. I would have preferred the mace, obviously, but that's probably my second favourite thing I want at the minute. A crossbow would also be nice, but I will take the 16 mil for the bank value. I think that's going to put us up to about 840 mil, something like that. That's really getting out of hand, but yeah, we, we shall take the ancient relic. Oh, they look good on the ground as well, don't they? Oh, we made it back to the bank. Let's chuck it in. Do we have anything? Oh, we had some more right stuff in there as well. Very nice. There we go. 837 mil plus the crossbow that I'm equipped. So, yeah. 850 mil bank on an extreme one chunk. That loot tab there is just berserk, isn't it? Like, the ancient relics. 112 mil just in relics. How much is it in bracelets? 101 mil just in bracelets. I mean, the dragon plate, I mean, like the rune plate legs, like 33 mil worth of rune plate legs. It is bonkers. Bonkers. <laughs> that happened literally no time after getting the relic. <laughs> so that's pretty nice. An extra 2 mil for the bank value. I guess I'll go and bank that. I mean, yeah, what's in the looting bag? Yeah, basically nothing. Oh, 2 mil. Stonks. I tell you what, I got absolutely nothing for ages and ages and ages, like thousands of kills. And then out of nowhere, I've pulled two scepters, a 16 mil and a 2 mil, all in significantly less than 24 hours, I'll tell you that. So, pretty cool. Okay, it's this chump again, and I've got more food than I've got prayer, so I need to be careful if I don't escape and let myself die. Before I run out of prayer, because that would not be a good look to uh, get smited for no reason. So let's hope that we get away with this. Uh, right. 
Maybe. Ah, oh, I should have like darted to that side. Oh, right. Come on. I might be alright on the prayer front actually. Uh, I'll do this then. He's so slow. Like most people would try and preempt me going across, but this guy doesn't. Ah, oh, fucking bell end, honestly. Oh, he nearly got dragged out of range then. That could have been good. Uh, I, I've never met a PK who just uses mage and a fucking ancient god sword. Like, what is that? It's so rogue. Oh, God. Like, he's so slow with it. How does he have, like, infinite spec as well? I do not get it. Um... Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> That's one way to die. Oh, I hate that guy so much. Oh, 500, 500k emblem. Oh, so bleak. So rare, and yet so worthless. At least, you know, relative to other things that I can get. It's weird, because some chunk man would absolutely kill for 500k GP. Like, that would absolutely revolutionise. I mean, I would have done earlier in this account, right? When I was killing snails for GP so that I could get 80 cooking, I'd have died for 500k in cash. But right now, not so great. So, the bank is looking pretty spectacularly big. 855 mil. Um, but we've also ticked over 7,800 magic logs. So, 85 to 87 magic plus one to create or plus two to create the magic shield is 7802 magic logs so that means we can now start using our magic logs to create uh magic short bows which are an, only an 80 rank so we'll make those down till we've got a 7.8k stack and we'll also use all other logs that we've got such as these u logs there that's about 100k xp so we're really not very far away from having the 87 fletching goal knocked out which is massive oh the one mil emblem it wouldn't be a good day without one would it well i guess we'll go bank that what's the looting bag oh we literally just got here that's so annoying having to go and bank that oh well oh ancient crystal what number 27 one more until we've got the full invent of ancient crystals that is crazy Oh, 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 Amulet of Avarice. Good to get one, good to get one. 763k. Could have been a unique, uh, could have been the mace though, but we take it. I might just equip it and stay. Shall I do that? If we lose it, we lose it. What's, what's the worst that's going to happen? Well, I equip it and lose it straight away. That would be pretty bad, but it'll be fun for while it lasts. God, it's so good having the Avarice, because I absolutely love pumping the 40s, and I absolutely love being able to pick up just anything and everything and chucking it in the looting bag noted. So, so nice. Oh, that shit me up. I was, like, looking at the Revenant, thinking, oh, I'm going to get a Vigorous Chainmates, and then I saw the pink text. Oh, 16 mil emblem, though. We will take that. That's pretty, pretty nice. Good bank value. Let's grab that and get out of here. Huge GP. Casual 16 mil. You are absolutely right, Uncle Chunk. Oh, 11 of those we've had in total now. 176 mil on this account in pure cash just from that one item on the collection log. Crazy, crazy stuff. Oh, it feels nice dropping a looting bag like this into the bank. Plus 17 mil in value. Shall I keep the avarice on me? I don't really want to lose it, but I've also got two extras in the bank, so it's a hard, really. I don't think you, you can't break them down into ether, so it doesn't really matter if I lose them. And they're only really useful in the Revenant Caves, except as a glory outside of the wilderness. So I think I might just stick with this invent setup, and you know, when we die, we die. Something tells me I'm probably not going to take it as flippantly as that when I actually die, I'll probably be annoyed, but <laughs> that's all. Are you fucking taking the piss as if that just dropped for fuck's sake oh i'm just in the chat giving it the fucking big and like yeah i'm never gonna stop me i've got a good feeling of that today are we dropping another fucking crossbow i can't fucking stop <laughs>
<laughs> as if I've not got, as if I've avoided the mace roll again. That's four weapons rolled in this video with no mace. What in the fuck is happening? I'm literally flabbergasted as if we got another crossbow. Make it stop, please. <laughs> Go on, let's kill the let's kill the imps on the way out and see if we can get get the get something good. That'd be funny. I can't believe I did that earlier in the video. That was fucking crazy. Okay, we'll chuck that into the bank, and there are our two duplicate crossbows. At least that's good for the bank value, so I'm happy about that. Bank value now up to what 876 mil plus the 12 mil crossbow that we've got on. So roughly 890 mil right now. Really closing in on the one bill. Oh. That's that's good because it, it does mean if I get smited for another crossbow, like I've got numerous backups, so I'm feeling very safe in the Revenant Caves now. I feel like I can relax, and relaxing means I can get more kills per hour. So yeah, relatively happy with that. In case it wasn't obvious from that clip, uh, that that crossbow was what three four five minutes maybe after getting the relic <laughs> so at least the luck is kind of turning around right i just saw a, oh for fuck's sake maledix this is a scary no i'm not going to try and kill it that's really stupid that's just going to result in me getting killed for my avarice so no i'm not going to do that i am going to hover the log out button though because i did see a pk and that slightly stresses me out especially when i've got two mil in the looting bag on top of the avarice so yeah let's avoid getting killed Okay, we have a PK, but he's only. What's he doing? Uh, but he's only 60 range, pure as well, so probably not going to be the best, which is good for me. It means I'll probably quite easily get away. And we won't lose our uh, avarice, which will be nice. I like that I can fight back against the peers a bit as well, because they've got like no defense. Look, I like absolutely shred them with the crossbow. Go on, die. Next one. No, stop praying smite. What? Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> Make sure to log out on the out. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the dragon, the double dragon plate slave plate. Oh, no, no, no. Go on, I'll try that one again. The double dragon plate skirt and double dragon plate legs drop looks even better as a note because, you know, it's not taking up two slots in the end band. It's just going in the looting bag, minding its own business, and it's 320k in pure cash. So nice. Oh, a nice little one mil totem. We take those. We might not even bank because I'll be more bothered about losing the avarice than that. Uh, yeah, I'll stay. Why not? Oh, fuck, we could be in trouble here. Right, he doesn't have the agility level, but he is... Well, he kind of does. He's 70. So if he has um, Summer Pies on him, he does have the agility level. He doesn't seem great to me, to be honest. So we might get away with it. I probably shouldn't be so arrogant as to try and pick up those eight. Oh, nice. Void Waker. Ah, I'm slightly nervous. Um, okay, he does have pies. Uh, I don't think we got the got the gap there. No. Okay. Really don't want to lose this avarice. Uh. Oh, I might get the log. Yes. Oh, okay. We good. We good. We good. Oh, I'm stressed. That was stressful. Okay, I would say very much to go. Go time to go to the bank with this invent and that looting bag. <laughs> that would have been such a sad death, especially considering I've lost the avarice as well. Brutal, but I'm glad I escaped. 
Right, here we go, guys. It's a, uh, it's the last kill before we hit the milestone. 60,000 Revenant kills. Someone please tell me the odds of getting 13 weapons and one of them not being the mace. That seems like the odds must be extremely bizarrely, like, unlikely to me. Uh, let's just get one more kill, just for good luck. Go on, be something good. Never lucky. Right. <laughs> what a couple of weeks. Oh, come on then, you pathetic little worm. Look at the state of this guy's account. Easy, easy escape, you loser. I'm sorry, what? Ah! Oh! You punch me because I'm gay? I didn't punch him because he's gay. I punched him, and then he's happened to turn out to be gay afterward. Welcome back to another episode of Cannabis Chunk, a series where I need to achieve these goals within only this chunk, a challenge that has taken so long that we are soon to be a billionaire. Billions, with a B. On the toughest game mode that there is, Extreme One Chunk Iron Man. I'm actually really excited for this chunk, to be honest. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Welcome back. To can of fish chunk. If you've enjoyed the channel lately, then a subscription would be massively appreciated. I'm on the road to 30,000 subscribers, and it wouldn't be possible without all of you lovely people showing your support. Please subscribe and thank you. It is the first, first clip in episode 20 of the series and we're not in the revenant caves because we're getting seven uh not 70 first clip and i've already f messed it up uh, i'm trying not to swear as much either i listened to the last one and oh my god potty mouth risking the avarice let's give it a go see how we get on we got three of them what's the harm if we lose one um i need to hop to the world that my alt is in though uh, but yeah, let's uh, give this a go. Should be about 240 kills per hour. So using the average is definitely the best chance we have at rolling uniques because the kills per hour is just so quick. Oh, this guy does have the agility level, which is not good. Uh, he is only a pure, so I'm not particularly scared of him. But if he's just good on the obstacle, we might be in a bit of trouble. I just clicked to fucking jump across there, you fucking cock. I'll try it. Okay, I'm playing quite badly right now. Let's slip. Okay. So is he. Though, so. We at least have that, right? Tend to jump, see how that goes. <laughs> there is nothing more satisfying than doing that. Okay, we got the log. <laughs> see ya, bitch. Oh my god, I just logged straight back in on this guy, as if he knew I'd log back in. Are you actually joking me? No, this is so not good. Oh my god, this is such an L. Oh, I'm not in protected item. Oh my god. Oh god, this is not good. This is not good news. I'm nearly out of food as well. Oh god, this is not going well. Oh my god. Oh, this is so lucky if I get this. 
Oh God! As if, how did he know? How did he know? Okay, we've actually hopped worlds to run away. So let's see if he just hops straight into 336. That would be pretty unlucky if he did. Okay, looks like we'll be all right. God, that was the single most stressful thing that's ever happened. <sighs> I'm so lucky I got that second log, my God. Oh, that would have been such a good kill for him as well. So not only did I have the Avarice, which is like 700k, I had like a lot of ether in my bow and bracelet, like 900, so that's another 300k. And then look at the looting bag, 2.1 mil. <laughs> that would have been like a 3 mil PK for him. I'm literally so lucky that he that he let me get a gap there in the end. I don't even know how that happened. I think, oh my God. <laughs> the voider with the dark bow. What is going on? Okay, we got away with it. We got away with it. Oh, God. That was just so unnecessarily nerve-wracking. My God. Oops. Like, look at the state of that. Right, I'm about to hop off for the day. Let's have a little look at what the uh, bank value is looking like. Have we breached 900 mil? Yes, we have. 905 mil. Absolutely massive. Some um, pretty cool milestones in the loot uh, in the loot tab at the moment, which is over fifty thousand coal. That's pretty cool, uh, and over seven thousand mahogany planks. That's like a million construction XP one day. Like that's that's crazy. Um, just got over eight hundred in these two stacks as well. The nine hundred room plate legs. We are one off. That's going to be absolutely biblical one day. And we just hit 400 dragon long swords as well. 2300 bracelets of Ethereum. Nuts. Um, and yeah, well over 809 mil now. If we chuck in the crossbow. Oh, that must be less than 1 mil until 900 mil. Wow. We'll almost certainly hit a 1 mil bank value this video. And coming in here is level 86 for Letching. Absolutely nothing unlocked, but only one level to go. So, so exciting. Right, it's pretty early in the morning. Um, so I'm deciding that... Okay, this is not good news. Oh, God. Please just be a fan and not kill me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't let them say being a YouTuber does not have perks. It absolutely has perks. <laughs> oh, this level 49 just got an ancient medallion. If only he was like five combat levels higher, I definitely would have got on him and tried to kill him. Oh, that's so annoying. And this is why the avarice is just so nice. Look at that looting bag. What's the value on that? 2.2 mil. I mean, eight dragon longswords alone. That's just nuts. It's so nice being able to just stack items like 15 bracelets of Ethereum from one trip. Like, that's just crazy. Right, here it is then. Another level chunk task ticked off. 87 fletching. You can now fletch magic shields. That's the highest tier fletching goal we can have in this chunk. Let's just create one. There we go. Bing, bang, boo. Huge. And we just need to equip that. There we go. Does that have any decent stats on it? Uh, it's not too bad, actually. That might be one of our better shields. I don't think it's our best one, but it's one of our better ones. Look at that bad boy. That is completely done. Right, so now all we need to do is get the Vigorous Chain Mace. And 60 defense but aside from that we're nearly done with this chunk that we've been in for 43 days game time i don't know if i'm just imagining things or if it's a fair play to jagex but there seems to be a lot less bots i mean this is a monday morning so it's been four or five days since they could have logged online and there's really not too many like no one's really logging in i've not even got the out logged in at the moment and yeah, seems like it's slightly better. Don't know if that's just me, you know, being unfairly nice to them, or they've actually done a good job.
Well, well I guess that goes, goes the avarice as quickly as that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that wasn't too, too good. good. Right, I decided to uh, yoink myself a little amulet of avarice for a bit as well, see if we can uh, get any luck. It seemed to bring some luck in the last video, to be honest, using it. So, yeah, I'm quite excited to get stuck in. It's just so much nicer to use than not. The noted drops, the massive hits, it's just so, so nice. Just look at all the manta ray I can bo I can bag with the uh, avarice. 53 manta ray. Normally they'd all just be, you know, fading away on the floor. But 53, that's crazy. Well, I guess there goes the avarice as quickly as that. <laughs> oh, that wasn't too good. Not, I don't really see what much more I could have done there other than just be quicker on the protect melee. Um, I probably wouldn't have escaped that guy anyway, seeing as he had the agility level. Uh, annoying losing an avarice though, I must say. Oh, it's even worse because he's a fan. <laughs> it's that same VK and he's like, oh, sorry, I love the series. He's the guy that killed me for my avarice. <laughs> oh, no, that's so sad making. Oh, well, <laughs> can't be helped. Oh, here we are. Just more PK. It's the American world, man. Why am I in... It's like... <laughs> Why am I in American worlds? Like, come on. They're just... All they do is PK. They can't help themselves. They absolutely love it. Oh, we might be lucky and get away with this one. Oh my god, as if. How's he got that around that corner? Fucking hell, leave me alone. I don't know how this scenario has happened, but the PK who PK'd me for my avarice and the PK who just killed me, both somehow fans, are now having a fight and I'm praying that the Louvre guy wins for some reason, even though that guy stole my avarice. So uh, we'll, 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 keep, we'll keep up to date with this one. Looks like this guy's going to get the teleport though, which is just incredibly bleak. So it looks like... Ah, <sighs> sad times. <laughs> sad times. I saw that so far out of my peripheral vision that I, uh, that I genuinely thought it was something good. <laughs> oh, I guess one meal is pretty decent. I'll be thankful for it one day. Oh, there is 94 hit points and I missed it as always. I feel like hit points ones are the hardest ones to remember to get. Um, only five levels until 99. I could, I think I can roll the 99 hit points cape from where I am at the moment as like my next chunk. That wouldn't be too bad these days. Like that's obviously like a crazy grind once upon a time. But now, only 5 mil XP to go, reasonable training methods as well. I don't think it'd be that bad. Like, especially because at the point I rolled it, I'd have the Vigorous Chain Maze. And I'd have incentive to like get my attack and strength up. So like finishing off that last 5 mil by getting some decent melees really wouldn't be too bad would it so yeah that's quite nice really actually getting those hit points levels really far up there huge shout out to the boy unka chunka for being the first person in a long time to um get me a bond which is very nice i've got some uh, additional membership now i believe yeah 24 days very good because i used to get like actually quite a lot of people give me bonds and stuff i had like up to 100 days game time and then I've just been in the wilderness with my private off because, um, well, obvious reasons. PKs add you and just chase you around the world. So I've actually had to have been buying my own membership. Oh, boo-hoo me. Um, but Uncle Chunka has uh, just bought me some, which is very, very nice of him. Thank you. I've never seen that before. Two sets of Dragon Long Swords from two uh, Revenants in a row. Can we get a third set of Dragon Long Swords? The RNG on that would probably be absolutely biblical. No, of course. Oh, two mil emblem alongside the looting bag that we just lost to a PK, so that's pretty nice. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, oh, I don't even know what I'm hoping for these days. Just, I just, I just don't want to die much and I want to get the mace soon. That's pretty much it. Oh, a nice little eight mil emblem. I guess we take those. Not too bad, is it? At least it's decent GP. Straight after we just got PK by that guy, so at least there's that. <laughs> At least even if we lost all that Revenant Ether. We got 8 million cash, so I guess we'll take that. 
Oh, another little one mil emblem. I think, I think I've got a full invent of those. And if I do, that's going to look pretty cool. Look at this madness. 29 ancient totems. Literally a full invent of ancient totems. That is absolutely crazy. Crazy. It's crazy how dry we are. Hopefully for not much longer. I guess that uh, technically counts as a unique, so worth recording. I think I might be up to 30 of those now. Pretty cool. Not that I'll ever need 30. Not that I'll ever need one. I need Kelda Grimm so that I can actually build the thing made out of these. So, yeah, entirely useless. It's a decent time of day and I kind of fancied using the Avarice. So let's see if we can uh, get far with it. Uh, starting at 61,500-ish KC. Let's see how far we get. Hopefully I get so far that it gets to a bad time of day and I decide to just chuck it in the bank because I don't want to risk it at a bad time of day. Hopefully I don't lose it within like 20 kills because that would be depressing. Well, I guess at least it uh, brought us some luck and an 8 mil emblem pretty early on. Uh, you know, I, I don't really need the money now, but it's nice to get. And if we're going to get emblems, at least get the high value ones. So that's pretty cool. Let's go check that in the bank. I just escaped from this guy and then he like legged it and then just like stayed in the world to try and get me why are they so desperate recently really winds me up luckily he's quite bad so I've, i'm gonna have a lot of time to try and get away but there's no guarantees mm, this isn't going well defo gonna lose the avarice now they wind me up. Why do you just like, you stayed in the same one for about five minutes? I swear. Don't get around the corner. Get around the corner. Oh. Don't think I'll get gap round here. Might get away with it. Oh, chest is beating. I, oh, God, I can't believe he stayed in the same world to get me. Oh, that is infuriating. Oh, you love to see a little count check every now and then, don't you? Let's chuck this on to Slayer, and that puts us up to level 28. Very nice. Looks like we're probably going to need four lamps per level now, which isn't too bad. But uh, yeah, that's going to slow down progress just a little bit. But 28 Slayer, not too bad. We need to get 45 for the Infernal Mages in the Slayer Tower. Oh, I totally missed it. But we just hit 65,000 kills. Still no mace. The driest I've ever seen is a guy called Basilgius who you may recognize the name of because he is I believe either rank 1 or rank 2 on the collection log. Uh, it took him 73,000 kills to get the Vigorous Chain Mace actually so he went you know very dry on specifically the same item as me and it took him 73,000 and this is rank 1 collection log who said in his tweet this was the worst thing I've ever had to do. So we're approaching the worst thing that rank one collection log has ever had to do. So eight, eight more, eight thousand more kills uh, and we'll be past him and I will officially be the driest person that I have ever seen. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But yeah, 65,000 kills. Just hit 25 mil range XP. That's like a proper milestone, isn't it? And definitely a milestone I never wanted to hit. So hopefully that is the last proper range level milestone. It's a big moment, but we're finally hitting one of the memes that we thought we would never ever hit. 1000 rune plate legs in the bank. Oh, I joked about hitting that when we were around 30,000 kill count. Like, oh yeah, there's no way we're ever going to hit 1,000 rune plate legs, man. That'd be crazy. And here we are. Crazy times. It's crazy times we live in. Levels are getting significantly rarer for us, but there is level 95 hit points. Just four to go until 99. 
And every single hit points level I get, I go, oh, that'll probably be the last one. And it never is. <laughs> so hopefully, for real, 95 is the last one in this chunk. But it's not the end of the world. We could roll 99 hit points at any points, like the skill cape in the desert. So if we get there, you know, I'll be happy that I went so dry at Revenants in a weird way. So hopefully it's over soon. But if it's not, it's not the end of the world. Oh, some guy. Look, why do they even bother? Level 68 pure. I love mm, the British Broadcasting Company. <laughs> and we just got level 106 range, which if you're playing close attention means that we just hit double level 99 because level 99 is uh, 13 point three four point zero three four kxp uh so no hang on 13.034 million xp and we just hit 26.068 so we have 99 range twice over exciting oh i saw the pink text and shat myself slightly yet again because i was typing like a fucking mug Four mil emblem, I guess we take those. One day, one day that pink text will be the mace. It's been a while since I've had some pink text though, so I am just appreciating how nice that looks because it does look fucking nice, doesn't it? What is going on with the dragon plate legs today? Look at this. In the looting bag, two dragon plate skirts, one dragon plate legs, and we just got another dragon plate legs? That's just bizarre. Looks like someone is making a killing on the GE at the moment because it looks like the last two uncut dragon stones that sold sold for 57k each. So I'm sure that's adding some uh, value to my bank because I'm pretty sure I've got about 800 or something uncut dragon stones. So that's going to be a uh, pretty penny at the moment. I am really, really running out of food. Like, I gathered quite a lot when I was at the Pyre Fiends because I'd, I'd chuck it all in the looting bag. Um, but now that I'm, like, killing a lot more at the demons, I'm eating more and I get too full of loot and I just kind of eat a few before leaving, this kind of thing, I'm, like, actually kind of hemorrhaging and I'm really, really low. Um, so I need to either get some more somehow or just stop using it so willy-nilly. But I really hope I can get the most before I run out of this stuff because gathering more is going to be awful. Up to... Oh, God. Uh, uh, God, nearly choked to death on nothing. <laughs> Up to 68,000 kill count. Ah, oh, what a boring 8,000 kills. No weapons at all in the last 8,000 kills. We obviously got that like, one avarice, but... Still, that's a rather bleak RNG. Um, we should have been owed at least two, if not three, within that 8,000 kill count. So hopefully we uh, we can pull one before we hit 70,000, because 70,000 is a fucking big number. Oh, another unique, another not Vigorous Chain Mace. They are at least slightly more common and at least slightly useful to me, so it's not entirely as maddening as getting a scepter. <sighs> oh, how many uniques is that now? Is that over 20? I think that might be over 20, or was I already over 20? I mean, that is just crazy, isn't it? Um, that that's kind of what we're talking about. Right, let's chuck that in the invent and take a little look, shall we? Uh, eight, eight, oh, that's 21 uniques, there we go, 21 uniques and none of them, Vigorous Chain Mace, shall we just equip that and just use this for the rest of the trip? Sure thing, why not? Fucking bleak. Well, I guess that's our cue to go and bank then, isn't it? 8 mil effigy just to follow up on the avarice, that was probably 10, 15 kills afterwards, so... Yeah, I guess we uh I guess we take the big fat eight mil stacks of GP, don't we? Could be worse. Right, let's chuck all this in the bank. Might keep using the avarice, might keep not, not sure. Some guy literally just ran in the room, splashed a bind on me, and that venomed me. 
How irritating. I'm going to go all the way back to the bank because it's fucking Venom instead of Poison. Venom's such a shit PvP mechanic. In fact, it's such a shit mechanic in general. Who thought of that shit? Oh, that's nice though. We just hit 500 Dragon Long Swords. 29, well, thir over 30 mil in Elk value. That is nutty. Right, let's give this thing a go at least until someone else shows up to try and kill it. And there they are. Honestly, I don't know how they, they... They must have scouts or something, or like a Discord or... Because they're just there instantly. And they just go around the world just finding them straight away. I don't understand how, as an Iron Man, you could ever kill one of those Maledictuses. Like, honestly, I don't get it. Oh, a 2 mil emblem. The second most common thing. I think something like a 1 in 2.5k. I guess we take those... Stick it in the bank, build the bank value way past a bill now, something like 1.05 bill. Uh, so we'll probably be hitting 1.1 mil before the end of the video, not entirely sure on that. But if we do, crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy stuff. Oh, you absolutely hate to see the 500k emblems because they're exactly the same rate, something like a 1 in 5.6k as the uh like the big emblems like the 8 mil and the 16 mil and that kind of thing and they're all individually way rarer than getting a unique so a bit gutting but you know we get there well we uh we hopefully will get there soon how many of those have we got 15 so not too bad look at that though 68.3k <laughs> surely we get this soon surely well, I guess we get another 8 mil. Uh, these are coming thick and fast, that must be said. Love a bit of cash in the morning. Yeah, nice. Right, this just spawned in. Let's see how far we can get with it. Like, look at that, that can't be fucking normal. Although that guy is just a PK, so I don't think he's actually going to get on the Maledictus. Come on. We can totally do this. I don't have enough... Food. I feel like people normally do this with brews, and I don't have them. Uh, and there we go. Like, how does that happen every single fucking time? Let's see. I did the same fucking thing and looked up and saw the pink text and was like, Oh, it must be something good. Oh, no, it never is. Oh, come on. Please, just give me some fun pink, pink text. I'll even settle for a... No, I'm not going to say I'll settle for a scepter. That would be awful. But I'd settle for a bow. That would be good. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Yeah, postcom here. Don't really know what happened. You can kind of see that I logged in. Didn't, like, like PK was right there. Flicked all my prayers on straight away. Didn't notice that I didn't have protect item on. Continued to not notice that I didn't have protect from item on. And then... Yeah, we kind of get to the end here, realise a little too late, and yeah, enjoy the live reaction. Oh no, I just got smited by crossbow! I didn't even get smited, I just didn't put protect item on. Oh no! How did I do that? How, how did I do Oh no, that is so annoying. Oh, it's not the end of the world because I've still got two of them, but... Oh, that's infuriating. It's because I, like, logged in, like, straight on his fucking head. Like, I just... Oh, wh why did I go to a European world? For fuck's sake. Every time. Ah, oh, that is fucking annoying. Ah, oh, it means I've only got two left. There's only one spare. I mean, it's not the end of the world because I do have one spare. But, ah, oh, that's so annoying. I think I just didn't put it on. Why did I not put it on? Oh, I could cry. I'll tell you what though, I'm happy I'm not on my last crossbow, because when I had uh, just one before, um, that was stressful. Like, knowing that if I lose it, like, it is gone. That was pretty stressful. Like, you know, I won't be able to use it anymore. That was pretty fucking stressful. So, yeah, at least I've still got a backup to this one, so that, you know... I uh, can still be a bit more relaxed in the rev case. We're at 69,000 kill count at the moment. Well, slightly less than that, but basically 69,000. Surely we get the mace soon. Surely, I tell you why, if the next weapon I get isn't one, I'm actually just going to die.
I'm just going to die. I'm so done. I'm, so, I'm like mentally checked out of the rev caves already. Just my body's here on muscle memory alone, honestly. Oh, another two mil emblem. I guess it's free money, isn't it? Can we get something else? I feel like we've been getting a lot of two mil emblems recently and I haven't got a one mil in ages. Oh, I'm just getting so incredibly sick of this shit. 69,032 kill count at the moment. Still, no, Vigorous Chain Mace. Hopefully, I'll just look at the food stacks like... Oh, God. The restore stack is going down as well heavily. At least I've got all of these that I can, you know, bundle together at some point. But my God, like, the food situation is grim. Nearly... At a thousand in some of the other rune stacks though, so that's pretty cool. <sighs> yeah, I just... Oh, God, it's painful at the moment. Right, in an effort to get back into a food surplus, what I'm going to do is take way less. My thought being, if a PK gets on me straight away, I'm fucked. But, if I can kind of survive like 10 or 15 kills, I'll probably fill most of this invent up with the food that's just on the floor anyway. So, it'll probably be better for me in the long run. Yeah, I think I think we'll go with this. Here we go. This is what I'm doing. Befriending PKers now that have seen my videos, adding them to the friends list, and okay. Oh god, at least he got on him and not me. <laughs> I don't know if our friend the pure is going to have much of a chance against this guy. Um, hopefully he does. His account is like absolutely stacked. He's like over two thousand total on the account with like limited prior attack and defense. Um, so I anticipate he's probably quite good at the game, but <laughs> this guy is like in full void, so just has every single possible advantage. Hopefully, our boy can do it though. I might hop away just in case. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> yeah, this is the exact scenario that we want, right? So we didn't bring much food with us. We've killed a Revenant and we got 14 Manta Ray from it. So now I can just pick all these up, fill my whole invent, and I've not, like, wasted so much food. I think this might be the bet. I'm sure that I will die at certain points just from having, like, not prepared correctly. Like, like, like obviously you should bring food with you when you come to the Rev Caves. But I think on balance, the fact my food situation is so bad and my Revenant Ether situation is relatively good that this might be the way to actually build up the food stacks again. Right, here we go. It just spawned in. Can we get a kill for once? No, of course we fucking can't because some knobhead's here within five fucking seconds. This is great fun. This, I mean, this kind of feels like abuse that I can just call this guy in to take out PKers. But it is quite fun. I mean, obviously this guy's not a PK, he's just a gold farmer. You can tell the gold farmers because they're here in like weird gear unsculled with web weavers um because they're evidently mains that aren't bothered about getting the unique so yeah <laughs> you are joking i didn't even notice that happened i just got that off an imp that was an imp. Lol. <laughs> that's very funny. Can we get something else? Come on, that's so funny. See, it's always worth killing the imps on the way out for eight mil. Sorry? Well, that was certainly a weird way to get 8 mil, but that takes us up to 11 of the 8 mil emblems. For some reason, I'm getting so many of those lately. Um, God. <laughs> I kind of can't believe that. That was so weird. I, I wasn't looking at it either, because like normally when I'm like killing the imps and running out, I'm not particularly paying attention. So I just really wasn't looking at the screen. That's very, very funny. So, the odds of getting an 8mm emblem off an imp, which is obviously just what happened, is a 1 in 24,000. Over the whole time I've been in the Revenant Caves, including right at the very start, when I was just, like, kind of, you know, 
killing what I could. I've only ever killed 431 imps, and I got a 1 in 24,000. Comparing that to the Vigora Chain Mace, where I've had, uh, where the drop right here is, what, 1 in 18,000, so more common than the drop we just got, and I've killed, oh, uh, I don't know, probably 40,000 of specifically these ones. Why, why can I get, like, good RNG in just totally the wrong ways all the time? Oh, 27 million range XP. Surely we're going to get the mace before 30 mil. I fucking hope we get the mace before 30 mil. I'm getting very, very bored. What is the kill count? Hold on. Kill count is 69,330. Really getting up there now. Hopefully, hopefully we don't get to 75,000. So the worst I've ever seen is 73,000. So if we make it past 73,000, I'm officially the worst I've ever seen. And we're getting close. So I've had a lot of people tell me that I'm going to get the mace at kill number 69,420. So I guess I'd better boot that kill up here. See if we're going to get lucky when everyone else wants it. Here we go. Are we going to hit the ultimate meme number for the mace? If we do, I'm going to shit my pants. Alas, we did not. <laughs> I, I just got another 8mm emblem. I swear that's about four of them in a row. What is going on? I think I've had three of those today. Come on, when is it going to just be like, you know, weapon, weapon, avarice, weapon, like, as the drops that I get in a day? That would just be, you know, a dream. But, as I always say, we take the big emblems, they look nice on the floor, they add a lot of GP to the bank value, so, yeah, they are good to have. Look at that. Pink text, lovely, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Look at this. As we chuck in this uh, effigy into the bank, I think that's going to take just our loot tab up to one bill. Pretty massive. I'm going away uh, this weekend. So this is kind of where I'm going to be leaving it. 1.08 a bill. Um, I'm probably still going to keep recording this video after I get back over the weekend, but this is a pretty nice way for me personally to finish before I go away. Hopefully when we get back, the mace will come sooner rather than later. Right, so I'm going to go on holiday for, what, four days. Um, I've been sat on 40 defense for a long, long time. It does save me from time to time when, like, level 124 accounts, etc. try and get on me. Um, but increasingly, I've been thinking... I might just knock out the 60 defense requirements or have it as soon as I get the mace. And also, I will have, um, you know, I, I'll have additional defense when tanking PKs, even though those top end ones can get on me more. But to be honest, they don't cause me too much trouble anyway. Like if a 124 gets on me and I've got to run like five wilderness levels, that's really not that big of a deal. The main people that get on me are the people that are like 110 combat and they're the ones that cause me a lot of issues and they're going to cause me less issues if I've got 60 defense. So what I'm going to do is in absence of being able to wield any of my good weapons, I can't even wield the dragon dagger or the dragon longsword, I'm going to take an Addy sword to uh, experiments, sit there and then like just in the like really off times. Um, when I'm on a holiday, like in the evenings and stuff, once the kids have gone to bed, I can just get some defense levels. So I'm hoping that the next clip you guys will see will be me back from holiday in four days with a decent amount of defense done. Probably not lots, but hopefully a decent amount. Oh, well done. I do have a rune warhammer. Do you think that's more DPS than an Addy sword? Um, so 2.4 seconds and 3.6 seconds. 23 so it's mainly the oh the strength bonus is huge in comparison i'm gonna have to run a dps calc on that aren't i so the old school runescape wiki tells me that the rune warhammer is better by about um 
well, just a few, uh, well, 0.8 seconds according to this. So let's grab our other stuff. Do, does the dehyde give us slightly better defenses? No, which is interesting. The room, the plate body is best. Look at that though. We're looking stacked these days. I mean, in comparison to our range gear, it is awful. But look at that. Beastly. Oh my god, and because we're not in the wilderness, guess what I can wear? My Amulet of Avarice, which if you look, basically is a glory amulet. So my attack bonus, 53 crush, and my strength bonus, 62, so 53 and 62. Suddenly, 63 and 68 is fucking massive. Look at that, plus 6 strength, plus 10 attack. It's actually massive for outside the wilderness where I'm not going to fucking lose it instantly. Uh, but look at that. Huge. I'm also just going to stick on my ring of wealth as well. Look at that. I mean, I don't think it's going to do anything for us the Revenants, but we're not as newbie as we used to be. I mean, this used to be a med helm. These used to be like Addy legs or myth legs or something. We're coming along pretty, pretty nice. So, as it turns out, going on holiday for four days with your wife and kids isn't the best place to get a load of gains. So we only got six defense levels, all of which came last night once I got back. So I do need to get 60 defense at some point, and I'll probably just do that in the evenings when I otherwise wouldn't be playing. But, yeah, we got 46 defense, we're going to push that to 60 at some point. Fun little milestone here of... 1,000 rune plate bodies, 39 million GP if we out those one day. That is pretty crazy. You see, moments like this is where I'm going to end up regretting... Oh, fuck's sake, I didn't log out on my alternative account. That's annoying. But moments like this, 1-2-6 combat is where I'm going to end up just regretting getting defense. But I think it will help me with the like 115 combat PKs. So I still think it's probably a good idea on balance. And it also just saves me a ton of time once I complete the chunk. Um, so yeah, I think I'm probably still going to get it. But I'm glad that guy couldn't get on me. I have fucked up really badly. I brought hardly any food with me. I've got an avarice on me because I thought I'd check it out. And then this PK has got on me, like, straight away. Um, I've checked his stats. He's got 89, he's got uh, 75 agility. So if I can get over to the far side, then I should get away with it. But there's no guarantee of that. So we just need to try and hope he splashes. And he's just not, is he? Hopefully hit him a bit and that'll stop him attacking me. Come on, get to running, get to running. Oh, I can't believe I just ran into this guy straight away. Okay, looks like we might get away with it. Okay, I don't think he can do anything from here really. Yeah, I hit him too hard with my crossbow. Oh, my heart is going like crazy. This guy's killed me before. Oh, that's rough. Stop. Fuck off. Imagine if I died like that. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that would have been terrible. The reason I was banking is because I didn't have a bracelet on me. Oh, okay. We got away with it. And here it is a big milestone coming in. Not anything that we've just seen, but 70,000 revenants. We did not get it in the 60,000, so we will be going into the 70,000s at least to get the chain mace. That is absolutely nuts. Um, welcome to the video. Just quickly, to celebrate the revenant arc of this account, I am pleased to be bringing you four desk mats from the Canafish Chunk collab with Amentos. You can find these over at FreyRS.com and they really are items of beauty. I'll start off with my personal favourite, Face Off. This is the one that I've personally ordered and honestly it just looks so so good. The second is Ferox Discovery, a really stunning landscape of Ferox Enclave, really showing it off as the island of hope that it is to many a wilderness traveller. 
The third is a real throwback to the start of Cannabis Chunk called Blood, Death and Nightmares. And the fourth is a shot that occurs later in the video called The Light, for reasons that will hopefully make themselves apparent later on. There is only 100 of each available due to Jagex terms and conditions, so if your desk needs a bit of a refresh and you're a fan of this series so far, please pick one up before they are all gone. I will appreciate all the purchases as each one gets me closer and closer to being able to do this full time and bring you more and more videos. Once again, head over to FreyRS.com to check out all the desk mats and please make sure to enjoy the rest of the video. Right. Let's start off this video how we mean to go on and how we mean to go on is using an avarice and not dying at all. So let's get stuck in, kill some of these very, very quickly and hopefully get the mace before we lose the avarice. Oh, we love to see a genie. So much more aesthetically pleasing than Count Check, isn't he? Let's keep chucking it in Slayer. I don't know if in the last video I showed, but I did get 30 Slayer, so we're making some pretty nice progress on that. It's still about four or five lamps per level, which is really not too bad. Um, hopefully, if I can get out of the wilderness fairly soon, that will increase as well, because I still don't have the random event log completed, because I can't get most of the outfit random events in the wilderness. So hopefully, that can change soon. I absolutely love having the avarice. Look at that. I've had literally no good drops at all. And we've got two mil in the looting bag in one trip. So, so nice. Just Also, just stacking the manta rays, stacking the super stores, stacking the rune items. Oh, it's just so good. So good, so good. I hope I keep it for a long time. Oh, and the first drop of the video is the old one mil ancient totem. Why would I ever think it would be anything else? Nice little looting bag. Oh, three mil in the looting bag. That's pretty big. That's huge. I've definitely made about five mil in less than an hour. So that is very, very nice indeed. I'm pretty sure I just killed one of these revenants that a bot was halfway through and it dropped an ancient crystal. So there may be an ancient crystal. You are fucking kidding me. Oh my god, I literally just booted up the recording to show that the ancient crystal had in fact dropped. And we got another fucking ancient, another Theremin Scepter. You are joking me. Oh, make it stop. I mean, it looks pretty nice on the ground, I must say. It's been a long while since I got one. How many is that now? I think that's nine. Yeah, nine scepters, 70,554 kill count. Let's grab that boy and take it to the bank. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so tragic. That is so tragic. I can't believe I booted up the recorder to show that ancient crystal and that shit just dropped on the floor. Oh my god. I'll tell you what though, we've got nine scepters. The ten scepters before Vigora's chain mace is now actually so on. We they've got an equal chance from this point of happening. So yeah, that's kind of cool, eh? We could ha get ten of one drop before getting one of another drop that have exactly the same rate. I would love to know if any of you guys have got anything similar to that. Ten of one drop before getting one. That is like flipping a coin. 10 times in a row and getting heads that must be unlikely oh an ancient crystal for real this time come on hopefully i'm, I'm liking the fact that i'm actually getting a decent amount of uniques it's been a long time since i got anything useful it's twelve thousand kills since i got that uh scepter like as in that scepter was the first weapon i've had in twelve thousand kills so nice just to finally get some items shouted out in the uh the game chat to be honest Oh, here we go. We could be in trouble here. This guy has got some decent levels. He's 119 combat, so I might die to that. Okay, right. I'm going to die there. Oh, there's the avarice gone. That was just really shit play from me, to be honest. <laughs> I'd kind of deserve to lose that avarice, to be honest. Oh, that's annoying because I had quite a lot of loot on me, but whatever. It is what it is. I don't know why on that one I was just like 
not eating. That was just bizarre. I don't, know, I don't know what happened. I just was, I was too obsessed with crossing and not obsessed enough with clicking the food. That was just a real epic fail from me. Didn't even take all my stuff. I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll take the teleports. They might be useful in the future. And that, uh, I don't necessarily need to carry those around with me. There we go. Ten little teleports that we, that we had in the looting bag. We shall take those. One day, they may be useful. And if we chuck our equipped items into the bank, there is a 1.1 bill bank value. That is looking particularly massive right now. 1.03 bill in the loot tab. Crazy stuff. I mean, look at some of these stacks. Over a thousand now in nearly all of the rune items. 8,800 mahogany planks. That is a lot of construction XP one day. 3,000 runite ores, 2,000 runite bars. I mean, that alone is like 750,000 smithing XP or something like that. The Addy bars as well, the coal, just all of this stuff is just so, so valuable to me. Um, either now or one day, but either way, 1.1 bill achieved. Absolutely massive non-avarice looting bag. 1.3 mil in the looting bag plus what another 160 240 another sort of three basically a 1.7 mil trip without an avarice that is massive right we've gone absolutely sailing past 71,000 so that is the first thousand kills of the video done and all we have to show for it is yet another scepter hopefully the next thousand kills can be somewhat nicer to us uh oh, another ancient crystal. At least it's something to look at, I guess. So these are the bots that are showing up at the moment. Um, there's these like, so they, they, they do the same thing as usual, which is either log out or pro mage or run away, but they're unsculled and they use web weaver only. Um, I haven't seen like any magic short bow bots at all. So I think there's only like one or two farms running at the moment. And for some reason they've gone with the web weaver instead of, uh, the MSB Avarice combo. No idea why. Possibly, I think the reason is that when the bots broke last week, we found out that it was because they were stacking up their loot and never banking. So because you've got an Avarice and all your drops are noted, um, you get like every, you don't need to ever bank because your invent never fills up all the way unless you get like loads of uniques and emblems. So there was bots with like looting bags with like 20 million that were just not banking because of some error in the script. And PKs were killing them for like over 20 mil at a time. So after that, all the bots broke. And then now only these uh, web weaver ones are showing up. And because they're using a web weaver, they're not using an avarice, right? And therefore the looting bag does fill up and therefore they kind of are forced to bank every so often. Um, so it probably stops them doing what they were doing before, which was getting way too much uh, loot in their invent by accident. Look away from my client for one second <laughs> and I'll pull an ancient relic. How long has that been on the floor? Probably quite a while. Oh, not too bad, I guess. We take the money printing. Oh, one day, one day I'll look back and that pink text will be a Vigorous Chain Mace. Come on, let's kill, the, let's kill this demon, see if we can get anything. If I don't chime back in shortly, I didn't get anything. And we're up to nine ancient relics in the bank now, which by itself, is a hundred and what forty four mil GP? <laughs> that's crazy. Add that to our twelve of those. That's ninety six. So that is what two hundred and forty million GP just in those two stacks. There, that is mental. One mil totems. You love to see them. Oh, it's just raining GP today. That's sixteen mil, one mil, and now this four mil. We're all in about the space of. An hour, maybe? <laughs> so we are drowning in GP. We love the formal emblems though. They just look so, so nice on the ground. Let's grab that and head to the bank. And there is 96 hit points and 91 combat. Only three levels to go until level 99. That seems nuts to me. I cannot believe I've done basically you know, as near as makes no difference, level like 10 hit points to level 99 in one chunk. <laughs> that is nuts. 
<laughs> I actually am going to hit 99 as well, aren't I? So I've done some research uh, since one of the last videos, and I found out that the one of the rank, like top ranking um, uh, accounts for the collection log did 73,000 kills um, at the Revenants. Um, that was the driest I'd ever heard of previously. I asked him if he had seen anyone go drier than himself, and he pointed me to an Iron Man called, I think, Rusio 2 or something like that, who has, who, for his Vigorous Train Mace, went 100,716 dry. So, we're not too far off that, but we still got, what, 29,000 to go, so... 29,000 more kills, that'll put us as the driest ever, but, yeah, we're not too far away. So if we go to 100,000, that will be 99 hit points, I'm pretty sure. So, crazy, crazy stuff and crazy times ahead, I am sure. Well, I guess that's some easy GP, isn't it? I'd love to know, how many do you think of those I've got now? It must be, what, 40-something? Uh, 45... <laughs> <laughs> that is mental, isn't it? Oh, I'm actually getting a decent amount of a Maledictus kill. I'm on at a weird time, so I think the people's bots aren't in the worlds to um, scout for them. But, I've not got enough food to kill it, so I think I'm going to have to bank and come back and hope that no one finds it in the meantime. Look at this, though. I'm actually totally killing it. This isn't too bad. Wish I had the Avarice right now. I'll be hitting so much harder. No, I went to the bank and someone hit it and clearly fucked off immediately afterwards. So now I'm basically going to finish the kill because I want this world. But I'm not going to get the loot. Oh, that's so tragic. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, that's so, so annoying. Oh, oh well, at least it proves that I can, in theory, get a world long enough to uh, get a Maledictus kill. So that's pretty cool. And I can, in theory, kill it if I have a very, very full invent of food. So, one day when I have an Avarice with me, um, and play actually well, rather than getting hit by those things, uh, I reckon I could get one of these. And there it goes, basically soloed by me, but I do not get the loot, I don't think, which is very fucking lame, and it essentially dropped nothing. Brilliant! Oh, that's so annoying. Like, one guy must have stepped in, hit it once, and then fucked off again. That is so annoying. Oh, I guess we take those on almost the last kill of the trip, don't we? Could have had one from a Maledictus, though, couldn't I? I it's not even the money. I just want, I kind of wanted just the achievement of having killed one uh, whilst in the chunk. It's not, like, official goal. But it's kind of like a little soft goal of mine. But, oh well, we take the one mil. Oh, ancient crystals go <laughs> I really need to get better at the R roll. Oh my god! 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 We just got it right. I need to shut this in there. No, open it up. Oh my god! Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, I fucked it up by putting the loot back. Oh my god! I wasn't even looking. I wasn't even looking. 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, right, download that. Ha! <sighs> ha! <sighs> right, I need to make sure that I log out if we see anyone. Oh my god, Vigorous Chain Mace. Oh my god, it's done! <sighs> I totally missed it because I wasn't even looking! Oh my god, I'm literally dead, right? Okay, he's not any worry to me. Okay, they're not any worry to me. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, right. I can't believe I just got that. Oh my god, my heart is actually going like fucking crazy. Okay, right, can we get back? Can we get back? Come on. No. Don't get on me. Okay. And that is where the reaction clip finishes. I banged the desk and for some reason that just corrupted the recording. Like, I still had the visuals but not the audio. And then when I went to save it properly, it lost the visuals as well. So that's where the reaction clip finished. But let's talk about the loot that we got from the Revenant Chunks, how it's useful for either now or in the future. So firstly, the obvious ones, the three weapons, nine scepters, great magic weapon, charged staff, similar to a trident of the seas outside of the wilderness and firmly best in slot magic inside the wilderness, the crossbow, two of these still on the account, best in slot bow for me pretty much everywhere likely for a long time as well um the vigorous chain mace 1200 hours to get but a lifetime to enjoy essentially a dragon scimitar outside the wilderness and again firmly best in slot within it huge item to have um to pair with these we've received 2850 bracelets of ethereum that's 712,000 weapon charges when broken down Fortunately, you can use the mace specifically outside the wilderness without using charges. So we can stretch that 712,000 a bit, but that's all we have until we need to go back to the Revenants to get some more, which is slightly scary as a thing to think about. Um, we also received two Amulet of Avarices. Well, we received eight Amulet of Avarices, but we've still got two Amulet of Avarices. Uh, so we've got a main one and a spare. Um, and outside the wilderness, they function the same as a amulet of glory, except your skull. Um, so it means we've got a pretty good general purpose amulet moving forward. Uh, secondly, the cash. We received 15 emblems, 46 totems, 21 statuettes, 12 medallions, 14 effigies, and 12 relics. Totaled together... That is 449 mil. In training our magic up to 95 and accessing the Revenant Caves for a price of 100k per death, we've already cashed in about 90 mil of this number, and we also have about 23 mil of that remaining. So that leaves us with a total of 382 mil in pure gold that I can access within the next 20 minutes. So that is massive. Um, in addition to this, we also have 193 dragon plate skirts, 180 dragon legs, 525 dragon longswords, 448 dragon daggers, 1,300 and no, 1,031 rune full helms, 1,068 rune plate bodies, 1,131 rune plate legs, 948 rune kite shields, and 1,071 rune warhammers. This means with less than six hours of alking, we could quite easily increase that by an additional 265 mil. So in theory, we have a total of 647 mil in raw GP that we could access today if I really needed to. So that is an absolutely massive stockpile of stuff to have. Um, thirdly, resources. So we've got 90,000 blood runes and 56,000 death runes. They should be huge for magic in the future. I don't really have much need to use them yet because we have the scepter, but that's pretty big. Um, 139 U seeds and 209 magic seeds, which equates to 4.3 mil in farming XP, like rapid farming XP as well. Um, we of course have to get 60 farming first, but if we can, that will be massive. 
Um, additionally, I received uh, 9,070 mahogany planks, uh, which is roughly 1.27 mil construction XP. And perhaps the biggest of them all, we received a ton of smithing supplies. So smithing is going to be one of the toughest grinds we have at some point going forward. And we've got 7,017 Addy bars, 1,974 rune bars, 3,066 rune ore, and 64,547 coal. So having done the math on that, I believe this equates to roughly 970 thousand banked smithing xp so unless i get insanely lucky on the rolls moving forward we have close to a million smithing xp banked which is likely to save me dozens if not hundreds of hours depending on how terrible the method is we unlock eventually um in addition to the stuff that i've just just listed um we also have some pretty big stacks of items that may be useful in the future but i just not too tangible for me right now in terms of how useful they'll be. Um, 963 dragon stones, 3,451 onyx and 14,807 dragon stone bolt tips respectively, 1,753 black dragon hide, 4,291 battle staffs and even 31 ancient crystals. Uh, ancient crystals are the item that you use to make the wilderness obelisk in the player owned house. You only need four and I have 31 so it's a bit overkill but nonetheless interesting. Um, so it might have taken a long time, 1200 hours to be exact. But the loot that I've received along the way, as well as the account progress I've made in terms of skills, 75 fire making, 87 fletching, 89 agility, 95 magic, and even my first 99 on the account range have made it all worth it. Oh, all that and the memories. Good luck to me. Holy fuck. That was diabolical. Oh, look at that. 8 million GP! Look at that! Yeah, we got smited for the crossbow. There it is, 27 Hunter. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god, I did him so good! Okay, I'm gonna run and pretend to jump. See ya! <laughs> Werewolf Agility, lap count one. Oh shit, boys, we got a Tharaman Scepter. Let's grab it and go. I'm honestly the worst shit talker. I had a great shag last night with your mum. See ya! Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, not again. We just got a Theremin Scepter. You are fucking kidding me. Not again. Fuck off. Fuck right off. Fuck off! You're fucking kidding me! God, this has gotta be a dream. Nothing this bad could ever happen in reality. <laughs> A guy just tried to get me with Darox and I killed him. Okay, I think I'm gonna try and fake him, see if that works. Yeah! <laughs> see ya! No! No! <laughs> Make it stop! Make it stop! Please! I, I just logged in! I literally, right, look at the time, look, 49 seconds. I literally just logged in, killed one fucking thing, and got no, fuck off! <laughs> oh, you're taking a piss! Oh my god! Oh my god, 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 we just got it right. I need to shut this in there. Now, my recorder cancelled halfway through uh, that Vigorous Chainmace clip, and I've only just realised. So what I've lost is the end of the Vigorous Chainmace clip, where I'm getting hyped at the bank and, you know, basically wanking over my bank. 
and uh, a bunch of stuff explaining what I was going to do next. So what I'm doing next is coming to the experiments and just finishing off 60 defense, which is one of the only things that we need left. So in terms of things we've got left, 60 defense, uh, because I got past 25 Slayer as well, I also need to equip a Mirror Shield, which is just buy it from a shop, which is fine. And I also need to do two steps of the Children of the Sun quest, which will take no time as well. So basically, as soon as we've got 60 defense, we're ready to roll, which is very exciting. Um, I'm doing this outside the wilderness, so obviously if I charged the Vigorous Chain Mace with uh, Aether, I could use it within the wilderness and it would hit a lot higher. At the moment I'm only hitting a 14 inside the wilderness, that would be a 21. Um, but my reason for not doing so is that I can use the mace without using Aether, particularly outside the wilderness. So I know I've got a lot of Aether now. I've got 2,850 bracelets, which is akin to 712,000 Aether. But that sounds like a lot. But it will not last forever because, you know, most accounts don't use the mace, the bow and the scepter as like their main weapons. They're just a weapon that can be used. Uh, whereas this is going to be, these are going to be my main weapons for probably a long, long time. It's unlikely I'm going to get anything better unless I roll something like the Theory of Blood. And even then that doesn't give me a good range weapon. So the chance of me foregoing all of those weapons anytime soon is close to nil so i do need to try and maintain ether in the long run and this is very afk lets me do some editing and stuff on the side and i can just kind of crack through it even though it's slightly slower so the vigorous chain mace is essentially a dragon scimitar without being charged so what i got from that chunk and finally got i'm so happy i've got it just look how good it looks um what i've got essentially is a dragon scimitar which is pretty good like not many people are dragging scimitar. I'm hitting 14s, which looks pretty lame, but bear in mind I'm also only 57 strength and I'm not using any prayers. So that will only go up. I'm going to try and use the, the melee setup as my main setup going forward because it would be nice to bring the melee stats up something similar to the range and the mage. I mean, they're very high, but, you know, I'm definitely going to be working on melee next. But, yeah, it's done. and We've only got a small amount to go just because we actually had been knocking out the 89 agility and 87 fletching and 75 fire making out all along and they were the big skilling goals in this chunk so it feels really really nice to get that chain mace and basically be done um so yeah we're up to 53 defense at the moment seven levels to go shouldn't take too long possibly four or five hours something like that but yeah it's god i, I you've got no idea how happy i am i it, 72,000 revenants. I don't, I can't actually remember if I showed the log in the clip that's like how much of the clip survived. But we've got the green log down there. That looks beautiful. And then there's a log 72,272 kills. Wow. Eight avarice, nine scepters, five bows, and one chain mace. Look at that. That is stunning. And it just looks so, so good in my hands. So good. This is like a decent gear setup, eh? And especially once I get 60 defense, I'll be able to use dragon plate legs and a dragon med helm. So that'll be even cooler. Oh, I'm so happy. And there is 55 defense, just five levels and just over 100,000 XP to go. Shouldn't take too long. Oh God, still looking at that mace makes me happy. Right, we just grabbed ourselves a count check lamp. Let's chuck that into Slayer, and there is level 31. Don't think that's going to get us anything, but it's one step closer to level 45. So I think there's nothing more appropriate for me to kill for the final level than a Svetlana werewolf. Why not? May as well get stuck in, eh? Um, long time coming this level. Glad I held off for as long as I did. I think it made the Rev Caves a bit easier. But it, it, it is level. Oh God, that was a good time to lose my voice. Level sixty defense, pretty huge, and the last major goal that we need in this chunk. So that's exciting. Only a couple tiny little more things that we need to do, and we're finally done. Which just seems absolutely crazy to me crazy crazy stuff right let's equip the dragon armor that we need so that we can uh, tick off equip dragon armor in the chunk picker 
Dragon Med Helm equipped and Dragon Plates get equipped. I think that looks better than the legs here, yeah, absolutely. Look at that, that's like kind of proper gear almost, isn't it? That's not even bad. Um, so on the list of things that we still need to do, we need to buy ourselves a mirror shield and equip that. And that is our 25 Slayer task done. And then aside from that, we just need to go and do as much of the quest Children of the Sun as we can, which looks pretty easy. Talk to Alina and Noah in Varrock Square, so let's get on with that. Okay, here they are. Let's just go through the chat dialogues. Start Children of the Sun, yes. Talk to Alina east of Varrock Square. Okay. Uh, oh, boring cutscene, as always. Okay, so looking at the next step of this quest, I can't do it because I'd have to go down here and round this building here, which I can't do due to this chunk. So we are done for now, and that's as much of the quest as we can do until we roll south. Exciting stuff. Right, so I think with that, and if we grab these weapons as well, all of that stuff in the bank, with that and these weapons... We have officially finished the Revenant chunk. We got all the weapons. We have the Revenant green log completely done. We have the 89 agility, the 87 fletching, 75 fire making, the 60 defense. <sighs> it's done. I don't know how many days that was, but we're done. And it's time to roll some new chunks. Well, I say some, maybe just one if we roll something awful. Hopefully not. So here we are back in the chunk picker. What do we want to get and what do we want to avoid? So the main things we want to avoid are the monastery. One in 30 chance of getting that. Also corp. We can't roll that yet, but it would just be account ending or we'd have to skip it but you know there's five chunks that could roll you know directly onto it so yeah that's not ideal either um things that we do want uh barrows that would be pretty awesome that's a lot of cool gear that we can get and would also be pretty unique to my series uh the cooking cape i feel like i could get that relatively achievably now i've got a fat huge cash stack um, so that could be quite fun as well, and I feel like getting a cool cape on the account would be pretty awesome. But other than that, let's just get stuck in. There's only so much suspense we can build, and let's go. Oh, as it turns out, there is a little bit more suspense we can build. If you're going to subscribe to one video, please make it this one. The animation cost several hundreds of dollars. The chunk took five months to complete. My dedication to this is insane, and it only gets more insane the more of you subscribe. So, please, if you've ever not subscribed to this channel before now, please consider doing so for this video.